you can customize and personalize your paper craft projects, your home decor, clothing. You can work with iron on vinyl, paper, card, wood, fabrics. The possibilities are endless. On the shows, I hope I can inspire you with ideas to help you become your creative best with Cricut. So make sure you don't miss the Cricut shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows. everybody morning 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 seven o'clock wakey wakey rise and shine i've actually been to bed but i'm still here i'm still here everybody <laughs> with a new partner I, I left last night with hayley smith that i've turned back up this morning with the dasha what Sarah a job will be thrilled well she will because <laughs> i wasn't snoring in that bed no, so how the devil are you I'm, I'm good actually remarkably well Good. Good. How are you? Very well, thank you. Yes. Um, I've just, I did, uh, Natasha came in this morning and she had a lovely smile on her face. I soon wiped that off there by saying you're with me all day. And uh, so we are together. We've got a few shows oh, together yeah, today. I know, and then Jimmy just said he's directing us all day. Oh, so that, that was the icing on the cake It, it doesn't me. rain, it pours. <laughs> um, it's the dream team, I think, is what you mean. I think that's exactly what we mean. That's it, it yeah. Um, and, and with your good selves as well, hopefully with us throughout the day. Um, very different shows that Tasha's got for us for the day. And the first part that we're going to be looking at, really, is tools of the trade, yes. really. Yes. Um, and I'm so glad that Tasha's here because when I look at everything here, I go, what does, how does that magic happen? What, what alchemy can we create working with these um, tools that we've got for you? So um, we're going to go through all of those one we by are. one we are. Uh, and some projects as well. The best thing to do is get onto the website straight away if you want to go on to the craftstore.com and shop ahead. Go through, we're going to go through these one at a time, <laughs> um, but you might just want to say, you know what, I know that one already, I want to grab that while we are there. Some really good uh, price points on there. Five star reviews on there also for these tools. Uh, and if you are like myself and thinking, oh, okay, well, maybe there's certain things that will come up that you'll learn uh, that you didn't know you could achieve really with the tools that we have uh, this is the perfect hour for you so hopefully you've got a tea and a coffee with you and we've all oh yeah there we are we've got the uh, beautiful liberty carnaby street there there's an 11 piece actually i will tell you we do not have many of those we've got them here in the studio i know i know they are here with us here live but not many of those so if you do want to grab them in fact when you do see them Pop them into your basket straight away and take them away. 
because I think once they're gone, they're gone, aren't they? I've got those? no more stock. No, that's of, it. No, of that, that is that's the last of my liberty. It's been a it's a very it's been a very popular collection. I bet. This one. I yeah, bet. yeah, yeah. I bet. Um, are we going to be looking at how to be creating this? We are. So yeah, there is a reason for that being on there and for the liberties being here. So um, as you know, Scott, I have two children and I made them both a quilt, very, very different quilts out of this, using this particular ruler. This is your double strip tumbler. Um, I call it the Bill and Ben um, yeah. ruler because it looks like flower pots. It does so look like flower pots, yeah, isn't it? For, so I've got, I've got my own pet names for these rulers. It's sad, but it's true. No, no, it's uh, so so everyone <laughs> has their moments. <laughs> do right um, and so we're going to have a look at how you can create that and for me this just meant that we have um, you know both of my children now have a timeless quilt in Liberty fabrics that you know they can keep they can do whatever with it's bright it's colorful at no point is anyone going to go oh rainbow so last year yeah. like, no rainbows are just they're, they're fabulous they're magical no. um, so to have it in timeless Liberty fabric yes please right that sounds absolutely perfect uh, so we go, are we going to start off with our um, why don't we, do wanna... what, let's, let's take it right back to the beginning. So okay. Creative Grids Rulers, and that's what we have on the show for you today, um, have been the only rulers that I use. Now, I've been quilting for a fair few years now, but before that I didn't because I was scared to cut fabric. It sounds pathetic, right? Really pathetic. But by the time that you've got something incredibly sharp in yeah, your yeah, hand yeah. that can take off a finger if you're not careful, you do not want to be using a ruler that is going to slip. No, that's true. And until I found Creative grids um, for me it just I could I couldn't get to grips with cutting fabric I used to waste fabric miss cut miss my fingers if I was lucky it just it wasn't happening for me and then I discovered creative grid rulers now this this is mine and I've had this one for years and I use it and use it and use it the thing about creative grids they're a UK company it's run by Rachel and her family and they're absolutely lovely and you'll see on all of the rulers um, a little fox because that is the symbol of Leicester um, Leicestershire oh, there yes. And that's where they're based. You see, there you go. So this one is designed by Rachel Cross, who is the daughter of the founders of oh. Creative Grid. So I say it's a family business. Yeah, lovely. And she's absolutely lovely, but she knows her stuff. This is a family of quilters making for quilters. Right. And there's no no better. It's not just you know men in suits going, oh, we should have this, make it happen. No, no, no. These guys <laughs> actually, actually do do this themselves. So they know what you need as a quilter. They know what we need. So this is your starting point. For right. me, this okay. is your starting point. This and the slightly smaller one, which we've got over there. Um, because when you have fabric for quilting it comes off a bolt so a big roll of fabric yeah okay yeah and on that bolt it's folded in half now quilting fabric is 44 inches from salvage to salvage so from one side to the other okay. that's how it's been put on the on the loom to be woven right okay now that is then folded in half so half of 44 when it's folded in half is 22 absolutely this is it even like that all day because it's good no that, cause no no because no, I know you've only had half a coffee yeah. uh, this is <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. This is 24 and a half inches. So you've got an extra inch and a bit each end, which is vital because when your fabric comes off that bolt, okay, and uh, let me just find some here. Um, I've used a lot of this. Uh, then what you want, so this is actually a fat quarter, so that will have been, it would be half, it would be folded in half. What you want is to be able to cut your fabric in one fell swoop so when it comes right. off the bolt this would be folded in half got you yeah all right yeah. so then you put your finger on that and you can see i'm giving that some welly you can see my knuckles are going white there. yes yeah that is not moving do you play piano you should you i should. used i used to back in my days oh, thanks. um and that is because of these on here so i don't know if you can see there's like little opaque round bits on here and that is the built-in non-slip grip and that, for me, is what sets these rulers apart. You've got them down both the edges there, down that side, down the other side, and then going across. Ooh, where are we there? Uh, you've got them going across there, and that grips your fabric. It doesn't damage your fabric. It doesn't wear out. I have had this ruler for years, years and years and years. It doesn't wear out. No, fine. Whereas no. any other ruler you would have to buy something to try and stick on it to try oh, and yeah. or take your chances with it moving. You don't want to take your chances. You, you don't want to take your chances brain. because if you've bought your fabric and you've only just got enough for a project, the last thing you want to do is miscut. No, no, exactly. So I only yeah, have Creative point. Grids rulers because 
I don't want to work with anything no, else. No. It's, it's as simple as that. Um, and so I always say creative grids have got me where I am today because I wouldn't otherwise have cut fabric. So then you can very, very simply um, get your ruler, get your, um, and just sort of inch your fingers up and that stays where it is. That gives you the cut that you need. Now, here's the other thing. Mm -hmm. um, not only do we have this amazing non-slip grip, but Creative Grids also know that as quilters, there are some magic numbers that we use a lot. Right, go on. One is a quarter of an inch, and one is half an inch, okay? So, this down here, this side where the opaque is, that is quarter of an inch. So it's giving you that extra visual guide for when you're cutting or you're measuring a quarter of an inch. Most seam allowances when you quilt is quarter of an quarter inch. inch yes, so yes. it's really important. And inches, I, I'm a metric baby. You know, oh, I, yeah. I grew up in the era of, of centimeters. So to then switch to inches was a bit like, oh, it's eighths everywhere. Well, uh, you know, yeah, that's it's my least favorite times table, if I'm honest. Yeah, no. One of those things. What, yeah. I know. And then on the other side, you've got half an inch. Because again, when, when you've got eight increments to an inch, actually making sure that you get that halfway can be slightly misguiding. Yeah. But you can see you've got that inbuilt, non-slip grip up until that half inch mark. So it's just another subtle indicator. Mm. The other thing is, when we quilt, we generally um, end up with either whole inches or half inches. So this is the other genius that Creative Grids, that Rachel at Creative Grids came up with. And I know that I'm spending a lot of time telling you this, but it's no, so this vital. Really, it's really, 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 really clever. So when I have this ruler facing me this way, what I've got in white are my whole inches. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Which is great. So if I want to cut um, a two inch strip, then there we go. I would line up my two inches there and cut there. Perfect. But two and a half inch strips are so popular. If I spin it around, then what I've, I love that you're doing this with me. I'm good with um, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then what you'll notice is that all of these black numbers Got, yep. oh, are that's... inch and a half. So I'm not struggling to try and work out where that half inch mark is. There it is. It's there. Yeah. And this is the side where my non-slip grip is half an inch. So everything this way, when I've got it so that the black numbers are facing me, they are all inch and a half increments, which just makes it so much easier. Yeah. And you don't make the mistake. Yeah. Because otherwise, if I'm here, I've got to try and work out. I mean, it can be done, but it just takes a bit longer. Where is my half inch along there? You know, it's very easy to get it, you know, to get it a little bit wrong yeah. or a little bit out. As it is, you've got a little reminder in there, but it's far easier yeah. to just swing it around and have your two and a half inches there or whatever, whatever you've got. So this is this is your bread and butter ruler. Right. OK. And I mean, we, you, I laugh, you know, it, it, this isn't this isn't the the kind of the really exciting, sexy rulers that do all sorts of bits and bobs. But this is this is like great underwear. It supports everything else. <laughs> This is this is what this ruler is doing. This I, is the spanks of rulers, let me tell you. Right? This I is making you. the rest of your work look amazing. If we've already started talking about underwear with a ruler here, <laughs> and this isn't a sexy one, then who, I can't wait for the rest of the hour, you everybody. Know. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. can't wait. Um, no, honestly, it's the workhorse. It is the workhorse. Is <laughs> another way to describe I, it. Possibly would have been better at this time in the morning. <laughs> well, no, but, no I, won't, I won't forget this one. I can tell you, the non-slip six and a half inch by 24 and a half inch. Or the, the specs of the underwear with the rulers. Uh, three two five, four two zero. It's only twenty three ninety five. Oh, it's already busy for this, by the way, actually. Um, but oh, is it extended? By the way, just I should point it out. So everything is. So everything's going to be going. Is that the, what date was that? The twelfth of August. The twelfth of August, and everything's going to be coming from you uh, for you for then. So just to bear that in mind when you are putting your order through. But. Really, really important point on this as well. Like you get the basics right and the timing and yeah. the safety elements and all yeah. of that. And yeah. I wonder how many people have tried to 
carry on the work with a ruler that they've got. They've taken it from their son or daughter's, you know, desk where they've got the 12-inch ruler they've been working with, mm. etc. If you're just starting out, don't risk it. Go get the proper non-slip. It is amazing, actually. When you And now you've described it, I looked at that and think, yeah, that is really easy to use in it's that respect. It's really well engineered. It's really well thought out. And once you get used to spinning it around, all of the square and the rectangular rulers have that um, white whole inches, black inch and a half. Right. And, and they, have, they have that on every single ruler. So you just get used to whizzing it around, turning yeah. it around, and doing it however, whichever which way you want. Um, now, the marks are all in black and white, so it's going to show up on any fabric. It, they're just phenomenal rulers, absolutely phenomenal rulers. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Creative no. Grids, well, because I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't have cut. It just is as, as simple as that. High praise indeed. We do like that one. So is there 325420, as you can see, they're £23 and 95 of your pennies uh, will get you that. Again, uh, pop that one into you. Uh, it's your basket right now. Uh, we want to move on to the um, uh, tumbler, the one, the, your, your, the sexy Bill and Ben. Oh, um, the Bill and Ben. And the Bill and Ben. Excellent, um, excellent. Because you're quite right now, you mentioned that. All I can see also are little plant pots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's exactly it. I'm going to steal that one and use it because I'm not quite yeah. sure where my one is so I'm just going to nick it. You can um, take that one. That's no, right. the one. I'll, give, I'll give the details while you're manoeuvring that. 047080 the non-slip single strip tumbler ruler uh, under £20. Brand new on the show for you today. Just £19.94. Uh, so if you're as intrigued as I am how um, I mean if the other one was the sort of like you know the <laughs> The all holding in underwear, uh, and what we've got now is, is we're going to sex things up a little bit, everybody, with this. Uh, so, uh, good morning. Okay, so this is exactly what know, I dreamed of last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what they do? Another one where um, where it comes up to a point, and we call that the Madonna ruler. <laughs> yes, I can you know, imagine why. We've we've got names for all of these. So this is your double strip tumbler. This is going to allow you to make the quilt that is on the back wall. Um, but again, Rachel, when she designs these things, she never gives you just one way to work with a ruler. This is a multiple ruler um, in one. So what you'll notice when it says double strip. What we're looking at is that you've also got a ruler integrated into this here as well. Okay, so if mm -hmm. you don't have, or if you're just starting out, or if you're going to um, a workshop or something and you don't want to take your big ruler, then you've got a little one in here built in as part of the ruler. Right. Okay, so this is going to allow you to cut your tumbler strips safely and effectively. The one thing that I really want to point out to you is that when you get your rulers, you will get one of these. Okay. Okay, right. this is not just packaging. Please do not throw it Ooh, away. Oh, okay, good okay, point. Okay, this, this, this is what you will come back to time and time again because this gives you all of your instructions on how to use your tumbler. Oh, right, great. Okay, great. so it's small but mighty. I always have um, a little quilter's clip that I just clip it onto. So I've got all of mine stacked in a rack got and you. they've all got their instructions clipped to them. So there are different ways in which you can use this. You can see this very easily to start off with. You can either do entire, entire tumbles like that or you can do them alternatively, um, or you can do sort of four strips. Right. So we'll show, we'll go through, we'll show how to do each of those. And then you can use it as, like I say, as that ruler. The other thing to mention with the packaging here is that you've got a QR code here. Uh -huh. So for every single ruler that Creative Grids have, they all have one of these on it so that you can scan it with your phone. If you've got an iPhone, um, I don't know about other phones. I don't have another phone. I've just got an iPhone. But yeah. you can, if you open up just your camera, that will uh, take yes. you then with that QR code, that will take you to um, a YouTube video that shows you how to use this video. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that's so, great. Because I know, <laughs> you know, we don't, we buy these things, we don't necessarily use them straight away. No, no, and no. then maybe this video won't be available. Video? Oh, hello, 1980s. There <laughs> no, you are. No. But you know what I mean. There. <laughs> <laughs> is it presented by Max Headroom? I mean, possibly, very possibly, very possibly. So, <laughs> let's have a look then at <laughs> just your very, very basic tumbler. So, if you just want to cut a very basic tumbler, then you're going to be using um, just a four and a half inch strip. Now, what I would say is get out your longer ruler 
let's get some of this fabric here, shall we? Because it's rather lovely. Mm, that is nice. This, yeah, this, um, this has just come into to us that Natasha makes, and it's um, it's French General. They do some beautiful, Ooh, nice. beautiful fabrics. Moda French General, and it's uh, it's really rather lovely. Um, right, so just going to take off that edge. I always take off the edge. It just gets rid of any um, any loose threads anything else and then spin it around so again straight in with using my yeah. bread and butter yeah. spanx ruler uh, and i'm going to cut it a four and a half inch so i've got it so that my black numbers are facing me because that's my my inches and a half so four and a half inches that's nicely lined up along there i'm going to press i'm just putting some pressure on there and look, it's not going anywhere it's not going anywhere at all i have just cut through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers of fabric there. Nice. Without even thinking Straight, about easy. without even thinking about yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll lay those out. Because I would have thought, you know, the preparation for something like we've got up here hanging, etc. Mm -hmm. It it is that's the time, isn't it? Is getting the measurements of yeah. the cut absolutely spot I, on. Because if they're slightly out again, obviously that's going to affect how the overall look is. Yeah. But also, that's the whole time that you could be using <laughs> other things rather than just measuring and cutting. So you're like, just getting it right first time does make a difference, doesn't it, really? Prior and proper preparation <laughs> prevents poor performance. I wish I could say that, but I've yep. not got the teeth in yet. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had the coffee for I don't we know, know what, it's, it's what can happen if I try that this, this morning. So all I'm doing, um, again, with my fabrics, I prep my fabrics with, um, with a spray. At the moment, my favourite is um, the Flatter Spray. It's not necessarily that readily available in the UK. I think Hochander... Uh, Hochander, a craft store. I'll get the name right in a minute. Yeah. I think that you're getting it in the next month or so. We've just oh. got it at Natasha Makes, and it's fabulous stuff. It's all natural ingredients. Um, so if you don't want to use starch, then this is a great alternative. And all it's doing is putting a little bit of body back into my fabric because in a minute, as soon as you cut on any kind of angle, um, you start to bring in the bias. So okay. when your fabrics are woven, so the warp goes up and the weft goes left. OK, right. yeah. so warp and weft and your fabric is woven. So as soon as you cut across there, you get a stretch. Those, oh, fabric, those, those threads will stretch. Um, and so you don't necessarily want that. What the starch spray or your flatter or your best press or whatever it is that you're using, what that's doing is just going to hold it in place. Um, so it's putting that texture back into the fabric to hold in place. It smells amazing, oh, right. by the way. Um, oh. But it just means that your fabrics aren't going to move around. You're going to get a better... Um, just a better cut. Right. So I've got my four and a half inch strip that I've cut. And now I'm just going to place my ruler on here. I'm going to line it up on this here. So this is my, my ruler for cutting smaller strips. I don't need that right now. Um, I'm going to line this up. And again, you know, you can, you can line them up one on top of the other if you want or you can just cut them one at a time if you want to if you want to play it safe i'll show you we can just cut it one at a time and the top is flush there that's flush along there line it up along there and then we're going to cut okay so we'll cut down and as i cut into here can you see there's a weird hole in the ruler so there's a weird hole in the ruler, which is exactly the right size for my rotary cutter oh. to be able to go in. And go right off the edge. Yeah. Oh, that's, you're right, when it's designed by people that know what they need. They know <laughs> what you need. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Now, I mean, let's cut that straight away. This is, this is where if you've got a rotating cutting mat or if you just want to rotate your mat... Um, so that you're always cutting away from yourself. Yeah. That's that is that is always you know the kind of what you want to. That's what you want to create for yourself is is that safe cutting environment. So we've got that there. Cut away and I say that if I was on a rotating cutting mat, then great. But otherwise, all I'll do is just cut away from myself there. And what you've got, you've got your tumblers there ready to go but you'll notice that i've got them going both ways right oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. so when i cut my next blocks let's 
get those to one side. In my other colour, and again, sometimes So I'm just lining up. Take that time to line your fabric yeah. base up because then you you know you know that you're going to be cutting it right. Cutting away. And you can sort of line it up so that you step to the side so that you're still managing to cut away, away from, from yourself. Yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah, that's great. And it is like a little dance. <laughs> it's getting your steps up at the same I time. Know, right? Brilliant. Now I'm win, just win. gonna realign that one. There we go. So then what you have, I keep not doing that one, that's just on an angle where I'm just not, I think I also need a new blade, that would have helped, wouldn't it? So, <coughs> uh, but, 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 where do we just put them, here we go. So now what you can start to do is pop them. Again, so they're exactly, perfectly positioned again. They are. They're absolutely they're all done with the same. perfect. Yeah. 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 Um, and so you can just you build up. How how much time is that going to save? And when well, you're doing because you're doing quite a few at a time. Is it four at a time you can cut on there? Yeah. Well. Yeah. Uh, yeah one, two, three, four, maybe, five. Yeah, actually, five. Five, yeah, yeah. five. Five as we go along. Um, and so that is. And again, I could have doubled that up. Yeah. Of course. So speed. Mm -hmm. Time it up. So then all you're going to do is put right sides together like that. Quarter of an inch seam allowance. Take it to your mat. Always put your iron just over your stitches. Just it just beds them in. Oh right. And then okay. nice. Yeah. Press away. Hey, you'd have been impressed. Last night, I did my very first sewing with a sewing machine. Did you? I did. I hey, did. Get you. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so so I, I enjoyed that. It was oh, all perfect. straight. It was all. I mean, it went a but, bit wonky, but. But this is it. All I've done there is sew a straight yeah. stitch. Yeah. No. That's all I've done is that. Um, and so then, you know, you can start doing this in pairs and then build up. But you see, that it, it's it's perfect. So as I flip that onto there, what you'll notice is that. Um, when I take this to my sewing machine, there's like a, when where that is going to meet, that's going to be about a quarter of an inch. So I've just left a little bit overhanging, okay. just just to allow so that when it's nice and straight, you can just see a little bit of of what we call a dog ear poking up there, because when that was put on there, you can see that oh, was I just. See. Yeah. But you can see that down here, where those two meet, that's where my stitches have come off. Right. There. So that's all you just want to be aware of when you're taking it to your machine, and uh, and then you're good to go. And I I tend to sew. You can. Some people will tell you to sew with a scant quarter of an inch. Now a scant quarter of an inch basically means like a thread less right, than okay. a quarter of an inch. But because I use um, a felt and wool pressing mat, and because I've used my flatter spray. I get such flat seams. Right, right. Doesn't matter. Yeah. It, uh, but you know, just sometimes in the instructions it will say, you know, stitch with a a scant. So that's all that means if it if it tell, if it's lovely. telling you to do that. Lovely, lovely. Well, that's the uh, things are making sense, aren't they? They're making sense. So if you'd like to go for this one, of course, uh, this is your four and a half inch, the double strip tumbler ruler here. Now it's under twenty pounds. It's only nineteen ninety four zero four seven zero eight zero is what you're looking at. Don't forget, as you said, you do get the instructions with it. You get the QR code also uh, that you can um, just click on that with your phone, of course, and that will take you through to a video again to give you more instructions. Always good to have that knowledge, isn't it? That's there, like Natasha said. You know, sometimes you won't get a chance to use it straight away. Great. A reminder great if you're not using it for a little while and you go back to it it's always there so do not throw away those instructions that will come with that zero four seven zero eight zero uh, is what you are looking at um, for that particular one so yeah and that was what a sexy start to the morning already uh, we've also got the two and a half inch for you uh, as well which we've got uh, right here in front of me so again um, the same principle for the two and a half and the four and a half exactly the same principle absolutely the same it's just going to be a smaller a smaller block, that's all. It just means more sewing to get a bigger quilt. Right, that's oh, all. right, there we are. Uh, 
22.94 for the two and a half inch on the double strip tumbler ruler. 369515. Again, you will have instructions that come with that. Again, also with your QR code uh, to take you through to a video for you as well. Uh, now, also, we've got the stripolo stripology. 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 Ooh. Absolutely. Stripology. Like yep, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I will, there we are. I will show you that in just a second. Did you want to see this as a double strip ruler? Do we want to see that as a double strip ruler? Or do you but want to go on to the God, well, Listen, when you I put mean, it like that, I, who doesn't? <laughs> I'm all over that. It's up to you. I feel like we've just shown half no, of what that ruler please, can do. No, don't, please, don't leave me hanging on. So, well, <laughs> you know, the whole reason that you have got this built-in strip ruler in oh, here, right, which is yes. why it's called the double strip. So first, first thing that we showed you is to use a four and a half inch strip, which we cut with our our, our Spanx ruler, you know, our, yeah. our, 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 our everyday ruler. Yeah. Now, what you can see here is that this ruler here, up to that marker there, um, is two and a half inches. It's got all my measurements here. See, two and a half inches there. So if I line that up again, we've got all of that inbuilt grip, so that's not going to go anywhere. I'll just trim that back. That gives me a two and a half inch strip. Two and a half inch strips in quilting are used everywhere. In fact, you can buy entire rolls of like 40 say, or 42 one... strips of two and a half inch strips yeah. because people are too scared to cut their own right, because they right. don't think they're going to get it accurate. They don't think they're going to get, you know, all of those things that we worry about. We don't want to waste our fabric. And no, you know no, what? No, you're going to be able to cut it yourself. Those sort of uh, two and a half inch strips that we've had them on as rolls, etc., yep. on the show, they always fly out as well. They is, do. Is that the reason why a lot of people don't trust themselves to cut them perfectly? Two reasons. Okay. Firstly, people are scared to cut. I'm going to show you. It's you know, with these rulers, it's just not a problem. It becomes a pleasure, not a chore. And the other thing is, is that with a design strip bundle jelly roll, whatever you want to call it, it's got different names. Um, you're getting the full collection now often you know budgets don't allow for you to buy right. um, a selection from 20 different fabrics right yeah, yeah so yeah. for you to get two strip two strips of 20 different oh, fabrics it allows you to get a, a smorgasbord oh, nice. of, of that whole collection so that's another reason right. that people would that makes do sense, it, doesn't but it? When I first started working with these rulers, the Stripology ruler was actually the first one that I got, um, closely followed by the six and a half by twenty-four and a half inch ruler. But the Stripology was um, was my was my one because I just I wanted to use up all my scraps. Right. And so what it allowed me to do was to create my own design rolls, jelly rolls, whatever you want to call them, out of fabric I already had. Because like it or not, as soon as a manufacturer has to do some cutting for you or has to action something on your fabric, you've got to pay for that. You know, that, yeah. it, because they're not, yeah. do, they're not a charity. They're no, not no, doing it for, not. for nothing. Not. So you will pay extra. You'll pay a premium for pre-cut fabric. You just will. That's just how the world works. Yeah. They've had they've had to do it, so you know you pay for that service. That's fair yeah. enough. Uh, well, it's the same with anything, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, anything that has to be sort of cut down and changed and done. If, if someone's put work into doing that, yeah, um, on the yeah, yeah. And, and you haven't had to, which is another reason why pre-cuts are erased because you can just crack on straight away. Yeah. But if you could, out of your own fabrics with your own colours and mix through with your own planes create your own fabric strips that's what you're going to do and that's what you're going to do with these rulers so already out of a fat quarter of fabric i've i've cut two and a half inch strips i'm just sewing them with a quarter of an inch seam down here um, and that is going to give me that is going to give me um, a strip like we just had okay so again i'm just setting that seam that just puts the the um the thread just into my fabric and then i can go in with my iron and just knock it off to one side there okay so i've then got a center seam and gorgeous fabrics so now this time when i bring my ruler to it what i'm going to do Instead of just lining up this baseline along there, this here, I'm going to put on my seam line. So I've got an extra point of reference okay. for making sure that that's going to work. Now I'm just going to move this at an angle so that I can sort of cheat and, and cut it um, in one, 
one go okay so I'm not going to worry too much what's going on up there I'm just going to make sure that this seam line yeah. is hitting this point all the way along right because when I then sew those together that's the bit that I want to be continuous everything else you can sort of stretch a bit pull a bit do whatever right but actually as it is it's sitting it's sitting quite nicely and behaving itself now here it is <laughs> I know right if I can just find the tools then that would be great I'd like to I'd like to think that I was being as well behaved well actually the... you are very well behaved yeah. what's the matter well are you we've okay? got, I don't Pete's wordy we have got two more shows together today so oh I see you know just gonna lull you in. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can feel that. Um, right. So again, this is this is just me not not wanting to move it around too much because I would normally do this on a rotating cutting mat. Um, there we go. So then, of course, what you have instead is that. Let me get these around the right way. Here we go. And this is what you'll start to get. Right. Perfectly lined up with it. Yeah. You know they they really are, and it's it's very very beautiful when it yeah. when it all comes together. And so there they go. Do 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 do. <laughs> now, I, yeah, it is a bit of a jigsaw when you have to when you start going for it, but it will. That, uh, why can't I get that way? For a four-piece jigsaw puzzle, you, it's, it is early. It <laughs> is early. <laughs> do you know what? Um, <laughs> what? There we go. There <laughs> we go. There we are. So and so you just you can build it up alternatively. Or if you want to, you can you can mix it through. You could always put some of those in if you want to, mm -hmm. and mix it through however you wish. You Love know, it. it's up to you. But you can then start to create whatever you want, however you want. And of course, then as you can see on the ruler, because this is the other thing that you've got with this, you've always got a reference on your ruler as well, just in case you lose your instructions, which right. I told you to always right. hang on to. You've got the QR code there, but you've also got a quick glance at what this ruler will actually do. So you've got a full tumbler, a half tumbler, and then your quarter tumblers there, oh, yeah. which is just going to be using smaller strips. Love it. Oh, right. It's actually a brilliant tool, isn't it's it? Really it's really, really, yeah, good, yeah, yeah. really good tool. It's uh, really good. They are brand new on the show for you right now. That's the four and a half inch that you've got there for you. That's 047080. Uh, that's 1994. That's a four and a half. Now, if you want a smaller block to work with, you'll need the two and a half inch that we've also got for you on the show. Again, all of these are on the website, of course, on thecraftstore.com. Uh, if you want to go for the two and a half strip, that is 2294. Exactly the same principles apply. Three six nine five one five. Uh, we have got the longer ruler that's also available for you if you wanted to. This has been very busy. We showed at the very top of the hour. If we're just waking up for us, oh, you snooze, you lose. Don't miss out. But it is still available. Three two five four two zero six and a half inch by your twenty four and a half inch ruler. It really is the bedrock of all of your cutting and absolutely perfect. And it is that non slip. It's got that perfect grip on there for you. Uh, twenty three ninety five. Um, now we've had an email come through from Margaret how the stripology works ah, uh -huh, yes, yeah. yes, that was yes. my kind of question as well Margaret <laughs> I'll be honest uh, love it um, I, I have championed the stripology rulers uh, since I first discovered creative grids and there's there's a group of us that call that that are known as Natasha's strippers uh, oh. because uh, because we've yeah uh, because I've got them into uh, cutting strips I was going to say stripping that's not quite no, where we're at yeah. again this morning do you get a lot of you know, <sighs> you know comments about that yes Bookings. yes yes well in fact <laughs> uh, the funny thing is is that they all want a badge now and it's oh, like yeah, yeah 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 right, okay. because I've demonstrated this uh, like the, the big quilt fairs and stuff like that uh, yeah and you know on the big stages and what have you and um, yeah so Natasha's strippers is a thing and we just yeah. thought what would you do for an enamel badge for that and we just thought just a hat <laughs> So your oh, stripology rulers come in three different sizes. We've got the smallest one on the show for you today. Now, stripology rulers um, are fabulous because you can't miscut. Oh. <laughs> you, you can't. It just, it's not a thing. Um, because what you've got are these grooves. So you've got like a teardrop at the end. That's where you put your blade in. 
And then when you when you you that you can then oh, only I go see. forward. <laughs> There's nowhere yeah, else no, for you to go. This is my kind of yeah, ruler. Yeah, yeah. And this is where I started. I right. started with a stripology ruler because right. I was the worst cutter in the world. And so stripology rulers, they gave me that confidence. Now this is a tiny one. Um, they go up to this size, which we haven't got on the show today, um, and they've been quite hard to get hold of. But this is this is your biggest size here. Wow. And so you've got 20 inches here, all at half inch increments. Oh, okay. And so you can get your half meter of fabric across there, and you can cut wow. your two and a half inch strips. And before you know, like we were saying, you've got a jelly roll cut. Yes. You've got yeah, a design yeah. strip cut. So this is the size that they go up to. We're starting with the mini one. Okay, so the mini one is great for smaller pieces of fabric. Now, what you have here is a star. And every time there's a star, that is a one and a half inch increment. Oh, okay. Right. Maths is not something that many of us really want to do, right? I'm very happy that I can leave that in the classroom. So, you know, I can get one and a half and then three, and then it's like, oh, then three, three, four, four and a half. But instead of having yes. to count, I just cut everywhere there is a star. Got you. Now, on the bigger rulers, which you're going to be cutting your big strips with, you also have a, a square, which denotes every two and a half inches. Oh, right, so okay. then you can just... Yep. Tch, 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 tch. Um, but on these, these are for your smaller projects, okay? So if we'd have been prepping, um, say, for, for the, the strip that we've just been doing, um, and we wanted to do the... Um, we didn't have that necessarily with us. We wanted to do, maybe we want to cut our binding or make, you know, whatever it is that means that you need a smaller, a smaller cut. I'm going to cut every time I see a star. So I'm just pushing down. You've got that inbuilt grip all the way along. Yeah. Then three is where my next star is. Four and a half is where my next star is. Six is where my next star is. And what I now have. Oh, simple. A one and a half inch strips, which are perfect for creating your own binding, um, all sorts of different things. Uh, they're really lovely once you get into doing um, things like log cabins, uh, right, all yeah. that sort of thing. So, but again, it's at half inch increments, so I could have done any sort of size I wanted. But there they are, perfectly cut perfect. because I can't not cut no, perfectly. No, exactly. It just, it's just not a thing. Now maybe and it feels I'm, almost like an extra safety feature in there as well because it's not going to come <clears> out. It's once it's in that groove, yeah. pretty much, it's uh, yeah. not going to come off the edge. And once you get used to to cutting like this, it's like okay, no, this this is this is really good. This mm. is going to work. I'm just going to give those a press and then I'm going to show you because I've brought to wear before and a lot of you have bought something called. Um, Quilter's grid, which is uh, an adhesive grid with um, with an inch grid marked on it. But it's adhesive so that when you're working with small squares, yeah. you you know, it's not a bother. You you know that you don't have to sew them really, really accurately. You just you just adhere them onto the grid and, uh, and then you can just fold the grid and stitch along there, which means that actually doing tiny, tiny, tiny patchwork is suddenly a thing that is easy to do. Right. So then, again, always start at zero so that you are just trimming off those ends. I'm going every time there's a star. And suddenly what I've got are lots of inch and a half ah, right, squares, yes. Okay, which I can then go on and use. Now, if I had to cut those with a normal ruler, oh, yeah. yes, it can be done. Of course, all these things can be done. But it's not going to be done as easily or as absolutely accurately yeah, as exactly. we've just done there. No, you no. know, you, you just, you're just not going to manage it. And the other thing about this ruler is if I've got a square that I need to trim back, what I also have on here, let's bring this paper back here. So again, all of these rulers have multiple uses. Mm. So you'll see here all of these squares. Now what that's showing me is how I can trim back my square. Now you know we, we spoke earlier about using a flatter spray or a, um, yeah. a, a starch spray to, to stop your fabric from moving. Mm. As soon as you cut on a bias, invariably there can be some movement. Right. So if I, if I cut, for example, um, 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 um. 
and it's just let's oh, actually here we go let's do this with some liberty shall we oh that's posh well you know why not i treat you scott you know you, yeah you i know scott. i know uh right how big are these squares let's have a look that's four and a half inch square right okay so let's cut this then uh, let's cut off a nice four and a half inch square. So again, if you've got strips, then it's just very easy to then just cut them back. So there I've got my four and a half inch square. Um, and if I want to do this as a half square triangle or something like that, then I would just mark that down the middle and then just sew a quarter of an inch each side haven't quite got the right foot on for doing this, but we'll do it anyway. Maverick. And I only need one, so I will then, and this is the other thing, I mean, use this to then cut down your half square triangles. Makes it nice and easy. Let me ah, just press that away. Oh, wow, that was quick. Yeah. Would have helped if I'd actually sewn the fabric right sides together, but never mind, it's got more contrast now. But you can see that's slightly, yeah. slightly yeah. squiffy, right? Yeah. So what I will do is pop this on here. And I don't know if you can see, there's a white line there, which is my 45 degree line. So if I place that on my 45 degree line there, then what I can instantly do is square up. And it just takes off those, spin it around again. This time, look, I'm going to be using this diagonal going that way. And I can place that over my square there. Uh, just trim it off. And now here's the thing, right? I haven't trimmed off a lot. I've trimmed off that. Right, yeah. But I now have a perfectly cut yeah. four inch square. Whereas if I'd left these on, that is what? An eighth, an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch. Okay. But that over time. Exactly. That builds up multiples that, of that. Yeah, multiples <laughs> of that. And suddenly you've got a quilt that's going all over the place. Yeah, yeah. So what these rulers are doing for you is giving you accuracy like you're just yeah. not going to get. And it's just fantastic. So you can trim back. You can also use this to fussy cut. So if we have, if we have, if we have, for example, a beautiful fabric like this. Okay. Let's give that a quick press again. Um, And it might have a feature in it, or maybe you're using something that's got, you know, so like some K facet fabrics and it's got, you know, a real focal big yeah, print okay. or something. Yeah. And you want that to be, um, you want that to be the focus of whatever it is that you're doing. Then here's the thing. So this has got um, lovely, lovely, lovely um, items on here. Mm. Now, say I want this to be a, uh, well, let's, let's have a look at this one here. This would be a six inch square. All right. And I know I've got my my black marks all around there showing me my six inch square. But what I've also got are these marks going through. So if I want to fussy cut and have this as the focal point. Yeah. Yeah. Then all I'm going to do. You can say absolute position. Is perfectly. this is my center point. Yeah. This is my center point here. And I'm going to have a look at how I want to square that up. So that no oh, matter yeah, which way I'm looking at it, and I know that I've got my three and a half inch there, my three and a half inch there. So can I just center that? So, you know, how do I want that to look? And when I'm happy, I can cut. And again, I'm going to keep that middle point there. Like, yep, yeah, that's going to frame everything nicely. Yeah. Just double check. Maybe I want to move that up a bit so I get, you know, maybe I want to move it up so that I get more of the tree in. But I can see, yeah, it's really visual for go. me to see how when I fussy cut, and this is what we mean by fussy cutting. So now 
what my square has is this perfectly positioned. beautifully positioned yeah and you know and it's just and if you want to double check when you're when you're positioning it you've got as well your quarter of an inch markers on there oh, so okay. if i'd have wanted if i'd have been worried <laughs> down here say i, I want to make sure that i get all of this in and with a quarter of an inch seam allowance yeah. i don't want to knock off a bit of that base right i got you then i'm just going to make sure that that line that quarter of an inch line there doesn't have any vital bit of that pattern got you so that's it brilliant. just gives you a visual aid and yeah. that's what this is so good at trimming back your blocks fussy cutting it's such a handy little one to have you know and especially if you're working with smaller pieces of fabric or fat quarters like that you can still trim your two and a half inch your one and a half inch your inch strips yeah yeah really really easily i mean how often do we have fat quarter bundles oh yeah you know and this works beautifully with those it's just uh, fantastic Absolutely. But it sounds vital, to be quite honest with you. And again, if you do want to make sure that, you know, if you have been finding that you, your measurements haven't been quite right at the time or your finished product isn't quite what you expect it to be, maybe it's more about the measurement at the beginning rather than anything else there. This is going to help you, isn't it? It's going to help you for all of those aspects we talked about. 434-515. It's only 37.95. If you want to go for the non-slip, again, uh, the Stripology Square, that's the mini ruler that we've got for you right now. 434 Five. Got another really want to share with you as well in a second, but before that, very quickly, we've got the launch of the book of the month that is now re released this morning, today. Uh, if you'd like to go for that one, it's absolutely perfect. It's your Punch Needle Friends book uh, by uh, Faustine. Oh, hang on. Uh, Dewey Quet. Do I get that? Don't look at me. I have and no Kathy idea. Dewey <laughs> Quet. And you know, sometimes when you go, I should have just gone, it's a book at 10.99. Uh, it's it's right, and Kathy. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. the one. Yes. That. Fusting Fusting and Kathy. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Two pounds saving on there for you right now for the book of the month. <laughs> Punch Needle Friends, 881735. That's going to be available for, um, yeah, a full month. Um, do grab that one whilst you can. Uh, the Carnaby Street Fabric. Two thirds of the stock has gone. If you're just waking up to join us as well, if you want to go for that, do take advantage. It is um, one of those that when it's gone, it's gone. It's 11 piece. We just talked about the fat quarters there. Uh, if you want to go for this one, it's the beautiful Liberty uh, Carnaby Street, 11 piece in total. It is available on Flexi as well. Two payments of £22.50. 959 Four two seven. Uh, do grab that. Uh, oh, look at the little crab there. They're coming up later on. They're little teas. They're coming up at ten o'clock. Uh, we've got we've got crabs and all sorts. Um, that's all I can say. And that even that sounded weird. Um, right. Um, we have got what I like to call in the trade a wavy ruler. I'm not sure if that's a technical term. Yeah. Yeah, let's go it with says that. On the packet, yeah. Let's go with that one. It's the two-inch wavy border ruler with the four-inch repeat. Translate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will when you pass that to me, <laughs> and I can show you how it works. Uh, the details: eight six four two one two. It's twenty three ninety five uh, for said uh, non-slip uh, the ruler with the four-inch repeat. Eight six four two one two. Right, let's have a look at this one then. So this is your, this is great for borders. We've got a couple of wavy rulers. Oh, just as an aside, you see all of this fabric here? Yeah. This is what I had left over from my fat quarters from making that quilt. Oh, really? It's the yeah, size yeah, yeah, there? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, there's, you could double the size. I thought it was a separate bundle, quilt. yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> wow. No, you could double the size of that quilt easily with that fabric bundle. Right, okay. That's Brilliant. a lovely lap, lap black quilt yes but you could make two you could make it you could make it double that double size up. just just as a just as a, a an aside for you to to get an idea of, of the sizings right right now this ruler here again you've got strips that you can cut so if you just want to cut your strips then that's great but what you've also got here is your wave now it might be that you have got um, a border and you just want to. Now, I would probably go with a slightly smaller rotary cutter, just makes curves a little bit easier. But what you have is your ability to go round these curves. So you can finish off your quilt with and you see look you can even go round mm -hmm. this top bit so that would be the top of your quilt and 
And so you would have nice. your quilt there and you'd have a lovely nice, yeah. wavy effect mm -hmm. as it goes. Now, maybe you just want to have strips like that. Maybe you want that's going to be so you can either then use that part to just give a straight a straight and then so on in straight lines after that right or if you flip it around then you can either offset your waves or do have your waves so that they are absolutely curving at exactly the same point there and around it comes so you can line it up here line it up there and then you can create you can make waves oh nice but again there's a nice ease to it isn't there there is there is there is absolutely um and so you know you could you could do that now if i just trim off that top part there Then, of course, the other thing that you could do is you could ah. create an entire oh, nice. wavy quilt. Yeah, lovely. Should you wish. Mm. And it is, you know, it, it, is, it is super simple to do. Um, as you can see on the ruler here, you can do an entire quilt just of waves. Right, right. Now, That's nice, that. yeah, it, it is. It, it's lovely. And you so you would do it in increments, 15 and a half uh, or oh, no, 16 inch increments. So you, you can cut your if you want to do a wave like that all the way along your fabric. Right, right. Then cut it into 16 inch pieces. Yeah. Or anything up to 16 inch pieces. And you can you can cut that wave. But then also, you know, the other thing that you can do now, I'm not sure that I cut this right at the halfway point. But let's have a look. It is marked on there, by the way, your halfway point, um, in case you want to so quick that. Yeah. Because I, there's no reason why you can't just keep just that well, wave keep going. It going and yeah. Continue it. Yeah, yeah. Because what you have here is your centre curve line. Right. So you know where that centre curve line, and if you're doing a quarter of an inch, you'd cut, you'd you'd do, you'd line it up to a quarter of an inch past that centre curve. Oh, I so see. So that yeah. when you then attach your other curve to it, and you you Continue. sew, yeah, you're sewing on there, and that's your quarter Got of an you. inch seam. Got you. So you can you can then create that ongoing if you want to do one great long wave. Ah, lovely. Then you can just keep that going all the way along your quilt, which is how you could make a massive, massive quilt like that. But you know, it's it's such a lovely one to mm. use. And then on your end strip, you see, if you wanted to just have then a straight straight bit at the end, you can have it. Nice. You see that, and they slot in yes. like that. Yeah, um, got you. and it's just, it's just really, they're really, really lovely. Very nice, very nice. Uh, if you would like to go for this, uh, it's is twenty three ninety five eight six four two one two. That's for the two inch wavy border ruler with the four inch repeat eight six four two one two uh, twenty three ninety five. We've also got one other of our wavy uh, borders uh, with the. Um, I think this is. This is the, oh, there we go, that was the Wave Quilt Ruler. This is the 12-inch that we've got here. This is 2395. It's available. It's on the website. 645527 uh, that we have for you there, if you'd like to go for that one. For uh, anyone yeah. that bought my pattern for the Everlasting Bouquet, Oh, right. That is how I created the wavy border. With the single? With, with, the, the, with, the, with that curve ruler there the curve with ruler. that one yeah, oh, yeah. right. Oh, fab, okay. fab ruler 
it's really lovely and you can just get a gentle wave or it, it's very very versatile i'll happily show you have we got time to show that as well or not love that we're sorry have we got are we running out of time? oh my goodness i've, I've, I've got time. 50 seconds oh I know, this no yeah, it's, it's a busy busy time uh, very quickly the square rulers that we have for you as well we've got two sizes we've got the 12 and a half by the 12 and a half for you that is available that's 157064 that's 21 pounds and 95 pence for the large if you want to go for the six and a half by the six and a half, uh, that's available for you. And the details for that are four six five double five three. That's only fourteen forty nine. Such useful. Uh, everything else is all there available on the website for you. Um, I'm down to ten seconds, Natasha. But thank you so much for your insights for all of that. Uh, we're back together again at ten o'clock. I do believe. We again. yes, we, we have are. got felt felt Lots toys galore. Creatures. See you then. I will see you in a moment, though, because I'm going to be going over now and joining Paul now for a one-day special. Uh, Indigo Blue is coming up after that, and then I'm back with Natasha. We've got a lovely morning lined up for you. We'll see you very soon. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque. And we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. On the Dreamies shows, we hope to further inspire you with all the techniques and tips that we can offer, hopefully getting you to use all of your inks, your flower making techniques, and really build on all the skills you probably already have. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Jean and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. Well, hello and a very good morning if you are just waking up to us here on the craft store. Um, and we are here with our first live show of the day with Clarity Stamp and our one day special. And I had the real uh, pleasure yesterday of being with Paul uh, for the launch of this. And it seems that a lot of people love it. It's a subject matter that seems very, very close to people's heart. Maybe already this morning you are halfway through preparing your first brew of the day. Maybe you're on your second. Maybe you're on your first. Fourth, who knows? Speaking of fourth cup for coffee, Paul, morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone likes their morning routines, don't they? Absolutely. And coffee is normally included in that. Yeah, coffee for me all day long. 
Oh, yes, yeah, I like go. that. I like that. Um, I start off with a coffee, and sometimes a bit later on, there'll be a cup of tea popped in there. But for me, it's a coffee today. I don't know what your tipple is uh, when you start your day, whether it's a tea or coffee. Have you got your favourite mug? Do you always like your tea from a pot, for example? Um, there is something that's quintessentially part of our daily routine, isn't it? A cup of tea or a cup of coffee that's in there. And what we've got here with Linda Williams' collection is absolutely on point with everything, we've got certain different ways of having a cup of tea, different types yep. of coffee you can have, different styles of mugs and coffee pots, etc. What a lovely collection she's created. It is. Um, we launched this back in March in the Groovy. Right. And um, it went absolutely mad. And people afterwards said, oh, these would be fantastic in stamps yeah. and, and everything else. So, as usual, we listen. Great. And the lovely Lisa in the office, she worked her magic. She sort of re design them right not redesign them but resize them of course yeah um, so you've got the option of the one day special you're getting both the tea and the coffee collection perfect but if you think oh I'm, I'm just a tea person or I'm only a coffee person then we've broken it down as well so you've got the tea option and the coffee option as well which which is great and actually it's great on the purse if you are on a budget for those for example then choosing the one that's more specific to you is absolutely brilliant I will tell you uh, if you would like to choose which one you want to go for the tea or the coffee you will be getting uh, your uh, your stamps plus your masks that are in there. You'll be getting the papers, the beautiful papers. I'm going to go through all these in the detail in a second. You get lovely papers with them. You'll be getting some postcards included in also. And you'll also be getting your handmade paper flowers. Uh, that's going to be regardless whether you go for tea or the coffee. Uh, slightly different papers from the tea to the coffee, which I'll explain as well, and different colours on the handmade little paper flowers also, but ultimately you will be getting one or the other. Um, when we break that down with everything you're going to get, you'll see um, is a fantastic offer, but I will just point out that the price point on those, whether it's tea or coffee you choose from, is £44.93. That does come if you go for the tea, £14 saving. If you're going to go for the coffee, a £14 saving. Both on the same item code, 780966, if you want to go for one or the other. Now, the reason why I I'll say I'm going to come on to give you more detail is because when we launched yesterday, the one-day special is everything. All of the stamps from the tea and all of the stamps from the coffee, all of the masks from both, both lots of papers, both lots of the florals you're going to be finding in there, all of the masks that come with that, plus you're also going to be getting your beautiful envelopes and card blanks, plus also the white uh, pencil that's also included. Now that doesn't come with either just the coffee or just the tea, it's only included in the complete collection. The complete collection item code that you're going to need is 112835. And the great thing is, we are going to continue with bringing that £14 saving over from the tea, the £14 saving over from the coffee, plus a further £12 saving. So you can see why a lot of people will go in for the complete collection. And if you're a Freedom member, we give you an extra uh, amount off as well. It brings it right the way down to £80.15, pence because there's another £8.90 that gets reduced off of that for you. So in fact... Overall, for the complete collection on Freedom, it's actually a £48.90 saving. Lots of facts and figures thrown at you. I do understand it's first thing in the morning, you're bombarded. It's easier to be bombarded than it is to say it in some ways, I can tell you. <laughs> but the savings are brilliant. They are absolutely fantastic. And I think that's one of the also reasons, Paul, yesterday, that everyone's thought there's so much included in these bundles. Uh, Absolutely. I mean, if you break day. it down, if you want to be sort of really pernickety and break it down to the individual items, there's 362 elements That's in total. That's brilliant. From the 99 stamps, you've got 174 of the paper flowers and leaves, <laughs> you've got 20 of the postcards, yeah. you've got 20 sheets of the paper, you've got 20 car blanks, 20 envelopes, you've got the pencil. It just goes, it's one of those yeah. ones that keeps giving. Yeah. And yeah. what it means is that when you get it home, all you need is an ink pad and some mounts. Yeah, that's and true. You can get going that's straight true. away. Yeah, there, there, honestly, there, there is so much in here. You're looking at some of the stamps in here because it's also got some beautiful sentiments in there. A nice, fun, a typical kind of English side of comment that we look at, you know, and some of these. Uh, and if you're a big fan of cake and cake stands with all those lovely, you're going to love this as well because we've got all of that, as you can see. Stay calm, drink tea and eat 
cake. Uh, and the other thing also we noticed when I was looking through these yesterday with you, Paul, is that they've got some lovely elements that are lovely for corners, little little details that you can really finish off a card or a project Absolutely. you're working with. So again, what Lisa's done, she's taken the designs from the groovy plates and she just split them up into sort of like the individual stamp elements. So again, when we look at them, you can see, I mean, these are great if you love sort of like you're cutting out. Yeah. I mean, back in the day when I very first started crafting many, many moons ago, I was into decoupage. Oh, right, okay. So these yep. would be fantastic because you've got those details on there so you can add dimension to your cards nice. as well. Nice, And it's sort of like that fussy cutting on some of yeah. it. And for the, during the first hour, we're going to do some paper piecing. I love uh, they are they are so so nice. And while we're on this one, this is one of the stamps that we're going to be getting. You got the beautiful stacked up um, little teacups there. I forgot to mention you're also going to be getting ten postcards uh, that come with either the tea and also another further ten postcards that come with the coffee. Now, I just want to show you though the postcards are of that stacked up teacups, but as you can see, much much bigger uh, sort of uh, uh, size of scale that you are looking at. So you're going to be getting ten. They are blank. Uh, that's one that's been coloured in. But you are going to be getting of the postcards themselves. Uh, there's the stacks there, and they are actual postcards. Which you were saying, great idea to send those through and have somebody else to colour through Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. You could send it to a friend and say like, you could sort of get them to colour it in, or you can colour it in yourself and, as you say, send it as a postcard or use it as a topper on a card. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. They really are. Uh, one of the things I was showing on there as well is, and I think you were, you've seen them on the stamps themselves, mentioned it's a, a great way of using these as well, is you've got all the different types of tea, peppermint tea, green tea that's in there, white tea, black tea that you're going to be having, you've got your mint, your choy if you were going for those, and you get exactly the same again with regards to the coffees. Uh, if you want to go flat white, are you decaf cappuccino, are you Irish coffee, uh, who knows? Um, but you showed some lovely ways yesterday of even just using those for great backgrounds even. Absolutely, well. yeah. So during the 8 o'clock show, I just left them on the carrier sheet ink them up and just pop them onto uh, a background. Yeah. No, they are. They, they work so, so nicely. There's some beautiful, beautiful images. Uh, great for working. And the other thing I learned from uh, watching Paul yesterday is they're lovely if you like your colouring in. They're great. But there's something also about these, even the black and white print that works with it. Again, they, they are, because they're so prettily done. They're really they nicely are, I done. I think they have that sort of um, delicate elegance to them. Yeah. Um, and as I said to you last night, it, it reminded me of sort of like miniature dolls' houses. Yeah, because when is. you see these miniature dolls' houses, you've got the beautiful, very traditional tea and coffee style. Yeah. Um, or whether it be the country kitchen, or you can go funky, you can go fresh, you can go modern, you can go traditional. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're very, and it's very hard to find a stamp that will cover the various different genres All of, those. of the um, of the stamping. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. And uh, another another massive part of this bundle for the one day special, of course, are some lovely papers. We've got the favourites, Barbara's favourites uh, in here. That's um, right. So with the tea, you're going to get the beautiful Indian summer. So you've got um, ten sheets. You've got two different designs. So you're going to get five of each. They're, they are gorgeous. That's the Indian summer. And if you were going for the coffee, and don't forget, if you go for the complete collection, you're going to be getting everything you get within both sets. So you're going to end up with twenty, of course, uh, sheets in total. These are I love. I do love these. And this is the Toscana collection. So again, you've got the different sort of colour elements to them. So even though that one that we're looking at to your nearest to you, Scott, yeah. you've got that beautiful landscape in there. But if you turn it in different directions, you can just use it in different ways. It sort of changes the look. And we're going to use that in a demo during this hour. Oh, are we? Oh, yeah. lovely. Oh, fantastic. Well, there, there is, honestly, there's so much inspiration on these. I've got huge amounts, actually, of samples to show. But I think we've actually got some inspiration that we can share with you um, and to, to have a little look as well in a moment or two as well. I'll give you a quick update, though. If you're going for the complete collection, the one-day special, half the stock has now been allocated. Half has gone. This is the first live hour of three uh, with Paul throughout the day, of course. So uh, that stock is only going to go down. And I also want to point out that everything you see as the one-day special itself, as the collection as it stands, is it once it's gone, it's gone, with everything that you can see within it is, uh, as it stands right now. So half the stock's gone already. And when it's gone, it is gone. Um, have a little look, though. We're going to share with you some great ways you can work the tea and the coffee together and how that could come together. Some beautiful samples. Have a little look at these. <laughs>
I was just thinking, when you look at those images with a, with a pot of tea and all the different uh, types of coffee that's available, it's the perfect show to have in the morning, isn't it, one for people to wake well, up to? any time of the day, you've got tea, coffee, cakes and crafting. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's you can't a perfect, go wrong, really. You can't it's a go wrong. fantastic combination. Perfect combo. It's perfect combo. Uh, right then, so how, what are we going to be looking at then? Because if you wanted to catch some up on Rewind to see some of the techniques that Paul put on yesterday, then please do. Uh, some lovely things as well, you'll find. Um, also on the website for yourselves as well. Wow. Absolutely. Um, so for, what we do is just have a recap on what we covered in the 6 o'clock and the 8 o'clock. So people think, oh, how was that done? They can watch it again on Love Rewind. That. Great. So this is what we looked at during the um, 6 o'clock show last night. And this is where the benefits of the masks really do come yeah. into play because of the positioning and building up your, um, your tea collection or your coffee collection. So I took my inspiration from a card made by Julie and I've changed it by using the papers that you're going to get in the one day special. So just changing the colours will give it a different look. Yeah. Okay, so that was during the six o'clock show. I loved, I loved your comment that you said there yesterday and I think it was mentioned by a producer at the time as well, is that tip that you said choosing the paper that you're working with to start with Yes. and to draw out those colours, and it, it, it sort of gives you that perfect blend that, you, you know, that's uh, without thinking because, what's the clash. I mean, we, I experienced that when we started um, working with the Groovy system. Yeah, right. We'd spend a lot of time creating the design, colouring it all in, yeah. and then we struggled to find a, a beautiful background to go with it. And so Barbara had all these stashes of sort of jelly print offcuts and oh, all this sort of thing. And then she would use them, and then people say, oh, where'd you get that paper? So that's where the uh, design of paper range right. came from. Oh, got you. Um, so you've got the beautiful Toscana, um, Antarctica, Northern Lights, Indian Summer, and they're all available as a pick and mix option. They're beautiful. They're and beautiful so that really, for me now, if I'm going to work with something, it's the backgrounds I choose first, and then pick out those colours from that. Which is why it always looks like a perfect blend. I love that. Okay. So we looked at those in the six yeah. o'clock last night, and then this was a fantastic idea that um, Barbara came up with. <laughs> so this is using our tag dies that we've got on the show, which is a pick and mix option. And basically, you're just sending a little gift of something. So in this one, look, we've popped a little tea bag in there. <laughs> and then this one has got, has this one got the coffee in? No, that one's got a tea bag in there. That's the, got the coffee one. That one's got the coffee. Yes. I can smell that. It smells <laughs> lovely. Okay. <laughs> So again, you could do a batch of these. So if you know somebody that loves like minty or Earl yeah, Grey lovely. or something like that, then you could do this in someone, um, the producer last night said it'd be a nice little hamper. Yeah, uh, yeah great addition. It's a great addition, That you could it? send to someone. So we looked at that in both the six o'clock and the eight o'clock shows last night. And then the other card we looked at during the eight o'clock show, very, oh, very simple. This. So again, even if you're not into your colouring in, I showed how you can stamp out your design, you mask it off with the mask that comes with the stamp, and then we used our beautiful backdrop stamp. So if I bring it round on to this camera here, maybe we can sort of see that in a little bit more detail. And again, it was the backing paper I went for first, and then chose the ink pads to bring out those colours. I love that. It's really nice, that. Okay. Yeah. So what we're going to have a look at now, this is a piece that the lovely Dee Paramore has created for me. And what she's done, she's done paper piecing. So again, if you like doing your cutting out, so she stamped out the background and then she stamped it again onto some Antarctica designer paper. Oh, I see. And then cut them out and stuck them on. Oh, I got you, right. So oh, again, you get that beautiful tone on tone That's nice. with the paper of the image and the background. That's really nice, that. Okay, so we're going to do a few little sort of tips and tricks on there. If you're new to stamping, I'll just give you a few sort of ideas that if you struggle with big stamps and stuff like Brilliant. that. Okay, so I, I, what I'll do, I'll start on a white piece of paper just to show, because this is the, um, the Mum's Kitchen, which is the biggest stamp in, out of all of the stamps in the whole collection. Right. Okay, and what we've been working with, we've been working with sort of smaller stamps, so they're quite easy to stamp yeah, out. Yeah. Okay, so you need a really good ink pad, okay? So again, you'll know your own ink pad. So I'm going to ink this up, and I just wanted to show you just a couple of things. I've just got a hard mat underneath, okay? So it's just our, um, our groovy mat underneath. So if I stamp this up, and I'm going to stamp just there, 
And if I don't put enough pressure on, I'm not going to get a very good image. Right. Okay. No, so you watch, this will be perfect now, but <laughs> there we go. Look. Oh, I've right, missed there we it. Go. Okay. I'd never so be so relieved to see a non perfect A non perfect stamp. <laughs> Okay, so again, a lot of people at home have those stamping platforms. Yes. So again, yep. you can use those. But uh, there's a couple of other things you can do. If I take my A4 groovy mat, on the reverse, it's sort of spongy. Right. Okay, so if I take this and I now ink up my stamp. So again, just make sure I'm using an archival, which is very fast drying as well. Okay, so and a bigger stamp, you just need to apply a little bit more pressure. So now, when I turn it over, because I'm now working on a spongier surface, right. I've got a little bit more give to it. Okay, so fingers crossed this one works now. <laughs> so I'm applying the pressure to the middle of the mount. And it I'm has using. a bit of give, I suppose, isn't it, with yeah. that now? Yeah. Okay, so right, fingers crossed. There we go. A nice crisp uh, image. Yes. Yeah, okay. big difference. But what we also do is because this is where sort of parchment sort of crosses over. We do our embossing mat excellent. Right. Which is a, when we're doing white work. Okay. So it's like a silicon mat, but again, it's got a little bit of give to it as well. Right. So right. you may find that if you've got a mat, like a mouse mat, so it could be a bit too spongy. Right. Okay. Ah, I see. So again, we'll ink up our stamp. So I'm pressing in the middle of the ink pad just to get a really nice coverage. Okay. And then, oops, there we go. So I can now pop that on there. And again, I'm applying the pressure and the pressure in the middle is sort of pushing the pressure out to the outer parts of the stamp. Okay. So it's just a few little tips and no, tricks, really. really that you do. Yeah. I mean, you could just take a stack of paper as well and pop that underneath right, what you're right. stamping on. There we go. Yeah, Not yeah, too I bad. That. I didn't put enough ink just there. But you can see how just by using a couple of different pieces of equipment, yeah. if you're working with larger stamps and you always struggle, then it's just a, a few little tips to be able to Useful. do that. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, thank okay. you, Paul. So what I'm going to do now, I'll pop that to one side. So I've taken one of the card blanks we've got on the show that comes as part of the one day special, and I've just cut it in half. So okay. again, just because it's a card blank doesn't mean you have to keep it. No, as no, a card as it blank. is. No, of course not. Okay. So I'm going to ink up my stamp again. Now with craft card, it's a little bit more absorbent than oh. sort of our white card blanks. It's a little bit more fibrous. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let's bring, I'm going to bring this into play underneath. Okay, so just ink it up nice and well. I mean, I, I'm using an archival. I could use a VersaFine, which is a little bit more juicy. But you'll know your own ink pads. Okay, and I'm going to stamp that just in the middle. So again, I'm just going to allow that ink to sink into the card. Right. Okay. Now, if it doesn't work, I've got one that I've already done. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know that it works. <laughs> but the beauty of live TV. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, you can lift it up because the, the ink and you could just press on the back oh, as well right, so it's another sort of technique so that you can then just push down as well okay so there oh, we've got nice. yeah lovely that image. that's sufficient for what i need okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the smaller stamps on that set so we've got a little corner and we've got a border okay so i'm going to ink up my little corners i'm just going to have a look at what d's done so we're just going to ink that up. See, it looks. Um, see, I think it looks lovely already on the craft card with with nothing else, even just just the image is nice. I mean, and I think that's been repeated in quite a few of the samples that we've got as well, Paul. That people have gone with the images directly onto the craft card. And they they look r quite quite earthy, quite organic feel about them as well. Even though they're quite right. prim teapots and things, there's a nice collaboration between the two. Yeah, I mean, we thought that the craft card would work really well because, as you say, it gives it that earthy tone with mm. sort of like the growing tea and growing coffee. Okay, so we put the four little corners in place. So again, you can see just taking those different elements yeah. from there as well. Okay, now this little border, I absolutely love this and I'm going to digress in a moment just to show you something that I was, I had a bit of a play this morning. Okay, 
So we're just going to position that, turn it round, let the work come to you. Okay. We're going round, just ink That's it up. Great. But you can see how quick it is to achieve something yeah. really effective. And we're going round again. And there's quite a there's quite a few like little corners, little elements, borders, lines that you are getting with them. You get 99 stamps, remember, um, right. and so it's a, it's, a, it's a lot to choose from. So again, so you've got that. So that just sort of adds a little bit of background to it as yeah, well. Yeah, that's great. Okay. That. So let me just pop that. To, let me just show you which I found with this. Now with this particular um, border, for example, if I stamp it out. I can extend it. Okay, so you can see you've now got uh, yeah. a long. So you could do a frame of any That's size. Nice, yeah. But what I also found with, if you wanted to create a really nice background, stamp it once, bring it down, and because I can see through the stamp, I can start to build up a pattern. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? See, so... Oh, that's great for background. And if you did it? it in a different colour ink pad, I mean, I'm just oh, doing yeah. it black because I've got the black one in front of me. <laughs> yes. See, so it, you can create oh, a real brilliant. sort of nice background to it as well if you wanted to. Okay, so I just want to... Just yeah. don't think of it just as a border. Have a play with oh, yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Okay. That's great. So we'll pop that to one side. Let's put the lid on that ink pad. So then what we've also done is we've stamped it onto a piece of Antarctica paper. So this is the, the sheet that we've used. Mm. Double sided. So again, you've got the beautiful colour tones on it. And you can use any of the papers that come as part of the one day special. Yeah. Okay. So we've stamped it out several times and then you can decide, right, maybe I want that one there or I want the darker blue cup. Okay. So that you can then decide which ones you want to go with. So then if I take a couple of pencils, so I'm using our Pergoliner pencils, you know, you can see my white one is <laughs> well used, used a lot more. <laughs> okay. So then I can go in and I can then start to bring out some of the colour on the papers. Okay. And it's just very, very light paper. You don't want to go on heavy. Last night we were talking about when we was um, colouring in the teapot. Just put like a base coat yes. down first and then go back in and then you can reapply. So what we've done, you can go in... I mean, look at that. That's that lovely camera straight work. away, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't it realise is the camera was that close. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to keep my head out of the way. <laughs> uh, but again, you can really sort of see it doesn't take much no. just to bring out the colours within the papers. So again, if you've gone with the beautiful Indian summer, you could go with some reds or oranges, but it just makes the design pop then, doesn't it? It works really nicely though. They, they read, and there's lots of elements, whether it's in the tea cups, the tea pots, the coffee pots, the cakes as well. There's lots of, if you do love your colouring, I know we said at the top, these stamps work beautifully, just simply stamped out and with nothing else added to them, whether it's on white paper or craft paper, but, if you're, if you're a colourist and you really enjoy the colour, there's loads of lovely detail colouring that you can do on these as well with the patterns on the saucers, the plates, the cups, the, the jugs. Uh, there's, there's lots of opportunity for those, isn't there? And the cake stand. Absolutely. <laughs> Definitely. And again, you can see I'm going on very lightly. And because I'm going on lightly, because these are a wax-based pencil, what it's doing, it's allowing the craft card to sort of just come through. And it gives that... Um, more authentic wood yeah, look that's to nice, it, I it? think. Okay. Yeah. But if I go back on again, I'm still applying the same sort of pressure, but now I'm starting to build up the intensity of the colour. Ah, so I don't see. automatically go on sort of hard straight no. away. Just let that colour... And for me, you'll get more of a sort of a, a, a natural sort of look to the design. Yes, that's nicer. If you are interested, by the way, in the Pergon liners with the uh, the pencils and also you're going to get the uh, the basic pencils, all of that, that's, uh, we're going to bring that up for you. It's twenty nine ninety nine, and it's a really good, I know you were talking about these yesterday and um, you know, a lot of people are interested because you get 
you get basically something for everybody in those. If you're just starting out, it's a really good collection to go it for. It is. It's a real nice sort of combination of pencils because you've got 16 of what we call a B, a basic pencil, um, which are sort of like a wax-based pencil. And then you've got 20 watercolour pencils as well. Oh, that's great. So it's combo, a nice it? little way of sort of trying out different types of pencils mm. at a really good price. Oh, they are great. Uh, they're on your main screen now on the, on the side, 418. Seven six eight. If you'd like to go for those, twenty nine nine is a really good price uh, for what you're going to be getting there as well. And I'm sure you'll be using them an awful lot. And you can see the richness of the colours that you see in these. They're lovely. Okay, so you can see what Dee's done. She's oh, just carried nice. on and just put some colour to the frame of the dresser, and then use the white pencil just to go across the top. Okay. Now, if you go, if if for example, when we stamped out, remember when I stamped this one out. Um, at the beginning. I mean, that was a little bit extreme. There's a lot missing on that <laughs> one. Okay. But this one, where it was a little bit, it hasn't, we're not worried about that okay. because we're going to cover it up. Right. Okay. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go to this one that Dee's done. So that okay. white stands out beautifully as well. It, it does. The blue. The, the blue and white on craft cards, I think, gives yeah. a beautiful, sort of, real, sort of, elegant look to yeah, the design. Yeah, no, definitely. Definitely. Okay. And I have to say a big thank you to Dee because Dee, look, she's coloured all these in for me and she's done the cutting out. Oh, see, that's a little crappy angel there. Absolutely. <laughs> so, let me just get those out of the bag. Static. Really? She, she, she stuck them in there just to say, I'm there, yeah. well, you're not going to use them. <laughs> there we go. So now we have a beautiful little pieces look at that oh that's nice so as i say if you're into your fussy cutting mm. but, i mean these would be great for decoupage as well yeah yeah so yeah. what you could do you could put a little foam pad underneath and then position those on oh, top oh nice okay so what we're going to do is just going to take some like a quickie glue pen or a zig glue pen just put some glue just on the back i'm going to take my trusted tweezer so now we're just building up our design and because we've used the same stamp, it's going to be perfect for our positioning. So let's turn all these over. We'll put some glue on all of them at the same time because it won't dry that quick. Okay. So let's do the... It doesn't need much, just a no. little bit, just to hold it in place. A bit on the heart. Hey. And just on there. And now we can start to build up. So we can. So this is where, if we've made a mistake with our stamping, then yep. we're just covering it Covered up. Covered up. So, there we oh. go. Make sure we've got the right cups in the right place. <laughs> yeah, it's like the uh, the tool shed, isn't it? Making sure you know where your hammer hangs and you know where the saw hangs. It's. Uh, all in the right place. That one there. That one there. And then finally, this we need a really good pair of tweezers. <laughs> okay. It will stick down. There we go. But look, That's I mean, again, really apart lovely. from the cutting out, there isn't really, it doesn't take long. But as you say, even just stamped out on the craft card yeah. alone, yeah. it That's looks really lovely nice, as well. Though. That's yeah. really nice. And then just to finish it off, we've taken another piece of, see what you could do, you could be really, if you stamped that stamp in the middle, you could cut that out and then hide it up so you're not using oh, yeah, of course. a whole piece. You see, and then there is your finished That's piece. lovely, really lovely. And you could put one of the little sentiments on there, time for tea, yeah. um, tea's a cup of love. You could just put anything on there or use one of your other stamps. Yeah, of course, yeah. No, so. it really works, does it? And that border looks great as well with those. It's a lovely demonstration. And you do get lots and lots and lots within the stamps on those as well, which is phenomenal. Thank you for that, Paul. Absolutely brilliant as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we, we have got some, some lovely samples. Don't forget the papers. You are getting papers of the complete collection. Then we'll just very quickly show you the papers again that you're going to be getting. You'll be getting five of each of the different designs uh, in total. So you're going to be ending up with 20 sheets. But you will get these as part of the complete collection. So if you are thinking 
thinking about inspiration, and again, straight away, even that technique that you've just seen there demonstrated by Paul, you will be getting uh, 20 sheets, of course, of that, which are, which are great and included as well. In fact, well, as far as the elements go, you're getting in total, including those, 362 elements as well with all of those, with all your flowers, with your postcards that are going in there, with all of your 99 stamps that are going through, with all of your masks that are included, plus you're going to be getting the envelopes, plus you're going to be getting the craft cards that you've just seen demonstrated with also the white paper, uh, the white liner marker there as well, the pencil uh, that's included. Let me just share with you uh, a couple. I just mentioned D, uh, done a lot of the colouring and cutting out there, but here's one that's, uh, that's deeper together. And I was thinking this is almost like that quintessential again on the on the sort of um, when you go into the little kitchen and maybe a little uh, little kid. Country cottage kitchen, as tricky to say this time of the morning, uh, or little tea room. It's that, you know, the beautiful blue print, isn't it, with the white um, that you sort of see all the time, but really lovely. Or, as you can see here, lovely that. We've got the sort of splatter effect that's been put together. Um, this is uh, Deb's done this one, and that is really lovely. Again, talked about the sentiments. All you need is tea and a, and, uh, a good friend, which is, which is really, really lovely. Uh, Elaine. Uh, has put this one together for us and again a lovely way of sort of bringing it all in together with the papers being used which is lovely i really enjoyed this one as well and this was uh, linda that's done this one and what i love about this is just using the plates here in a different way but actually if you look at the way that the stems are that all the different words of all the different teas that you can have and again just bring in highlight again to lots of those lovely little corner elements uh, that are that are brought in and something like this is created jane's done this this one, uh, which is lovely and a great, great example of using your masks to create that lovely sort of the, the way that the table's been set out there and you get that lovely layered 3D effect rather than being singular uh, that, that's in there. But again, so many lovely, lovely ways of, of working with all of these. I, I'm sure you're going to really enjoy it. I've, seen, I've got a lot with the tea on that. I just want to show you a couple uh, more over here as well. There's some of these with regards to the text, different coffees that can be used, again, as a background here that's working with that. Again, look how striking. That's onto the craft card, but just how with the white that really brings those out, which is, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, lovely one by Judy with all the elements. And again, that larger stamp uh, that we've just been demonstrating with. And let's just show, I wanna show one more, um, and which is again, a great way of working with color. Look at this, what Sheila's put together. And if you do, like I said, lots of opportunities for coloring in, uh, you can do it. It's a piece of cake. Uh, you can you can do that easily. Um, oh, fancy. So is it wrong to fancy cake at eight thirty in the morning? Um, I don't. No. I don't think you can. It's never. <laughs> it's always time for cake. So let's just break this down. If you're going to go for this, what you are getting with a complete collection is you're bringing the tea set and you're bringing the coffee set together with added bonus pieces on top of this. So if you want to go for just the tea or for just the coffee. You can do that, and in that, you will be getting your fantastic stamps, you'll be getting your masks to go with that, your beautiful um, handmade paper flowers. We talked about the paper collections that you're going to be getting, plus you're also going to be getting the postcards, uh, 10 of those postcards. They are actual postcards as well. They're a larger image than what you would get of those same images that are in the stamps there, so you're going to be getting those. Uh, and all of that, you can go for that on Flexi, £22.47. pence. But they do have a £14 saving. £14 on your tea, £14 saving on the coffee. 780966 is your item code. But where everyone is really going for this, because tea for two, some people like tea, some people like coffee. Well, you know what? The whole collection can come together for you if you want to do that. We carry those savings over. So your £14 from your tea carried over, your £14 saving from your coffee carried over. And on top of that, there's a further saving of another £12. And if that wasn't good enough, not only getting all those elements from the tea and coffee, you're also getting the craft card, the white pencil and the envelopes. All of that is included, which is absolutely brilliant for a one-day special. And if you are a Freedom member, extra saving there, on top of that, takes it down to £80.15. Now, if you're thinking, ooh... Well, why not actually become? I'm not a freedom member yet, but actually that does. I wish I was on that. Well, listen, it's a why not offer. It actually works out better value for you if you want to become a freedom member because actually it works out 12.85 your saving that you're looking at there. Your freedom membership is 7.97, so you you know absolutely brilliant opportunity to do that. Um, so why not become a freedom member and? 
take the added bonus perks that come with being a Freedom member for the rest of the month. And if you want to stop it then, you can. You can stop and start as and when you want to. Uh, 112835 is your complete collection for everything that you're going to be getting, which, it, which is a phenomenal deal. 362 elements, including 99 stamps, your mask and everything. Uh, we mentioned at the top of the hour, this is all inspired by the Groovy set, which was all again your tea or your coffee that was, uh, that was put into place. And this then, a lot of people were saying, we'd love that, we'd love that in stamp form, and that's what's born for your one day special. So everything here you see, same options are available. You can go for your tea, you can go for your coffee, or you can go for the complete collection. And this time, as a bonus, what you're going to be getting with the complete collection is the, I have trouble saying it as well, the Welsh dresser that comes as part of that. Both Paul and I always struggle with that quite a little bit. Uh, but you get this beautiful, real feature. You can imagine that, again, in that kitchen when you go in there. It's got all the elements, recipe books, all the beautiful cups that are just hanging there as well. Um, you've got your teapots, your sugar bowls, lovely details on that. And that comes uh, also included if you go for the complete collection. Plus, the complete collection has a £25 saving. Huge, huge, again, discount on all of these. That brings it down to under £70. It is also available uh, on a Flexi for £34.95. That complete collection, by the way, also carries over uh, a £14 saving also from the individuals. Uh, if you want to go for this, if you love uh, doing your groovy work and you haven't got this in your collection yet, it did sell out really quickly. It went very, very quickly indeed when this was first launched. Uh, your chance to get it now, 043916. Plus, you're also going to be getting uh, your beautiful papers to work with that as well, which is incredible. All this are on the website for you. Have a little look, as you'd expect from Clouty Stamp, a lot of five-star... Oh, we were actually working with those plates yesterday as well with those stamps. Um, uh, again, have a little check that one on, on Rewind if you want to go for your back, backdrop stamps on all of those. Uh, but they're all there on the craftstore.com. Also, if you wanted to make your little pouches, your little envelopes, you'll need to go for the nested uh, tags, of course, and the die set for the plaques. Go for those if you would like to then make your little tea bag or coffee bag gift uh, that worked beautifully. Uh, all, also really popular, very popular feed. Five star reviews on those if you want to go for the clarity set of the, uh, the four roller tape, the double sided adhesive. Uh, always busy on those. Uh, five star reviews, pop those into your basket while you're having a little browse. Always worth checking the website out, of course. Uh, right, it's 8.39 already, I tell you, Paul. We're flying through. Um, sorry, there's a lot to get through in the middle of that, Paul. But, <laughs> um, are we good to go with another little demo? Absolutely. Demo? So I was inspired with what Dee did with the, sort of the, the fussy cutting. So I thought, well, these are great because, again, as I say, back in the day, I sort of started off with decoupage. That was the first craft right. I really got into. And right. I love just in of an evening just sitting there cutting bits yeah, out. Yeah, nice. And, um, and so for when Dee did that one, I thought, wow, when you look at all the different stamps that you've got in the collection, you could just stamp them out and spend an evening just cutting them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this card here we're going to look at, what I've done, I've used the beautiful Toscana Barb's Favourites, ah, okay, that. that comes as part of the one day special. And what I've done, I've actually stamped out them individually and cut them out. Okay, so I took a piece of the um, Toscana and stamped out what I wanted to use. And if you stamp in different areas, then you'll get different color tones. And then for the background, you know we said we was looking at this one where you've got this beautiful landscape. Mm. But again, if you sort of turn it round, you'll get a different look. So what I've done for my background, I've taken a piece from here to create the background. See, so it looks quite arty yeah, as if it you does. spent time sort of playing with inks and, yeah. and stuff like that. But it's clean. There's no mess. <laughs> we like okay. that. So what we've done, so again, let's just take the, the stamps and we'll just pop those to one side that I've already done. So again, you take your um, design, whichever you want to go for. Now you could do this in the coffee, you could do it with the tea, you could even do it with the cakes if you wanted to. So we're just going to ink up and we can decide where we want to stamp out our design. Okay. 
So we've got this lovely teapot that's got sort of beautiful sort of like pansy-like flowers on the design. Okay, so we've got our teapot. Then we can take our cups. And you've got two different cups on this one. So again, we can decide maybe we want a little bit darker or a little bit lighter. And what you do is you just pick up the different areas of the paper. Okay. And what it's doing, again, it's just giving that instant mm. colour yeah, to the absolutely. design. Okay. So we now have options. In order to bring those colours out, we, you can see I've just gone in and added some detail to the flowers and to part of the design. So we can use our pencils, which we have been using. So let me just get my bag out. Look, we've got this on the show, the Pergamano. Just because it's Pergamano doesn't mean it's just got to be for parchment craft. No, no. This is no. a fantastic bag. And you'll notice that, look, I've got everything it in there. Massive. I've got my tools, so I've got my scissors, I've got my craft knife in there. And then, so here we have the Pergolina pencils. And they're all numbered, and they are, believe it or not, all in numerical order. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, sad, I know. But, so I've got my watercolour pencils here, and you can see, and they've got the black writing on them, and they've got, like, A for aqua. And then I've got my wax-based pencils over here. Then I've got my Perga colour pens. Now, these are fantastic. These are a water-based pen. Okay. Double-ended. So right. you've got two different size nibs. And you've got 30 in there. Oh, right. Okay. And it's a real beautiful rainbow of colour. So if I take... I could take a couple of these colours. So let's colour in with some pens this time. And we'll take a green. And then as, these are numbered as well. And believe it or not, they're all in numerical well, order. Um, well, I'd expect nothing less. <laughs> nothing less. <laughs> Let's just have, so again, I've got all my tools in there, all my yeah, it's perforating one, tool, it? and then I've got extra bits, and then I've got sections there. So it really is. That's really. Even good. if you're not into Pergamano, it's a great one for storing your yeah, pens no, and perfect. your pencils or your everyday sort of crafting products. Uh, the pens uh, that we're about to be working with, uh, the details on the side of your screen right now, double three nine six five seven, only twenty five ninety four. That give you thirty for your water based markers, and that's exactly what Paul's going to be working with uh, during this next part of the demonstration. So let me just show you the two different nibs that you get on the the end. So one end is sort of like more of sort of like a, a brush nib. So it's great oh, for I working see. in large red. And then you've got a really fine point as well for getting into a fine detail. Or they're beautiful for writing with as oh, well. I bet, actually, because yeah. yeah, I mean, so for example, I've got the purple here. So we can see these really small areas. But I can just go in and just add some colour. You see? But if I was trying to do it with the other end, it's a bit too big and I'm going to go over oh, the lines okay. yeah, and everything. Yeah. And they're water-based as well. So again, what that means is if I scribble it out onto a glossy surface, okay. I can then use a paintbrush or a water brush oh, I'll pick it up to pick it up oh, and nice. do water colouring as well. Of course. Okay. So let's have a look at the ones that I've already sort of done. And then we can start. So again, test your colours on the paper that you're going to work with to see whether it works well. Because again, you look at the colour of the lid and you think, oh, that will work. And then you come to colour it in and you think, oh, yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. not so good. Okay. So let's take a piece of white copy paper and pop that underneath. Okay. So again, so now what I can do... <laughs> it stands I can up now... really well on the white like that, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, even that on its own. Okay. So now what I can do is go in and just bring out the colour. And you think, oh, surely the, the colour's not going to work on such a sort of, on the, the coloured paper mm. already, but it really does. Mm. And it just highlights and brings out the different areas on the design. See, and again, because I've got that really fine nib, I can get into all the detail. Yeah, very different from using the other end of the nib, isn't it, from that? Absolutely. Yeah. So, and then you just go in. But it doesn't, again, it doesn't take long. No. Because you don't have to do all of it, because you've already got your sort of background. Well, you can see there as well, on the, and we're looking at a 
the overhead uh, angle with the camera there now, and you can already see what an impact that, that has made, actually, the green, hasn't it? And that's just bring out, and you could do any colours you want to. I mean, who's to say that the leaves need to be green, or you become sort of like the, the, the creative with your colour. See? But just putting the green on just makes it pop a little mm. bit. See, and then we can go. Obviously, on the darker areas, you're, it's, it's clever that the colours just sit really well, yeah. even on darker areas. See, and then we can go in, and it just adds that little bit to it. Okay. So again, just bring that. So now I can take my purple or my lilac and then go in. So this time I'm going to stick with the fine tip. See, and then I can just go in and just bring out the colour. It's what we mentioned earlier on. There's so many lovely details in the in here. We're looking at the teapot, but you've got the coffee pot, the plates. There's lots of lovely detail in there for colouring in if you wanted to. We mentioned you don't need to, but they do. They are lovely to work on. I'd imagine as well with these. Now, and they're so sort of. Um, fine line and elegant mm. um, sometimes you can get stamps that the, the image looks really nice but because they're not fine line you get right. sort of like a real sort of it looks as if yeah. it's sort of been sort of like mass printed See, yeah no they are they're very delicate nice now again you could either decide to do the coloring in before you do the cutting out or you can do the coloring in afterwards and i thought well i'm not cutting out on tv <laughs> so um <laughs> We'll just go, but again, the, because it's so small as well, the colouring doesn't need to be perfect. As long as you've got the obviously the shape, you haven't gone completely yeah. outside of it. But you can see, but it adds that little bit no, of it depth does. to it as yeah, well. Yeah, it does. Okay. Really nicely. How are we doing for time, Scott? Uh, we've got well about nine minutes, I think. Nine minutes. Mm. Okay. So if I carry on doing a little bit of colouring in so yep. that people don't fall asleep drinking their tea or coffee <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I'll let you show some more samples. I will. I'll, I've got some more. The lovely thing, thank you Paul, there, there's lots and lots here actually um, to, to show with you that uh, we haven't had a chance to show and lots of the team behind them have done a fantastic job of bringing you more as well. So we will, we're going to show you some, some footage actually will give you a bit of an idea of all the different ways of working. But before we do, and I'm not sure if these are on the, uh, the clip or not as well, but I didn't get a chance to show this yesterday, but I thought this is a nice idea. So actually the, they're perfect for making your coasters with. So if you think about where you might have your teapot or your, or your teacups as well on there, what a lovely idea to do here. You know, a uh, lovely little idea because yesterday as well, Paul was mentioning there's no problems at all if you're making to sell with these images, no problems at all with working with that. So lovely gift ideas as well. If you're making a little bespoke set, maybe with someone's name on it as well, personalise it. But it works so nicely with, I think that's such a lovely idea just to, for your teacup to go on to your favourite. Another one I wanted to show uh, here as well uh, was again with the lovely cakes and again working with some previous pieces uh, that time to relax but I think that's a really lovely with the dimension actually working through and being cut on again but cutting out sticking on and working with I think is a, a lovely way of of showing these off and there is something quintessentially English about this as well you know the cups of tea the cups of coffee maybe you're on your second brew already of the day and and, and you know because I think it's quite a personal thing you know how you want your cup of tea or your cup of coffee and not a little little bit of milk a load of milk do you want it do you have it black do you just want it with I think my auntie Val my auntie Val used to have like about eight sugars in her cup of tea then she went complete cold turkey and other down to none I thought how do you that's a different drink. Surely that's a different drink completely. But it's such a personal thing to us, isn't it? So tea and coffee ideas, really great chance to be personal with those as well, to make those. Um, over half the stock of the one day special, <laughs> and it has gone. It has gone already. So do grab yours. Um, you can see all of these. There's so much to be grabbed uh, within this as well. 300 and 62 and I think it's gonna be one of the largest one day specials with all of that that I, I think we've uh, we brought to you for a long long time even if we were to say to you we've got a, a fantastic offer with 90, 99 stamps let alone the 99 stamps plus you've got the masks as well there's so much 
We've got some, a little video clip. We'll share that with you because that's a lovely, great way, again, of seeing some of the finished results that you can achieve with the one-day special. What I really like on these are the um, the words um, of the actual kind of uh, whether it's mocha, whether it's Irish, it's the cappuccino, it's black coffee. Uh, there we are. You see the espresso, um, all of those. And there's some. I don't know if you can see them in detail when you looked at some of these um, finished samples that you just looked at. But the using the words, i.e., whether it was the tea being poured or the coffee being poured out of the pot into the cup, some of them are being used as the steam that's coming out. Some of them are used as backgrounds on them. So don't underestimate. I'm sure you won't already, and you're already thinking how you can work with them. But just lovely ways of using those words just to sort of elaborate again on that whole. Lovely Lovely theme, uh, and again, maybe that's a way of personalising it. If someone's a, a bit mad for their their mocker, uh, then you know, using those phrases that come through the borders, it's great. So the, everything's really useful in this kit. It's not just nine stone stamps. Every single one of those has got a use, isn't it? Which that's is right. I mean, I think it covers so many different occasions, from birthdays, anniversaries, parties, yeah. weddings, just to just to say hello, um, yeah. and all ages as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, again. And when you look at the styles of what the design team have done, whether they've gone sort of a bit more grungy or mm. they've gone crisp and clean or they've gone sort of classic, mm. it really does show for me personally, as I mean, I did stamping before Groovy came along. Right, right. And right. to have a stamp that ha covers all those different sort of types of techniques yes. yeah. is quite difficult to yeah. find. Um, and so Linda's Williams designs convert beautifully for that. No, they do. They work really, really nicely. Uh, they're, they're lovely. Please make sure you do get yours. It's, uh, there's only two more live hours. Over half the stock has gone already. So uh, just to uh, just to bear that in mind, uh, we've got only about three minutes or so. Three minutes. Uh, just okay, to sort so, of finish so we'll just already. finish this one off then. So as I said, I've taken a piece of that um, beautiful paper and I've just trimmed it down to size. Now on this one, I put a piece of black card behind it just to make it sort of jump mm. out a little bit. But a trick that Barb often does is if you don't want to waste your black card, you just take a permanent pen and you just run down the edge of the paper. And depending on the angle in which you hold the pen will define the thickness of the black line. Okay. Now again, if you think, oh, I'm going to make a mistake, then you can use a ruler, place your ruler on there, and go down the edge. Right, right. But what you do need to do if you're using the ruler is you wipe it every time. Oh, right, okay. Because what can happen, the ink can stay wet you on the ruler, that. and you'll turn it around and you'll smudge it onto your paper. Yep, good tip, good okay. tip. So that's given us that piece there. So now I'm going to take our tape runners out. You've seen our tape runners, haven't you? Yeah, Scott? these are brilliant. So we've got these on the show, always popular. Four for the price of three. Um, ergonomically designed, there's 30 metres of uh, tape me on still. each of them. <laughs> That's okay. great. Comfortable to hold. And again, you've got the little cover so that when you're finished, you close it over and it protects it. So it stops it if you've got it on your desk and it doesn't right. get all gunged up. Yeah. Okay. So... We're going to go with the paper and just go nice and slowly, take it right up to the edge. And when you get to the end, just tilt forward and what that does is it gives a really nice clean break to the tape. Okay, because if you just do that, and you're not going to get a clean edge and then when you start to do it again, you're not necessarily going to get a nice finish. Then we can position that onto our car blank. That does look like you have got black car behind it. That's a great it's technique. And it's it? a cheap way of doing yeah, it. You're not brilliant. wasting your, your black card. Then we can take our little teapots and cups. Again, just a little bit of glue just on the back. 
So, and it is a bit of a waste to put black card behind there because black card's quite expensive. Mm. See, and now we can just build up our design. Oh, we're down to our last 50 oh. seconds. Okay, pop that on there. And then a quick sentiment just in the top. There we go. <laughs> Tea is Perfect. a cup of love. Perfect. Paul, absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much again for those. It's, it's absolutely so versatile with everything you've got on this as well, which is great. So another lovely hour. Thank you very much. I'm parched again now. I think I need <laughs> so to I. go and have another one of our couple of coffees, uh, which would be lovely. Uh, I, hope you, I hope you've really enjoyed that. I hope that's inspired you. Um, so please make sure if you've got it in your basket, get yours checked out as well. So only two more live hours, of course, with Paul now throughout the rest of the day. So please uh, make sure you can try and grab it while we've got the stock as it is. But from Paul and myself for this hour, thank you so much, Steve. Don't go anywhere, though, because we've got more with Catherine after this. Yeah, it's a great name of Indigo Blue coming up for you next. And then I'll be back with Natasha Makes, with all our lovely creatures that will be there. And then also we've got Clever Prince. So, see you in a while. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. Morning to you all. It is lovely to have your company here at the craft store this morning. Now we're talking indigo blue. We have got a wonderful guest with us. You may recognise her. It is, of course, Julia Watts. Good morning, Julia. Good morning, everybody. Hello. How are you? I'm all right, thanks. Oh, do you know it's lovely to be with you again today. The last time you were here, or the last few times, I had to wave at you across the studio. <laughs> Yeah, this is my first Indigo Blue show this year, so I'm is quite it? excited about is it. Is it? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I didn't realise yeah. that. Well, what can we expect from this hour then, Julia? Uh, so, yes, we've got some uh, lovely Christmas stamps by Janine Gerard Shaw, and we've got some older favourites as well. We've got some mediums, we've got some paints, we've got Slap It On, we've got some 
gilding plates. We've got loads of stuff. Lots and lots of goodies. We certainly have got it all for you. And, of course, some amazing demonstrations. Let's have a look at the bundle that I've got in front of me. We've got a wonderful saving on this one as well. £17 off straight away, you can see there. This is the Indigo Blue All the New Christmas. Now, you've got two A5 stamps, you've got two A6, and you've got the Dinky stencil as well. These are really contemporary, Julia, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah, I think it, it is uh, Janine's style. Uh, she's been designing for Kay for, I think, a couple of years now. Um, and um, the intricacy of the designs, the detail of the designs, and obviously because they're indigo blue, they're on red rubber, which is obviously manufactured uh, at uh, Indigo Blue HQ in Redford. Um, and uh, the detail that you get is just absolutely incredible. When you look into the designs, when you look into the wreath, when you look into the Christmas tree and the swag that there is uh, with the wreath, the, the fine lines, the, it, it's incredible. You'll see something different every time you look at it. Just show you the depth there, uh, the rubber, of course. Yeah, the so they're, they they're mounted well. onto the cling. You'll get them like this, already scrolled for you, uh, onto the laminate sheet. So your storage is already sorted for you, but you're good to go straight away. Just slap them on your block or into your uh, stamping platform, and you're good to go straight away. Oh, look, the more you look at it, it's one of those yeah. stamps, isn't it? The more you look, the more you exactly. can see the little mitten. Exactly, which is really interesting because if you're actually sending it as a, as a Christmas card, obviously you can use it onto your, on your mixed media projects. But if you're sending it as a card, the recipient's going to see something different every time they look at that card. Definitely. I love the little border as well because I mm. think that's not just for Christmas. Well, it's not a little border. It's actually a very long border. Yeah. Oh, and the droplet there as well, that's yeah. very useful. Yeah, so you can add that to the swag if you want to. You can have it coming from the wreath. You can see within the wreath you've got the happy birthday sentiment, but obviously you've got Christmas separate as well, so you can make it happy Christmas. You can mask that off. I've actually gutted my uh, stamp, so I've cut away my happy birthday from the inside of the stamp so you know you, you're very flexible as, as to how you use it so those two sets that we just looked at are the a5 sets and yeah. then you've got two a6s as well and those um ivy um uh, stems are just beautiful you can use those at all 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 time all the all year round You've got the hexagon there and your um, sentiments are going to fit inside of that one. And you've got your stars. So your stars can spit on top of that contemporary tree, but also on top of the tree that you've got in the uh, first uh, set that we looked at. Yeah, the A5 one. Yeah. Yeah, they are very, very nice and they're very different as mm. well. Don't forget we have got the stencil included, the little dinky stencil. Those perfect words. We've got joy, snow, love, family, merry, happy, Christmas, Eve, of course, Christmas Eve or Christmas, you know, whatever, Christmas without the Eve, it doesn't matter. You've got all those occasions and it's just a lovely little font as well, very mm. clear to read. Yeah. And the nice size being dinky as well, Julie. We've got a lovely plaque here. Yeah. Star shaped plant, that's yeah. very nice. So, a massive shout out to the uh, Indigo Blue design team who always come up with absolutely stunning samples. Do you know, I, th I think there's a mixture of different samples here as well, using various different stamps. I did notice the gorgeous ivy leaves mm. on one of those sets. Mm. I particularly like those as yeah, well. Yeah, they're great for backgrounds, yeah. for borders. Um, you can see, you can, they're quite easy to fussy cut as well. These are really, really nice. Oh, look I love at that. that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, so using it as an aperture instead. So you can use your circular dies um, to actually cut the aperture out if of you course. want to. Yeah. And, and no fussy cutting on that whatsoever, but isn't that beautiful? Oh, these are really nice. Do you know, it's one of those occasions, I'm looking down at the samples, you pick one up, you think, oh, I'll just show one more, because yeah. I know we need to move on. You see the next you one, you can show no, as I've many got to, as you I've like. got to show the next one as well. Yeah. Well done, design team. These are yeah. absolutely fabulous. I mean, they really, is, really is, are. Uh, I and mean, obviously the design team within the, them have got uh, lots of different styles, yeah. which is... Um, absolutely fantastic because hopefully there's something there that will appeal to everybody definitely i'm going to keep those i've just shown separate so i can show some different ones next time if possible right there are the details for you we've got a flex on it there as well so do take advantage of that nine zero three four seven eight is the item number two payments today of 24 pounds and 98 pence yeah a whopping saving of 17 pounds over at the website you're going to see everything else we've got as well but if you go back to that bundle we've just looked at you're almost getting one of those a5 stamps for free 
because of how this works out. Individually, they are £19.95. pence. Remember, deeply etched red rubber. You've got the cushioning on there as well. They're pre-cut for you, so ready to go. We've got all of the card stock and all the mediums as well available, so do have a look at everything that you need. Without further ado, though, I think we're going to head over to Julia's side. Yeah, I'm faffing here. Are you? I am absolutely faffing, so I, I'm not sure what I'm going to stamp first. That's the trouble. <laughs> you get faced with so many different things. What shall I do first? Let's stamp a big stamp first. Yes, yeah, so let's do that. Let's do that. So I was going to do my background first, but I changed my mind. So um, I'm actually going to use an acrylic block. I'm not going to use a stamping platform. Okay. Um, and you might notice this SY on here. And uh, this is a new uh, block that's coming next week with uh, Phil shows. Oh. Um, so, but I have permission to use it. <laughs> uh, so we're going to um, stamp and emboss, I think. Yeah, we will. So just with an anti-static bag. And I'm using the Pink Frog Super Smooth card, which is uh, Kay's put on the show. Yeah. Which is a lovely smooth stamping card. And we're going for our Nocturne Versifying Claire. And as you can see, I've gutted the inside of my stamp because okay, I wanted yeah. to use uh, my happy birthday separately. And also it means I don't have to keep on masking if I don't want to um, use the happy birthday. So that definitely is personal choice then. If absolutely people, yeah. personal choice. Yeah, absolutely. So lots of tapping all the way around the edge. See if I can get it all. And we'll just stamp. So I'm actually finding, to be honest, that I'm getting a better result with using an acrylic block rather than uh, using my stamping platform. Okay. Um, I don't know why. Maybe because I'm being a little bit more um, careful because I'm using a block. Um, you don't need to press really, really hard. Just make sure you get, you're going all the way around, good pressure. Um, just to kind of hit all those areas. And it's a nice even stamp because I know there's that little trick sometimes when you're using blocks of balancing out some stamps to make sure you get the pressure even. That is a really big stamp that's going to give you that even pressure. Yeah, but it, it's also it's a good idea to use um, the right size block yeah, um, for your stamp. And obviously this Look is a huge stamp, but the detail that you get is incredible. Obviously it's optional as to whether you emboss, but we're going to emboss because I might smudge it. <laughs> <laughs> and Versifying Claire is, is, a, is a bit of a notorious for, for when you think it's dry, not being dry, and then you smudge it. So we're using the, um, the uh, clear embossing glaze from Indigo Blue, which is in a lovely big pot, and it comes with your, uh, I believe it comes with the Magic Sparkle and the Unicorn Sparkle. So it comes with um, one of the Luscious Powders. Uh, which is your magic sparkle and also unicorn sparkles which is your glitter yeah it is a lovely bundle we've got the details on the screen right now 13.99 536 do have a, a little look at that there we are those are the three pots that you're going to get and they're going to go a long long way as well okay Very, very good, uh, this, we are this struggling one. to hear you a little bit, Julia, with the heat gone. Uh, but I can just, just in case everybody did miss it, Julia's used the clear embossing powder. Just mentioned it might take a little bit of time to go, but we can see that's working beautifully, bringing through that gorgeous glaze. There we go. Love it. Can't hear a word Catherine says when I'm doing that. <laughs> We can't hear you, you can't hear me. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? But you, obviously you can see the detail of the stamp and you've got that lovely kind of, um, it, it goes blacker, it's a deeper yeah. black when you emboss it. So obviously if you want to actually uh, stamp directly in the centre, you, you can put your Happy Christmas in there or whatever sentiment you want in there. If you want to cut out the circle, just use uh, either go in there with your scissors or you can use um, a die to cut it out. Okay. Now, did we get the... Um, uh, translucent paint on or not? We did. We did. We right. did. Okay. Right. We will bring the details up as soon as we can. But yes, Julia, feel free to use. Okay. Those and so, whatever you so wish. this is one that I've started. Now Kay's given me one we're which we're going to use, but um, and it's beautifully coloured in. Um, but this is just just one that I've started myself. You can see I've already cut out the centre with the die. Yeah. 
And this, uh, this isn't actually embossed. This is just um, the verse fine clear as it is. And we've got a whole load of um, colours that we can use. Let's choose some. And we do have six translucent mixed media paints oh, with I a might free not use the right ones. Which ones are you using? Well. Well, you'll let us know the colours, but we've got three different options. Now, this is Kay's choice that we're looking at now. Red Hot Chili. Uh, we've got Welsh Slate in there. Daffodil. Teal for two. Black and Mulberry Bush. So that is Kay's selection. So you can look at the different options. The next one, this is Late Summer Sun. We've got Fresh Cut Grass. Rosetti Red. 22 Karat Gold. We've got C in there. Leather Corset, love these names, and Tiger Lily as well. And then finally, we've got for you, this is in the navy. So obviously there's going to be some blues in there then. Uh, let's see what we've got in the navy. We have in the navy, Hot Art Pink, Lime Marmalade, Blue Bell, Racing Green, and Purple Rain. Paint mat with each of those options, remember. So if you want more than one, you'll get two paint mats or three paint mats, whatever you're going for. £15.90, 912357. So what colour are you using there, Julia? Here, and I've, I've put far too much on my mat, as usual. <laughs> um, so I'm just watering it down a little bit. Okay. The reason I love translucent paint is because... Because they're translucent, you can go over the lines and you still keep the detail. Yeah. So if we pick, um, say, this leaf here which has got this lovely uh, kind of shading already on there. I'm not going to do any shading because I'm not brilliant at shading. But I've just added water to it because I don't need it to be as thick as, as, as it is when it comes out of the pot. It's highly pigmented. Really, you only need, as Kay says, a grain of uh, rice kind of uh, amount. Um, but you can see that because we've gone with the... Um, translucent we can still see all that lovely shaded lines that Janine's put into the stamp below it we don't have to worry can we use this on other surfaces as well then yeah 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 it is a mixed media paint um it, although I use it, I normally use it for watercolours, you, this will go on to your MDF. Obviously, because this one's yeah. translucent, um, you'll be wanting to probably put gesso down first on your MDF because obviously the colour of the MDF is going to show of through course, the, yeah. on the translucent paint. You're probably better off using a matte or a metallic on, on MDF or okay. grey board. Um, but you can see you've got that now. As an alternative, I know we've got um, some of the uh, metallics on the show. Um, I don't know which ones you've got. Which What's in your metallic set? We'll see what we've got. We've got details to come up. We've got uh, Castles and Queens. Oh. of these names. Bedtime Stories. Shaken Not Stirred. Sets of six. Oh, there so are more than one set. Okay, there. right. So if, if we were to take, say, Goldfinger, which is one of the metallics, okay. just to show you the alternative, just a little grain of rice, Julia, not much. <laughs> <laughs> so heavy-handed. Again, I just go with a little bit of water. Okay, you can check the details, see what colours are in each option on the website, of course. So these have obviously got um, mica in them. So... You do lose, if you water them down, you do lose a little bit of the line art when it dries, but you've still got, you can still see some of it through. Okay. So this I'm is, not this sure if we've got gold finger in one of the options on today. Oh, but have there you are not? Definitely oh, metallics in there. Isn't so that typical? Can't find the details. Isn't well. that typical? Not to worry, Julia. I got sent the lot, so I used the lot, as you do, because it'd be rude not to. But you can see, you can do the same sort of thing, but you've got that shimmer going on. And if you were to come in with Luscious, we might as well go for everything here. Oh, the Luscious are fantastic. <gasps> we might as well go for everything. Talk oh. about tangents. Do you know, there was a nice surprise for me when I arrived for the last Story One Day special because Kay had sent in a set of the Luscious. Oh, smashing. Oh, they were to treat. Putting <laughs> they them into do. the moulds with the resin yeah. and yeah. mixing and use, you know, using them for painting with. They're tremendous, aren't they? So with, with your Luscious, I've, I've, I've obviously got mine in, in a palette here. Um, and I can reactivate them. Okay. 
if you were just wanting to use a little bit. Where's my luscious? Da, 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 da. I did get them out, didn't I? What have you lost, Julia? I've lost my new ones. Oh, there they are. There's one. There's two. There we go. Right, green apple. This is in oh, this the is, spring this is in your one step. one of my favourites, actually. Yeah. Green apple. This is one of the newer ones. So you just want to put a little bit into your palette. Yeah. And you can mix it with a little bit of water. Or a lot of water. And if you do you like up. green apple, that is in the option spring in your step. Again, we've got the different options for you. Five of the 25 milliliter luscious pigment sets. Honestly, if you've never had these before, treat yourself to some of these. You will absolutely love them. 26.25 for five pots, 164.502. Now, going on here with the luscious, what we're going to do is, is we're going to, although you can see it a little bit here, we are going to lose some of the line work. Okay. Because as it dries, it's an opaque um, medium. So it's not translucent, so we're going to lose some of the of, of the the image. Yeah. So that's that art on there. Now this one is embossed. So if I went onto this one, into the holly leaf, then what's going to happen is that the embossed lines are going to reject the luscious, and so then you're still you're going to see your embossed uh, detail, your, your line work. Oh, we can see the mica on your brushes you're painting. So, yes, so can you see the difference part. between those two holly leaves? If you the hold one, the for one... a second, we will we'll be able to see yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, you can. So, so you've lost the line art in the one that's not embossed. Yeah. But you've got this on the top one, you can see the detail. Definitely. So if you're going to yeah, use your luscious, and, and your metallics, actually, because you've lost the detail on that a little bit. So if you're going to use metallics, matte and luscious, then you need to actually emboss, really. Once everything's fully dry, if you lightly went over the top of your image, gave it a bit of a polish, would that bring through the embossing even more? Will it oh, it will, yes, yes, yeah. because you can, you can brush it off the embossing. Obviously, the one that isn't embossed, it's not going to make any yeah, difference. No. But yes, absolutely, you oh, can do wonderful. that. Okay, so so that, that's my image, and I've got one that Kay's coloured in for me already, which she's, this is coloured in with a translucent. Oh, that is so nice, isn't and it? She's, and she's given, a lot, you know, a lot of sh sh shading and detail, and it just looks absolutely beautiful. Obviously, she's fussy cut it out, so uh, it'd be rude not to use that one. So we're going to use that one. I can see how you could do those extra fur cones as well, give them a little bit of shape and make them more dimensional. Yeah. You could add in flowers if you wanted to, maybe Christmas roses, but yeah. not necessarily just for Christmas either. No, no, no. We're going to add to it, but I'm going to do my background next, okay. I think. So here, this is not good telly, because <laughs> I've stamped and embossed and, and it's clear. And I've embossed in clear. So oh, we I just can see a little bit, actually. Yeah, a little yeah, bit. Water, so right? we're using the... Um, one of the lovely vine um, uh, leaves. Okay. Let's pick the one I used before, which I've used that one. Because there's two, they point a different way. And we do have Slim Jims on the show. And uh, Slim Jims are uh, Kay's acrylic blocks. And when you get them, you get them and they'll look like this. So they've got a film on them. And oh, this is yeah. how they're cut. So you just need to peel that back and take it off each side, okay. and then that will and reveal your Slim Jim. Okay? But I'm going to leave that like that, so I've always got one that I can show you. So again, we're going to do a little bit of dusting with my anti static bag that I've hidden underneath here. This is just like my desk at home. Honestly, I was doing my Facebook Live yesterday, I couldn't find anything, because <laughs> everything was just, you know, prepping for so many different shows, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Right. You must be the same when you do it as well. Oh, do I... <laughs> Especially when I'm packing yarn, Julia. It's everywhere. Okay. I put so, oh, honestly, and I'm right, winding it with a wool winder and counting out toy eyes and backs on that. It's just, it's this, honestly, it's, uh, you think you've got a, a system running, and you do, but anybody walking in, they wouldn't see that. They're just like, oh, my goodness, this is chaos. <laughs> <laughs> so I've done most of this stamping already, as you can see. So I've just do the last one. So just stamping it with the verse mark. And we're just going to, again, add the clear embossing uh, glaze to the corner bit. Okay. And just heat set this corner. So this is from the set that we mentioned earlier again with the Luscious and the Magic Sparkles, is it? The embossing glaze? Yes, that's there? the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
and it's a lovely big pot which makes it means that you've got plenty to use and of course then it's very easy to put that back is in a pot. really good buy actually to say you've got all three pots yeah, in there really really good buy and it's good to stock up as well and the, and the unicorn sparkles you can use with your slapping yeah. on which is lovely let's just keep set this See that? You can see it. All will be revealed. I do like that vine, Julie. I said that earlier, but I particularly like that one. Yeah, it's really lovely, isn't it? So that's all. That's all set now. That's the start of my background. So now we've got quite a few choices. We're going to use paint, uh, but you could use your luscious. So we're having racing green, and we're going to have a little bit of the lime marmalade as well. Could we mix a little bit of luscious into those paints? And yes, you can. Absolutely. Yeah, really. So nice. if you've got your, say, your magic sparkles, let's do that. Let's grab Can we? Have I got my magic sparkles? Let's, I'll say I'll do that. Let's see if I've got it or not. I have. Hey. Yay. That's amazing, isn't it? Look at the state. I've put my paints upside down so I can see what the colours are. And uh, I've got them all over the place here, so I'm getting a right mess. Don't do that at home. <laughs> It's <laughs> just so I can see the colours. So we're going to add a bit of water to You're it. You're mixing on that paint mat, This is on the paint mat, yeah. The paint mats paint. are great because obviously acrylic paint is going to set down. You can't regenerate acrylic paint like you can um, the uh, Luscious because it's not a water-based product, it's an acrylic-based product. So once it's dry, that's it, you know, and it's very difficult to clean it off things, but okay. you absolutely yep. can clean it off of the paint mat oh. so your paint mats are good to go forever really so with possible the, items yeah very yeah so we're going to just add a little bit of the magic sparkles in each one and it's going to add more sparkle to anything that you add it to obviously if you're going into the matte paints it's not going to work very well because the matte paints are um matte yeah so they're perfect with your um, your translucents. Um, you can add it to your other luscious. You can add it to your uh, slap it on as well to give you slap it on a bit of um, sparkle. Oh, nice. And iridescence. Julia, when you're mixing the luscious into the paint, if yeah. you see it's not fully mixing, is it a case of just a little bit more water? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're fine. You can see it kind of glisten and shimmer. So all we're going to do now is do a bit of a resist technique on here. Oh, nice. So you can see that the, the clear is... Yeah, you can um, see it coming through. Yeah, it's, it's going through. It's like that magic painting all over It again. is like magic painting. Yeah, absolutely. That used to be a real treat. I, I remember, I don't know if it was once a week or once a month we were allowed one, but our local post office used to sell the magic painting books and we were allowed to go and choose one. Every so often, and it, you, do you know it sounds silly now, but I used to get so excited about it. it I, I used to really like it. I don't, I don't know as I was restricted like you, but uh... oh, maybe just me, Julia. <laughs> maybe just like, me. Like Imagine there was four of us. Oh right, okay. So, so it, it would have been quite expensive if we could have just gone and got one every time we wanted one. Oh well, one. I was an only child, so I, so I, I didn't have to share. <laughs> so that's fine. Love so, those colours together. Yeah, so we're just giving just giving it a couple of different greens, really. And if you and if you missed your card, although this is not watercolour card, this takes a lot of water. This super smooth. It's really really good good card. And we just add a little bit more green here. So this is going to be a bit different to the one I've got that's dry already. So obviously that we, we, we're dealing with. Um, something that isn't dry yet so you can't see the full effect okay. of it just yet we can see the shimmer would you not force dry that julie because you've got I the image would you prefer that to dry i naturally? would i would leave this to dry uh, uh, on its own because we've got now put the luscious in there yeah and if you kind of blot it off which i did blot off my original okay. one uh, what you'll be doing is because the mica powder raises to, rises to the surface you'll be blotting be off the shimmer like yeah. and you'll lose your, your shimmer 
Okay. So I would leave that to dry. Okay. Do you mind if we have a bit of a recap, Julia? That's fine, and I'll um, sort myself out and we'll finish off. Yeah. Lovely stuff. You can turn all those luscious the other way up and you can see what colours you've got then. Uh, let's have another look at the bundle. I absolutely love this. We've got a very sort of contemporary feel. There's so much detail in here. Very different to anything I've seen before, actually. Obviously, being Christmas-themed, you expect to see Christmas trees. You expect to see those swags and those garlands and all the different ornaments. But they've been used in such a different way. All hand illustrated as well now this is the indigo blue all the new christmas stamps you are getting two a5 stamps they're the larger ones that you can see you've got the two a6 and also the dinky stencil which we've not seen in use yet but very very useful beautiful um, samples here as well if i may i'm just going to pick up another bundle i'm going to try and show some different ones to the earlier ones and just because you've got all of those different stamps there with lots of detail doesn't mean you have to use everything all at once i mean how simple is that card? But I absolutely love that. That is really, really sweet. If you've got lots of cards to make, you know, and you like to give everybody the same as well, that's a good idea. Lots of shimmer going on in this one. Oh, this is pretty as well. Oh, look at that. Do you know, these are absolutely gorgeous. Well done, design team. If I see any names on the back, so I will mention them. The ones I'm picking up at the moment haven't actually got any names on there. Uh, we've got Carolyn next, though. There we are. That's, you know, I'm loving the branch there, with those ornaments. Very sweet indeed. Another one from Carolyn. I think Carolyn likes that branch as well. In fact, maybe these are all Carolyn's, I don't know. I can just see the one name at the moment. More of the wreath that we've just seen as well. Let me just pick up another bundle so I can see there's some different names. And you can use the vine. I've got to say, that vine is so attractive. This is one of Leslie's. The vine used in the next one as well, which is also Leslie's. See, I can see that being used at any time of the year. That would be nice on a wedding card, an anniversary card. I think if you cut those out as well, you could trail them. We've got a lovely card from Sue there. Oh, now this is interesting. I thought that was actually a slice of wood, but it's not. It's resin. So that's been moulded. But if you can catch the light on there, you can see the vine. That is very effective do like that absolutely gorgeous and it just goes on and on and on and of course you can mix with your other stamps your die cuts as well uh, lots to choose from here when it comes to making those cards because you're getting so much in the bundle you have got a great saving of 17 pounds these are made in the uk of course by indigo blue they're already deeply etched red rubber they're cushioned for you they're ready to go you get them on the cling mount as well onto the sheet the laminate sheet so you can keep them nice and safe 903478 if you're taking advantage of flex that's two payments today of £24.98. Now, we do have much more for you as well, so we're going to move down and have a look at some more items. Again, these are absolutely stunning, very sort of classic. Um, you've got the stag there, but look at the detail. Those trees are superb. There's a bit of a magical feel about these, Julia. Yes, there is. The detail in the, in the, the tree and the deer is, is just incredible. I mean, look at that on the deer. I just that is stunning it really is again it's not like, just it reminds Christmas, me of I do you remember think. that kiss stamping that you, you could do where you, you you stamp a silhouette but before you actually stamp it you stamp with a patterned yes, stamp yep. on top so it removes the ink it, and yep. then you, when you, so it's that kind of thing it is, it's all done it? for you I don't know that and just to use that with a little bit of embossing powder again to bring out the detail mm. you don't have to do too much at all great price because it's an A5 set I'm going to show you the actual stamps as well if I may just turn this around so you can see exactly what you're getting for your money. There we are. Already cooked for you, as you can see. Those castles are going to be useful for all yeah. sorts of reasons, yeah, not absolutely. just for use with the stags no. and the trees. 1999-719-997 is the item number there. Now, we've got more um, different stamps. We've got some A6 ones, but kind of... Along the same sort of theme, so to speak, now you've got choices here as well, so don't think, you know, you're stuck to one, you can go for more than one option. There's a lot of very nice stamps here, actually. I don't know how you're going to choose from these. A £2 saving, just 9 99 Let's go through those different options. So the first one, oh, look at that. Oh, we'll give you the names. We'll just find the names for these. That's Deer Wood that we're looking at, first of all. We've got Deer Forest. Very nice. The bauble is absolutely beautiful. It really, look at that. Ah, oh, that's one of those stamps you're going to use year on, year out. And again, take away the baubles and you can still use the florist other times of years. You've got Winter Wonderland next. 
Then we have the nutcracker. It's actually the gingerbread nutcracker. You've got some gingerbread man there as well. And then we've got that delightful gingerbread house. Lots of detail in that one as well. Shall we turn that one around in a second so you can see that as well? We've got the stag cliffhanger. This is a nice one, Julia. Very yeah. different. It is very different, isn't it? It says it all, really. So, you know, you could just simply stamp and emboss it and that's it. Your job, job's done, really. I love it. Now, I've just picked up the gingerbread house. So you can see this. I've turned it um, so it's horizontal to you, so you can see the actual, the right way it should be, actually. So you can see the detail there again. Just to remind you of the deep etched red rubber and that cushioning there as well. Very nice to use. Let me show you the front of the cover so you can see the detail a little bit more clearly. Oh, you could have some fun with that one, mm. Julia. Yeah, it's another one of Janine's. You could really separate that one down as well and go to town with it. Love it. Any of those, 9.99 under the item number 450373. So if you've got your eye on more than one, make sure you grab them today. Now, when we talk of Indigo Blue, we think of all those different mediums as well as the stamps, but we also think of stencils. Now, we've got an amazing pick and mix, and this is a, a lovely selection for you here today as well. Choose any three. Now, I do have some of the samples. I don't have a board for all of them. So we'll have a look at the individual names for these, and wherever I can match them, I will do. The very first one I'm going to show you is Lace Mandala. We do actually have a little sample to show you as well, which is very sparkly, I've got to say. Let me just bring that down so we can put that in front and you can see exactly what you're getting. Look at that. Obviously, you don't have to be sparkly, but it really works, doesn't it? Very nice indeed. Then we have Damaged Dots, perfect for your snowflakes. Exactly, it yeah, have yeah, to be yeah. Snowflakes, I didn't know it? the names of any of them, but I would have said that they were snowflakes. <laughs> Do you know, I'm going to show you something like this one as well. Particularly like the pearl effect in the embossing powder there, because that works very, very well if you want I to. I think that's actually slap it on mixed is it? with luscious. Is it? I think so. Oh, oh, you can see the effect then if you want to take advantage of uh, going for the bundle with, um, would it be the Magic Sparkles then, the Luscious? Yes, yeah. or the Porcelain. It's, one, it's either the Porcelain or the Magic Sparkles, yeah. Perfect. Now we've got a lovely stencil with the words there. This is Sparkle and Glisten. You can see those words, but you've got more than that as well. Very nice font. Don't have a sample to show you, but that's very obvious what you can do with it. Then we have the Stars. I do have a sample for this one. Now the Stars are limited stock. Let me just drop in the sample there. Again, that sparkle shows it off really, really well. There we are. So if you want that one, be quick on it because that is limited stock. Spirit of Christmas is the next one. We do have a sample of this one, so we just have a quick look at those words and then we'll drop in the sample. There we are. You see Spirit of Christmas and all those other Christmassy words for you as well. Then we have the vintage frame. This is very pretty. This is a handy one, uh, Julia, again, because you could take out the centre with your die again. Mm, you could. Put anything or, or lift this it's, one up. It's really nice to have the, the baubles that are in the, the main bundle of stamps, to have those hanging down from it. That's a good idea. I do like that. Then we have the damaged snowflake. These are really pretty, actually. Oh, they don't look damaged. Mm. I know I can see why they're called that, but they are very nice indeed. Maybe if you've got a little bit more grungy as well for Christmas, then that would work perfectly. Great names for these. Damaged damask is the next one. I love a damask pattern, damaged or not. <laughs> That's a very useful stencil. And then the final one we've got is family. I do have a sample for this one. Didn't have one for the last one. Family, you can see eternal joy, love, cherish, adore. Oh, that's not the same one. That's the wrong one. We haven't got a sample for that one. Oh, not to worry. Not to worry, but you can see exactly what you get in there. $9.99 for any three. Oh, we've had a sellout. The stars have gone. Right, I'm going to take that one away then. But you've still got plenty to choose from. Some really, really lovely designs there. 545378 is the item number. Yeah, grab yours while you can. Sell out very quickly there, as we've seen those. So make sure you do check those baskets out. Now, lots of you going for the luscious. Honestly, if you've not got any, treat yourself. We've got lots of options. If you have got some, you can continue to collect those colours. This particular option is spring in your step. Then we have In the Pink, oh, I like that one, Cottage Garden, oh, Mermaid is divine, look at that. Uh, we've got Rusty Verdigree there, Perfect Peacock, uh, this one we believe, oh, we're not sure on that one. Check the website because the images... The images don't seem to be lining up with the names we've got. We think that is Vintage Floral. Oh, I like that one. 
Is that vintage floral, Julie? Do you know? Probably, yeah. I would Check think the so. website because it should be correct on the website. The details we've got on our information sheet is not lining up with the images, but they're all beautiful. 26.25 for five pots. That is a great deal. 164502. Yeah, lots of you going for those. They are big pots as well. They, they are, are they? a 25 yeah. mil pot. Normally, with mica powders, you get either a two or, or a most a 10 mil. Yeah. But these are 25 mil each, and they are really full as well. Do you know, I, when I got to use them in the last summer show, I, was, I, I just wanted to find any excuse to keep using them yes. because they are fabulous. They are they really absolutely are. beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So uh, we'll put this card together now. Um, there's a few different options, actually. So this is my uh, background that I did with the um, translucent paint. So oh, exactly the nice. same as, as before, but without the mica powder. So you can just okay. about see the, let's see if I can get it for you. That is so effective, Just about Julia. see the leaves through there. Can't quite get it on the camera. We can see it. Yeah, yeah okay. we can right. see so it. So just about to see the leaves. This one isn't quite dry yet, but it's getting there. But you, it has got a shimmer coming on it. So oh yes, you yeah, can see you the can shimmer see that on well. that one. Yeah. Perfect. It's one of those things that is better in, in real life. So we've got a few, a few options. So instead of using that, what we could have done is we could, this is one of Kay's backgrounds from when she was here last. That makes a nice background to work with it. Or you could use both together, that really works. That's you, that border stamp I mentioned. The earlier, border isn't stamp, it? this yeah, is in the, from the main lovely. bundle. This is um, one of Kay's. This is um, the uh, sort of snowflake mandala. I don't know what the name of it is really. I'll call it snowflake from the stencils. This is just. Okay. Yeah, I think that is the mandala. Yeah, one. Um, just slap it on. Lace this, mandala. This is what me. Kay's done. She's put, um, it looks like it's Sargasso Sea and. Oh might even be um, a luscious with that I'm not sure anyway she's put something on top so that could be a background and that would work as, as well that does work so that's another idea that you can do obviously we're going for the one that I've done here because it's all sized properly but you've got a few different ideas what you could also do is is like I say a few different ideas you could take the swag that oh. there is and you could kind of put it behind there snip that bit off and have your happy Christmas coming in here. Let's move this down well, a bit. That works as well. And you've got a little bit of play on this swag, haven't you? So you you've got a lot of play on this one. So you could bring in your happy Christmas. Obviously, forget that that's there. And that could be uh, a card that you're making. Lovely. What we're going to do, though, is not that, because I don't want to chop into that, because Kay's beautifully coloured it and cut it out. <laughs> and I'm being very precious with it, which <laughs> means it won't use, get used. So we've got on the main, uh, let's see which one it's on. It's uh, the uh, one with the tree, um, which is called uh, Magical Christmas Tree. You've got um, mistletoe. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to just stick some mistletoe uh, at the back there, I think. And we've also got the pine cone, which is from the this one, the Happy Holidays. Excuse me, because I can't remember all the names. And I think we're going to bring that in and perhaps have that on the top coming in there. And then we're going to put our Happy Christmas in here. Do you know, it really does make a difference once you start to layer up and build the yeah, dimensions, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, that's the beauty, because that, when Kay sent me the, the stuff, she said, I'm not sure whether you'll want to use these. <laughs> well, yeah, of course <laughs> I will. Um, but um, it, it's nice for your positioning to be yeah. able to, to kind of do that. Just even if you don't, if you haven't actually cut them in, you know, cut them out, you can just uh, play with them uncut, uh, uh, uncoloured rather, and uh, it really helps. This is the grab and go, which I've got far too much on here. And I used it for the first time when I did a Facebook Live yesterday, and I was so impressed. It's so thick, this glue. Is it a real quick grab glue? It's then? a really quick grab, and it's, it, like I say, it's so thick. Um, I was really, really impressed. Oh, well, if you need some of that, we've got the details at the bottom of the screen for you. Nice big pot as well. Two pots, I think you get. Yeah, yeah you do actually. Yeah, 50 mil in each. That's 100 mil all together. 9.99, 444086. So is that a good one for things like your MDF again? If it's yes. Quick, the right, reason yeah. why Kay actually developed it was because of the um, quite often on the dirty weekends, which aren't rude. They are a crafty weekend. Um, they um, they use an MDF project. And uh, she was finding that the glues that she was getting weren't uh, binding quick enough. 
they weren't strong enough so that's why she's developed this and it is really good glue oh lovely yeah it's handy getting some of that even if you don't need glue at the moment give it a go yeah absolutely i was like it. i say i mean I, I normally go for another glue and uh, i tried it for the first time yesterday and first of all remember that it's got a bung on it on the inside <laughs> so remember it won't work unless you actually get the bung out of it um, so that's a big tip uh, and also um, it's got it's got it's like the flitter glue it's got kind of a little nipple on it yeah. so you just you just kind of swizzle it to close it and just wipe the end and that's going to stay fresh for you forever um, so um, that's that's just a little way of using it so that's going to go on there like that with my extra little bits and then we just for the small ones, it is actually easier to put a little bit on your craft sheet or a little bit on your finger. I love just... the positioning of the mistletoe as well, Julia. Rather than it, because a lot of people would think it's automatically, let's put that bang in the middle. Yeah. And it looks lovely just coming in from the side, and then you've got the balance with the fur comb there as well. Yeah. And that's grabbed straight away. Yeah, you can it, see. It is, it is, I was so, you know, you've got to almost, I mean, there's not a lot of wiggle time if you have it on thin obviously the thicker it is the longer it's going to yeah. take to set yeah, it'll take but if you put it on quite thin it grabs straight away so there we go oh, i love that i thought it was greens as well in the background beautiful it's quite fresh isn't it it's very fresh absolutely gorgeous and i quite like the contemporary happy christmas obviously the happy comes with the birthday yeah. that's in the center of your wreath but you can actually you know if you stamp it you can cut it out really easily by hand and the christmas comes separate Oh, that is lovely, Julia. Oh, well done. Thank you very much for that. What a gorgeous, gorgeous bundle of stamps. Not only the stamps, don't forget you get that little dinky stencil as well. You've got the two A5 stamps. You've got the two A6. All of them are absolutely jam-packed full of detail. Very contemporary feel. You can see that border there with the Christmas tree on the A5 as well. That was that background that Julia experimented with there at the start of the demonstration. I think that's such a useful stamp by itself. The vines are in there. Of course, you've got the fir cones, you've got the wreath, you've got all those extras as well. Let's have another look at these closely because I don't want to miss out on anything. If you look at the tree alone, the amount of detail there, but then you've got the, all those extra stamps around the side, the mistletoe just in the corner there. I love the colour scheme on the packaging, but of course you can use that for inspiration. You can go with whatever colour you wish. May your holidays sparkle with joy and laughter. Now you can get these individually as well. So for the A5 stamps, bottom of the screen at 19.99. The saving, of course, is in the bundle. You've got a couple of different options there. The second option individually would be this one, but of course part of the bundle. You are almost getting one of the A5 stamps for nothing if you're going for the bundle because of the price there. There we are, lots of detail in there. Then, of course, the A6 stamps. Just because they're slightly smaller doesn't mean they haven't got the detail. They certainly have. In fact, some of my favourite, favourite elements are in here. Oh, I just I adore the vine and the fur comb there. Gorgeous words in there. You've certainly got stamps that you're going to use over and over and over again. Eleven ninety nine. If you want to go for this one individually, bottom of the screen for the individuals on the A6 size as well. There we are. We're looking at the second one here in the bundle or in the individual option. You've got that very, very contemporary tree there. The stars, again, you've got the fur con. I love the hexagon in there. And then, of course, the dinky stencil with those words. All for $49.95. We've got a flexi on this one as well, so you only need to make one payment today, another in a month's time. I'm just going to grab some more samples, actually. I've still got a pile here that we've not dipped into. So let's see what we've got here. I got the right one here. I have, haven't taken that tree. You see, every time you see the samples and you see the different colours, you then question yourself. Mm. And look Are at these the on the, the border in the background. Yeah, you of can that see one. it, can't yeah. you? Yeah. Love it. Oh, we've got that wonderful tree again here as well. I know the tag well. is by Lorna. Yeah, we've got another one from Carol in there with the black background. That beautiful, that's, luscious, that's green luscious green used. Yeah. A nice one from Kerry here as well. Loving the background there. Keeping it simple, actually, really, really effective. The yeah. background and then just over stamping. Yeah, yeah. Well, Kerry do we like this next one? Distress inks and a, a translucent paints. I love this one. Look at that. That's. I think that's one of Kay's. Is it's it? A bundle that she sent me. Yeah, but that that vines in the background, so that makes a really good background. It does. Yeah. And then that border we mentioned again. Leslie's use it as a framework mm. around the tree. 
So that works very, very well. We're talking home decor, we're talking your cards, we're talking scrapbook pages, we're talking your albums, you know, whatever that, you so want. It's contemporary, wish. that, isn't it? And you've got a stencil in the background yep. as well. Very nice. Is that the uh, damaged snowflakes? I think it is for the yeah, stencil. Yeah, I think that's isn't what it? it's called. Yeah. And on your canvas as well. Those trees together. Stunning, aren't are they? Really, really yeah, pretty. Absolutely stunning. And they're very easy to cut out and to colour in, so they're great for children to have a go at as well. Oh, Don't forget that children like to yeah, make their own Christmas definitely, cards as well. Definitely. Do you know that you have got so many different options? I think this pile I've got here, a lot of them are the trees on there, mm. but, you know, they are absolutely beautiful. Two payments of £24.98, item number 903478. Now, the Luscious has been very, very busy this hour. Let's show you a few more colours. Because we had a little bit of a mix-up with our information against the images, we're going to show you on the website. So, Spring in Your Step is the one you can see now. All you need to do is go on the drop-down menu, click on the title, and it will show you the appropriate colours. So, as we go through and scroll through those, you can see each and every one of those options. If you're just going for the one, I have no idea how you're going to choose. No, I, I wouldn't not. know how to choose either. <laughs> you, you will. Once you get one selection, if you haven't already got some, you will come back for more. I'm sure of that. Item number 164502. Lots to choose from. Right, let's get back to Julia. We've still got some time left. Okay. So we've got about 10 minutes, Julia. We okay, so I'm not sure in. how far we'll get on with this, but we might just uh, do the background and then just stick the rest. Okay. So we're going to play with Flitterglow. Uh, so uh, in the kit, I think that you've got a choice of the Chariots of Fire, the, the Sheffield Steel and, and Copper Kettle. Okay, and then yep. in each kit you get a flitter glue. I'm still using my original one. Kay did send me a new one, but I've, I'm still using my original one um, from last year. Uh, you get um, a piece of fat foam and you get a scoochie as well uh, as your gilding flakes. Wonderful. So, um, I know you've seen Kay do this, but I know we get new viewers all the time. It's got one of those kind of nipple mechanisms on the, the pot. Yeah. So, uh, you, you want to prime your, um, your fat foam, first of all. So, and the first time you use it, you'll find that the... Um, the flitter glue will actually set down into the foam really nicely. I tend to leave mine to um, to dry and then I put it in a plastic bag and I can use it again and again and again. But subsequently, because it's got a film already on it, um, you, you don't get it setting in. It doesn't sink in so far. No, it'll sit on the top more, it? sits on the it? top more and you do get stickier. So it's actually better to use a new piece of fat foam if you can. So we're using the, just the spatula. I think you might get a spatula in the kit. I'm not sure. Um, oh, we'll see if we can check on that. Yeah, so you use the spatula just to spread it out. And then we're going with the stamps. And we are going with that lovely uh, vine leaf again on my Slim Jim. Okay. And the thing is to work quite quickly, but don't panic. So we're just tapping over over the vine leaves. Is it, is it important to tap rather than sort of brush that across the surface and drag yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Try not to get it on your fingers like I always do. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to go off the bottom a little bit and we're going to do just three seconds and off. Three seconds and off. That's what I tend to do. Right. And then you can keep on going and keep on stamping. I think yep. I'll just do one side because we've pushed for time. Okay. And you can keep on going. You don't have to clean your stamp until you've finished. So when you've finished, you can just pop it in some water until you're ready to clean it. Okay. And just run and it under a tap. Um, and I use um, a nail brush. Okay. Do you uh, use a bit of washing up liquid? No. no? Never bother. Just water? Just water. That's it? Okay. Just, just water. And the key is to not actually... I mean, we're nice and clear now. Yeah. The key is not to actually put anything on it until it's nice and clear. If it's kind of bluey colour or you can see kind of globules of it, don't actually do anything with it. So you can actually go away and, and come back to this days later and it will still be sticky. Really? It's sticky until you put something on it. Ah, that's So if the cat then. walks on it, he's wearing it <laughs> if you haven't actually put something on it. Okay. <laughs> The so. cat's wearing the, the glue and the glue's wearing the cat because I'm sure the fur's going to stick to the glue. Yeah, yeah, it would. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So now we're going to do, and this is a, a technique that I got from Kay, um, because you can actually put luscious powders on this, so though it's called flitter glue, you can put glitter on this and you can also put gilding flakes on this. So you can do lots of different things and you can combine the two. 
Would so, you recommend a really fine glitter then, Julie, if you were yeah, using fine glitter, glitter? Because yeah, of the detail yeah. in the stamps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, you don't want, you don't want uh, the, the bigger glitter. So we're going to use a bit of the uh, sparkling waterfall, which is the lovely blue. And we're just going to put a little bit here and there. That's all we're going to do, just with a, a, a fine brush. Then we're going to grab our um, chariots of fire. Oh, nice. Which, which has got lovely big flakes in it. And you don't actually need very much. It's and because they're big flakes, you can be quite precise where you put you the can, colours. You can, absolutely, so you yeah, yeah. And you'll be wearing some on your fingers as well if you've got glue on your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and then you work with your scoochie. And then you'll start to see... Oh, wow, that's like magic. It is Look like that. magic. It's more magic painting. Don't worry about the extra luscious that we've got. <gasps> oh, I love the luscious with the gilded flakes. Yeah, yeah? It's a really, it is a really nice effect. So let's just move this out of the way that and then we beautiful. can just, just um, put that down there a minute. Oh, I'm so going to do that. And then we, you take your lovely soft brush that you just used and you can just sweep away the excess luscious and then you're left with just the... Do you know, you can border. see that has actually made a difference just brushing over the top. There. Oh, that yes, it does. Stunning. It removes the excess. That is absolutely, I love that colour. What selection is the colour from? The, uh, it's luscious. Spring in Your Step. Spring in Your Step. Yeah, yeah. I'm, good. I'm, I'm focusing on that one because it's the newer one. Okay. Okay. And oh, I've only okay. just got that oh, one. Do so not miss that really like that All one. the gilding flakes come to that. Yeah. If you want to go for the kit, you've got the 50ml of the flitter glue there and you've got the gilding flakes. You've got a choice of different colours. We've got Sheffield Steel. We've got the Copper Kettle. We've got Chariots of Fire, that's the one Julia's just used. And we've got Manchester Tart as well. Already a nice mixture there. Nine ninety nine, great price because those flakes are gonna go a long, long way too. One three nine nine seven four is the item number. Okay. Oh, I'm so pleased we got to see that, Julia. Yeah, yeah. So so I've got my I've matted onto some of the um Sentimental Yours New Gold um luster cardstock here. Oh, nice. So that's gonna match with my um Sheffield um not, not Sheffield, so Chariots, Chariots of Fire. Fire. So, and I've got borders going down each side there. And that's going to go there, okay? That's very nice. Then we're going to do a border in the centre. And we're taking, there is a little tiny stamp in the um, magical Christmas tree. Okay. And it's, it's text. And I'm going to use the new um, Distress Ink prize ribbon. <gasps> How come you've got hold of that? That's oh, been launched I'm a today. I'm stockist. <laughs> oh, so, we were keeping that secret. I've had it a couple of weeks. <laughs> I've had if it actually, weeks. Leonie was using this colour yesterday. It's a bit of a sneaky peek as yeah, well. Yeah, so, so if you're loving this, watch out for the one day special later. So, so I'm a little bit wobbly, but it's, it's fine. So I'm just doing first, second, third generation on my background. It doesn't have to be perfect. Got just under four minutes left, Julie. Okay. You're very so you well. carry on like that and then mat it and layer it. Okay. Da, 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 da. Quick, 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 quick. Where's my where's my tidy up bit? It is a because they're new, it's a very, very juicy ink pad. So that's gonna go in the middle. Okay, yeah. So again, matted and layered onto the gold, so that's gonna be fitting nicely. And then, obviously, I'm not going to have time to do any more stamping, but I'll take one of the Christmas trees. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Love it. And then we've got one of the stars, which comes with the kind of bubble tree set. And oh, that's then I've nice got, that you can add that if you, if you wish. Yeah, and, and then I've got Happy Christmas things. and I've done it in black. So I'll stick that down in a minute. But you can remember that with this stem here, there isn't a stem on that kind of bubbly Christmas tree, but you can cut the stem off that and stick it on the back of the bubbly one as oh. well. So you could use the bubbly yeah. one in the so same kind of situation. As well. And these it. have been painted with the Spring in Your Step um, uh, Luscious Powders, and it is on black card. You see it's on black? So okay. um, that shows you that Luscious works on black really well. I know well. they're not stuck down, Julie, but come over a little wiggle in front of uh, the camera in front of you of that beautiful effect with the gilding flakes and the Luscious again there, so we can really catch the sheen. There we are. 
I think lots of us will be doing that today. If you've never seen that technique before, it's a lovely it technique. It is absolutely beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Make sure you've got your gilding flakes, make sure you've got your luscious as well. Make sure you checked out your baskets on the bundle because that saving of £17 is one not to be missed, isn't it? You've got the flexi buy option, so you don't have to pay £24.98 today. If postage and package is uh, for you to pay, then of course you will be doing that as well. But Freedom members, you know, you're. You can have it delivered to your door without any extra cost, aren't you? 903478 is the item number. We've got lots and lots of things on the website. Don't forget to have a look at all those different colour options for the Luscious, for the translucent paints. Don't miss out on the bundle with the magic sparkles in there. You've got the, the glaze. Uh, there's three different pots of different mediums in there. The most beautiful colours in the Luscious. Honestly, just spend a bit of time having a look at those and then uh, choose. I'm sure you're going to add to the collection sometime in the future as well. Julia, we'll be back at 2 o'clock, actually. We will. Uh, we're together again at 2 o'clock, I believe. Yes, yes. Oh, what can we look forward oh, to? Oh, lots of more techniques, and we'll be getting that to slap it on. I cannot wait. Cannot <laughs> wait. We've still got a little bit of time left, Julia, so anybody that's sitting on the fence and thinking, well, I really like what I've just seen in demonstration, um, it's a little bit different, shall I go for it, shan't I go for it, what would you say? Well, if you want any, I think with, with Janine's designs, I mean, you can do something really, really simple. I mean, yeah, you could just stamp an emboss. Um, you're not with me, are you? Uh, you could just, yeah, you are. Oh, Julie, so you could just what have you got there? Stamp an emboss, the Christmas tree in gold and just pop a sentiment underneath. Matte and layer, something simple. But if you want some mindful time, then you can get your colouring um, mediums out and you can actually colour it in and, and take some time for yourself. So you can go from simple to really kind of um, more complicated if you want to. So I think there's something for everybody with this, but they are, the detail is just absolutely stunning. It really is. And talking of simple into something more complicated, and simple doesn't mean that it takes away no. from the effect. For no. me, sometimes it can be more effective. No. I absolutely love Kerry's tags there. Yes. Yeah. Then using the larger stamps. So many options here. So much you can do with them. Check those baskets out. I'll see you a little bit yep, later, see you Julia. Later. I'll see you very soon too as well. I'm going to give you the menu that's coming up next. Oh, wait until you see the goodies we've got next. Natasha makes. Then we've got Clever Prince. Our lovely Charmaine's here for that. Then Clarity Stamp One Day Special back at 12. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers of colors, textures, and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dies, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town and it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers. We have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix. We have dyes and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dollar Dimple shows and have some fun. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. 
They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows. Oh, I see what you've done there, Mr. Cameron. You've, you've, you've gone right in on a cute little penguin with a little heart, love heart. Why, would, why wouldn't you? Of course you do. Oh, oh, hang on. You're just dragging in a lovely little frog there with a little tea and uh, dragons. Oh, oh, look at this. I love it. Oh, the toad. Uh, what, what friends we have. We've got lovely bears. We have got... Oh, look at the big... Oh, the big drag. Look at the big dragon there. Shh. Um, we've also got... We've got a little... Hang on. I've got loads of names here. My little mouse. Um, what's that? Oh, storytelling mouse. He looks, he looks very wise, actually, our storytelling mice. Um, this, is, this is... Welcome. <laughs> welcome to all of my friends. This is who I normally just sit and chill with um, in the green room, just hanging out with a unicorn or like a little lovely pony. You know, we are... Uh, you know, we've got all friends. Larry. Oh, what's that, Larry? Classic Larry. Um, so we've got all we've got all the friends in here. He was barred from the local pub once as well because the barman said you can't come in here because you always got given it all that. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, classic, classic Larry. Uh, we've got them all. Uh, and if you would like to, you go for a pick a mix uh, of having all your friends here, which is absolutely brilliant. We are going to go through them all. Why wouldn't we? Because they are all absolutely brilliant. The website is our friend with this because all of your patterns are available on there. There are a pick and mix that you want to go through from that. You can choose any two for those patterns and some they can multi-character uh, multi really that you're going to see on some of those, but they are all there, absolutely brilliant. Now the most important thing is I want to direct you to the felt and what we're going to do is we will let you know which colours um, the actual packaging suggests if you would like to copy what you are seeing actually with the uh, examples that are here on the show. But you can go for your pick and mix, uh, pop those into your basket, or pay a one-off. And uh, we've also got some other um, options as well with the felt that you can go through on some sets and some bundles that we have for you. But basically, it's a one-stop shop. One-stop stop. It's a one-stop shop first time round. That's good. Uh, so you can choose your patterns from your pick and mix and you can also get the fabrics that you'll require to do that really, really simply. And they are amazing. And to tell us more about them, it's our lovely friend. We had our first show together this morning again of the day. It's our second of three. Lovely Natasha, we're back again. Hello. 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 How are Hello. you? I'm very well. Well, listen, you surrounded us because they actually did... They sneaked onto the set, didn't they, this morning at seven? They snuck on. They did sneak, and yeah. Uh, and I think a lot of people have noticed them in that hour as well, and we're asking, and they, they are all here now. These are absolutely fantastic. I love these. Well, thank you. I can take absolutely no credit for them whatsoever. <sighs> so these are all designed by an amazing lady named Sandra. They're from a company. <laughs> I know I know the octopus. Uh, the octopus. Just, just brilliant. What's his name? Her Ollie. Name. That's o Ollie, of course. Ollie the octopus. Hangs around with Larry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got a crown, right? Yeah. I want to do him in purples for my daughter. Oh. So I'm going to do him in different colours for my son and my daughter. Uh, this is your tra tranquil turtle. Very tranquil. Here. Yeah, yeah. So these are from a company called House of Zandra. And Sandra set up the company oh, seven years ago now, and I've been trying to get them oh. on TV for you, but they've always only ever done the shows. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So this is the first time I launched them on my Natasha Makes channel last week, and this is the first time that they have been, um, you know, here because they've, they've just they've done the shows but of course with covid there are no shows so um how it's, brilliant and she it? always promised i i hound her every time i see her at the show uh. i always buy you know patterns and you know my kids love them um and we've got stories about those oh. as well to share with you today but um and so i was so fortunate she said you know how i said if i ever changed my mind i would come to you great yeah yeah well, yeah so um, thank you sandra for entrusting these um, to to me and uh, and these are all of her samples. Some of these samples are seven years old. Wow! Wow! You know? And and that's that's what you're getting. This little chap up here, 
He is seven years old, the dog. Oh, the our dashing dog. Oh, hang on, hang on. I've just there heard he that our now what's that our doggy called? Dashing dog. Dashing dog. Yeah, dashing dog. Dashing dog has already sold out. Yeah. Now it's back on extended. And we hadn't even chatted about Dash and Dog there. <laughs> and, uh, and he has that look of expression of, uh, sold out? Ready? I've sold out already? But I'm back on extended. Um, uh, I love that. I love that. Um, I, I, oh, I would and... be having him as a door stopper. So it's quite weighty then. You well, can you, can. You, you can. you can put weight in when you stuff them. You That's can a great put, idea. You can, you know, you can put either plastic pellets or rice or something like that, put it in a bag in there. Um, and there's no reason why he couldn't be a door stopper. The same with the nosy goose. I oh, mean, just she's, the, she's wonderful. I, I got, mm. I've got to just let you know, I mean, because uh, our doggy has sold out. <laughs> look at the, how cute, cute neck shot. <laughs> well, <laughs> hello. He's, he's got, a, he is a mischievous monkey who's now looking going, anything that dog can do. Uh, well, yeah, I yeah. can do that. So I'm sold out as well, you know. And he had, right, that's the right, mischievous monkey has now also sold out, but he's ears? back on extended. But that, Look what, at his ears. What? He looks like he's got ear muffs on. There what, we go. The network. Yeah, that's it. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over there, he's like, don't, don't listen. We don't didn't style listen. his ears. <laughs> I feel we style failed. his ears. Oh, <laughs> um, that used to do that to me at school. It's quite a similar look, actually. Um, <laughs> I didn't like to say. There, there is a yeah, similarity. There is a similarity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> they are, but they have, that's what's so lovely about these. I feel like I've known them for eight. This is my gang now. Yeah, they're Down with my just posse. brilliant. You know? They're absolutely brilliant. And, uh, and like I said, I've been making them for years. The very first one that was ever made was the Storytelling Mouse. And this was also the first one that I ever bought for my son. And he's got, he's got his book. And he yes. is there telling the story. Oh, and, I love um, the book. Can and I the just beautiful hold him up? thing, and I, I, I really want Sandra to get more oh, printed. Look at the book. I know, just beautiful. That is just lovely. Beautiful. I mean, he get he is years and years and years old. He's one of the very first samples ever made. Oh. Um, but this was the first one I ever made for my son. Oh, and then it? Sandra wrote a book about the storytelling mouse, and he tells the story of oh, the I love characters. It. So Getting it's just it's just beautiful. And, uh, and, and all of these are made with blanket stitch. There is no is other brilliant. stitch. They are just blanket stitch. So it doesn't leave lots to demo because they're all blanket stitch. Well, that's, but isn't that but lovely? It, but that is the beauty of it, which means that young kids can make these. That's great. That is brilliant. You know, sort of think about eight, nine, ten. As long as they can do a blanket stitch, which I'll show you how to do in a minute, it's all blanket stitch. Um, so, it, uh, basically, anybody can make any one of these, yeah. um, which, is, which is phenomenal. I'd love his tail. I want to put his tail there so he can see as well. Um, uh, but, so, if you are thinking, yeah, but uh, the, the pattern might be complicated. I, I don't know. Lots of different stitches. Which mm -mm. one's best to start with? Any of them. Any of them. I think that may be why we've already had sellouts on the show. They are back on extended. Have we got another sellout? Okay. Right, this is Pumpkin Pie Teddy. Okay, he's... Wow, he's now... Well, I've not really looked at him at all. I love his feet. Uh, well, his feet mean he stands Let me up. just... Oh, my... Look at... If you were... That looks like a kangaroo. Look at that. Imagine that. Look at the size. How does he find footwear? He is... They are massive. I love it. He's absolutely... Oh, I love the details as well there. Right, so if you've got buttons and if you've got a doll needle... Then when you come to sew his legs on and his arms, if you just go through from one side to the other, then you will get him so that his legs will move. Oh, that is, he's absolutely... And his arms as well. He, I love it. I love the big bow tie as well. Uh, that is so, so... And these are, you know, if you are making for somebody... And I, and I take it, just on that point, if you are making these attachments, sort of the time scale to make, even if it was sort of beginner's point of view... Oh, from depending on which one, it, you know, you, you, if you'd sat down, I, I did mine in a day. Right, okay, okay. You know, it's, it, and you just, you get faster and faster. Well, the first time that I made one, I'd never done a blanket stitch. I had to learn how to do a blanket stitch in order to do my uh, storytelling mouse. 
but it's super easy and then you just you just you just crack on with it and it, it's it's lovely and the nice thing about this is that if you have grandchildren or children and you want to do them in different colorways which is why we've done the pick and mix of the felt rather than just bundling yes. it in yeah it means that you then get to choose your favorite colors or you can do like for my, my son and my daughter I'm going to do the Manali the octopus each but they'll be in different colorways um, right. And so they'll, they'll be, well, there'll be arguments, but not about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They'll have to pick something different a cure. to argue about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite right. Quite right. Uh, well, um, now I've just heard um, our storytelling mouse. Yes, I'm talking about you. Yes. You've just sold out. He's rather fabulous. But you are back on extended. <laughs> back to his book. <laughs> Obviously, not perturbed. Oh, that's not the only one. Okay, hang on. I could have, I could have been in that broom cupboard. You, you know could I mean? have been. Oh. You've missed a trick. I mean, we could always put you back give, in a broom give cupboard. A, <laughs> <laughs> give me a duck. Uh, we haven't got a duck, but we have got, uh, we have got geese. We've got now, a goose. Who else, who else has sold out? Oh, the dragon. Which one? We have multiple dandy dragons. dragon. This is our dandy dragon. That is dandy dragon. Dandy dragon. Look at dandy dragon. Hello. Look at the lips, you've got to look at the lips. Look at, look at the uh, lips because, uh, because, uh, yeah. Hello. Air. Me, me, oh, really? Um, <laughs> I... <laughs> you are the right presenter for this show. Oh, I'll tell you, I, I fought mean, Catherine for this. Hours of fun. I took her out. Yeah, and I I said, well, I know. Right, you put her in the broom cupboard, didn't you? Locked her in a car. <laughs> <laughs> Still in there at the moment. Um, I absolutely, I love the air. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, just look at that look. I, I love know. that. And the mouth. Look I at know. That. Do you know uh, what, though, with these sort of colorways, if you've got a kid that loves Shrek, there's no, oh, you know, you could, you could make them a dragon. That is absolutely brilliant. Look at the wings. Oh, that is fantastic. And the, a feature, it seems here, with the beautiful tails as well. Um, but I, I love your idea about, you know, doorstops, etc. Making yeah. it practical as well as when fun. You, I, I wanted to bring all the samples on the show, and so we had a limited range of time before Sandra needed them back for show season to start. Right, again, the right. shows are starting, finally. Um, and, yeah, so you don't get an idea of the scale when you just look at the pattern. Uh, no. That's the thing, you don't, you don't get an idea of how big these actually they are. They are brilliant. You know, they're really sizable. So use them as door stoppers. You know, put, put some, you know, rice in a bag or uh, on Natasha Makes we have recycled pellets that are perfect oh, okay. for this. Oh, great. So you can, well then, you know, if you ever want to, you can take them out, wash them through and use them again. And so that's it's, great. you know, they don't get thrown into waste. Um, but all of these things you can do or you just have them as, as fabulous things. Um, we've... We've got, um, we've got a two for one in, in a way with the pony and the unicorn because that pattern does both. Right. So you've got patchwork pony or the magical unicorn and it's from the same pattern. So, that's you know, that's, that's perfect too. Um, I've just, right, news on patchwork pony and our unicorn. They have also sold, well, I say they, that pattern has sold out but is back in on extended. It seems across the board, yeah. people are finding a place for this uh, yeah, to work yeah, with. Yeah. And I love the idea that they're all just done with a blanket stitch. But that's it. That's the only thing. That is stitch brilliant, isn't all it? All the way through. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Just finding the um, pattern there just to show you. There we are. So if you are going for Twinkle Unicorn, uh, or patchwork pony so you will be getting the instructions and you will be able to make both from that one so yeah. I think I could see why that one's gone as well so quickly because if you think you've got to pick a mix of any two you basically got you if you go for this one there. and another that's yeah, three yeah, yeah. Absolutely. different ones you'll be able to get and make and make from that as well which is you know fantastic but to be honest 15.99 if you were to see these in sort of in, in a toy shop you know or anything like that because for me these are almost like the classic cuddly toy, the classic toy um, that you would have. And the thing is something about that simple stitch mm -hmm. that gives it a lovely, mm -hmm. homely, cuddly. Uh, a, an almost like first teddy yeah. kind of feel yeah. that you said you made for your, for your children as well. And done. Uh, they are absolutely incredible. And there's a simplicity and sometimes less is more on some of these, isn't it? Yeah, Sandra just has an eye. She's amazing. She's just absolutely amazing. And the, the designs that she comes up, I think it's a real skill to be able to design in 3D. 
Hello. And and it just it is it's so it's so incredible and the expressions uh, and everything else. I want to bring these on again. We're just scratching the surface with the patterns here, and next time I'll bring on the eyeballs. But we've uh, I, I just sold out an Natasha makes and they've, they're on their way back to me. So next time we'll have to bring you on um, oh. the eyeballs. But it'll give you time oh. to stitch them. Um, otherwise, you know, like I say, they're just they're just coming back into I stock. I love it. So. Best friends, unicorn and pony. Just having Aren't a little... Aren't they fab? Or they maybe are. it could be a superhero. By day, patchwork pony. Oh. <laughs> By night... I love it. Twinkle unicorn. Oh, yeah, this is no ordinary pony. It's like the story of the ugly duckling. I, I mean, yeah. Uh, it's, it's just be, shh, don't listen. Maybe it's that patchwork is the Cinderella of the, uh, oh, that's of the it. pony world. You sh <laughs> I love that. You will go to the paddock. Um... <laughs> 1599 There was so much on here. Honestly, the friend is definitely your web. Is, no, your, <laughs> the web is definitely your friend. There we go. It's been a long, long, long morning already. Um, it definitely is because on there, just see them all because they're honestly, and when you see them up close, you can't help but fall in love with these. And certainly if you are making it, I think you're going to have as much fun making these knowing the reaction that you're probably going to get to whoever you're making these for. Maybe it's for your own children, it's godchildren, grandchildren. Maybe it's just for a friend uh, that you just think, Do you know what, they just have a penchant for a unicorn. Who doesn't love a unicorn at the moment, you know? I know people that collect frogs, um, octopuses, uh, whatever it is. If you just know that that's their thing as yeah. well, to make it for them, yeah. as much fun making as you are going to be actually, you know, for the person that's going to be receiving these that you've made. 905898, I love... Uh, is it Ollie the Octopus? Ollie the it octopus. is Ollie the Octopus. I mean, he, he looks like he should be a fascinator, doesn't he? I mean, it really, he, he it really should. should. I don't think we've caught his crown in shot as well. Uh, Look at the eyes. He does oh, have Ollie. a crown. And so, yeah, so this is one that I will do in one colourway for Freddie and in another colourway for Captain Small. Right. For sure. You right. know, they, that, will, that will be... I think for Captain Small, she'll probably have them in purples, and I'll probably stick to the original colourway um, for Fred. Little but yeah, crown. look at the crown. I, I put it on as a fascinator the other day. Oh, I was oh like, sorry, I have to. Yeah, no, you have to. And I was like, didn't didn't one of the didn't like Princess Eugenie or something wear something similar for one of the really? real weddings? I do. They, they have some amazing hurt. fascinators. Those girls wear. This is going to hurt me than it's going <laughs> to more than it's going to hurt you. <laughs> But it's, it, I think, if there'd be, be people would be disappointed if I didn't. I mean, um, on a jaunty angle, please. A jaunty angle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, because at the races, they have, like, they have best dressed. They do, don't they? they? I mean, it's, it's crying out for it, really. Um, so if you want to go for... Oh, stays. <laughs> Ollie's quite comfortable <laughs> there. Um, but they are, and they are, they are brilliant. They are, you know, for little ones, again, to, to hold, there's something about them as well, which is so full, so wholesome. So the felt for these is not your normal acrylic felt. Right. The felt feels... So sometimes people don't like working with felt because it's kind of got a squeaky texture. And, and that's acrylic felt. This isn't acrylic felt. Okay, this is... This is Incredible felt. This is yeah. thirty percent wool. Oh, that's seventy percent viscose. Oh, so you've okay. got its natural products in here. So it. it's it's oh. really beautiful. So that wool is giving it that longevity. The viscose just makes it so so soft. It, it um, really and so is. So that that's why um, this is such such special such special special felt for these. Yeah. I um, mean, it, it really it's beautiful. Really beautiful stuff. Um, and, and they are, they are, and it's lovely. Again, you mentioned so hard wearing. If it, some of these have been on, on, yeah, on shows, yeah, I mean, for the last so yes, yeah, and on and off the shows, and and on those shows, you know, I don't think people people touch them. They pick them up, they play with them, just as you, because you can't help but no, touch you can't. Them. You so can't. yeah, the storytelling mouse. He's like seven years old, and and uh, oh. our, our dashing dog up here again, seven years old. So this felt last. My son's. Uh, I made his his storytelling mouse when he was two, and he's nearly eight. Oh wow! You wouldn't know. No. You wouldn't know. No. Yeah. So they're going to last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going absolutely. to last, uh, which is absolutely brilliant. Get these. I, 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 to be honest, I've lost count what's on extended and what's not. Yeah, the best thing is definitely to go to the website, have a little look. And when we say extended, it's like by three or four days. Oh, yeah. It's not, we're not talking a, a great length no, of time no, or that's anything great. like that. That's yeah. great. We're, it's about sort of a week or so. That's, that, that's it, really. Uh, website, have a little look. The pictures are on there that you can see. Oh, okay. The ones with pictures are still the ones available for immediate delivery. Storytelling House has gone, I think, though, as well. I think we said T-Tipping... Uh, T-Tipping Toad. Toad. 
Uh, he's still available at the moment on immediate. Flowery Frog, the red-nosed reindeer. We don't have the red-nosed reindeer as a sample here in the studio. It's not their season. Uh, we've got the uh, Tranquil Turtle, uh, who's just down here, who's absolutely beautiful. Uh, he's available at the moment. And uh, Claude. Where's, where's Claude? <laughs> he's, oh, he's Claude. Me. He's just there he's he out, hanging out over there. Uh, just absolutely. I think he's trying to grab hold of that quilt, to be honest, there. He's been swinging in there like Tarzan uh, most of the morning. <laughs> um, but when we said we we're going to have crabs on the show, I thought, wow, things have changed here as well as standards. But there <laughs> it is. Uh, it's just hanging around there. But he is available for immediate dispatch if you still want to go for Claude. Bit of a European feel about that, I think, from Claude. I mean, Claude and Larry. What's not to know? Oh, listen, the and stories the that they thing, come back with. Oh, I know. The other thing is, with Larry, if you spin him around... Let's have a little look. Come on, Larry. This is the before pan. The what? <laughs> Lobsters are grey. Lobsters are grey? And then you cook them. Oh, that's hot. Why have you... Honestly, you, you could have warned me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Larry. Um, I didn't know that grey first and then you... And then you or is that, or is that prawns? I don't know, but it, it, it? <laughs> it looks good. He it, looks great. He really does. Absolutely brilliant. I bet he tastes fab. Um, <laughs> so he looks upset about that. Um, but absolutely, honestly, but you could just create a whole sort of story, a whole world of these, couldn't you? Of course you, you can. Um, and um, they're, they're just, they're great fun and because their limbs move, you know, you can, and like you've been doing, you've put expression into them. They're just wonderful. Can I, can I bring wonderful. our lovely goose in? Oh, do, the nosy goose. The nosy goose is pretty. Uh, they're absolutely beautiful. I'm thinking Mother Goose. It's almost, but it really is. I tell you what, though, look at those eyebrows. I mean, like, you're not going to, she's going to tell you off. Mm hmm. <laughs> you're doing what? <laughs> Actually, if you stare down the barrel, <laughs> if you, if you look. And tilt. She's, yeah. <laughs> she's disappointed with you. Oh, dear, dear, dear. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, she's un she's misunderstood. Uh, that's all it is. Oh, look, look. There we go. Um, so I think we've introduced pretty much everybody that is here on on the show for you as well. Um, or apart from a flying dragon, <laughs> where's the flying dragon on this set? Honestly, um, we've got we've got no, we've got sleeping sleepy dragon. Sleepy dragon. That's a sleepy dragon. There's sleepy dragon. And again, you know, you don't. This is just another way to have them. It, maybe you're making them in a nursery or something like that. Oh, they'd be great in a nursery, wouldn't they? They'd be amazing in a nursery absolutely and you think about all the stories that have got the dragons in them yeah, as well yeah, you know, yeah. there's this... another there's a magic dragon down is this down, down the front here, here? yeah and this is magic dragon i'll just i'll just get hold of you magic see, when dragon. we were kids we used to sing about puff the magic dragon at yes school. i don't think they're allowed to sing that anymore i think it had different connotations yeah what I yeah yeah but he certainly looks like he might have you know but he lived by the sea he did he was very sea. happy a yeah, uh, yeah, little yeah. place in weymouth apparently he had um it was two up and, um, but yeah, I mean, th th again, they are He's magical, wonderful. mystical. Yeah, no, he, he just, he just is rather, I, rather I love it. it. I absolutely love them all. They are brilliant. Again, just to recap, all of these are made with one simple blanket stitch, um, which I think is just incredible because, uh, when you, when you sort of see them, because if you are honestly great for practicing, great to be working with youngsters where they're creating their very own even yeah. to do with that with a blanket yeah. stitch. It's something, again, that pretty much anyone can pick up and grasp. Yeah, it is. And that feeling of satisfaction when you have created something for yourself it mm. is just is just fabulous. And especially if they get to choose the color or whatever, like this frog that we're seeing now <laughs> um, is absolutely perfect to do in any kind of colorway. You know, you can really mix and match and make it make it your own. And again, another one that if you wanted to weight down would make a great, uh, you can put the, uh, would make a great uh, door stopper or whatever oh, you would. want to do. Or even just to weigh down to sit on, um, on shelving. It, yes. It's entirely up to you. So this is the flowery, flowery frog. Uh, this is a uh, flowery frog. Flowery frog. Um, I, I, they've done this with, uh, so the uh, green felt, the fuchsia felt and the black felt. Um, 
So I suppose, again, if you're thinking about what, what colourings to use, again, you can go with your own individuals on you this. Can. But you um, if you are wanting to follow on what they've gone, again, you may want to think with those colour combos if you're choosing uh, those from the pick and mix uh, that's available, which we are going to we'll have a little look at as well. If you are looking for inspiration, I'll do my best to try and read out um, when we come to them, actually, what sort of colours uh, they've suggested you go with. But you might just be... Just think, do you know what? I want to go with them all in orange. I want to go with them. That's the lovely it's thing about it. It's just this. a serving suggestion and uh, and shows you what colours these ones have been made in. But it is purely that. It's a serving suggestion. And if you want to do them in another colour, you do them in another colour. It's entirely up to you. That's the absolute beauty of this. It's entirely up to you. I mean, we've got the, the wreaths at the end and we've got ones that have got giraffes on and things like that. You can do them in bright orange. We've got orange. Uh, you know, it's actually been done in greys, but there's no reason why you can't do it in in oranges so we've got one that is woodland and one that is jungle this is the jungle with this the is the jungle yeah. oh now they are both on extended i think people have seen these even before we've come to yeah. show them on the show so the jungle that you've got in your hand has got the monkey it's got the giraffe and it's got the zebra on it That's um brilliant. yeah it just it just really really That's lovely lovely that and you know you can you can personalize these so the one in front is the woodland one with your squirrel and your fawn um, and again, you know, you put those letters on, you personalise it, and um, and make it, yeah, make it your own. And, yeah. and you know, the background can be any colour. It doesn't have to be. No, that's true. It doesn't have to be woodland colours. You could do a rainbow for uh, for the name. It's entirely up to you how you want to do these. You might want to do a black background and have a dark forest. It, but it, you know, again, this is down to you. This is how you choose uh, exactly how you want to do these. But these are used with 18-inch pieces of felt. Um, and that's what we have on the show for you today. Most of these take the 18-inch pieces of felt, um, and some take like half pieces and whatnot. But that's that's the main that's the main type of felt that we've right. got. We do have some bundles. So if you want to do different accessories and different colours, you know, maybe there are patches and tails and things like that that you want to do in different colourways, um, then your most cost-effective way is with one of the bundles. Um, but that's just because you get then all the options and all the colours and then, you know, you might want to do those animals in, in all different yeah. colours and, and then that's where getting the bundle would be really great. Right. I, I, I think it, they are brilliant. Let me just give you the details uh, if you want to go for the wreath. Eight double one double four zero. Just choose which one you want to go. Do you want to go to jungle um, or do you want the woodlands that you've got there? That's the woodlands there. You can see with Jamie the name on there as well. And of course you've got the jungle with our swinging monkey uh, on there. Just nine ninety nine uh, for the pattern. Whichever one you want to go for. Eight double one four four zero. I think they're, they're a beautiful gift to make. If you're looking for something, a newborn again just to, to put into the nursery certainly personalise it. Maybe Perfect. it's a birthday on there. But how lovely. And also, you know, more and more parents don't want pinks or blues. They don't no. want that sort of that gender yes. colouring. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is perfect. You it can do perfect. it all in neutrals and it will sit beautifully in any nursery, any bedroom. I mean you could put this on the on the door of, of any age child yeah, that's and true. it's gonna look great. Yeah. Yeah, even mine. I'd be more than happy I mean, with yeah, one of those. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't think Fee would argue. Uh, 811 uh, We are dispatched for the 12th of August um, for the woodland and also for the jungle. Um, so if you want to go for those ones, pop those into your basket. Let's um, focus on what you were just talking about then with the bundles and mm. the pick and mix uh, mm. to go with them as well. Now, is this worth pointing out? The first bundle... Oh, really? Honestly, people are ahead of us. Sold out. Oh, OK. Right. But it, it is back on extended. Right. Good. OK. So this bundle here, we've got 1249. Now, these are your 9 by 9 felt. This is your vintage we've got here. These, if I just hold them that way, some beautiful colours on here as they, well. Aren't they gorgeous? And that's just it. So, you know, things for, like, the nosy goose, she's got a bow that doesn't take a huge amount. You wouldn't need a whole 18 by 18 uh, sheet of felt. Right. So these are absolutely perfect if you're doing some of the smaller ones, um, you know, some of the dragons, things like that. Some of the smaller ones, this is going to be absolutely perfect for for the spots and, and things yes. like that. And the yeah, patchwork yeah. pony. You know, you can you can use some of these and they're going to be... They're going some to of be these brilliant. were from the dragons, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, they're gorgeous colours. And again, re they're really lovely and they're soft. They're so soft, yeah. They're yeah, really yeah. lovely. So oh, you've got that. three types of felt. You can get 100% wool felt, which is a, a little bit scratchy. It's sort of heirloomy, you know, it's, oh, it's going to okay. last forever. Um, and then you've got acrylic, which has got that squeaky texture. Uh, yeah, like yeah, which one. people don't like. No, um, not and for then a toy, you've got this, which is the mix, which is the, the wool viscose mix. So 30% wool, so you've got that longevity, and then the softness is coming from the viscose. They are beautiful colours, and they are very... I've just uh, completely just um, mucked up the little display there. Um, but nothing, nothing new there, everybody. Um, but they really are so, 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 so soft to touch. They are gorgeous. You know, I like to, you know, give it the stroke factor, uh, always to sort of see where we are. Well, these you can stroke these all day. They're absolutely beautiful, and with that longevity, but perfect for your toys if you are making those. Double eight three... Eight six seven. So they're brand new on the show today. Twelve pounds forty nine. It already sold out on the vintage, but it is back on extended, and it's not too long to wait for that. Um, it's just that uh, the stock that we had has gone. Uh, you absolutely look, it's flying out of the studios. Uh, that is a really, really lovely bundle to be working with. Now they're your nine by nines that you've got for the vintage. Let's move on. Now, these are the rainbows, and again, same size, these are your 9 by 9s And again, I'm going to try and just rotate that round so you can see, because it's been beautifully put by as a display there. Natasha did it. She's very clever with organising. <laughs> I unrolled it. Organising. I mean, it was, Look it at that. took me all of a second. A, a double fanage, I think we're going to call it <laughs> Well, that. I mean, OK. <laughs> <laughs> fanage, maybe we should. <laughs> I'm not sure it sounds any better with a French accent. Oh, well, really? <laughs> well, I'm just going to go with a double display then. <laughs> rainbow. Let's focus on the rainbow. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's do... <laughs> We've got another show together later. Right. Uh, let's if focus they on... let us. God, if they let us. We might say no. You two together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for your support. So... <laughs> Uh, if you want to go for, this is the 24 piece <laughs> that we've got um, here <laughs> of the rainbow. I'm going to focus on the colour, I'm just focusing on the colour, um, on, on nothing else. But these are, look at these, these are really vivid and beautiful, aren't they? <laughs> just give me that look, just give, me, just give me that look, everyone. Um, <laughs> I think that was the nosy goose giving you the look. <laughs> That's gone. Um, <laughs> right, the Wall Bisco 9 by 9 Rainbow Collection. 180403. <laughs> uh, brand new on the show today. She's turned away. 1749. Uh, what we're looking at there for the, the double display uh, of the rainbow. <laughs> Up the glasses <laughs> over here. <laughs> I think we got away with that. Right, <laughs> moving on <laughs> to. We'll lose it in the edit, it's fine. We're lo moving on, looming on. We're moving on to the pick and mix, everybody. <sighs> <laughs> Which has been. Uh, now, it is worth you pointing this out. Uh, last two bundles, the vintage and the rainbow, they are 9x9. Nine nine. You will hear these are your 18 inch, and basically, from one of these is the equivalent to four of your panels. <sighs> That you're looking at here okay so for every four of your nine you'll be able to get one of these <coughs> excuse me and that's the size the difference that we're looking at here so for your pick and mix here any two for 9.99 is actually the equivalent of eight panels from your nine by nine all right is that good should have been three but yeah it's only three it should have been three for 9.99 oh yeah yeah they're going to sort that out. They're going to sort that out. Nine nine six six four zero three six nine. Now, beautifully, I have got all of the colours here, um, just uh, checked out for you. Hang on, I'm making sure I get it in the corner. Um, all the colours will be on the website for you to choose from. But we have got starting with your beautiful bright orange at the top. We've got the bold, bright, gorgeous yellow. We've got ah, perfect for your crab lobster. Uh, if you're looking at that, be labelled as that. We have got mustard uh, that's in. Again, these are all going to be on the website for you. Meadows, meadow green, uh, we have. We've got the... Is that Mark Red? Marl. Marl Red. Sorry, that's my writing. Marl okay. Red. That's all right. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's they've deep. got that, it's got that lovely texture. That makes a beautiful heart for the warm-hearted oh, penguin. The penguin. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, but you also get that red in the 9 by 9s as well if you've gone for that. Right. As right, you're accompanying what um, Bright white uh, that Perfect we have for there. Goosey. Oh, for Goose. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Uh, our green uh, that's in there. We've got raspberry. That's nice. That's oh, very nice. Oh, the raspberry's nice. beautiful. The miles that's are, nice. are. Yeah, there, there are some beautiful colourways in here. Was that in the dragon? Was that the raspberry in the dragon? Uh, the dragon is purple and a heather marl. Ah, okie dokie. Yeah. Ah, that's what I've got next. That's yeah. it. There we go. That's your heather marl. Uh, perfect if you are looking to make your dragon. That's really nice. I love the little flex in that. That's gorgeous. Uh, we've got vintage purple. Yep. That would work for dragon. Beautiful. Yep, yeah, yeah. Just It's just having contrasting colours. It doesn't matter yeah. what they are, but contrasting colours. Because you've got the teal there. You've got the dark teal. That's the dark teal. And then you've got lighter teals in there. And again, work through the teals. Have a teal. dark teal and a light teal. Or a marley oh, teal. That's nice. You know, beautiful. They just work so well together. Uh, we've got the turquoise gnarl. Uh, and the vintage turquoise. It's just lovely collections here to look through uh, to go for this. Uh, don't forget, these are the 18 by 18 black. Uh, that are probably going to be used for in all of them, to be quite Do you know honest, what? Yeah, absolutely. Because whether you're doing Claude's um, uh, pincers. pincers, that's the one. I'm, I'm doing simple. You do them. I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing the actions. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's like charades here. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll do the actions other. and you say what I'm yeah, I love it. We'd, what we'd be a great team at Christmas. Uh, wouldn't we? <laughs> wouldn't we? Uh, and then that is. Um, Charcoal? Yeah, that's your charcoal. So that's your monkey, that's your belly of, of uh, Claude and Larry, and also the, the mischievous monkey. And also, Ollie was originally made in that. But there's oh. no reason why Ollie has no, to no, stay absolutely. in that. No, no, absolutely. He can go in any old colour. Absolutely. Um, Grey Marl. Yeah. You've got the beautiful. lighter from those one. Uh, just coming to the end now, Rust. Perfect for your pony. Oh, of course, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. And also Before... for your woodland animals as well. Yeah, oh, yeah, great for your wreaths. Um, we've got the gold or vintage mustard because that is what it's known as. Yeah, so pumpkin, we, we, we put him next to pumpkin bear and actually the gold is the same colour as, as the vintage mustard right. um, for pumpkin pie, uh, the teddy bear. Um, and of course he's then just got his black bow, so he's, he's not complex at all no. in terms of colour. No, ways. that's nice that. Uh, we've got finally uh, dusty pink. I was going to say dusty bin then, that's going back a little bit. Do you remember that? You don't remember that, do you? No. no. Uh, but I will, I will humour you. Yeah, yes, thank you. <laughs> just caught it on YouTube. Uh, and Rose, just to finish off with. So, 640-369-999 you're going to go for. These are your 18 by 18 felt pick and mix. Pick any two for those ones. Or that offer uh, for 999 Great opportunity bundles. Or they're on said website for you on thecraftstore.com. Uh, and they are all there for you to grab. So... Don't, you don't have to go with the suggestions we've made with those colours or what you've seen there, of course. It's all about you being personal uh, with the favourite colours that you want to work with for those people that you're making it for. Um, but absolutely uh, brilliant offers for you to go with, whether you go for the bundles or whether you're going to go for the pick and mix. is entirely up to you. We're doing our best to keep our stock updated, uh, but if you do see them with the pictures on there directly, that means they're ready for instant dispatch. Oh, no, not anymore. Okay, pictures are starting to reappear now, um, so go by the dispatch date that is listed on the bottom of the description that you'll see there as there well. So, I uh, hope that's all be clear, but... Oh, Angie's been in touch. Got a question from Angie. Hi, Angie. Nice to have your company today. Oh, how much of each... Okay, so how much, Angie was asking, how much do we know... How do we know how much to buy... Because as you're saying, for the, for the characters, look for the storytelling. Look at the mind. images, because the images on the website have what is needed. Um, so when you look at the image on the web, if you click on the image, then the you've got the picture on one side, and then on the other, you've got what is needed. But if there's a, a specific character, you see, there we go. And on the web, you'll see half of that picture size is that. So, so um, there we are. This is for our mouse. Uh, so you'll need one of the turquoise, one of the vintage mustard, and you'll need two of the 9x9s of the black felt, 
or just go and get for another one of the black. Well, that's just it. The yeah, 18, yeah. isn't it? Get yeah, an 18 yeah. for that if you don't yeah. want to go for the bundle. Uh, and also a, a 9 by 9 of the way. You're going to use the felt, though, aren't you? Well, that's of it. You so are. if you're going to go for yeah. that, I'd go for the pick and mix as well. And to especially be if you are going for the pick and mix, you know, then, then stock up on those. Because the thing is, is that there's nothing to stop you from making these multiple times. And also, Sandra has a very generous angel policy. Like, as long as you don't go into mass production of these, if you want to make to sell, oh, as great. long as you say who you know who designed the pattern yeah and you give her that credit then you know oh she's that's great she's happy for you to make that's herself. great uh, so don't forget yeah you'd get four nine by nine panels from that one 18 uh, by 18 panel on the pick and mix so again that may be worth uh, bearing in mind when you're choosing your fabrics and which deals best for you thinking longevity how many of these you're going to be making so i think once you've started and i bet what happens is i'm sure this has happened to you as well where people will say they'll see something oh that's great where do you get get that yeah. oh i made that i've yeah. got a pattern for that yeah you're probably going to be asked by other people and you to will make a you few. will you can make you use you use your pattern multiple times it's not something that ever runs out mm. so you know you, you will and also for gifts for people once you've got the felt and and then you'll dip in once you've got you know you'll, you'll find that actually maybe you didn't use all of uh, one of your colors of felt so you next time you make your nosy goose you might use that for the color of the bow and so yeah. you, you are building a stash as with any fabric any paper craft you know, you build up that stash, mm. um, and it just gets easier and easier. Like the flower that we're looking at on the flowery toe, uh, the flowery frog. You know, that could be, that could be. You could do petals in different oh, colours all the way around. It doesn't have to be that pinky colour. No. It can be whatever colour you've got in your stash. It, it's it's nice that even though those patterns are there, you really can personalise uh, to your to your heart's content. Really, with all of these, they are gorgeous. Um, whichever one you want, pick any two from all our fantastic friends here, 905-898-1599. Remember, um, our lovely pony and unicorn is actually uh, a dual pattern. Um, so really, you're getting two great toys yeah. um, to work with on there, um, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, and then another one, you'd have three projects to work with. Oh, another sellout that's gone. Oh, the Rainbow Felt has actually sold out and it is back in now on extended from you as well. That's the bundle if you want to go. There are your nine by nines on the rainbow uh, felt that is available. It had sold out. A lot of people have gone for that bundle, um, but it is back on now. 1740918043 for the rainbow. Uh, right, I tell you, we've had a, oh, it's 22 already, which is amazing. <laughs> um, I think one well, of the longest. But the, why not? The beauty is it's a blanket stitch. You know, these are, these, are not, these are not difficult makes, but I did want to just talk you through when you get the pattern. Thank you, um, great. And also just different threads that, that you can use. You'll notice that in a lot of these patterns, it's either been white or black thread that's been used. It's embroidery skeins that's used. So don't go for a pearl. A pearl won't, um, won't separate out the strands. Uh, you want to go for an embroidery thread um, that where, the, where the, the strands separate into six. So it's a stranded embroidery thread that you want to use. Um, and when you, when you get it, just take a little, a little tug, it'll, it'll feed through. And you want to sort of use enough so that it's going to go from your elbow up to the top of your hand there, because you don't want to be, you know, constantly going through. Um, and then you'll see that the threads will separate or separate out. Can you see those strands separate into into six? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, so depending on the brand, um, depends on how easily they separate. So this brand here is sometimes quite easy to just sort of pull apart and separate. If you've got a brand that isn't, what I would say is just take one at a time and just pull one through and, and pull them out just, you know, sort of one right. at a time through um, and then get your next one and then your next one and then and then just layer them up. But three, um, three strands is, is where you want to go with, the, with most of these patterns. Um, then that's, so just pull them through and then... You, you're done. You know, that's that's pretty simple. There's mm. another one there. Uh, so because if that that's the, you know, sometimes that's where people come unstuck is the very first thing of, hang on, I, 
trying to thread all six strands, strands yeah. and going, actually, that's not yeah. going to fit through your needle. No, it won't. Um, but then, you see, you've got one, two, and three. And then just arrange those and lay them through. I use a needle threader, oh, um, oh, which, right. which is fabulous. Um, but there are, there are lots of different needle threaders on the market. For me, that will sit there and then you, you put your needle in and then you just poke it through and it, it threads it. So needle oh, threaders are, are your friend with these um, and, and they, work, they work an absolute treat. Oh, that's great. I've never seen that before. That's yeah, no, they're, they're, re they're really, really good. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I must, I, I keep saying I must bring these to air. Mm. They, are, they are incredibly good. I, I keep them everywhere. For, for threading, and then you just put your little your little needles in there. I did a craft along uh, a couple of weeks ago here on the show, and um, it took me twenty minutes to thread a needle. But that's just it, isn't it? You don't you don't want to be you don't want to be doing that. that you know, it's no, just, just it's just it's it wasn't no the fun best at TV. all. No, 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 no. no, no. Um, so no, we've we've got some of those um, at Natasha Wakes, and I must bring them to air mm, here yeah, because brilliant. you know it's it's one of those things I keep meaning to do. Right. So then, when you get your pattern. Here it is. So this is the, the goose. Uh, and, yeah. um, and I've wanted to do this goose for my daughter for a long time. And, uh, and this is, so this is the perfect opportunity. Uh, so the patterns are, are pretty simple. Sandra has been reined in to just keeping it onto a, right. a three pieces oh, okay, of that's paper. Good. <laughs> she, did, she did start off with really huge pieces. And they're like, no, 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 no. So <laughs> these are your pattern pieces. Um, and this is what you're going to use. So, and then your last sheet here shows you a blanket stitch, gives you the instructions, and you can see from the almost the lack of instruction. Yeah. They're not difficult makes, but the really useful thing that Sandra's done here is give you the layout. Right. Right. Okay. So. That is going to be your white or your natural, whatever you want it to be. Um, instead of the fawn, actually, what have I gone for? I've gone for the charcoal. I want a oh, little bit you? of... Okay. Yeah, I thought that would look really lovely. And then this is your pink. And I've, I've gone for a dusky pink because I just thought... So I've changed the colours up yeah, to nice. make it my own. Um, so we've got those. And then the green, if I choose to go with green. But she's given you that layout so that you, you can't go wrong. Great. You know, that's and, nice and that's and, simple and that's like it. That. So that that is really simple. So let's let's start with maybe some feet or something. And so when you look, and they are all labelled. So here I've got my goose upper foot, cut one in pink. Uh, goose upper foot, cut one in pink. So we've got both of those pieces here, and then goose underfoot sounds painful. Um, cut one, Not, and then you've got yeah. your outer wing. So all of it's all there, and they're all labelled. And this is your centre back seam there. Uh, I have forgotten my uh, my paper scissors, which is dreadful. <gasps> but I know, I know, I know. But uh, so cut them all, cut all your pieces out, lay them out on your felt, and um, I don't know if you've ever watched anyone fussy cut with scissors the thing with cutting things out like this is to to go in with a big pair of scissors yeah um, you know. and but a big pair so that you can move the paper and not the scissor is the way to just get a nice even a nice even cut and then what you're going to want to do is get your felt. You see how huge these pieces are. Yeah, the 18 by 18, they are. You yeah. get loads out of that. And pin them in place. So you can you can get these and you can pin them all in place before you cut. Now we're not going to have time to do that today, but okay. pin them all in place, map them out, follow the layout and pin them all in place before you cut them out to make sure that you've you've got it, you know, and that you haven't you haven't done one sort right. of slap bang in the middle of your felt and then gone, I don't have enough space to do the rest. <laughs> you know, that's, you, don't, you don't want to be doing that. So let's just cut out this one and then we'll look at, at stitching. So you'd put these on 
Um, in fact, do you know what? Actually, I can demo the stitching without even having to, to do this because the thing with the blanket stitch, and I'll just start along here. Blanket stitch is great once you get going. All right, but the traditional way of doing it would be that you would start and put your needle through. And then as you come round, all that happens is you hook through there. Oh, okay. Now what it means is that that first stitch is always diagonal. Yes. Okay, now as I do the next stitch, and I loop through, you see now you can see that top stitch starts to sit oh, I, oh, along I see. the top. But that first stitch is diagonal. Now, Sandra taught me an amazing trick to stop that from happening. So you can see now my stitches are starting to sit where they need to. Got you. Got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that first stitch is always on a slant until so you see there you go that's that's where my thread is laying yeah, along I the see. top but on that first one it, it goes wonky you don't want that okay so i'm going to show you a way to stop that from happening it's very clever <laughs> so just not your ends it's the easiest way so this time Instead of going with your knot at the back, right. we're going to start in between. Oh. Yeah? I think, uh, yeah. And now, you can go ah, right. over, but when you come through, you go in between. Right. Oh, oh okay. Okay. So that thread comes in between there. Oh, hey, oh, I've gone through my, uh, there, all right. So you've got, you've got that, that first stitch in place. Now, instead of it, you see now, when it goes off to the side, it's caught in between the two sheets. Ah, so we didn't get the crossover. So you're not going to see it. So got now you. when I go through here and I come up and I pick up that thread there, you don't see no, that no, that, it is. that diagonal thread. Yeah, that is neater, isn't it? As well, it's much, much neater. And so when you when you start again, because you're going to run out of thread, right? And you're going to have to start again. Yeah. Rather than coming up diagonally, go in between. Go in between. Uh, yeah, I see that. That's great. So and each time just looping through, and that and that is it. That oh, is a blanket stitch. And it, there is something, again, that, like I say, that is very homely and cosy and that beautiful kind of homemade, but, but, but with love and feel about that. Is something and it that's doesn't have to be perfect. No. That's, that's the other thing. You know, it really doesn't. It can be as raggedy. In fact, you know, Sandra always said to me, she's like, you know, just as soon as you relax your stitches, yeah. do they just, they flow. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, they don't have to be really even. It's that part is, of the charm of it. Uh, and Well, listen, if you're watching that with us now and thinking, I, you know, I could do that, or that's a stitch you already know, and there is something about the, the sort of just the repetitiveness of doing that same stitch. Again, if you are teaching somebody to start with, that's their first lesson, and it's their first sort of project they're going to be working on, what better way? Something's going to stay with them as well. And it doesn't matter what of the patterns w you choose in your pick and mix, it's that same stitch for all, all of them. them. Uh, them, which yeah. is great. So, I suppose, is there any that are, would you say, as a pick, would be your first one to go, do you know what? That's just a lot sort of more, lot simpler sort of lines to work with. I would say, looking at it, almost like the frog, for example, would different again to the smaller accent with the mouse. I don't know. Um, my first one was the storytelling mouse. I would say, go, go with the one that you love. 
Go just yeah, do the true. one that you love because you'll finish the project. If yeah. you go for one that you think is okay, but it doesn't really... Yeah, I just loved that storytelling mouse. I stood on that stand when I... Uh, it was at Sandhurst, one of, the, one of the big crafting fairs there, and I stood there for a good half an hour trying to choose which one because they, they were all <laughs> fabulous. And that was the first one that I chose. Oh. And the second one, actually, that I chose um, was, was the Nosy Goose. Was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They but, are but, but I didn't buy the felt. At the time, so I didn't until I actually started to stock it myself with all of the buttons and the yeah. eyeballs and everything yeah. that Natasha makes. I didn't actually make it because I didn't buy the felt at the time. I oh. thought, how hard can it be to find felt? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Get. So that's the moral of the story. Get what you need now when now. you see it. Yeah, Get it yeah, now yeah. while you see. Oh look, D don't be a mischievous uh, <laughs> monkey. <laughs> so we're watching him. the show all the way through. There, I d I'm not uh -huh. sure whether he's plan something for when we live. I don't know. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It, it, but he, he is great. He's, uh, he's sort of given a bit of a look to our floor manager uh -huh. uh, as if to say, yeah, I've got your number. Yeah. I've got your number. You know, we don't have to be all cute unicorns. Check me out. Um, okay, well, let's stand him up. Um, but I think he is absolutely... <laughs> I just love... I love the look of him. I love the shape of him. I love the tail. Um, and it, it, it is absolutely brilliant. But that smile, that smirk, those eyes are just brilliant. Um, great thing is you can pick any two, any two you want to go for uh, with these. They are fantastic. Don't think we've had a look, look at our penguin, the heart. Let's just, I'm just going to bring... Oh, the warm-hearted penguin. The warm-hearted penguin is absolutely beautiful. And what, look at his lovely face there. Just looking there. Got a lovely little heart to give. Uh, that is really, that is really lovely, isn't it? I'm just absolutely brilliant these if you want to go for our lovely little penguin with heart i mean that is that is gorgeous so that's a that's a massive token to go for that isn't it what do you reckon? uh for me well you see i i'd be honest i they i think they're all absolutely brilliant um i do like the mischievous monkey uh, i do i do like the idea of that i do like our um our reading mouse uh, which is absolutely brilliant but i don't want to forget <laughs> there is something about claude um, that just, <laughs> that just, it's just not said a word, you know. Because um, sometimes he can be a bit crabby, but we, but today, very <laughs> best placid, eh? On his best behaviour. On his best behaviour, not crabby at absolutely all. Absolutely best behaviour. Yeah, there he is, there, swing out there, coming out, Michelle, um, as he gets used to us. Um, but I think he, he's absolutely brilliant. But again, I love the, I love the dragons. I don't feel that we looked at the dragons enough as well as we go through. Do you know what these remind me of? Do you, um, do you remember the, um, the children's show, The uh, uh, Eye for the Engine? Yes. They're the little dragons. Yes, they did, didn't they? Um, was, it, was that a flying? That was a flying, I think the flying dragon. Eye for the Engine. I think it was in, I think was it a Welsh narrator? It was lovely. It was very... They, uh, they, I watched a documentary. There's a documentary on iPlayer at the moment on, on how those, uh, they were all made. Those and... Um, Oh my goodness, Bagpuss. Oh, right? yeah. It's all the same guy. Just incredible. Absolutely fantastic. What a talent. But, uh, apps, I mean, they are, they are lovely. Um, go for whichever one. Do check out the website. I, I can't stress enough. The bundles are to go for the vintage or whether you've got the rainbow or whether you've got from your pick and mix. All the rainbows are up, by the way. Oh, the rainbows are, all the images are up for you with regards to the patterns uh, for your pick and mix. Um, for our lovely creatures and our characters here. They are all brilliant. They're all there. It does say the dispatch dates there from the bottom of the description for them. When you look at the packaging, again, it will tell you suggestions uh, that you can see on what colours they might recommend for you. But, as you've heard as well from Natasha throughout this year, it's about interpretation. If uh, you want to go with a certain colour, just choose the colours you want from either the classics um, or the rainbow or, of course, from the big pick and mix for the 18 by 18. All oh, there on the website. Um, we're back together again at one o'clock. We are. With, um, yes. I've got about Lock 10 seconds, month. but with, um, uh, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yes, this yeah, yeah, coming yeah, up that at one, one o'clock. Uh, so make sure, if you can, get yourself a brew and come and join Natasha and myself for that as well. Natasha, thank you for this no, hour. Thank you. Uh, love that. See you very, very soon. Uh, in fact, you'll see me in a second. I'm not sure I'm being mischievous monkey. Uh, Clever Prince, uh, we're going to be together for the next hour. And then we've got the one day special to be with you. And then we'll be back, of course, uh, with Natasha Mix.
Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows. Hi, I'm Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon molds. If you watch the Zuri shows, I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums, ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. The hits keep on coming, everybody. I'm back with you for another hour here, and it's full of bright colours and quirky characters, or mindfulness that you might be looking for, uh, uh, as well with some great deals, as ever, you're going to get from uh, Clever Prince, which is brilliant. Um, we've got some lovely offers, actually, for this hour, so if you like a bog off, who doesn't, uh, then this is the hour for you. If you're not sure what bog off, if, if, I might have just said that, people are going, oof, a bit rude. It's buy one. Get one free. I said, you buy one, you get one free. Uh, that's the that's the bog off. That's the one, isn't it? Um, that's the lovely introduction, isn't it, to, to Charmaine, isn't <laughs> it? Bog Look off, Charmaine. Hello, Charmaine. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. It was, it was supposed to be a bit rude when you do say the bog off offer, isn't it, really? It's yes, wrong, but... of course. What, 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 the, the... Well, it's abbreviations. It is, it is. Yeah, We're all right. We're okay. I think people will be okay with that yeah. as well. Lovely to see you. Thank How have you. you been? Uh, a little bit crazy. Uh, asked to do this last minute. So right, it, okay. Normally it would be ever. Um, ever? Ever? <laughs> Who's she? She's bogged off. <laughs> She's bogged off. Uh, normally it would be the lovely Emma yeah. that would be um, bringing her stuff. Yeah. And uh, I was asked to step in last minute. So, well, yeah. thank you. It was a step in show and step in last minute as well. Well, so. a, a double whammy for you. So I'm yeah. sure your mind is a bit like... Uh, yeah, frazzled, yeah, yeah, not frazzled. prepped. Not, <laughs> We're well, going to wing it all the way. Well, but don't said, tell the viewers. No, we wouldn't. They will not... Nothing to see here. No. It's all hours, hours preparing yeah. for this yeah. one. It's hours. totally professional. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter, you know, because whatever you do is going to be actually fantastic. Oh, so yeah, right. <laughs> it's true, it will, it will. So uh, thank you for stepping in as well and, and doing all that. Um, but this is this is a real kind of grab it while we've got it, it kind is. of I mean, when, hour, I, found, when I looked to see what the prices were, I was like, wow, yeah, good one. Yeah. Nice one. I mean, I have um, some of these. I've got some, I've got some new... New nice shiny ones that I haven't Ooh, used as nice. well, but um, I have these 
at home in my personal oh, collection okay. as well. Okay. I mean, I have done samples in the past, so there's past collections that are here. I hope I get all my names right. <laughs> and um, there is, you know, brand new dye as well. And yep. it's that hot off the press. I don't even yeah. think all the DT team have had it. Well, let, let's go straight there with this as well, because this is brand new on the show today. And it is seven dyes that we are looking at in total for this. Now, it has got a £5 saving, so it was uh, going to be a usual price of £19.99, but as an introductory, uh, it's actually down already with a fiver off, so it's just £14.99. Um, now, wow, already over 10% has already gone. Over 10% has already gone. So please do take advantage of this one as well. So this is the Wiggle Circle die set. Like I say, you'll be getting seven in total uh, that you look at. And I think by the response we've already had uh, with people coming through and over 10%, it's going to be one of those to grab it whilst you can. Uh, it is the brand new on the show for you in this particular hour. So do grab this. Um, this the, 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 the sort of shapes of these that we're, that we're looking at, these, they've got a... Um, sorry to interrupt you, Scott. Right, it's no. part of prep that was doing last night in the hotel room. So right. I, will, I will be showing um, how you do that because it's quite quite a simple one. But it's quite quirk, it's quite quirky yeah. shaping. It, it's fun. It's fun because if you layer the dies inside each other, that's what you get. So I haven't cut them out as complete. Right. Right. Um, but what, when I did cut them out of complete. Um, I built them up to make different styles of um, cards because I, obviously I do Ooh. birthday cards and things like that. Um, but I like to do my journals and, you know, mess around and play and just generally have crafty fun. Yeah, yeah, we so are, absolutely. I've got the die set, I die cut it out as is on the board. Um, oh, yeah, and okay, then this is you... part of my prep as well. Oh, okay. As, uh, so so that... you have done work. Yeah, all last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what it was. <laughs> Forget about sleep, just yeah. to play. But, yeah. but once, once my mojo started, I started to spin it again. So if you keep it together, Scott... Oh, keep that with the front. Keep it together, Scott. I'll try it. can't lose it's, it. It's very hard around here. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you visualise that as um, I can do a couple of things with it, I could build That's it great, up. That. So if you can move move it now, you can see that it goes down slightly. Now, if what, I put take, foam, take one away. Yeah, you could do. But if I put foam pads in between it, it becomes oh. like a triptych card. I think that's the proper name for oh, it. That's great. If you if I score it at the edge and glue it all together, <laughs> and it's stick, like it's, a weird, it's like yeah. a weird bond opening. Bond. Little bond. You know, oh, bond. <laughs> Yes, 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 yeah. You can have like it. spinners and spin it around. But I'm visualizing things peeping out of it like like you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a trip, you know, triptych card. I um, love that. Pads. Or glue it down one side. Um, so that you've got a score and you're gluing it and you're popping it in. Yeah, the voices, you've, you've got it. The voices in my head are telling me exactly what was in my, oh. in my head too, which obviously works with some of my stuff. Oh, I see. <laughs> you know, so once you start playing with bits and pieces from other people's ranges and stuff, you can work them in with your own. And it's the same with the viewers that have bought um, stash from right. various different ones. You can start to mix them up. So I can see this working with so many different yeah, things. Yeah, I, I like Let alone this. everything that's on the counter. And, and like you say, for just for, for focusing the eye on just something as well, yeah. that you yeah. do go through this sort of down the sort of the uh, the, the rabbit hole. rabbit hole, yeah, that was the one. Uh, yeah. That one would that would yeah. do it lovely. And but also you've got that lovely little love heart. Is that the taken from um... yeah, the little tiny love heart? Is on the on the board there, yeah, we and can it's see it not. Just down here. What you have in your hand is the love hearts that are from the die sets down the bottom end of the counter, oh, okay, which are okay. by one okay, get one free mix and match. Yeah, thing. yeah. So right. as you can see, I wanted to do something. Um, that will mix and match. Plus, yes. if the viewers have bought some of these collections already, they can see how everything, gee whiz, <laughs> um, you can see how everything will mix and match with each other as well. Does I that think, make sense, Scott? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, but there's so many me. options with it as well, with the uh, wiggle circles, because you've got seven dies there. Now, all I've done with that first piece that I've coloured in, um, obviously, is, is put two dies together and cut. Oh, okay. With the other one, I've used one die, then the next one down. Is that for this one? Which is this one. What The next one down, then the next one down with the next one down, and kept going like oh, that. Oh, right, So right. if you take, say, like, the bottom one with the first one, you're going to have big, oh, bigger... Yes. 
kind of frames. Oh, yeah, They'd I've make got, yeah. ace frames as well, wouldn't they? But they um, are brilliant. If I... you're doing your journaling, they're perfect for that. If you want to layer them up and mount, but we'll have a play and see what yeah, we come no, up that's with. Great. Do you know what I love about it? Is that actually the simplicity about them, and actually Very, the, because you've got yeah. those different sizes that you can work with, mm -hmm. where, how big a frame you want to create with them. Yeah. But because you do see circles. Yep. rectangles, you've got those even love heart shapes, whatever it is, yeah. but there's something about this quite nondescript that means it can lend itself to anything. Yeah, like well, you've got, they're a layering die in a way, but yeah. not a perfect shape no, around no, no. it. I, I presume yeah. that was what was in Emma, Emma's head, right, you know, right. with her quirky style. Yes. So it's not like a square or a circle or rectangle. So when you start to layer them up, you're still getting almost symmetry with it yeah. but not the perfect symmetry no that, no that's uh, that, i mean no, i can't I, say what was in her head because i you know no. that would probably be as crazy place as mine <laughs> right you, now you, you, you know a lot of that but you don't know what's going on in there that's, yeah. that's fair i can tell you we are already really busy actually for this one a quarter of the stock's gone um, and we've only been speaking about it for a couple of minutes. It is brand new on the show right now. You've got that five pound, even at 19.99. I think this is a die set that you're going to find you're using an awful lot, even at that price at 19.99. At 14.99 right now, grab it while it's there. But like I say, a quarter of the stock has gone. Don't let my dodgy <laughs> James, James Bond impression put you off. Um, but it is there. Grab that one whilst you can. Um, right then, after so from producer, right, bog off uh, <laughs> is where we're going to next. It's the buy one, get one free uh, on any two that you're looking at basically here uh, for the A6 and the A5 stamp sets. Um, brilliant offer on this one from the 2198. There's a huge 11 pound saving on this one, uh, and we're at down to just 1098, which is absolutely brilliant I, I don't know quite where to start because every picture every image where i'm looking at the monsters where i'm looking at sort of the mindfulness of our characters yeah. there uh whether we've got the birds they've all got a lovely quirk about in fact you could easily cut out some of these frames and have those yeah. characters coming are they through. all in the pick and mix at 10.99 each are they a duplicate yeah. yes oh, yeah the whole lot well the bottom the bottom ones are a5 and i know that they were about 15 15 15 pound each so <gasps> So these ones, would, so we just look at the monsters, then. is yeah. that all right? They yeah. were there normally? They're A5 and they're normally around about, I think they were about 15 when she first brought those out. Wow. Around so about. if you were going to, I don't know, I hope you got, uh, got that one, but if you were looking at those original, they were 15 99 you said? I think about 14, ra say well, around, about, around 15, about 15 Around about £15, pounds. pounds, because they were in A5, they were in A5 stamps, so they double the size of the top ones. So that is a really, really, really good yeah, buy. Yeah, but it is, it's got really A6 and the A5 are yeah. included in that for 10 yeah. eight, which mm -hmm. is brilliant. Uh, let's go, let's start oh, off with it. Let's start, start it off with the textures. He's, he's down at the opposite end. Hang on, down here, here we are, here we are. So you, uh, uh, Oh, no, there we are. are they? Oh, yeah, I'm looking at the screen back to front. I don't know why, I've got Duh. your steps up. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> just make you run up and down. Uh, every cloud. To me, to you, to me, to you. <laughs> right, right. I'm loving this. I'm loving it. Have so, you got any more shows together today? <laughs> You're hoping so. not. Oh, no, not at all. I'm, I'm up for this. Uh, let's talk about the textures then. That right, we've got textures here. are absolutely amazing. Yeah. I'll be using them quite a lot. Quite a lot. Because they're a really good go to stamp. And they may look on the screen not a lot because they're just stamped in black, but they are sort of the ones that you can leave on your desk and add in with lots of different things. Right, right. So you'll see them not as a focal stamp, right. they're more as a background stamp. So if you're not into stencils, which is good because I don't think there's any on the show, <laughs> um, if you're no. not into the stencils, you can stamp them and make your own backgrounds really, 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 really fast. And good luck trying to find them. I was going to say, I'm having a good look. <laughs> they're, they're mixed into a lot of the samples. So you will probably struggle to spot them because there's something that will either be brought forward or right. gone to the back. Okay. But you really will work with lots of things. Like, You'll see in the demos without got, a doubt. I've got an idea on how to save myself here trying to find one is keep your eyes peeled yeah. when I show some more examples. See if you can spot them. <laughs> Good ones. I'm, I'm as prepped as you are for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, right, if you wanted to go for those, then they are there for you. Are we working along the top row there? So now we've got our mindfulness here. These yeah. are beautiful, aren't they, actually? Uh, we've got the Travel the World uh, that we can see here. Um, we've got Bluebell, is it? <laughs> oh, sorry, I just know. That's what my, uh, my producer is calling my director. <laughs> they got lovely little names for each other. Little Bluebell. And uh, um, there's yeah, she's, she's He's... called Travel the World, and I'm presuming it's because the words in there, one of them is Travel the World. We've got Travel the World yeah, in there. That makes yes. that easy, doesn't yes. it? 
They are beautiful. Uh, we've got Give It Your Everything. Don't you just love that? That's gorgeous. <laughs> that is lovely, isn't it? It's true. Why I not? mean, they're great standalone um, girls, but you can also mix them in with what's coming next. I like this. Uh, give yourself a break. Yeah. Uh, good one, which Scott. is, do you know what? Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, we do need to tell ourselves to do these, don't we? And uh, we've got Explore. Uh, which you can see there as well, which is lovely, really beautiful. I that love that. Great oh, flowers that dream. as well, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm getting sort of like people just being motivational in my ear. Oh, no, I'm actually weird. Believe in yourself. <laughs> it's just like, no, believe in yourself, Scott. Believe in yourself. I'm trying. I try. Uh, courage, free fly, take time, breathe, <laughs> inhale. <sighs> I, I could have done with this before we came on air. Um, oh, we've got the woodland whatnots. Well, the, I like that. I like the script as well on this as well. That's, That's funky, very cool. It? And again, you could use that as a background. Boom, in with a few flowers. Yeah, yeah. I'm loving that. Again, if you're, liking, if you're wanting your flowers and texture, again, you've got a really lovely set of stamps there that you can work with. These are, they're gorgeous, all of those. Uh, now, who's this? With the Sir Quiff. <laughs> Do you know what? Look at that. I would what I wouldn't give for that look of the hair as well. Reminds me of Elvis. Bubbles. That is hey? Elvis. And that is. I love that. <laughs> she only would love that. Massive fan as well. Uh, we've got Bubble Bird. I love these birds. These are brilliant. Follow dream, happy wish, love and focus. Uh, now, little Myrtle. Myrtle. Ah, oh, that's a good. I like Myrtle. Myrtle. Yeah. Was it Myrtle one of the name of the flumps? I would not Flumps. Oh, don't pretend, uh, don't pretend no, anybody in my ear is going, I'm who wants that? I'm sorry, flumps are something that go in my hot chocolate or in my mouth. Oh, no, there was a little, <laughs> they look like little... Um, oh, yes, there was a cartoony thing, well, they look like little there? coconuts, I think. I tell you, I'm taking us back I to our kids' programmes at the moment. Yeah, now we're back onto the flumps. It. Remember, I'm only 18. <laughs> uh, Myrtle, I think, was one. Let, someone let me know, studio at thecraftstore.com. Uh, right, we're down this then. Uh, who's this? Oh! <laughs> ra ra Shah. Uh, I'm loving that. It's party time! Oh, you have to invite them, wouldn't you? Absolutely. I'm loving that. Gorgeous again with the colours as well. It's brilliant. Uh, now, who's this? Is Bashful Bevers. Bevers. Oh, be right. Bashful Bevers. Oh, yeah, that's Bev Tonks. I like. <laughs> Ra -ra -cha was me. Um, do you know my learning curve in the last 10 minutes has massively shot up? I forgot to tell you that these were based on people that come here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, but this one can't be. This one's grumpy. Yeah, that's yeah, it's not somebody who comes here. No. That's Emma's other half. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, there we go. Uh, Coolio Julio. That's uh, Julie McNeil. Uh, <laughs> Um, I, th I think these are compliments. Um, they are. They look. I love all the little. Uh, uh, is that little eyeballs as well. As part of that as well. Secret weapon Sims. Louise Sims. That's Louis. Oh, is <laughs> there is a resemblance. I like it that. <laughs> <laughs> and Lady Jasper. Lynette Jasper. Oh, I couldn't possibly comment. Um, I do. I do love that. I love shopping. Uh, they are. I love these. I mean, the fun you'll be able to have with it. I want to just remind us again, from what I've just heard as well there from Charmaine regarding the larger ones, which are the A5, the A5, A5 at the bottom, yeah. were retailing around about the fifteen pounds for one. Um, so actually, when you think about the saving, what you're looking at here, you can choose any two A5. And from your A6 to collect for that price and for just 10.98. So not only if you went for those monsters that there, if you think about that and think, well, you know, already the saving in that is phenomenal for what they were originally. What I did say, it's a great opportunity in this hour. The website. They're all there for you to go through for your pick and mix. And look at those. We've got five-star reviews here for you. Choose any one of those that you want to go for, or any two of those, should I say. Pop those in your basket. Make hay, should we say, really, with all of those. Um, whatever it is. And at that price, you may want to go for a couple of sets for your pick and mix, to be quite honest. Whether you're going to go for some of the monsters, more of your sort of mindfulness your background stamps are in there i will show you i've got loads of examples i will show you examples as the hour goes on but i know that we really want to see um <laughs> because so long in prepping uh, that we don't want to <laughs> we don't want to lose that time it's it's very unfair uh, so we will make the most now. We will see what uh, what Charmaine has, uh, has got for us. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping that Scott, that you're going to give me lots of ideas throughout this show. I'm your inspiration. <laughs> yeah, you've been my inspiration. Yeah. Right. Okay. Are we on hoverhead? Yay! Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. So this is the largest of the wiggles. <laughs> the largest of the wiggles. 
Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> what is that size? What is the largest size? Do we know? You want me to measure it now? Sorry. Gee, talk about putting me on the spot, Scott. Nothing but oh. a pain. Do you know, I'm a crafter, but I don't do measurements. I do things by eye. This is 13 and a half centimetres. Okay. I'll be just slightly under because your cut lines is in the middle. Uh, by, um, if I'm going sort of that away, by about 12 and a half centimetres. Uh, Ruffler, we will say. So don't quote me on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do a little bit in real time. You see me prep, and then we're going to wing it with making that. I'm into liking something. that. Okay. By the way, have, we have had an email through. It, oh, yeah. From our lovely Paula. Oh. Very good morning, Paula. Lovely to hear from you. Why are you here? Why are you here, Johnny? She said, I know a giggle and a wiggle will feature. I, know, I just did me wiggle, but I was off camera. <laughs> oh, did you? We have to wiggle together later on as well. Uh, oh, now Paula does want to say that the uh, wiggle circles, she says, are absolutely. Say brilliant. What did she say? Awesome. awesome. We do love that awesome. word. Awesome. So many ideas she's saying uh, regarding those. Yeah, well, well tell we're... her to keep them ideas coming in. Yeah, keep them coming in. And they can feed them immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously. I am we... honestly winging this, Paula. <laughs> she's, she's winging it with a wiggle. And I'm being honest about it. I'm winging it with a wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's so good of you to step through and, and, and do that. So it's brilliant. But lovely. Good morning to you, Paula. I hope you're having a lovely day as well. It's lovely to have Paula's company with us. Oh, uh, the wiggle circle is really a third of the stock has now gone. Uh, well, I better get a wiggle on. You better, <laughs> you better get a wiggle on. I'm going to have a giggle on at the same time. Oh, this is going to be terrible puns, isn't it? Right, OK, what I've done is I've cut the first one out, so we've got that there, OK? So then I'm placing the second one. I've got two pieces of cardstock that I've cut to the same size. So basically, I took an A4 sheet. This is my mixed media card um, that Emma uses a lot, and I think, that, I think that's usually on on the show anyway right. um so i've used used the dollar dimples mixed media card cut that out and then i'm just going to wiggle this one inside that one and then remove the top layer does that make sense yeah good okay then we got that one there we got that one there that's where we want it and we're going to shove it in the machine eh? go cranky cranky I'm, um, loving, I'm loving our phraseology today. We've got bog off. We've got to shove it in the machine. Uh, so I don't gonna, do posh words. Are we going to giggle? <laughs> I can't do posh words. I get them all mucked, mucked up or, and in the wrong context. <laughs> and then they come out like the rude words. Well, mm. yeah, um, <laughs> we won't go there. All I can say is, my, my, my last hour as well that I just had as well, Natasha, as uh, simple words were said and... Uh. and I was visualising the viewers that, that saw, I was saying it to her going, no, don't <laughs> use those scissors on paper. Oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> it's how I got my first pair of scissors, I said, using um, my mum's sewing scissors on paper. <laughs> she said, oh, bought me some. I, wow. I got told off by Fiona once for cutting a bacon rind off with a, with a um, paper. I know. I've never <laughs> she been only that. told you well. She did tell you to tell me off, but she enjoyed the bacon sandwich. <laughs> you know, every cloud again. <laughs> yeah, every cloud indeed. Right, okay, so we've got two pieces. Have I moved it round so it's a bit, about a half, yeah. Okay, I did cut them to the right size, or to my size, or I thought I did anyway. So what we can see now is we can see a little bit of that. If I move that one round, I'm sorry it's white on white, it won't be in a minute. Yeah, it's that way around. So we can trim later if we want. You could, if you were working on an A4 machine, you could place your die in the centre of an A4 machine, yeah. and then you can trim down to size as well. Okay. But I've just brought my little one with right. me today so that's why i've done it out of this so it's half an air for roughly and we've got the two in there now obviously that's going to be awful to see so if i move that to one side and i do the first stages of it come on you fingers work that's what i've got so if i bring that one back in what i did is i took a pen let me just grab one here we go i'll do um doesn't matter which type of pen because this is just for Sure. I took a pen. In fact, that was paint. What I used on that one were the eco lines. Um, so kind of colouring in that section. But of course, if you did this out of colour card, if you did yeah. it out of coloured card, um, straight away you'd cut it and you'd have something if they right. were contrasted. I much prefer, other than pretty background papers, to work on a plane and use my pens, my paints, my sprays, my lotions and potions because I've got them anywhere. That's that's my preference. That's so that makes sense. I, I, but I, yeah. It's always down to the crafter. So you colour in a section or you colour the whole lot or you've done it out of coloured card, if that makes sense, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you've got it like so. 
So really complicated colouring, not because I don't do it. <laughs> and then when you put that one back on top, that's what effect you're going to get. Got Does that nice. make sense? Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's do some jumping. Here we go. Right, we take this one. So this was the first one, which is the largest. And then this one here was the next one down. Oh, I just remembered something that I did. I actually put it back in the machine and die cut it two pieces. So if I move that to one side, and you would get it wrong. How can you get something so simple wrong? I know, the hours you put the prep time on. No, I can't. <laughs> and all them notes I took. So <laughs> if I take the piece that's taken out, because again, there's options. So I've just changed it already, because I'm winging it. And we put this one in here like so, and we wiggle that one round. We are on the overhead here. Oh, in yeah. fact, we're just going to turn it the other way round because it's got that nice bevel edge. And then we put that one like that. Or we could go a size down if we want, but I'm going to stick to the sort of the plan that I already had. Get that on there. Get that on there. Find the clear. Can you see the clear, um, that one that goes on top of it? There it is. Right. Pop that one there. And we pop it in. There we go. And we pull it back out. Now, when I do this one here like this, mm -hmm. we get the frame. Now, you could take your foam pad and you could raise that frame right up. It's like I'm singing or something, don't I? <laughs> raise me up. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, move that one. And what you get is this wonderful, funky frame. I like that. Now, I'm going to take it over to you because I need a drink of water. Oh. Show some samples. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, we've got Sorry. loads. I've got loads of samples, Sorry. to be quite honest with you. Uh, but so we, we are using them with a die set, which is brand <laughs> new. You know what I mean? Yeah. More, more tonic next time. That's what Ooh. you need, more tonic. Um, uh, it's got a fiver off. It is brand new on the show. Oh, 40% of the stock has gone. You are getting seven dies in total uh, that you see here. They're great. In fact, we're also talking about this. Our producer was saying about, oh, love the idea, mate. Little boulders. Could be clouds. Could be little rocks as well that you can work with. Nine double four, seven eight six. Uh, from 19.99, with that fiver off, it's actually only 14 uh, ninety-nine, which is brilliant as well. Um, <laughs> nice just, one. Per perfect. You know why you're just having a little cough and a sputter for a second there? Um, an email. And Paula's back. She's still working. No, she, uh, she, she's a good egg, isn't she? Thank you, Paula. She sent another email through. Oh, okay. Um, bog off uh, <laughs> is, a, is a great opportunity. Uh, the home decor, do the negative matting as per sample shown in different colours with a poem in the centre. Cool. Or, Love that. I'm, yeah. I'm, li I'm liking um, that as apart well. Apart from all my poems are pretty rude, because Robbie tells me them all the time. Oh, OK. <laughs> so we'll do... So we'll, Scott will do the poem. I'll find a poem. <laughs> um, using a negative as well, create a multiple shaker card. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's great. Um, ac um, acetate between each layer, a different colour sequins and monsters in each, so they overlay but stay in different places. I like that. Uh, parts but work in each layer. Yeah. Tick that one off. Yeah. Bunting. Amazing for bunting. That's great. Whole isn't punch it? done. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my kind of crafting. <laughs> Hello. Take that credit. And lovely idea. This one. Coasters as well. Multi die cut. Same size and glue them all Multi in a yeah. stack. Yeah. Um, loves them all. Uh, from from Paula. Thank you, Paula. Cheers, Paula. She's from the other side. She's still here. I feel her presence. Well, that's it. We all work together, don't we? We do. Yeah. It's a nice family. It's all family, isn't yeah. it? Great Auntie Paula. Yeah, we love our Paola. So, shall we go back to it? Yes, let's go okay. back. Okay, keep them coming, Paola. Thank you. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Right, so I've got them all laid up. And what I actually did, now I remember, is instead of colouring that one in, so we've got options already, so instead of colouring that flat layer in, what I actually did is, did, is I stuck one on and I coloured it off the card. So if you move that over, can you see what, what I've done? So that piece there was one of them, which is just slightly raised up. Right. And then that one, I cut it out of black. As soon as I spotted the black, I went dozy, dozy. I cut it out of black and I've laid it up using the one underneath. And you can just slightly see I've not glued it into position right. And we keep going and going. Right. Yeah? So that all makes it. I'm hoping it that this makes sense. It does. And I'm I following. haven't come confuzzled everybody as much <laughs> as I uh, confuzzled myself. So what I'm going to do is, is it that one I need? Is it that one? Oh, the crew is just going to be like going, Shami, just get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the foam pads, which is behind here, yeah. and we're going to build this together with the foam pads, but I'm not going to press on too hard with it. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm going to press on quite lightly.
because I might want to put things in between. So if I turn it to one side, and I can explain before I do glue it with foam pads, if I score here repeatedly on each layer and I glue it like that, then it would open up like this, Scott. We've got you. Yeah? Yeah, nice. Yeah. But what I actually want to do on this one, because I can explain that and I can always do it with a smaller one, is I want to pop foam pads on, on the back. Why is that not gluing? Oh, well, it doesn't matter because it's just for sure. You get the general idea. Foam pads are just... I would probably go all the way around, but for speed, we won't. We will just put it onto two pieces. Have you not got one you prepared earlier? Shh. Bottom fish bananas. <laughs> that was a perfect chance to say that line. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, here we go. It's comedy hour with oh, Shelley and Scott. Scott. That's a bit of fun, aren't we? Eh? <laughs> have a giggle always, and a wiggle. Always giggle and a wiggle. Right, so we get that one on there. And of course, if you were having it as a card, you could build up nice little scenes in between. Does that make sense? Uh huh. Right, I'm going to grab Pokey. Your Pokey. And flick okay and i'm going to carry on building this up exactly the same way and i would love you to go through the piles of amazing samples i can do that i can definitely do that as well let me just give you a catch up on the wiggle circles as well well we are approaching half nearly because we're all we're 45 percent of the stock has gone uh, on these 14 pounds and 99 pence already i'm hoping uh, that with what you're seeing with charmaine as well going through here is that the ideas of how are you going to work with these you know the ideas that paula sent through as well regarding these because they're absolutely brilliant i love the quirkiness of the shaping that you work and i think if you are looking for that whole idea of it not being absolutely symmetrical perfectly circled um, or square or anything like that I even love part of those other shapes it's got a lovely quirky free feel about these as well nine double four seven eight six you've got that five pound reduction for you which is brilliant for the introductory price so right now it's only 14.99 they work really really nice uh, right we've got our bog off offer uh, <laughs> for you this hang on bog off scott uh well i'm, I'm going to, to here to here this is as far as i'm going to go um but here is brilliant basically because you've got to choose any two the savings on it 11 pounds saving down to 10 pounds 98 pence now just to reiterate again uh, the ones you see in the monsters at the bottom which are larger with your um a5 size they used to retail they started off at 15 pounds just for one of those sets so actually, when you think about value for money and what you're getting, there's huge amounts for you here to really go, sort of go to town with and, uh, and see. Let me show you um, some of the, uh, the samples we've got here because they are, with, with, with whichever it is that you want to, um, to go with, Let's start, I'll tell you what we start off with. Started with some of the beautiful tranquils. Uh, the sort of the, uh, the these, these are beautiful, our mindful girls. There's so uh, many samples, isn't there, Scott? So many samples. Th there are so many samples. O honestly, I, I think we've actually got presents. And Paola might be under here, to be honest. Uh, there's a, <laughs> we've not seen, I mean, it could be Derek. I don't know. Um, who, who knows? Who knows? Um, but you've got some really beautiful ideas. I'm going to try and just give you as many as I can, as quickly as I can, just to sort of see with all the different options you got here don't forget with your pick and mix here choose any two um, but they are starting you can decorate these and work with these colors love the colorings on here which are really really lovely on there actually they are fantastic there's so many look at these they are lovely 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 so if you are looking for your, wow these are great actually with your inspiration uh, that we're working with these are absolutely perfect to go with let me just jump ahead. Let me just show oh, you some. That one's really, really cool. Th that's cool. Cool. That absolutely one. brilliant, really isn't it? Cool. Yeah, look at look the at these. So you just see the eyes. And they... well, then the dies that are on down the bottom end of the counter were mixed into that one as well. Oh, yeah. oh and that okay. one's the wiggle tags. That's the ta dies using one of the girls. So you can see how they all mix together. Yeah. No, they are. They are all working really, really nicely with all these. Let's. Uh, I'm going to move on as well from our sort of our mindfulness with with those as well. To give, uh, we've got the birds, which are absolutely. I, you That's can't Lady help. Gaga. This is Lady Gaga. <laughs> Linda's done this, and yeah. I tell you, you you can't help but smile. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the little, like, little legs. I've got little legs like that. Uh, seriously. Uh, you just come and see me at Christmas and you won't be disappointed uh, with those legs. Um, I mean, everything else you'll be disappointed with, but not the legs. Um, 
They are, these are, these are, these are fabulous. Yeah. Let's also bring in, oh, I'm going straight in with the monsters. Look at, <laughs> these are brilliant. I love these. Um, let me add it. Let me at it. There's Grumpy uh, that you can see. Oh, I've got one here. Let me just show you the one on a little T-shirt as well. Look at that. So that is cute. great. One of the things that I did is I kept... <laughs> we were, Bev was uh, talking. She says, I've been hacked up. I chopped off Julia's, Julia's wings on Julia Pilia. Oh. And on Bev, I cut her eyes out and oh. put them on bobbly, um, wiggly bobbly things. And I was in fits. I did a Facebook Live on it. And it was, yeah, it was proper monster match. Proper, uh, that's the original monster match, <laughs> isn't it? A bit of this one and a bit of that one and chopped that them is, up. They, they are... <laughs> they are... Oh, hang on, hang on. I've got another one here. Look. That... <laughs> Can you imagine on a bedoinga? Bedoing! Oh, yeah, no. They would be built <laughs> on those, on those the screens. Car. Look, you're going to have so That's the one that I did, if fun. you flick it. Is this it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. If you flick it. Because, <laughs> look, that's, that's um, Bever's eyeballs. <laughs> And it's, and it's Julia Curia oh, without the wings. I chopped her. She had a wings clip. Well, she had a wings clip. And Beth had her eyes cut off. <laughs> oh, but all in the name of craft. <laughs> Onion um, paper. Which, which, which were, but the, honestly, the images, I mean, you can't... Uh, which way does that, does that work? That way. I really had so much yeah. fun with that. I was doing it on a live and I was just absolutely oh, cracked they, up laughing. And then I posted them off to Emma afterwards. <laughs> I absolutely... I just, I just love it. Uh, Right, choose any two. 1098, which is what you're looking at here. The website is the place to go to because on there you've got them all laid out in front of you on thecraftstore.com. Uh, have a pick and mix on those ones for 1098. They are absolutely brilliant. You're going to have a lot of fun choosing there. And you've got a bit of something for everything really there. Uh, whether you go for the girls, you go for the background for those stamps, you're going to go for the monsters, you're going to go for the birds, um, whatever it is that you go for, I promise you, you're not going to be disappointed with those. They are absolutely brilliant. Uh, A6 and A5 stamp set to go for for your pick and mix. Um, now, we've also got uh, a pick and mix uh, on your dies that we can, uh, we can share with you. And again, the dies themselves are brilliant and great value actually here. £20 saving on this which is a huge amount back in your pocket for these that brings it to under 20 pounds now uh, you can choose any two for that price of just 19 pounds and 98 pence um, uh, we've got the uh, heart design you can see that's eye care is it that's the eye care that we can see there for your that's lovely actually We've got the Wiggly Tags, a lot of fun with the Wiggly Tags. Again, if you're loving our brand new on the show today with those, uh, that die set, this really probably will lend itself again to going into your, your, your collection because have got a lovely quirky feel of regarding those. Uh, we've got the Take Time with your beautiful floral design. All about that relaxation and taking a bit of time out for those. That works really, really nicely that you can see as well. Uh, we've got our, over here, we've got Art in a circle, um, obviously a bit backwards on that one that you're seeing, but that's art in a circle that you can see really nice. Here we've got our blue and more. Blooms. See, blooms, blooms isn't it? like blooms. like flowers. Blooms. Now the bottom one on that one yeah. doesn't cut at either edge, so you can keep rinse and repeating it oh, and make okay. a huge massive ma mashish. Ma <laughs> <mashish. laughs> <laughs> massive uh, border. I was just trying to think I had a little uh, if that had been used on any of these at the moment, but well, who knows, who knows. Um, uh, colour is our final one that you can see. There's all got the love heart in there as well uh, with love, but really nice. So choose any two on that. And they're all, you know, some brilliant dies in there, good sizes as well. 955032, uh, which is incredible. Let me just show you a couple of those with the, uh, the actual tags that we've got, the sort of quirky tags. They've got a lovely feel about those, actually. Um, with regards to that. If you, if you don't want to be sort of just too formalised, if you don't want to be just that nice pure rectangle and everything, if you're looking for that sort of quirky feel that lends itself, then these, those tags will work really, really nicely um, for those, actually. I think they are brilliant. Or great, great little bookmarks you might be, uh, be working with, which is, uh, which is fabulous. Uh, do like these. Um, and they work, <laughs> they do look great with the, um, with the other tags that you can, uh, uh, sort of stamps that you can be working with. Uh, there's a lot in there as well. We are fabulous. In fact, one more I have to show you. Uh, look at that with our, with our little shaker card. 
<laughs> These are great. Uh, right then, nine double five zero three two nineteen pounds and ninety eight pence. Um, it's already well, it's gone twenty five two. Um, <laughs> Is that your way of saying get a move on? No, we? no, no. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm, it's my way of saying that the, the hour's flying. Or is it get a wiggle on? Get a wiggle on. <laughs> get a wiggle, get a wiggle on. on. Right, OK. Are we back to me then? Yeah, that's... yeah. That's <laughs> right, it. OK. If we're on the overhead, um, I am going to use uh, Myrtle stamp. So Myrtle is this wonderful one that's got lovely little flourishes and flowers to go with him, him or her. And I'm going to ink it up and I'm using a Mementos because I'm going to use my alcohol um, pens. Of course, you can use whatever, it, you, you know, you like to craft with. You could stamp them onto paper and fussy cut them out if you want. So give him a good press. And I'm going to go back in on his eyeballs. Sounds barbaric, but um, I like a solid sort of black on an eyeball. Or I can go back in with a micron pen later. So we get him stamped out. I have got one already coloured uh, in. This is going to go with the previous demo. Demo? Demo. Demo. <laughs> It's not even early in the morning, no, is it? I can't speak, and I haven't been on the, the uh, fizzy stuff, if you know <laughs> what I mean. Uh, I've stamped him out on one of the wonderful wiggly circles, but I have got one cut out, so I would colour him and cut him out. So I'm just going to give him a quick colour. So whenever I'm colouring in with a, a pen, I always check my pens on the same ca cardstock as well to see you know, what colour shades they are. So we're just going to give a quick coat of colour, so however your style is of colouring in. And I just think that they're so quirky. I mean, you could give these to the kids to play with as well. And the fun-loving characters that would just go for sort of any occasion, whether it be birthdays um, or whether it be... How would you know I'd send this as an anniversary card? <laughs> <laughs> they're just, I like that. They're just so quirky. Yeah. Uh, so, giving them a quick coat of colour. I'm avoiding the eye area because I'm going to change my colours, even though the one that I've got done is slightly different. So, I've got that one. Yeah, slightly darker one. So, I give them some darker areas and then I'll go back over it. So, I'm just going to do a little bit because I'm going to come back to this later for another demo as long as he hasn't sold out. Uh, well, you never know. You never so, know. Oh, that's so cute. Right. So, we've got this out now. To tone that down, where I've gone off, I'm just going over the top with another pen, a light, the lighter one, and the same underneath and bring it, bring it out. I'm going to bring it so far out, and I'm going to leave that as that. Visualise me finished it, cut it out, and gone back in with pencil. So here's one that I did earlier. Does that make sense? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Yep. So I've added a little bit pencil to it just to make it pop. And we're going to bring in the card that I've done before. <laughs> Already, and of course, I this card's it. got a hole in it. So he is going to go sit there. But of course, I've not pressed that down, so he could sit here peeping out <laughs> and another one could peep out there and i think what i'm going to do is as we go in and in the next hour as well i'll have more peeping because i like a lot of peeping going on so i think he's going to sit there to, uh, to start with and oh, for that. the back to actually make it into a card um what i have done is i've taken an a4 piece obviously i'd probably put a little bit more on my just think about is it going to go over there so i don't want the gluey bit to be protruding. Is mm. that the right word? Oh, that, yeah, no, that's a good word. Yeah, go for good it. Scrabble. So I'm going to sit him like that, yeah? So there's no glue there interfering with these pieces. Okay, got that there. To make the back of the card, I've folded an A4 in half and the back of the card will sit there. But Scott, in between the hours, is going to try and fit in a little tiny poem in there. <laughs> I, I <laughs> am. Paula says so. Pa yeah, well, okay. I'm not going to upset and, Paula. And then I would um, put some either PVA or tape on this, that together, and that's made quite a funky little, uh, <laughs> quite a little funky card there. But what I want to do is I want to get rid of some of the white space, but not all of the white space. So I'm going to use the textured, um, stamps one and two okay all right yeah from the so, pick and mix yeah from the pick and mix now i would say that in a professional world <laughs> i would have probably stamped this flat before i built it up but we're going to go for it anywhere <laughs> so <laughs> that would have made sense i did have a plan in my head of what i was going to do so i'm just going to pop one of the stamps on so you can see um it's all these little dots so it's just going to be an accent to it and i'm going to reach behind for my inks no, hey, while, while you're looking, yeah. 
Shall I just read out um, a, a lovely email that's come through from Lou Sims? Oh, she got some ideas. <laughs> yeah, well, she has got some ideas and a, a little wrapped knuckle for me. Oh, um, here we go. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Love you, Lou. Uh, hi, all. Yeah, it's got right. some amazing. Nice start. <laughs> uh, I think the Wiggle Circle dies would make ace shaker cards due to their original shape. Yeah, it, absolutely. Uh, also, I can see them spritzed, crumpled up to create wonderful original stylish, stylized flowers. That's a nice idea, isn't it? Oh, yes, that. yes, I'm, yes. I'm yes. That. Top one. Didn't think about that. Yes, good one, Only are we? Uh, one up to Lou. Uh, as for Scott saying he can see a resemblance. <laughs> <laughs> You're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure to be chuffed, worried or shocked. <laughs> Smiley emoji. Mind you, I do want a skirt like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fabulous show, Charmaine. Have a cracking day uh, from Lou Sims. Lovely, lovely Lou. Uh, Lou, thank you very much indeed. Uh, which was the one that... What I meant was that when I said resemblance... Now, let me just qualify that. What I meant was, look at the smile. <laughs> look at the smile and just... Too the, late to the take it back. Oh, just pass me. I'll open up. I'll get both feet in. Um, no, absolutely brilliant. Uh, because you put a smile on my face, exactly the same, Lou. That's where that resemblance comes from. <laughs> Over to you, Charmaine. I'll just, you, just you know. crack on here. <laughs> you keep digging. Right. Love, you know you're with Lovely friends Luke. when you can take them, OK? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm using Memento ink Never pads. And you. actually, this was down to Paula. <laughs> Because Paula had some ink shows and I've been wearing my ink stash. Oh. I'm like, I've got them, got them, got them, got them. Oh. Um, in fact, I think I've managed to use the Mentors on, on one of the shows previously. But I went rooting through the stashes of um, inks and the reasons why we buy certain inks is, you know, for various different things yeah. at the time. And it's great because you get these shows and you think, yeah, I've got some of them, I've got some of them. Um, and I pulled out some other bits and pieces, other inks from that, and then I'm like, ah, oh, I got the yellow. <laughs> so I had them all. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh. So you know, we do kind of follow follow each other or certain, yeah. you know, certain people. Yeah, yeah. Like. But uh, here we go. So I'm just building up. So this little tiny stamp is just creating a wee little border or a background in here. And then I'm going to do the same bottom corner and stick to the same colour for now. For now. For now. And yes, I like normally that. I would do it flat. <laughs> you know the thing about these background stamps is when you actually, it's that. I mean, I, I don't have it. The people that are watching now, our viewers and yourselves and all that, have that where you can lift how something looks on, like the sheet that these background stamps will come with. Mm -hmm. And it seems that you just sort of know in situ how they're going to look because that now seeing just one of those in situ, actually on a project. It just lifts it from the from the actual stamp itself, and you go. That's where your imagination comes. You go. I can see how I'd work with that. What I tend to do is I personally limit my colours down to start off with, and then oh, I do and then I just play, um, and then I might add some more in. So like now I'm using um, this um, texture stamp one. So this um, wonderful like little dotty bit here, yes. which is great. So I've inked part of it, stamped part of it, so I don't even have to use the whole element of it. And I w I generally would work in odd numbers, even though I've done. So of two panels there and this is me playing this is me just making it up that i had a vision for yeah yeah as for the rest of it winging it <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you right know, you know hence the expression Woohoo! with a birdie like um and i quite like that as is if you wanted to put a sentiment on i tend not to put sentiments on it unless i am directly making for somebody because that can be an anything card oh, you're of course going to put a poem inside it and i would leave um, it yeah. i i like white space and that to me is lovely these these texture stamps are cool to, to start with so i'm going to pass over to you and then if you come, to come back up with to me, a poem. <laughs> you show some samples. I will do. And then I will throw one together quite quickly. Lovely, lovely. Uh, if you want to I get promise. in touch, you can write the first line of the poem. Uh, if you want to get in touch, studio at thecraftstore.com. You write the first line, I'll finish it off. Uh, and then we'll have that for uh, later. <laughs> Keep it clean. Now I know, because people like Lou are watching. And Paula, <laughs> so, come on. Um, uh, Mummy Monster is watching um, in that respect. So, uh, just there are so many samples. I thought well, I've got to show some more here uh, to have, have a look at, um, which are which are absolutely brilliant. And you can't help, but as I said earlier on, you can't help but have a smile on your face when you see these. The colours, the textures, the backgrounds, the inks that you're going to be using, the situations you're going to be able to put these in, um, which is great. If you're looking for a fun birthday cards. 
uh, for example, you know, I just think these really do lend themselves to, to just even, you know, whatever the occasion could be, just, I'm loving this, just hanging around, uh, chilling out, uh, going with them, they are, so, oh, there we go, but do you know what, amazing, if you can put that, uh, the little spring device uh, that's in there. They just then really do come to life. They become a, a world of their own, actually, with with all of these. Let's look at some more of the. Um, uh, let's have a look at some more. We've also got of the because we've got so many on and up for grabs in your pick and mix. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, oh, I think I need to have a little sip of the coffee as well. Is it back to me now? Uh, no, no. <laughs> back to you, to me, to me, to you. Um, oh, bless. But I'm loving. Loving if you're looking for a little bit sort of more tranquility uh, in your in your images to work with these are perfect for you uh, Don't forget oh, no, no, this looks a great one to show. Let me go. Uh, just see this look at this. This is phenomenal uh, I'm all about the class, but look at these Abs Wow, wow, this is never ending. It's like a workout this look at all of these and double-sided. Oh, I know. I've got a feeling I've got to try and turn them around now as well <laughs> um, but just trying to see all of them uh, that you can see. Let's just spin that around so you can see the other side of them. But what great work. I mean, the, I would think also for any one of these, for journaling, for anything like that, you want to just create those characters yeah. that pop up through I mean, a page. E each one of those could be a journal page in its own right, or each one of those could be a card, couldn't it? Yeah, oh, you easily. Know? Or it could be a tag, you, just, you know, with them being small individual sort of pieces, or it's one big massive one that you would only send to somebody that you really like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. you, you spend a lot of yeah. time on that, yeah. something like that. That is but phenomenal. But it could be a storybook as well, so oh, it be could brilliant. be for kids where you could get them to write their own stories and things and name the characters. That are, oh, that, that would be lovely actually. Um, have a look, the website, thecraftstore.com. If you pop yourself onto there, you'll see there, A5, A6, you can choose any two, £10.98. The value in these are absolutely phenomenal. And if you've never actually tried anything, you know, from Clever Prince uh, in the past and looked at it, and what, maybe this isn't your normal kind of style. This is maybe your normal kind of characters you're looking at or your normal kind of uh, designs you might work with. This is the perfect price to pick up a couple, have a go, do you know what I mean? And, and see how you get on with them and who knows where this would, could lead on to. But at uh, that kind of price um, for your pick and mix, Give it a go at the work where you've got the opportunity. Try, if you like, with those ones and see how that is. Uh, 360-679, you'll find that for you. Uh, right, uh, back over to your good self, Charmaine. That lovely. Oh, okay, now I do sort of have prep, but I'm going to change it a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to create is something like this, which shouldn't take too long to do, apart from obviously I probably won't get the colouring in done, but we'll right. just check on time okay. there. Right, but what I've, got, what I've done is I've cut two of the wiggle circles... And I've glued them together, um, I've cut two, yeah, I've took, cut two of them and one I've folded in half and then I chop off a tiny little bit at the bottom so it stands like so, oh, does that, right. or is it that way, yeah, it's that way around. So I'll go chip, turn that and then I'm not being a pen in the rear for camera guys, move it like that, it stands ah, nice. like nice. so, does that make sense yeah. now? Okay, mm. so it was just two pieces with the score line at the back and then I've glued this, this section, yeah? So we're going to stick that in the car, in the in the machine, and we're going to place uh, Sir Quiff, because that's what he's called. You can understand why. I it's like, like that. That is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Put him on there, and pop him in there, and then we will bring him down. Sorry, I'm moving about all over the place, and ink, ink and stamp. So get him inked, get him stamped. Do do. There we go, and in the cup press, and in it go! Ah, oh, that is brilliant. <laughs> He's so cute. So he comes with a couple of little birdie characters, a bumblebee and forever blowing bubbles. We're not going to use those words because I'm going to go with the same sort of mishmash of background stamps. But also, there's another. I will add um, some dyes, but let's see what time we get. So we're going to use from stamp set number one. Uh, the texture stamp set number one, we're going to use this really funky border and I'm going to work off of um, my skinny slime, so I'll put him on Do you know that. what's nice about those as well? Because there's so much fun in those stamps as well. You don't need to colour, do you really? Because they, they still look great. Just the, It's black and white. Yeah, right? even on wrapping paper, you just do yeah. those onto, onto uh, craft paper and just wanted a fun kind of feel with a wrapping paper, even not coloured, they would look That's great. That's Scott saying, don't colour it in shaman, you take too long. <laughs> 
<laughs> really not what I'm saying at all. So, you can get me in trouble. This is the, <laughs> this is like a board, a little border stamp, so you could keep going with that. But I'm just using sections mm. of it. So if I show the card again in a minute. Um, I'm just building it up. I'm just go going with it. A bit of fun. So I'm using um, the Momentous and like a turquoisey blue on there because it's one of my favourite colours. Well, there's quite a few there. And we'll add that in at the top. And it's just a little bit funky, so it would be different yeah. from the first one that I've done. Yeah. Uh, then we were going to add... So that is the first one that I've done. Yeah. Uh, so I'll just put that to one side. Off the same um, t um, texture stamp set, we're going to pull one of these squiggles. Now, the one that I've used on the other one is the two-line squiggle, um, like dashes. I'm going to use the one with the three on this one, so it's not exactly the same. And we're going to ink and stamp again. So we'll have a little bit going over there. We're going to ink and stamp again. You could do your second generation, but it's up to you. But it's a, it's a good, easy way. And I'll turn that around because I didn't use that ink and follow it in there. So to me, if that was coloured in now mm. um, and placed over the top, that's enough for the little sentiment. You know, embrace the white space or mm. fill it in with a couple of little dots. One more then. So we use one of these two little dots together which is out of um, textured stamp set number two so you've got all these kind of like little dinky splats you've got like smudges and things wiggly words and we can add that one in as well um will we go for pink or will we go for let's add red let's add a third color to it I so we'll have red. red splats and we'll <laughs> go on we'll move it up we'll move it over so we've got third generation and we'll do the same again. So in keeping with what I've done down here, I'm going to do the same over here. Did you One. just say in keeping? In keeping. Oh, I thought you'd do the pun with the ink then. I thought that was good. Yeah, yeah, I was honest. <laughs> <laughs> Pinocchio. <Yeah. laughs> oh, yeah, you claim it, claim and it. And I think, I think if that was coloured in, that be quite cool but like as you said if you wanted to give it to somebody and let them colour it in. yeah well yes yeah, there is that option there is that option but actually on the colouring inside because i think that that is lovely the great thing about these is you really can you let your imagination go wild with these aren't you because they are so fantastical yes. yeah uh, that you can be you can be completely off script with this you know colors looks textures whatever you want mm -hmm. they work so nice Okay. Oh, I, I love it. Over to you. Over then. to me. I'm <laughs> loving it. We are absolutely on a perfect relay on this, actually. Uh, hours in prep has paid off. It's all good. <laughs> um, so, if you'd like to go for the, uh, the stamp set, again, have a look. Is there anything there that jumps out at you? Anything there you go, do you know what? I'm really quite drawn to that. You keep looking back at that particular stamp that's on there, or those characters, or you're already starting to think, do you know what? The, I don't have anything like this in my repertoire of, of stamps to be working with. Maybe you've gone more the classical looks of those, or you've gone more wildlife, or you've got more florals in the past, and looking at these and thinking, do you know what, for journaling, for all those kind of different designs, those different styles, if it's just to have a good fun colouring in, and maybe it's a project that you might be looking at again with someone from younger generation, maybe it's your daughter, grandson, uh, godson, niece, nephew, whatever it is, and they just want to have a go. I know that my little girl, Shay, loves doing the, um, her stamping and colouring in. She absolutely loves doing anything, again, with the, with the uh, anything that's got a sort of fairy in there, anything like that. And it's brilliant because it just allows the imagination to go to town. That's what's created these stamps in the first place by Clever Prince. It's going to give you that chance to just go for it. And I just imagine a journal done with these, where these characters will come out with these lovely little, um, uh, little, little extras that are in there. The quirkiness is going to be a lot of fun. Right now, £11 you're saving on this, so don't forget, when you pick a mix of any two. It is worth reminding because it is such a great deal. The Monsters, those stamps, there are A5 in there, uh, they were actually going for 15, around about the £15 mark for one of those stamps. And we're actually giving you a pick and mix choosing any two for just ten ninety eight. So it's absolutely a brilliant opportunity. Three six zero six seven nine. The website is your friend with these because there's so much to look through. Take your time, have a little look, pop the ones that you want to put in the basket. You might want to go for a couple of these uh, and, and take advantage of that. Now you've seen some of those background stamps, maybe that's the one you're looking for uh, to pop in there as well. Whatever one it is, perfect, perfect opportunity uh, for you to do so. That's all there on thecraftstore.com. We have got our fantastic brand new die. 
we've got for the wiggle circles. There's seven dies in total here. We've been looking at it and working with it throughout this hour. It's I'm proven, still playing with it. And still playing with it right now. <laughs> I'm prepping. And this is prep time for later on. Um, it has got five are off right now, so it's 14 786 Very, very popular indeed on that set. Um, we are there to our last 30 seconds. Uh, which it's been wonderful. It's Thank been you. a wiggle and a giggle. A wiggle and a giggle. It's everything indeed. you promise. Yeah, we're back at three. Back at three o'clock this <laughs> afternoon, uh, which has been great. But I really might be prepped then. <laughs> <laughs> we might have a poem. You never know as well yeah. to come through to show on there. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Thank Lovely you, inspiration uh, to look at. And loads of inspiration and hints and tips for you there as well. Make sure you can come back with Charmaine at 3 p.m. as well. But for now, Charmaine and myself, she got some more work to do. I'm going to go and write a poem as well. Uh, don't go anywhere because we've got a lot more coming up after this. Get ready, everybody, yeah, for your one-day special, your noon edition. Uh, that's absolutely brilliant. Then I'll be back with Natasha for you, and then Indigo Blue. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. Very good afternoon to you. Lovely to have your company. As always, it is one day special time and it's a really special one day special as well because the work of Linda Williams is wonderful. And I suppose, Paul Church, when you bring it out in groovy plates, it's never going to be long before the stamps have to come. No, that's right. I mean, we, we listen to what customers ask for. And when we launched the Time for Tea in the Groovy collection um, back in March as the one day special, though we had a lot of requests. Oh, these would be fantastic as stamps. Mm. So the lovely Lisa in the office, she resized them, worked her magic. And you've got the same concept and designs in the same two options as well. So you've got a tea option, you've got a coffee option. Or the one day special, which we're bringing to you, 
is all both of them. This is tea, coffee, perfect. cake, and crafting. Well, sounds lovely to me. <laughs> sounds the perfect combination for a nice, restful, stress-free day. Um, you're going to love this. Uh, one day specials are always incredible with clarity. And actually, I put that all down to you, Mr. Church, because you are the numbers man, aren't you? You're the one that with, holds all the numbers and <laughs> says, right, OK, well, I'm a crafter, so I want good value. So I'm going to deliver that. Will you talk me through? Because I know you've got all those numbers Absolutely. in your head. Will you talk me through what we're so getting here? So when we look at, if we break it down to the two different sets. Yeah. So if we look at the T set, for example. OK. So within that set, you're going to get four A, um, A6 stamp sets with their masks. Mm -hmm. You're also going to get 87 of those beautiful sage green flowers and leaves. Wow, okay. look how detailed they are. Really beautiful, and they've got like little gems and crystals in them. Nice. Really, and these are all been handmade as well. Yeah. Okay. Then in addition to that, you're going to get 20, uh, 10 sheets of Barb's favourite. So this is, for the tea collection, you're going to get Indian Summer. Mm -hmm. So you've got two different designs and you've got five sheets of each. In addition to that, another idea that came from Barb are the postcards. Oh. So you're actually, you've got a stack there just in front of you. Um, oh, cool. And so these are actual postcards. Okay. Oh, no. oh so they are. So you can send them and someone else can colour them in, or you can colour them in and send them. What a wonderful or idea. Or you can put them on a card topper. Uh, they are absolutely brilliant. So they're, they're, they're absolutely you know, crying out for your colour techniques and decorating techniques, and then you actually use them wherever you are. You could use those as invites to things as well, couldn't you? Absolutely. A little garden party, a little yeah, definitely. tea party in the garden. Amazing. So that's the, the tea collection. OK. And then in the coffee collection, again, you've got the four sets of stamps with their masks. Mm -hmm. This time we've included the beautiful uh, pink blossom flowers with the leaves. You've also got um, Barb's favourite Toscana. So again, the two different colourways of the paper, five sheets of each. Then, there we go, just moving over to those now. Oh, beautiful. At, aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, they are. Absolutely beautiful. Really atmospheric. Um, and then you also get ten postcards, and this one is the cake stand with all the lovely yummy cakes on it. Uh, they're just, and again, I, I just love the fact that they're like pre-printed postcards. You know some places you go to when you're on holiday or whatever, you're running around for things to do, aren't you? You could be on your holiday and you could be colouring those up and then on the back, all ready-made, stick a stamp on it, bit of writing and off you go. Amazing. I think that's such a lovely, lovely idea. So which option do you think you are going for right now? Are you more of a, you more of a tea party or are you more of a coffee and cakes in the afternoon or... Do you want it all? I have to say that the savings, as always, Paul, that's right. Immense, so aren't on they? the tea saving, you've got a fourteen pound saving if you just went for that. Mm -hmm. If you went just for the coffee, you've got a fourteen pound saving as well. Now the one day special, yes, both of those savings are carried over. So that's a twenty eight pound saving carried over already. Okay. Okay. Then in addition to that, what you're going to get is twenty of our five by five pre scored card blanks, the craft card. Okay. You're also That's going middle, to get yeah. 20 envelopes yeah. and the white Pergamano pencil. And that has got an additional £12 saving. Oh, my so word. in total, you've got £40 saving for the one-day special. Right. OK. <laughs> so I'm just getting my head around this because, uh, you know, listen, you may have seen this last night and this morning, or possibly neither of those, like me. I'm brand new to this uh, today. Um, I'm just looking, this has flexi as well, doesn't it, right? Yep. And the first flexi payment, what's the first flexi payment on that? 44.53. Now that's if you're not a Freedom member. What was the price of the tea collection on it? The first it was 44.93. Right, so for 40 pence more than the collection, the, the, the one collection on its own, yep. it's my first flexi, I can have the whole... 40, 40 pence less, I beg your pardon. Yes, you're right. Yeah. I can have the whole collection and just break it down into those two flexes. And listen, with clarity, you know you want it all. And if you already have the, the groovy plates that go with the, yeah. the collection, then this is that natural progression. But you don't need to have done that. No, no, and no. you can still do that today if you want Absolutely. to. Absolutely. Oh, my word. That's absolutely awesome. I tell you what, when clarity comes to town, don't they bring everything? I mean, talk about 
an absolute carnival uh, going on. And it's such a lovely subject to talk about, isn't it? Tea and coffee. We all get together for tea, coffee and cakes, Absolutely. don't we? Absolutely. And it's sort of quintessentially English, isn't it? It's sort of the tea, the yeah. bone china, um, the beautiful teapots. A lot of people collect teapots as a hobby. And when you look at the designs from um, Linda Williams, we were talking about this earlier, it can be very difficult to find a design that will cross over the various different techniques within stamping. Yes, true. So whether you yeah. want to go crisp and clean, so yeah. I mean, that one there from Dee Paramore, that actually opens up and you've got like the dresser, the row of um, plates adorable. on the inside. <gasps> oh okay. my word, look. Isn't that gorgeous? So again, you can go crisp and clean, or you can go mixed media, you can go grungy. Can. Yeah, and yeah. there we go, sort of, I mean, not exactly mixed media, but it's got that beautiful splattered background. I love and it. And it doesn't look out of place. Not at all. I love it. I think, you know, the possibilities here. And you think about all the events that people are making up now for lost time, aren't they? So they are getting together with friends and family and they Absolutely. are starting to arrange events. Even the tiny, tiny little, I live in like a hamlet, it's like 80 properties or something. We're having a little festival later mm. on in August and it is about getting together. I'm not sure whether tea will be drunk, to be honest <laughs> with you, but it might be something slightly stronger. But, but... Do you know what I mean? Um, it is the time where you want to get people together and connect with people again. Um, and tea, coffee and cakes are just the most excellent way of doing that. Tea is a cup of love. Love it. I think it's brilliant. Now, with the one-day special, just to let you know, once it's gone, it's gone. It is an immense offering. Um, I have to say, if I was you watching this right now, there would be elements of this, even if I was a tea or a coffee person and I naturally thought, right, tea, coffee, what do I prefer? Because that's where your brain goes first. Do I prefer tea or do I prefer coffee? So your brain goes there first, then you look at the collections and then you spot that there's elements you want from both collections. Absolutely. So you could save yourself the hassle right now of just saying, well, you know what, one collection on its own, 44.93. Your first of two flexes for both collections and all the extras that go with that is 40 pence less than the price of one collection. Yeah. Now, I mean, obviously I mean, you've got your second payment to make. Yeah, And if course. you're a Freedom Club member as well, you've got an additional £8.90 discount for the one day special. So it's you're amazing. saving £48.90. That is incredible. Um, I have to say, I can't wait to see this in action. I love the fact that you've got the um, flowers included there as well. 60% of the stock of the one-day special has sold already. Uh, bear in mind we have this last, uh, with this live hour and then four o'clock will be the last live hour for the one day special. So you have until six o'clock tonight or until the stocks vanish and disappear uh, to get your order in. While you're having a little think and maybe getting to your account and then what was my password again? I'll just get that in. While you do that, I'll give you a couple of minutes of relaxing time while we have a look at some finished samples from this wonderful one day special. <laughs> Just divine, isn't it? Just perfect for this time of the year as well. Sat in the garden, colouring in beautiful designs, maybe having a pot of coffee and some cakes right next to you. I mean, what could be better on a sun sunny, is it Thursday today? Sunny Thursday afternoon. Shame we're inside, Paul, but there we go. Well, I know, it's, but it's nice and cool. It's a lot cooler outside today than it was yesterday. Yes, that's very true. And again, when we look at this collection from Linda, I think... It covers so many different occasions. Yes, it does. It can be birthdays, it can be anniversaries, it could be weddings, yeah. it can be just a celebration. Just make something just to send somebody just yeah. to say hello. Yeah. Um, and it covers all different ages as well. Because yeah. again, when you look at them, I mean, that cake stand on there, um, and you can colour in all the different cakes. But again, if you're not into your colouring, and we showed this during the 8 o'clock show last night, you don't have to colour them in. No. They're really effective by putting the colour behind. Yes. 
Yeah, make make fantastic uh, backgrounds, and you've got the masks for the stamps included. That's right. I which mean, is in even total, better. you've got ninety nine stamps. It's incredible. If you go for the one day special. I love that you've got all the names of the teas as well included. It's just those extra little details. It's really, really cool. Um, OK, listen, please, if you have this in your basket right now, I'll just show you those the names of those teas. We're approaching two thirds of the stock of the entire one day special sold out. So if you do have it in your basket, check it out now. Then you can sit back, relax and watch Paul's fabulous demonstrations through this and the four o'clock hour, knowing that you've got yours completely and utterly secured. I still haven't got to the mystery of what a Rubios tea is. Maybe, do you know, Paul? No I don't, idea. I've, Has it got rhubarb in it? Sounds I've like no it's idea. Rhubarb. If you want Maybe to, they if you want to email in, and who, see knows, what it is. who knows? Who knows? I'm, I'm a, a typical English breakfast kind of guy. <laughs> right. Where are we starting with demo for this? Okay. Hour, so then, I thought if this is the first time of um, people watching, uh, lovely viewers, then let's just have a bit of a recap on what we've covered over the previous Perfect hour, just to me. give you some inspiration as well. So this was a card that the lovely Julie Dunn um, created. So I, I replicated it. But what I did was I used the beautiful Indian summer papers mm -hmm. as a part of the one day special. Yeah. Changed the colour. I showed how you can intensify using the white pencil the opacity of the, the colouring in. Okay, so we did that in the six o'clock show last beautiful. night. Then this was an idea that Barb came up with. Look, send somebody a cup of tea or a cup <gasps> of coffee. Wow. Because yeah. I didn't realise until the other day that you can get coffee in a bag. Oh yeah, I've got some. I've got yeah. some. Oh, yeah, I've got one. So, you can have one later. I know I've got plenty. <laughs> oh, have you? Yeah, it's <laughs> so, lovely. So again, so using our tags, you create these little little pockets, and you could send that. And um, Kim had the idea last night. You could do several of these and do like a little tea hamper with some biscuits or a coffee hamper. Um, or if you're doing craft fairs now that things are starting to open up again, make these and sell them. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because we don't have a problem with you selling anything you make from it at or, all. Or maybe if you are a little business, it's a nice way of actually rewarding your customers and saying, actually, you know, spend X or buy this and that, as we do here. Buy a bigger collection, we'll throw something e extra in for free. Maybe yeah, if you're a business, exactly. yeah, a little make freebie. something like that. All I your mean, companies' a, a details. Bag, a box of tea bags isn't... It's going to cost you nothing, no, is it, really, exactly. in the grand scheme of things? So we showed how we use our tag dies to create these. Love and obviously, I mean, you can make bigger pockets as well. You could just take the card itself and just put a couple of tea bags inside. Yeah. Depends how many people you're sending it to. You can make so we make seed packets out of those as yeah. well. Yeah. So we did seeds. those in the six o'clock and eight o'clock show Lovely. last night. And then at eight o'clock last night, we did this one. So again, this shows there's no colour on the stamped image. And this is using our beautiful backdrop stamps. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So you've got squares, circles, ovals, rectangles, hearts. So I just very simply applied some ink to the backdrop stamp, stamped this out, covered it up with the mask, mm -hmm. and put the backdrop stamp over it. it but I chose my colours yeah. to go with the backing paper. Yeah. So okay. it doesn't take, actually, the papers lead you by the hand almost in colour selection, don't they? That's right, yeah. yeah. And then this was the piece we looked at during the 8 o'clock show. So the lovely Dee Paramore prepared this for me. And it's paper piecing. So we've stamped it onto the card. Yeah. We've stamped this same stamp onto designer paper. This is um, Antarctica. Uh -huh. And then cut them out and then stuck them over the stamped image. Oh, I like it. It's like a collage almost, it is. isn't it? So again, you could use different colour backing papers. If you've got scraps, we've all got scraps of backing papers that we, we can't bear to throw away. Yeah, that little corner. Um, so you could build up a different colourway as well. But again, these would be great for decoupage. Yeah. So you don't have to have them flat. And then also, we did this one where we just cut them out. So this is using the beautiful Toscana backing papers that come as, with the coffee or the one day special. And I stamped out the teapot, the cups, cut them out and just applied a little bit of colour as well, just to build that up. It's lovely. So you, so you can go very modern and trendy with these, even though they're classical styles and designs on the teapots. Um, you can really, you can really funk it up, oh, can't definitely. you? It's the medium that you use. You can go use, big cards. You can go small cards. It's entirely up to you. Yeah. So this is what we're going to have. For, it's twelve o'clock. It's time for some cake. Oh, and good what to a me. better opportunity! The beautiful sort of cake stand. So again, you've got this as, in the stamp as part of the one day special. But then you've also got those postcards. And when you compare the size of the postcards to the stamped image, could you just pass me one of those postcards? Of course, so, yeah. Thank you. So we can just see the comparisons oh, in yeah. the size. Okay. So again, you can 
send that to someone, you can use it as a topper, mm -hmm. you can sort of just send it coloured, black and white, it's entirely up to you. But then when you look at the stamp design, then you can see the difference between the two. Love it. Okay. So this is what we're going to look at in this one. And what we're going to do, we're going to build a frame using just one of the elements. So this is the, the stamp, it's a little border to create the frame. Then we're going to take our cake stand. But what we're going to do, we're going to, you can see how the jug is behind the cake slice and the um, cream horn is in front of the stand. So it's all about where the masks really do come into play. Mm. Okay. Awesome. That so cream horn what we're going to do me, first, we're going to start off with um, one of the car blanks. We've got a, a complete bundle of car blanks on the show as well. Right. Um, so you've got 5x5, five 6x6, by 7x7 five, six by six, seven by seven and 8x8. Eight eight. Cool. Okay, so if you want to stock up on your craft card car blanks, it's a perfect opportunity. Details on the way. Now, what I'm going to do, I mean, Dee has already done all the hard work for me because she's, oops, she's just cut it already to size, which is just a 5x5 five five anyway. But if you're not sure on how to get your positioning, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take just my black ink pad, I'm going to ink up my stamp, because you can extend the design. Okay, so you can join it up. So I know two of those together is going to be perfect on that card. So now I can use this as my guide for positioning. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I've practiced yeah, yeah. on my copy paper. Okay. So I'm just going to ink up my stamp and we're going to pop that one just there. It's and then so because I can see about, through the it? stamp. All designed okay. by crafters. And then we turn it round. So I can position that on there as well. So again, say so D's done all the hard work. You could, if you wanted to, draw some pencil lines on there, if you want it to be really precise. But what we're doing is we're just getting that overall effect of a frame. Okay, so the mounts that I'm using on here, this is the um, super long vertical mounts. So we've got a wide selection of different mounts. And Barbara invented these because, again, you've got the handle on here to hold for positioning. Now, because I've got this one on this way, I'm just holding it like a traditional mount. But when we come to use the other designs... But it still looks like you're getting a lot more precision than you can by using other methods as well. I mean, it's absolutely. just whatever you find the best. But actually, I've, these are really handy because you can almost double see through your your window of vision, if you like, is that much bigger, isn't it? That's right. So here we go. Fingers crossed, it joins up. Oh, yeah, I should have waited till you finished all four already, haven't I? Uh -huh. ah, look at that. Look at that. But you know what? Right, I can take liner. a mi black micron pen Absolutely. and join it up, yep. or I can put my finger over it. Of course. Or a butterfly. Yeah, butterfly. <laughs> the universe or one will of get the out flowers. I could put one of those beautiful little exactly. flowers See? in each of those corners. There we go. Perfect Sorted. little accent. Okay, so we've got our frame, and I have got one that Dee's very kindly done, but I'm going to just work with this one, just to, I mean, we'll go with the flow, don't we? Yeah. So what we're going to do next is, when we look at the composition, the cake slice is in front of the jug, the cream horn is in front of the, the cake stand. So that means we need to stamp those out first. Okay. Okay, so I'll take my cake slice... This is such valuable technique as well to have. And I'm going to pop that just there. So you can see now how I'm holding the handles on there where I hovered and then I use my fingers just to position. Okay, so we've got that there. A little bit more ink is required. And bear in mind, we are very, very busy right the way across the show. I'm not at all surprised. This is divine. What better time of the year to talk about tea, coffee and cakes, sat out in the garden, enjoying the sunshine. I hope it's sunny where you are today. It's not too bad here. But it's supposed to be coming back, isn't it, the summer that we had a little, we had a little glimpse of. It's meant to be coming back in full flow. And the sooner the better, I say. OK. So now we have our mask. So now I'm going to position that over. Again, I use a pair of tweezers because my fingers are a little bit chunky. Okay, and then 
we're going to cover up. And these stamps, of course, you can go. Uh, sorry, masks. You can go on using those again and again. Forever, yeah, never, the more you yeah. use them, the better they become. Because yeah. when they're brand new, they're sort of super tacky. So yeah. you can detack them on your jumper or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, but just for these little ones, they're quite easy to uh, line up. Yeah. Okay. So now we can pop the jug into the background. So always the foreground stamp first, then mask it. Mask it. Then yeah. Start on your back ground. So then, what we can do now. We can pop that, just that. I mean, the, the detail on the stamps is a sort of ultra fine sort of line art. So you, it doesn't lose any of the detail on yeah. them. Okay. Now, earlier on, we was talking about larger stamps. We looked at the dresser earlier, and that's the biggest stamp in the collection. Then this is the next biggest one. And I thought it'd be important again to show if you're tuning in for the first time, just a few stamping tricks Please if do. you struggle to mm. get a really good impression. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I've got my copy paper and it is just on um, my black mat, which is a hard surface. Mm -hmm. Piece of copy paper, I'll take my ink pad and what I want to do is just show you. I know my ink pad because I use it all the time. Yeah. Okay. So I know whether it's juicy, whether it's halfway in the middle, yeah. or whether it's dry. And the, the different wetnesses of the ink pads have different um, techniques that you can use it for. Sometimes you want a dry one. Yeah. Okay. So if I press down, I'm using the 5x5 five five mega mounts. Okay. And I'm just applying the pressure to the middle. Okay. Now, I'm hoping I don't get a good impression. Uh, okay. okay. There we go. Look, I've missed a bit. Oh. Okay. Now, that could be a combination of, one, I haven't applied the ink correctly. Right. Two, I haven't um, pressed hard enough. Yeah. Or three, it's just that the ink is too dry. Okay. Okay. So if I take a different ink pad, which I know is a lot juicier, okay, and it doesn't mean I'm going to get a good impression again because it's all about the, the positioning and the sort of pressure that you apply. Okay. So if I press that down again, so again, I'm pressing in the middle and I'm just going around because if you press in the middle, the, um, the pressure sort of transfers outwards. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see if I get a, a better impression this time. May not. Yep. So again, I've still missed a bit. So oh. you're thinking, Right, I've got a dodgy stamp, or I can't stamp. Yeah. So you've got platforms that you can use, those stamping platforms if you struggle with pressure and everything else. Yeah. But there's a couple of other things that you can do. I could use five, six sheets of paper underneath to add a little bit of a cushion. Okay. Or if I take our A4 groovy mat, or any craft mat, like a mouse mat that's got a spongy surface uh, okay, on the back. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I showed this during the 8 o'clock show, and I thought it was important just to... So especially when you're working with a, a bit of a larger stamp. So I've gone back to my first ink pad. So now, he says... That was the one crossed. that was slightly drier, wasn't so it? So that was the one that was slightly drier, yeah. which was this image yeah. just here. Yeah. So now, because I've got a little bit of a, a spongy bit underneath... Ah. Okay. You're making a better impression. So, fingers crossed, he says. Yeah. You know what live TV is like. Yeah. It works at 8 o'clock, so if it goes well, you can go back and watch. Why well, did it at 8 o'clock? There we go. Ah, a really nice, it. crisp, clean impression. So that makes a big difference then. People can think it that can do, it can, You could think that there's something wrong with the stamp. Or, or you, you. Or you. Yeah, yeah. Or the... Every, but it can be a combination of different things. Oh, now, okay. another tool which is really good, because often when I'm on here, I'm doing groovy. Yeah. So, and Pergamano. So we've got the Pergamano embossing mat, excel excellent, okay, mm -hmm. which is sort of a silicon, so it's got some give to it. Because if you've got a mouse mat, for example, it may be a bit too squidgy. Yes. So therefore, what you'll do when you're pressing onto a, a softer mat, that you can get a, a crisp image in the middle, but the outer parts will be more thicker. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So again, if I bring that in, I'm going to go back to that original ink pad. So it's got to be that kind of medium level of resistance. Then, yeah, so when you stamp it out for the first time, I mean, we always say ink it up first when you get your new stamp yeah. and just stamp it out on copy paper. Yeah. And what it does, it just conditions the stamp. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Then I can go again, just there. So again, I'm putting the pressure on the middle. 
And cardstock and paper stock have different absorbencies as well. Okay, right. So yeah. sometimes you may need to sort of hold it down a little bit longer if the cardstock is more absorbent, just to allow the, especially with a quick drying ink pad as well, yeah. which I'm using. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so. that's a good point. You know, I'm so glad you did this because so often, and, and I have one of those, one of those things on springs that that holds the stamp and then you push it down, and I find that I'm just like. Dum! Just too quick, probably. Yeah, yeah. Far too quick. And for I don't smaller know stamps, you, you don't need to apply so much pressure. Yeah. So you can see now the various different sort of the levels. That one's a lot blacker yes. because it was a more juicier ink pad. Yeah. But I got so I was consistent when I changed it to have something underneath. Ah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't think it's always you or there's something wrong with the stamps when you. If you're new to stamping, or even some of the stamps you've already got, and you think, oh, it doesn't work properly, I'm rubbish. Don't, just persevere and just yeah. try different things. So which one are you happier with out of three and four, then? So I'm happier with the one that I did on the black mat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Another thing you can do, in the, with the stamps, okay, if you think, right, I'm using the Mega Mount, which is sort of a rigid plastic, mm -hmm. okay, so on the, in the packaging, you also get um, some acetate as well and it has a covering on it. So if I just take that off, mm. okay, and just, there we go, I've taken that off. So I've now got a flexible piece of acetate. So what I can do now, if I take that stamp off of there, pop it on the acetate, and I'm gonna get rid of the pink mat. And I reckon we'll get another one just there. So now, again, I can ink up the stamp Nice and make sure. And you'll notice that when I'm doing I'm using this finger to press on the ink pad. Rather than just go like that, because I know it's an ink, you don't really want to go really fast because all you're doing is just sort of tapping in cock. So I'm actually pressing uh. on the ink pad. See, I've, I've got a very good teacher in Barbara, you see. So it's now amazing, I can press down. And now, because the acetate is flexible, yeah. I've got a little bit more movement. You have to be careful that you don't wiggle it too yeah. much, yeah. but I can put a little bit more pressure. So if you think, oh, your hands don't have it, that you can apply that sort of pressure. So you can be a bit more concentrated that yeah. way. Yeah. So fingers crossed, this one will work. I reckon. There we go. See? Yeah. So again, because I've put too much pressure on that out, I know we were talking about that, that's a little bit more blurry. Yeah. So try the different mounts, try the different surfaces to stamp on if you're struggling to do that. Okay. Do you know, that's brilliant. So, what we're gonna, that's what, we this is why, this is another reason why as well, you should definitely, definitely, definitely um, get connected to all of Clarity's Facebook groups as well, because you do you do your Groovy Tuesday, do you still? Uh, well, it's now the Pergamano Summer School. Oh. Linda Williams now, um, oh. she does a Pergamano, she te takes us through her multi-needle handbook. Oh, wow. Um, so, um, so yeah, so every Tuesday at 10 o'clock on Facebook Live we have that. Barbara's on a bit of a break from the shack at the moment. Yeah, well, she's had a long um, run in fairness, so, hasn't she? Yeah, so she's on a little bit of a break on that. Yeah. So, right, what I'm going to do. But there's done. always lots going on and lots of tips, and you have a lovely community there as well. We do. We really have Clarity Worldwide and Groovy Worldwide. Yeah. All yeah. the design team are on there. So, if you're ever stuck, always post a, a picture if you're struggling with something. And someone on there will say, Oh, have you tried this or yeah. have you tried that? Yeah. Okay. It's very, very helpful. So, now what we're going to do is pop that just in place. So, I've gone back to the spongy side of my black mat. Now, I find with craft card, it's more absorbent than our white card blanks. Okay. Okay. So therefore, I'm just holding it down so just a bit longer. for a little bit longer to allow the ink to transfer. Now, what I can do, if I've got this right, if I, no, it didn't. What I was gonna say, sometimes the ink will create a suction that you can turn it over and then rub on the back while it's still on the stamp as well. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay. But there we go, I'm happy with that. So now, if I remove these masks, we can see the cream horn now is mm -hmm. in front of the stand. So it's fallen off, or somebody's dropped it when they were, were taking it. That's right, it won't be there for long. I'm see? in the house. And then 
the cake slice is now in front of the jug. Okay. Ah, so sweet, isn't it? So and again, you've got so many Im images uh, absolutely. to, to build up. There's 99 stamps in yeah. the whole of the one day special. So I'm sure you'll be able to find something oh, yeah. in there. And lots of unique um, compositions as well, which I think is really, really good. Because, of course, the stamps are the start of the story, and then, and then you take them in the direction that you want to. And there's so many directions you can take these into as well. I think they're amazing. I love them all. I really do. And, and the thing is, I, I knew I'd be in the same boat as a lot of you right now, because you know that you can break this down in either, to either the tea or the coffee um, and cakes selection. But once you start looking at the stamps and what they have, even the sentiments that go with them, you're like, OK, so I, I want that from that and I want that from that. So in the end, you do end up wanting both anyway. Um, so why not take the extra savings? And the savings are huge, absolutely huge, if you're going for the entire collection on the one day special. Um, it is ridiculous. If you are a Flexi, uh, sorry, a Freedom member, your first Flexi is way less than the price of one collection. Yeah. Which is just brilliant. I mean, that's that's the opportunity. Remember, that's the opportunity that's open for this one-day window through until 6 o'clock tonight, if the stock lasts as well. It's a big collection. There's lots to go at. But you know as well, when it comes to tea, coffee and cakes, that pops up right the way through the year, doesn't it? Gatherings, celebrations, parties. Actually, a lot of people are starting to say, actually, should we have a little get-together where maybe we, we didn't before all of that stuff came along? Actually, we should make an effort to do this. Let's make every Tuesday, 3 o'clock, the time that we get together on the Village Green or round the corner or let's go to Mary's, you know, let's dot our way around. Start something like that. I think there's a really community feel about this as well. It's about bringing people together, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And say, just to send someone a little notelet card or something, say, mm. meet me for tea, as yeah. you say, or let's go, let's go out for a coffee. Yeah. It's just that little sort of like gesture. Rather than just ring someone up and say, oh, do you fancy a coffee? Yeah. Just pop them a little note through their door. And if you've got this beautiful artwork from Linda, it just really does sum it up. And again, when we was looking at the sort of like the, the tea bag and the coffee bag holders, pop that through someone's door. If you, you haven't yeah. seen them for a while, just yes. pop it through the door. Have a coffee on me. Yeah. Oh, it's a cheap coffee. <laughs> Absolutely. But, but also, that's a lovely way of saying someone to somebody in a very, very non-intrusive way. Do you know what? If you need anything, if you need some shopping picked up, if just you know, because because people think, well, we're coming out of all of this now. It doesn't really matter. But there's still people who aren't getting out there and aren't connecting with people. And that's a lovely way of just saying, look, you know, I'm not intruding on your space, but here's just a little note to say, you know, here's a lovely coffee for you. But if you need anything, here's my number. Just mm. give me a call if you need some shopping done or need a bit of gardening done or whatever it might be. I think actually now's the time for us to really cement those things. Can I? Do you mind if I just spend just a no, minute? Absolutely. I just want to show you this, the um, the actual stamp sets from the collections um, because they are lovely. Because you, you've seen them. I know you've seen the stamps, but sometimes it's a bit difficult on the telly to actually see what that that actually means. Um, and here you can see all the images stamped out. Now these are all the individual names without you having to get right up close to the telly. Um, you've got all of the tea names there. So black tea, white tea, matcha, and chai, and even rubios. Has anybody emailed in and told us what Rubios is? I've heard of it. I've seen it in those posh coffee shops, but I don't know what it is. Oh, Elaine has emailed. She says, it's a, a herbal tea from South Africa made from the ruby, Rubios bush. So it wasn't rhubarb then? No, not rhubarb. <laughs> no, no. You're Maybe growing... we could invent a rhubarb tea but if there is a Possibly. It sounds there. nice, actually, doesn't it? Rhubarb in a tea would be quite, quite nice, actually. Look at that. Stay calm, drink tea and eat cake. Lovely. That's all you need to know, isn't it? Perfect. That, see, that would be lovely. Garden party, summer fair, any kind of event. That mm. would be absolutely beautiful. Again, perfect for greetings cards as well. Love those teapots. The, I mean, that teapot is just so, so beautiful. Um, think about blinging that up as well. Think about your glossy accents and little diamond dots and all kinds of things that you can, you can uh, decorate that with. Uh, be beautiful. So that's the tea. And I love all of these extra, you know, borders, corners. Absolutely wonderful. Um, can I show you the coffee set as well? Do you mind? Because yeah, I think it is, it is beautiful. It really, and I love the fact that you get the postcards with them as well. Listen, I'm going to make the assumption that most people are going for the entire collection. So I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to look here, there and everywhere. Let's go for coffee. Romano. Cafe au lait. Macchiato. Ristretto. Whatever that is. 
obviously, we, we haven't reached the dizzy heights of Ristretto Pool yet. <laughs> uh, visit, sit, stay and drink. Look at that coffee pot at the bottom. How stunning is that? I love that. That's my favourite coffee pot. Isn't out, it lovely? Out of the designs. I absolutely love that. I would, I would love one of those in reality, wouldn't you? Full of coffee. Yeah, very, very nice. Cake it easy. I love that stand of cakes as well. Absolutely brilliant. Um, and again, you've got the cream horn there. And that wonderful little, it's the little heart that you can take right the way round. Decorative corner. Uh, or indeed border or decoration you know it could be part of a celebration could be streamers could be all kinds of things this is lovely this kind of takes you back isn't it and i love the fact that for each of these you've got a mask as well haven't yeah. you so again for for those compositions do you know i was going to ask you about that on that sample you showed um earlier i think it was d sample yes. it had this and i thought oh then that that looks very groovy like and i was thinking how was that achieved and actually it's one of the stamps that's right yeah so it's one of the four so again how we've just created that frame of the hearts you could replicate that as well and in the 8 a.m show this morning i showed how you could sort of ink and second and do second generation again to create a complete background with it as well i wonder if i can find it it's hiding under that. here how, somewhere how grand is that see that looks like a an exhibit for the antiques roadshow if you're lucky enough to have a coffee pot like that i mean with the days of coffee bags in goes the coffee bag into the cup these days this is about taking the time isn't it this is about um you know brewing and enjoying and decorating it's absolutely phenomenal it's such a big, big range um, of stamps. And I love the fact that you've got the little postcards in there, the flowers. Always the Clarity team think, right, OK, how broad can we make this? You know, we, Linda's amazing artwork. It's yeah. fantastic. And it just takes you in so many different directions. Um, OK, now, sorry, where were we, Paul? OK, we were just talking about that lovely little... Um border that we were just looking yes. at and this is what I did I showed this during the 8 a.m. Oh, show gosh. so you stamp it once yeah you ink it you stamp it then you move it down stamp it again then you ink it up again stamp it so you can create it reminds me of sort of like a knitted pattern yeah but all it is is that one stamp so you can do this in different you could, beautiful rainbow color just I did it on with black because that was the ink pad I had in front of me at the time but again, you can extend it as well by just playing it along as well. So they do have, just play with them and see what you can come up with. It's awesome. That's very neat, that row of stamping as well. But again, it is that's because, the block. Again, it's, it's, yeah. it, because I was, had control with the stand, yeah. with the handle it was on, it was easy for me just to ink it, move it down, ink it, move it down, and keep repeating that pattern. Awesome. So when we look at... This is one that Dee had kindly prepared for me, so this is all stamped out correctly. And she's added in the other pieces. And then she's applied some colour. Now, over the past couple of hours, we've been concentrating mainly on the pergolina pencils. Yep. And if I get my... See, look, there's always a crossover with parchment, I find, now with stamping, mm -hmm. and vice versa. Yeah. So I've got my organiser here. This goes everywhere with me if I'm going to craft. Um, as long as I load it back up once I've finished, I don't just throw it all in there, yeah. then I'm going to be able to find it. So I've got my pergolina pencil. So I've got my B pencils, which are a wax-based pencil. Then I've got my watercolour pencils in here. So it's a real nice set of pencils. Yeah. If you're starting out thinking, oh, I want to give colouring a go, mm -hmm. then it, it's a real mix. And then, tried and tested as well. Absolutely. And then I've got my pergolina pens. Now, these are water-based, so they're going to work on your parchment, but they're also for colouring in on your stamped images as well. And you've got 30 of those as well, OK? And they're double-ended, OK? Wow. So, for example, if I just... I'm going to take this lovely red. They're all numbered, so when I put them back, I put them back in numerical order, mm -hmm. so I know which one's missing. Very organised, <laughs> Yeah, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> the craft room isn't, but this bag is organised. Yeah. So again, we could take like a yellow as well. And I just want to just show, just, I'm not going to colour it all in because Dee's already done all that for us. Yeah. But just to show, so if I take the tip off of that end and then the other end. Now the pens, they've actually got grooves on one end of them, just there. There we go, can we see? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that tells me that that is the fin nib. OK. OK. And you've got a little diagram on there as well. Yeah. You've got the fin nib and the thick nib. But if we look now at the difference of the nibs, 
Oh, okay. okay. So it's just the very point on the thinner one. Is yeah. It, is that like so a rollerball? You've, you've got a thicker. No, no. It, well, sort of, but it's not. Okay. It's a really sort of top quality nib. Yeah. And I've been using these for years and years and years, and uh -huh. I haven't managed to damage one. Mm -hmm. Okay. But what it means by having those dual nibs, I can really get into the detailed areas. So again, if I just take the, the colour, because if I was to use the other nib, then I wouldn't be able to get right into the detail. So you've got much more areas. control over yeah, this absolutely. one. Yeah, absolutely. And the thin nib as well is great for sort of writing. If you've got really nice um, writing, then you've got 30 different colours that you can write with as well. Oh, do you know, it's, okay. it's only just occurred to me, Paul, you know when you showed us your organiser? Yeah. We can have one of those as well. It's, it's, a, it's an item. It's a Pergamon. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, forgive me, because I, I looked at it and I thought, well, that's good. Well, it's nice that Paul's very organised and whatever. Uh, we can get it as well. Does it come... Oh, so is it... It doesn't come fully loaded, No, 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 obviously. <laughs> Does it come in different colours? No, no, it's just the pink Pergamon right, okay. tool organiser. Cool. I, so do we've you know got what? that on, it's on so the website. It's so good. Because there's so many bits, there's so many pages to there it. There is, yeah. Okay, we, we're, yeah, that's got right. So let's have a quick look then. So that's almost like pages of a book with slots for your pens, For your pens, pencils. your tools. I mean, a lot of people, um, they have one for just their Pergamano tools. Yeah. And then a lot of uh, our, our customers, they collect pencils. They have all different types of yeah, pencils. Of course. So yeah. you could put all your pencils in there or all your pens in there as well. Do you know how many slots there are in there offhand? Oh, Pages sorry. wise, no, it's fine. Let's just open that up. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, I like six, that. seven. So you've got seven inserts in there. Plus, I've got some pockets that's got zips yep. under there as well that I can put. But you can see how much I've got in here. That's really neat, isn't okay. it? Okay, and it's got it's all dual stitched as well, so yeah. it's really good quality. Yeah, and it's you've got zips that see. I just go around there. Yeah, go around there, and then turn that round. And I've got Velcro on there to keep it all together. That's really really and handy. And I'm actually. good to go. So I've. I, that literally, I fill this up whenever I come and do the TV show yeah. because I use it during the week. And I say, as long as I pop it back in, then I know I've got everything in there that I need to be able to do a TV show. I was just thinking that for people that are going on short breaks at the moment, you know, caravan, mobile, motorhome, holiday cottage, whatever. If you're thinking, oh, I can't really take my craft stuff because it's a box from here and a box from there yeah. and this, that and the other, you can get it all into something like that, can you? Absolutely. Really, really handy. Good to have. Yeah. Sorry, I interrupted there, but I just thought, it only occurred to me that wasn't just yours, it's available no, no, with it's all it's a it. tool organiser. My, my apologies. Right, on you go. Okay, so all I've done, you can see now how we've just started to add some colour. So I've chosen the same colours using the pens that Dee's done. But for me, again, let's get this bag out again. So I've got my pencil in here, because I know I put it back earlier. So I'll go into here, and I'll find my white pencil. So the white pencil comes with the craft card. If it, why do you, you want to put a white pencil? The white on craft card really does sort of make a difference. And we was looking at it last night. If I go on very, very lightly and just pop an undercoat on, Okay, instantly you start to sort of, you can see how it sort of just pops out, can't you? How it starts to sort of illuminate the design. Okay, so again, just very, very lightly. And it just starts to, to make it. But now what I can do, I, I'm still going on again lightly, but I'm building up the depth of the whiteness. I'm not going on really hard. I'm just going on softly again, but it's just building up those layers. Which is that similar technique you use in the parchment work as well, Absolutely, isn't it? building yeah. up those layers. So again, you've got that transference yeah. of techniques and skills. See, and then you can just go in and just add a little bit of colour here and there. So in this jam... The more, the more lifelike you, you make these, Paul, the, the I know, more I'm hungry, more hungry I'm, I can feel my... If my stomach starts talking, I'm going to <laughs> apologise right now. So really, so that was just... I mean, I don't need to spend the time colouring, but so um, Dee's used the white pencil on the yeah. jug and then used the pens 
just to put, apply the reds and the yellows to it. It's, really, it's really awesome. Simple. It's really, really nice. I mean, how sweet is that? Um, and lots of people, I mean, lots of people who demonstrate as well, absolutely love craft card because it gives you an instant backdrop, doesn't it? It's, it's, as well, it's really great for those people who are afraid of white space as well. Yeah. It's great because you, you don't feel it's, it's such a mountain. It's more softer, earthier. It's yeah. not as scary as a bright white piece of card. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. Um, let's go, should we go back to, back to the beginning almost? So what, what gave birth to today's one day special um, was this coffee and cake um, groovy collection. Uh, for, again, from Linda Williams, this is what started and the ball starts rolling, doesn't it? Uh, right. And we know that uh, the groovy system people are just in love with and so passionate about and want to collect the whole thing. And I know this has been ever so popular. When did you say we launched just March? This launched it? in March yeah. as a one day special. I remember we did it together. I think you were, you were down the line at the time we were, we, yeah. via the internet. Um, and I know how popular it was and I think I think I was on the second show, actually, with it. Not the original launch, I don't think, but I just know how phenomenally popular it is. Again, with parchment, because, because you see it coming to life. Yes. You, you bring Linda's images to life, and there's a certain magic about doing that, isn't there? And it's a completely different feel. It's a more, it's a more textile-feeling paper craft, isn't it, parchment? It is. It's the magic of the parchment paper itself. Now, you've got the traditional clear parchment, but then there's also a beautiful range of coloured, solid colours and the designer parchment as well. And for me, what the Groovy system does, it takes one step of traditional parchment craft away and makes it easier. Yeah. And then because it, it does become easier, because all you need to be able to do is to hold a pen or the stylus in order to transfer the design from the groovy plate onto the parchment. I speak to so many people who, who say, you know, like, you know, who you bump into and they say, oh, you're on that craft channel. I've got this big collection of that. I love doing the parchment. It's brilliant because it really is it's like magic happening before your very eyes. Um, I think for those people who may be, you know, used to do a lot of dressmaking or working with fabrics, this is a really nice sort of crossover into card making. It's very relaxing. So therefore, uh, you know, you get a lot back from something that is so relaxing. And the images are so, so charming as well. So this is the complete collection um, as well. I, I think this is brilliant. Again, it's an amazing price tag for what you have there because you've got the um, the designer pay, uh, parchment. You've got the blue. So for the tea option, you've got yep. the blue parchment. Yep. For the coffee option, you've got the peach and nutmeg. If you go for the complete collection for both sets you're also going to get the welsh dresser in there um and you've got a fantastic 25 pound saving it's it's awesome you can always take it as red that your savings will be so so substantial uh, with clarity because they are crafters themselves they are a crafting team um so they know what you want and they know the value they that you want as well so they won't bring you it if it's going to be over the odds they they won't do it they absolutely won't do it. They're always, always going to guarantee maximum value. Now, we've got some other items that are on the show as well. Um, we have, oh, do you know, I, is there like a world shortage of things like this at the moment, Paul? Because I was, I, I'm going to be honest, I was in one of those value retailers because I was in a hurry the other day and I was looking for tape rollers, yep. not to be, nowhere to be seen. Every other kind of tape under the sun that I didn't want tape rollers no so i need to get my order on these 30 meters on each there is nothing worse than only have a, having one no nope. and getting to the end of it and then having and to wait however long for another one to uh, you know arrive if you can find one so get a set of four you might think well, i don't need four you do you absolutely do um you do you always do because you'll always get to the very end you're halfway down a line you're just about to stick a mat to a layer and you go halfway down and that's it gone and you're like oh but this card needs to go in the post today. Um, so get those ordered. I'll be putting my order at the end of the hour for this, definitely, because I need, that's a good reminder. Right, the rectangular backdrop stamps there um, for you. In essence, Paul, the backdrop stamps are what they say. They are. I mean, it was an idea that Barb came up with, and she said sometimes it's nice to create sort of um, a random background, but mm -hmm. controlled, but something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And so when we look at this sample that we did last night, what the difference with this particular... Because all it is is a big stamp. 
Yeah. Okay. Um, but what it has, it has this um, gutter within the stamp. So what it does, it gives you the illusion of matting and layering. Oh, okay. But it's not, it's just one stamp. Awesome. Okay, so again, you can build it up with the different inks, you could put paint on there as well. Yeah. And that was very simply just taking um, the artistry ink pads with a spot on sponge, applying it on there to blend those colors, and then stamping with it. So I could do things like spritzing. You and... can spritz on them, yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh, what a good idea. Uh, so we've got the ovals and the rectangles both on the shows. Uh, so grab those while you can. Uh, very, very quickly, um, back to our one-day special. Oh, crikey, yeah, I'm not surprised at all. Over two-thirds of the entire day stock of the complete collection, that's the, uh, the tea, the coffee and the cakes, obviously you go for whichever combination you want to but i just think once you've studied and you will do this everyone does this you go and study on the website the two different options there will be elements from both that you will want and then you look at the different beautiful papers and you want all of those it does eventually lead you to the main collection i'm only i'm not saying that for any loaded reason other than the one day special is exactly that um it will run until six o'clock tonight once the stock is gone it's gone that might not be six o'clock tonight. That might be, I don't know, 3.32 this afternoon. I don't know when that will be. You decide that, not me. Um, so if you want to get your order in, the savings are enormous. Flexi um, uh, Freedom member or not, the savings are immense. They really are. Uh, so uh, get those checked out if you have those in your basket right now. Right, that leaves us with about five minutes. Paul, what okay, simple, squeeze into super that? duper. So this is another piece that the lovely dear has created for me. And again, it's all about that masking technique. Okay, but very simple, very monochromatic, just the craft card, a brown ink pad, and just some brown pencils, just to illuminate with a little white pencil in there as well. Very clever. Okay. So, uh, Dee's already done all the stages, so we'll talk through the stages, okay. how we've done before. So we stamp out the little spoon first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we mask off the spoon, and we stamp the tea strainer behind it. So the mask, imagine, is still in place. Mm -hmm. So that then puts the tea strainer behind it, you mask off the tea strainer, and then you stamp the cup. Okay, so what that's doing, it's putting everything behind one another. Mm -hmm. Then Dee's taken one of the sentiments and just stamped it at a random angle. So this says, life is like a cup of tea, it all depends on how you make it. Ain't okay. that true? Okay, so here we go. So what Dee's done, this is it all masked out that we were just talking about. And then she's taken one of our, we've got um, blank masks. So you get 20 A5 blank masks. So if you've got stamps at home that you think, oh, I could really do with a mask for that, Ooh. then they're fantastic. So Dee's just taken a little rectangle to create like a little tag. Oh, cool. Okay. That's now, such a Now, tags we've got on the show, you could use those to die cut the mask material as well. Mm -hmm. And then you've got masks for those as well if you wanted to. See, you do, you, you do think of everything, and I think that's good. Okay, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to bring in, I've got these lovely little artist drink pads. So these, again, a nice little starter kit if you're new to stamping. You've got 12 different colours in here, and you've got lime kiss, you've got old parchment, you've got golden turmeric, and you've got haystack. And there's 12 different colourways in, and I love it. It's like a little chest of drawers. Mm -hmm. So cute. So I'm going to take the roasted chestnut so I can clearly see what's in there. It all ties in with the lid. Okay, and again, as long as you put... But what I love about these is that often, like, for example, I've got this ink pad here. I take that off. That could be black. It could be dark blue. And then I just pick up a lid if I've got several open, put it back on, go to use it again, and it's actually red when I go to stamp it because I've put the wrong lid on it. Yes. Okay. So with these... You've got the name on the lid, you've got the name there, and you've got the name there. See, that's good, isn't it? So it's a really sort of nice sort of technique. You can carry them around in your organiser as well, can't you? Yeah, you can carry a few of them around, you, can you? You go for all four of them in a nice little box to pop them in. Yeah. So we've got the, um, the spot on the sponges, okay. And what we're going to do, if Barbara does it, you turn it into like a mushroom effect. Now, I know this ink pad is really juicy mm -hmm. because it's my ink pad. So I'm going to 
pick up the ink and then I'm just going to dab. See how juicy that is? Wow. Yeah, now, yeah, if yeah. I'd gone on there to create the effect that we're after, wherever that card has gone from D, would be too that much. would have just been a splodge. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to start on the mask and then what I'm going to do is just slowly just push away from that mask. Okay. And what it's doing, it's going to create sort of like a faux effect. It's got that lovely sort of coffee shade as well. Isn't yeah. It? See, and then I can go in. I need time always runs it? away. Completely and utterly. But we'll do this, we'll just show this one just to show yeah. the effect. But you can see there's still plenty of, of ink on there. And you may think, oh, maybe I haven't put enough on. And then if a quick reveal, so let me get my tweezers out. See, and what it does, so and then you take a micron pen and you just do a squiggly little line. Just draws your eye in, doesn't it? There we go. What you got planned for four then, Paul? Four o'clock, we're doing some more masking. We're going to do the tablecloth. Really Brilliant. nice demo of the tablecloth. Looking forward to that. Uh, I hope you are as well. Please come back and join us. We've, we've, we, haven't we got some brilliant, brilliant hits, hints and tips on stamping as well um, in, the, in that hour? More of that to come. Uh, thank you, Paul. Thank you, Derek. See you at four. Uh, me again, sorry about okay. that. But it's going to be good, good <laughs> fun. Uh, make sure you check out your baskets. We will see you back here at four. Which means, in the meantime, next up, it's Natasha Makes Block of the Month. Amazing. Stick around for that. I can see some lovely, lovely fabrics on the way after the break. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar, and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace. And so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia. And along the way, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers. And that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. That's why always go with the, uh, the natural yoghurt. It's a much better one. Oh, you caught us having a little chat there uh, with everything. Uh, so, um, uh, well, forgive us for that one. But always talking about health, health and fitness. Uh, with lovely Natasha. Natasha, mate, she looked, she's, she's gone. She said, I've had two shows with this guy. I need to sit down. 
Um, and I'm allowed to sit down. There she is. Lovely. Get your name tag. Natasha McCart. Look at that. It's all there. Oh, look. Oh, gosh. I've even spelt it right. Well done. Uh, it's nice. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, oh, yeah. Do I have one as well? Impressive. Well, my no. name's Natasha. Oh, <laughs> standard. Oh, there we yeah, are. I didn't yeah. even... Didn't even know that happened. Didn't know that happened as well. Um, it's our third and final show with lovely Natasha today. I had a lovely day with you. Oh, it's been fun. It's been, been a lot, been of, lot fun. of fun. Oh, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. A lot of uh, we had cute and cuddly. <laughs> uh, we've had uh, straight and rigid with our um, wow. rulers yeah. earlier on this morning. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And everything else in between, really. And now we're going to be having uh, the uh, block. I feel like this needs to be a block of the month. Uh, it's, uh, that sounds like that game show that was uh, from Norwich. It's Norwich. It's live. It's Sale of the Century. Again, I'm going back to people that knew <laughs> those days. Natasha's saying, I don't know what you're talking about. Block of the month. Uh, this is what we've got for you. I've got for you block one. Behind Natasha is all of the blocks that we're working through. Uh, and, but we've already had, this is block one that's there, which is that middle one that you're looking at there with a the view, with the clematis. I love a clematis. I've got clematis in my garden. Have you? I do love a clematis. It does take over somewhat. It I can't does, and it's see pretty out hardy, our porch. isn't it? Yeah, I can't see out our por porch window because of ours. It's just gone. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. It's, a, it's a beautiful flower. And this really does look stunning that you've got here. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, Natasha, can you just explain a little bit for those that are joining in? <laughs> What's going on? Just, well, what did the block of the month? Because I know we've also got the next month uh, as well. We've got uh, the previous ones. and It's all coming up. Yes. Just uh, a little bit about the project. OK, so this is a Lisa Chandler quilt. Lisa Chandler is the most exquisite designer. She lives down in Australia, and um, I'm the UK distributor for Lisa Chandler Fabrics, and she very kindly said that uh, this is a project. She's, I think this is, this is her quilt. So this is the quilt that we're making as the block of the month, um, because to look at it, it's so detailed. It's beautiful. It's really exquisite, and each month, gives you a different flower um, a, and just different leaves and then you've got autumn winter spring and summer um, in in the in the wording there uh, so it is absolutely beautiful this is the fourth edition of it and the lovely thing is is that it evolves different fabrics get used different shades get used depending on where in the world you are what fabrics you can get hold of um, so it is it's a really really stunning creation but to look at it it could be a little bit over facing to think where do I start so so it becomes a beautiful project whereby each month you take one block and we focus on just that one block and we build technique on technique mm. each month so that you can come at it and then you can create all of these beautiful different applique flowers, leaves, everything else. So you've got 3D applique in there, you've got needle turn applique in there, you've got all sorts of different styles of applique, which if you've never done before, and I hadn't done a lot of these before. So Lisa teaches me and then I teach you. So I am not an expert here, I am doing this with you. So the stitches that you'll see on my samples, my samples, my stitching's getting better and better and better oh, that, oh, okay. the more I do of it. Because I didn't want to come here saying, I I'm an expert at applique, which I'm clearly not, um, and and have people feel like this wasn't a doable project. No, this is no. so. Um, it, you're learning a new skill if, if you've never tried applique before. It might be that you join us for one block. Maybe there's a favorite block that you see in there and you want it for a front of a bag or you want it for a uh, cushion yeah, nice or whatever. So you can dip in and out as much as you want. But yeah. if you want to do the full quilt, join us for every month. We will do all nine blocks and then we will show you how to sash it and put it all together and bring the whole thing together. Um, and so it's just, it's a really beautiful project and there are loads of us doing it. Um, and the other thing that people worry about is they're not going to be able to find the demo again. But be rest assured, I do this on my Natasha Makes channel um, every month as well. So every month um, the new video goes up and you can find that on my Natasha Makes um, Facebook page, website or YouTube channel. If you just look for Natasha Makes um, or on my website, it's the, the videos are always on there. So even if you do not do them out of order and this show isn't on Rewind anymore, you can always find them. They are always that's there good. for you. Yeah, that's brilliant. Uh, I have to say, I think as a project, it does look amazing. This is block one. Yes, uh, that's, that yeah, that's the clematis or clematis. Is, whatever, whichever, clematis, I don't know. clematis, uh, tomato, tomato. Um, 25 Five ninety nine. 
Uh, but there's so much in there, and within the kit, you are getting all the fabric you need, which is beautiful, by the way, which you have a good look at. You get your pattern, obviously, and you get your threads included, and uh, the needle, I think, is also included. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, the needle's in there. The needle's in there, two skeins of thread, um, six fat quarters in there as well. Like, I'd give you way too much fabric. There's, there's... <laughs> Yeah, because... I know what you mean, yeah. Yeah, but there I is, there is way, way too much too in there. Way <laughs> too much. You don't need as much in there. But the beautiful thing about it is... Um, and also, just be aware that these are batiks in here. Yeah, so right. every inch of a batik is different. So yours might be a slightly different shade. It right. doesn't matter. It makes every single one individual. Lovely. But all you're looking for is tonally. Do you have three different tonal shades yeah. of, of that purple and blue? Yes, you do. Absolutely perfect. Do you have two different shades of green? Yes, you do. It's absolutely perfect. I went to such pains to try and get the exact colours that were on the instructions. Okay. And then the sample arrived from Australia and it was all a bit different. I'm like, <laughs> What's going on? Because she ha uh, Lisa hadn't had the same fabrics in at the time. So don't sweat it. Oh, you know, nice. yeah. This is the beauty of it. Every single one is going to have its own charm. And it's own, because every every inch of a batik fabric in the, the way that it's, it's produced um, means that it's different. And that for me is wonderful because every quilt is going to be yeah. your own and individual. It, it, re it really is beautiful. Uh, it, it's, it's a star and the overall project, I think, is class. It looks oh, absolute just class. You know. Beautiful. And, and I think it's lovely. We're now just focusing on block two. So this is the this, cherry blossom. This is beautiful. This again is beautiful. And yeah. So different techniques to what we've looked at in block one. Absolutely. We're be up absolutely. Now. So um, here we carry over some techniques that we've learned. Absolutely. Um, but then also we start to use Suffolk puffs to create those beautiful florals. Um, and we also start to introduce some French knots in there as well. And so lovely. Yeah. There and and just and some different stem stitch in there um, which you, you can see it's been whip stitched around it mm. just to give an extra technique in That's there so nice, and an that. extra difference so for those of you that aren't used to hand stitching maybe this is the time to try and, and for me like, I would never have had the time to sit down and create that quilt in one go but because we're spreading it out over yeah. basically a year uh, it's wonderful it's yeah. wonderful because you can manage a bit in a month it, it really does look fantastic. The, 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 it's been hanging up there all morning. If you've seen the earlier shows, you would have seen it uh, behind us there. Uh, and it does look fantastic. If you'd like to go for this one, the Cherry Blossom, which is beautiful, 933. 807. It's 29.49 here. And again, everything you need is included in that kit for you to be working with. And as you can see, a taster. And there's something about the colour that goes onto the black, and certainly with the with the uh, the fabric around the outside. But the colour that you're going to be getting, you can see how it looks actually just set out here on the counter. But the, for example, the sort of the vividness of the pinks that you'll see in there next to that black. You know that it says that in card making, in fabrics as well. But anything next to black just pops even yeah. more, isn't it? And I yeah. think that's one of the secrets behind not only the beautiful materials and the patterns themselves but the whole style of what you will complete by the end of this is a really luxurious piece it's gorgeous this 29.49.933.807 it's already very busy for this i think uh, for our cherry blossom um for those if you haven't got the first block grab that one now pop them both in your basket do play catch up as well with these but they are absolutely stunning i love it and the other thing is they come in a pizza box. They come in a pizza they box. They come in a pizza box. So um, because there will be petals and things that unless you're hand quilting, you won't put on yet. You'll put that on right at the end. So you're going to want to save them and, and keep them safe. So each month comes Didn't in a little pizza box. Uh, like yeah, so that you can keep all your little bits and bobs safe. Um, but also because I give you way too much fabric, you can also, if you decide that you like... Um, a different shade of green, swap it in. You know, this is your quilt. So if you decide that actually uh, maybe I'd like a green that we'd use another month for this leap, doesn't matter, pop it in. And that so that's good. why I give you extra so that you have got the freedom to do the quilt how you want to that's do it. That's brilliant, that is brilliant. The, the most least calorific pizza box in the world. We're loving that. Now, love this. This is beautiful <laughs> here uh, that we've got here. One and a half metres uh, that we're looking at in full length here. And if you love your fans, who doesn't love a bit of fanage? Well, uh, we established this at 10 o'clock. Yes, we did. <laughs> oh, and if you missed, you missed the treats. But 
Absolutely. <laughs> and if you said, we, we said in a certain accent, the Farage as well. Well, but I it's, mean, it again, sounds even better. It works. It just works. <laughs> um, I think I've created something new for Scrabble and for the new dictionary. Well, the um, will still be working after it. It's yeah. another matter. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. That's very true. This is, this is real... I don't know if you can catch the, uh, the the light with this as well, but this absolutely is luxury. This. Right. I love it. It's this beautiful. This is a Lisa Chandler fabric. And for those of you that have seen her fabrics when I've brought them to wear, they are exquisite. When I first met this lady, and she's she's become a great friend now, when I first met her, she said, Natasha, my fabrics are, uh, you know, are, are better than Liberty quality wise and I went that is some statement That's lady statement. that is a big statement and then they arrived and I have to say they are divine the quality of the substrate so the base cloth is is exquisite but the way that Lisa has these printed the metallic bearing in mind that the metallic is top 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 notch that the so in terms of fabric, that metallic, that specific metallic, um, adds a dollar a meter onto the Does price it really? of the fabric. Yeah, 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 yeah. In manufacture. Wow. Right. That is the quality of that metallic that's on there. I mean, it just is exquisite. Well, you can see as I'm rolling that down there. It, yeah. It, honestly, it doesn't need any real help in catching the light. Yeah. So uh, I mean, anything you were to make with this is going to just stand out as Absolutely. opulence, really. Absolutely. Um, and and the quality of the cloth is just incredible but you wouldn't be able to get that detail in if you had if you didn't have a really closely woven fabulous base cloth there which is which is what you've got yeah um, and when she does other fabrics the metallic is the last to be printed on um, because it's screen printed on so right, it's not right. dulled by any of the other colors going on so it really sparkles it's that is phenomenal so this fan fabric here is we're going to give you some options as to what you want the sashing on your quilt to be. Oh, I see. Okay, so okay. here this this was a this quilt was made quite some time ago. I don't even know whose fabric that is, but this would be replacing that fabric. Oh, so wow. we'll bring you some different options. But if you fancy, I mean, you might just want a meter and a half of this fabric. I'm not going to lie, that would also be <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. totally acceptable. Yeah. Um, but again, we'll bring you a few different options. We'll bring you some florals, uh, some small florals as well. Um, that's just being reprinted at the moment. But so this the fan is another option that we've offered and um, it will just bring a luster that and is, a quality. Because I, I, I love I love the actual finish that we've got anyway yeah. up there. That, that with it and I think with the tights and the whole idea of that sort of beautiful eastern feel again with the Well especially it's called the... Oriental Baltimore. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, so to, exactly. to bring exactly. that into it, even better, even better. And this is part of, of um, Lisa's Summer Palace range. Oh. So it's just beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Very, very opulent and I can tell you here in the studio if you, uh, and, and, and I will say that I think the camera d did show you on there but it's never going to do it justice when you sort of see it up close. This is beautiful fabric. No offence to my director, by the way. Um, but it just, you just need to see it in the flesh, really. So at that price, actually, twenty-three ninety-nine for such high end, uh, for one and a half metres in length on that, is phenomenal. Three seven five four nine one. Um, maybe you've just been inspired by just looking at that and thinking, I've got a project that would be absolutely perfect for. Um, but yeah, go go for that. Grab it while we've got that. I don't know how much stock there is, but go for it and grab it while she can because I think it is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, now we've got oh some lovely um, with the backing fabrics that you can see here. Um, absolutely, we've got pink dark green or we've got the lighter green uh, to work with um the, these are these are lovely are we going to try and hold out well i think we should have like an andrex moment you know when the puppy goes and pulls it that pulls it and pulls it yeah yeah so it's these... annoying when that happens around the house <laughs> <laughs> These are um, 108s. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is they're 108 inch, so that's about 270 centimetres wide. Ooh. This is your width. You can buy it by the half metre. Now, it might be that you want to, you've got a large quilt that you want backing. This doesn't have to go on this quilt. Um, it's just that actually backing fabrics are quite hard to get hold of, especially the super wide. Right, right. Um, so this is a batik. This is one of the greens that you will have in your Oriental Baltimore at some point, so it would be pulling one of those colors through and putting it on the back um, this the dark green and the pink are all colors they're all batiks that we will be using on the front 
so they're not going to look out of place on the back but it might Bad be that voice. you've got other projects you might just want it as a quilt backing and it's being sold by the half meter right. okay, so that's what a half meter looks like it's 270 centimeters or 108 inches wide and um, so it, it's there it's there for you and then you tell me how many increments you would like and I will cut it in that continuous oh, thing for you because that's it's great. me cutting it Ah, yeah. So, you yeah. know, you just say, you know, two two units, three three units, whatever, and I'll cut it in a continuous unit. That's so that brilliant. if you're doing a big project, yeah. it's quite difficult to get hold of <laughs> right. 108 um, because there aren't, for the simple reason, there aren't that many mills that have, um, because obviously it's a woven fabric, yeah, yeah, right? So yeah, yeah. there aren't that many that have the machines that have this that. width yeah, right, right. Uh, that they can do it on. So, again, you know, you can, you can get quilting fabrics that. the 44 inch but to get the 108 yeah there yeah, just aren't really as lovely. many around yeah really lovely uh right go go for this one i'll try and do a bit of a fold up on this one. Oh, you bless you <laughs> uh, i feel like uh, you're my bridesmaid there almost oh I think. Just you know carry, i try carry, i try <laughs> um 14.99 a huge amount of fabric the 108 the extra wide uh, you've got there with a half meter fabric length really lovely you got the options that was the light green uh, that we were looking at there but you do have the dark green uh, that's there oh, I'll try I'll try and measure the same sort of width oh, no, I'm, I'm not going to uh, and the dark green and of course you've got the beautiful pink as well to work with that one they're all on the same item code uh, which is 801805 for 1499 but really beautiful Beautiful fabrics to work with, and again, don't forget, we'll have that cut to the length that you need if you want to go with two or three of that one on that option. 801-805. Uh, right, so there was more on the website, of course, uh, if you want to check them out on thecraftstore.com. Uh, we'll have a little look at some of the others that's on the counter, but for now, I think we should come straight over to your good self to, uh, to start us off, really. Oh, fabulous. Love right, it. okay. I can't remember the last time I actually sat down to sew. It's a bit of a treat. <laughs> um, so, to when you start, the very first thing that you uh, that you need to know is do not cut down your fat quarter. I did it with the very first block because I, I had the, the full instructions with the template and everything. And this is partly why we've broken the instructions down. Firstly, because there's over 70 pages of instructions. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big one. Um, and, you know, it, it's quite easy to be overfaced. As I was, I didn't read through all of the instructions. So what we've done is month by month, we've broken it down so that each set of instructions are complete in their own right, but also builds month on month in terms of what you're being asked to do. Uh, so first things first, your fat quarter of black fabric, fold into quarters and press so that you've got, uh, you've got this cross going through there. Um, with your template, the next thing that you're going to want to do is sellotape it. Cut it and sellotape it together. And then I've then folded it. So that's my halfway mark. And then I've folded it that way as well so that I can then mark off my quarters. Because what you will want to do is to transfer these details onto this fabric right. okay so how we would do that is to marry up on our fold those yeah. that on the folds uh, yeah yeah okay and that's the easiest way to do it if you have um, something, and uh, do you know what? Next month, I'm going to bring in Natasha's not essential but really nice to have kits where um, they've got in them the the chocopi paper. It's a carbon paper, dressmaker's carbon paper, but it means that you can put it underneath and you can just mark off where your leaf starts and finishes. Uh, you can mark off your stems, and it's just like a tracing. You just, uh, right. you know, when waitresses yeah. take your order and they've got a carbon, a oh, carbon yes. copy, it, that's yeah. all it's doing. So when you have a look here, you can see that I've got marked on here where my, where I need to stitch perfect, perfect. It, and it's in there. So that, that's going to be the first thing. And you won't, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go around all of these or with the leaves. I would just mark off the base 
and the top right. so that okay. I know, you know, that needs to go there, that needs to go there, and then I've marked off where I need to stitch. Right. Um, but under there, yeah, you can see where that, that's, that's gone. So you've got for this, you've got all of these leaves to create. Um, and then you've got stems here, which we're going to do a whipped stem stitch yeah. uh, for those. Then you've got in the veins, you've got just a normal stem stitch going through there. And then I'll show you how to make these leaves and applique them down. Right. So that's what we're going to do. So... So, so. Oh, and we're going to make the flowers as well. So I really need to crack <laughs> on, don't I? Because there's a lot. Well, I wasn't going to gonna say anything. You know, like, yeah, shut up and get on with so it. Rude. Yeah, no, it's fine. Um, freezer paper is fab. It works really, really well. Um, and all you need to do, freezer paper, if you haven't ever, it's really, really popular in the States. And we don't always get it in this country. I mean, it's really pop In the States, they sort of wrap their meat and whack it in the freezer in it. Um, but it's also got all of your instructions for using it for applique and craft, as well as your sandwiches. Uh, so <laughs> it's one of those, yeah, multiple, multiple use um, items, which is fabulous. And if you haven't used it before, um, it has like a, a, a shiny side, which has got a slight plastic uh, coating mm. on it. And that is, you can melt that onto your fabric as a, um, a, it's not a permanent adhesion, it just sort of tacks onto it. And then you've got like a baking parchmenty feel on the other side. Right. Okay, so uh, it's great for just putting on the table if your kids are crafting because it protects the surface that oh. they're working on. Like, it's got loads of uses. It's really, <laughs> really great. Um, and the thing that I discovered very quickly is that if I was using this for a plique for my leaves, um, one layer wasn't enough. And then I saw... Um, uh, a lady doing some applique and she doubled it up. I was like, this is genius. Uh, yes, I'm liking this. Is this is absolutely genius. So it's now what I do. I trace off, making sure that I trace it onto the correct side so that I don't need to flip it with a right, light box. Okay, yeah, you yeah. know, so that's, that's that absolutely sense. fine. Um, and then all I do is, well, you would, you would cut yours, um, is then with a pressing sheet just press and double up and oh. so yeah so the plastic will adhere onto onto itself oh, that's, I'm it, like genius right yeah. it, it doubles up which is absolutely perfect if okay I don't know if this just needs to heat up it's one of those irons that goes yeah 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 give me a minute um, so yeah, so when it does that, I've, I've done it onto my Teflon pressing sheet so that it will just peel off and the stick will oh, remain. They, they, someone just zoomed in on the, the control, it's off, the, the iron's off. Oh, is it? No. That happened to me the other day. Oh! Yeah. Who turned it off? Yeah, Hayley, Hayley Smith was me, I went to do some pressing on the, on the craft along and I thought, this isn't working. It's I'm not sure working. iron's made to heat well, up. Well, I know there's one that works and one that doesn't. And I, I, but this one is well, the, the one working I used on one. my shirt is obviously one that doesn't the work. The one that doesn't. Yeah, no, I would. Or maybe that was the one that was off as well. So, yeah, we'll give it a minute. A health and I love this. Health and safety. Is there, is there any songs? It's all, yeah, just, uh... But anyway, when, when it does... Check the fannies out. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah. Is that going? Yeah, it's, it's there starting to. There we go, there we go, there we go. Um, so, yeah, once it's cooled, see, so I'm never satisfied. I want it hot, want it cool, want it all sorts. Um, and, there, and there it is. So then you can cut out your leaf shape and you will be left with something like Brilliant. this. Okay. Um, which then is sturdy enough that the paper doesn't fold under right. when you use it as a template. The other thing that you can do with it, if you're not very good at cutting out, and your cutting out is a bit rough, because you can't expect to get a smooth leaf no. with a rough template. No. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, you know, yeah. if this is jaggedy yeah. and it isn't smooth, you're not going to be able to use that as a smooth template. No. But if you've got a little nail file, you oh. can just... Get it super smooth and sand down, giving away all the hints and tips wow. today, aren't I? And you can actually sand it down. Right. Oh, okay. that's brilliant, actually. So then, we're going to find our, ourselves some fabric. 
And I've used this template once already, but it's fine to use again. Mm -hmm. Let's pop it on here. These fabrics are lovely with them, They're aren't they? They're beautiful, they aren't really they? They really are gorgeous. Um, and they just, they bring nature into the home. Mm. It's just gorgeous. So you can see that is, is stuck on there. That's and brilliant. then all I'm going to do is trim around, giving myself a seam allowance. Are those scissors still okay? Because you have to use them when you're on. I know, I on, know. On that there was fabric. utter horror. There was at the hole. I know, I know. And your lovely guest from earlier, she's like, do you want to borrow a pair? I know. She, did. she was she lovely, did. bless her. She understood the yeah. horror of using the wrong yeah, scissors. Yeah. She was using her fabric uh, on, on paper because um, Natasha left her other scissors behind. Um, I always but forget the, something. You could hit, it's all over social media, you know, shock horror. Uh, the scandal that's on there. Such a letdown, right? Uh, well. Such a letdown. <laughs> I let myself down more. It's all right. Know. It's okay. Look, it's it's all right. We we understand it was a, a, a little moment. Uh, can I just very quickly give the details while you do a quick quick snip? Yeah, yeah. I'm just snipping around so it's going to be nice and easy to um, to fold in. We will we will look at the folding in one second just to give you an update where we are. Uh, this is what we're looking at: the cherry blossom block of the month quilt kit that you're looking at so you will be getting the fabrics that you're seeing Natasha work with obviously the patterns and the threads are in there the needles are in there also and this is what we are working towards which is beautiful absolutely gorgeous and so great hints and tips already on how you're going to be able to maximize that for ease to be able to produce this for you and as you can see those fabrics are stunning nine double three eight zero seven uh, but a reminder, again, that uh, all this is going to the larger projects, of course, which is you've been looking at in the background to where Natasha is and, and sitting, and it is absolutely stunning. We've also got block, block one that is still available for you if you're doing a catch-up, but you can dip in, dip out on this one, and there's always a way to catch up with every month you'll be able to add to your news. Or you might just want to use one of these panels, as Natasha was talking about, if you're creating your own bag uh, or something else that you just think, do you know what, I just love that image so much. Uh, yeah, I want to go with that and use it for another of your own projects. Nine double three, eight zero seven, twenty nine pounds and forty nine pence is what you are looking at there, which is good. the clematis is block one. Uh, that's also there, and the details for that are at the bottom of your screen. Eight zero zero, eight five one is your clematis, uh, which was the first of those blocks to be to be worked upon. Right, um, how we how we doing? Right, okay, All so good. normally I would say get yourself um, a really small, delicate paintbrush. Uh, if you don't have one, then just trim one down. Obviously, I've also left that with my paper scissors, right? Oh, I because, see. you know, that's I really see. useful. But then I suddenly thought, I've got one of these. Now, this is a water pen marker, which we use when, uh, when a fabric is too delicate to actually mark with a pen, then you use water because you know you're not going to stain it in any way, shape or form. So all I've done is I've filled this well here with my flatter. Now you can use any kind of starch spray or anything like that. I like to use flatter because um, it's, it's been really hard to get hold of. It's just landed at, um, at Natasha Makes. I know you guys are going to get it here soon, um, but it's all natural um, so it, rather than starch. But what we're going to do with it is this, because you don't want to spray all around this and get it really, really wet because paper when it's super wet, you know, it, it doesn't, you're not going to be able to fold over. So I'm just going to dampen a little bit like that. Now, Ooh. you will do that with your brush, all right? You can start to fold it over with your finger because as soon as you put wet onto that fabric, what it starts to do is make it more malleable. Okay, okay. All right, so then we can just start to smooth. This is actually pure genius, I think, having having this pay, uh, this this rather than a paintbrush I'm, I'm really pleased that I this forgot your actually new, your new norm, it is going to be my <laughs> new norm um, and I'm just I'm smoothing it over with my finger first and going in with that iron uh, because I've got the flatter on there it could be starch spray whatever it is that you want to use uh, it just means that that is going to hold 
right. absolutely going to hold when I apply that heat. Right, um, right. So, you know, when you start your shirts uh, and you either use it to get it nice and crisp and take creases out, yeah, you yeah. can also use it to put creases in. Ah. And that's effectively what we're doing is making sure that we are putting in putting in those creases and again just using my finger to just fold that and smooth that over then going in with the heat. If you don't want to go in with your finger then can I really recommend that you get one of those orange sticks that you use for pushing back your cuticles and then you can just hold that. Oh okay yeah yeah it just keeps the finger away from the heat. Yeah absolutely and also you can use that to um, to press your uh, your copy paper, your carbon oh, right. paper as well. Yeah. So they're really, really handy with applique. But what you can see on my leaf now is that I'm getting a nice, yeah, smooth... Nice. Now, you see, I've got a little bit there that I'm not all that happy with. So I just will open that out, dampen it down, and I can go in again until I get that as smooth as I want that to be. So there's no sort of hard... There's no, no, like no, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. And I mean, I can tell on my first block how many of these I did before I found this technique because oh. the difference <laughs> is marked. Yeah, right. You know, right. And, and this is it. So my quilt for me will mark my journey on um, different, different ways that I discovered to do things, yeah, you know, different yeah. techniques. And just when you come to that, that uh, concave just sweep the iron over it and it gives it that lovely curve and if you you know if that is too big a seam allowance you can you can trim it back and then you can go in down the other side with a paintbrush or if you've got one of those water pens genius uh, then use that <laughs> <laughs> they, they, uh, I'm really pleased with myself. Yeah, well, you know, it's lovely when little things, like little happy accidents you come across. You go, yeah, that yeah. would really work. Yeah, it's, yeah. Why not? It's, uh, I just, I had a quick panic when you were when you were going down the canopy. Oh no, what have I done with it? <laughs> and I can see it on my work desk at home, um, and uh, I just, I know that it's there in my pile of things I it's really need now. to grab. We don't grab. need that brush. We don't. I no. know. I know. I know. I'll give it to the kids. They'll probably put glue on it before I know it. <laughs> 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 Fine. <laughs> That'll teach you brush. That'll teach you brush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so around you go. Um, and then when you've gone all the way around, I'll speed this up a little da bit down here. Um, what you've got is a leaf that is going to keep its shape, which is really important whilst you stitch it down. And that's that's what we want to use. So there are lots and lots of ways in which you can you can do all of these things. Yeah. But this is this is my preferred method. Yeah, no, it makes sense. And that. just in taking that little bit of extra time just to apply. And for me, especially because I do this on, on my Natasha Makes channel, but then I also bring it over here as well. So it's got yeah. you know, these creases they've got to stay. Yeah, of course. They've got to stay in here because otherwise, you know, I end up double doing these things. So we don't want to do that. So then when you've got everything where you need it to be and it's all beautifully pressed in place, then you can take out. So just check you've got all the curves there that you want. I'm not worried about that because I can trim that down. Yeah. Um, but then you can take out. And there it is. And look how crisp. That, that's yeah, because, is. yeah, that's because we've used uh, the starch or the flash or whatever it is that you want to use that is on brilliant. there. Very nice. And there, there it is actually in position. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. part of that, as you can see, with the beautiful um, uh, the block of the month quilt that you are be well, you will be working on and creating all of that together. New techniques every month, really, in each one of those new panels that you'll be working on. Uh, again, step-by-step -step instructions broken down, though, monthly with each one of these as you go for it. Um, really, really beautiful. Nine double three. 807. You're going to get all the lovely fabrics, you're going to be getting the pattern, obviously, you'll be getting all of your threads, your needle all included, and with that black as well, you know, those pop, those colours are really going to pop. Uh, £29.49. pence. Um, if you would like any of the patterns, by the way, on their own, they are available. You can go for the pick and mix on those. Pick any two uh, that you want to go for the Oriental Beautiful Baltimore Quilt Block Pattern.
pattern. Uh, you can see there, eleven ninety nine. Really good deal, actually. Uh, brand new on the show for you today. Uh, just eleven ninety nine. That's one four nine. 806, which is absolutely gorgeous. They are beautiful individual projects, but collectively they've got that wow factor. They do look amazing. Speaking of a wow factor, um, we're talking about um, Lisa Chandler and um, the quality that she has. And we were talking about this um, off air, we talked about it on air. And I know that uh, this is a real kind of limited what we've got here with regards to the, uh, the tall, tidy kit. And yeah. when I looked at this, the, the again the fabric on the in fact the overall this is probably if not I think the most fan beautiful tall tidy that I think I've seen because there is something about this there's an again I talked about this earlier on with the fabric that we had on with that lovely sort of gold um, uh, weave that's into it as well with that and and this the quality of this fabric is at, it's an effort of opulence it's an opulence. Yeah. Uh, Lisa puts metallic on her fabrics, it makes them pop, it gives them this gorgeous luster. The enamel pin badge that there, you can take off. Um, that was, uh, she had that specially made to commemorate one of her exhibitions um, in Australia. Sadly, due to COVID, it got cut short. So these special, um, special editions, uh, she had some left over. That's it, upside down, that keep spinning, beautiful. keep spinning, keep spinning. There you go. That's your Waratah. So that is, waratah, yeah, that's, that's so it's, it's, it's the Australian plant. That's solid, by the way. Yeah, well. yeah, that it's is enamel. Really yeah, solid. It's proper is, solid, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brooch. And um, so it's a limited edition, and I have all that she has left. Right, this is it. That's it, that's it. It's not being made again. So the only other way that you could possibly have got this enamel badge, um, this pin badge, would to have been to have gone to her exhibition in Australia. Uh, well, that's incredible. Do you know what? I'm really surprised at that price uh, because the material, if you were to use that material for any other project that you wanted to have that opulence with, where yeah. it's something to last, something yeah. to really keep, that's going to be durable and beautiful, that honestly, you, uh, you might even want to use that, even if it's just for not even for your tools. Uh, I don't know, whatever you might want to keep your phone or something like that. If well, you make up or... brushes or your pens uh, or, well, yeah. or anything I, in I there. I don't mean to diss a brush. I mean, we've already talked about brushes. They let themselves down in this show. Well, already, I know it has, here. right. Uh, I don't want yeah. to diss a brush, but I, is, is it rude to say it's... It's too posh for, for a brush. No, you can always wash it. You know, well, what, you make, a makeup, makeup? What about makeup brushes and things yeah, like that? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, makeup brushes. But then, you know, I didn't know if you would be worried about the makeup coming off. But you can just wash the fabric. It's no problem. Can you no wash it? You can wash this. Yeah, of course you can wash you the can. fabric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just checking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got um, two kids and dogs and horses and goodness knows what. Everything has to be washable if it comes near me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Let me just, it's part of life. You it, can't yeah. wash it. It's it needs true. hand washing. Don't put it near me. <laughs> exactly. Let me just, by the way, we're approaching a third of the stock. We've only shown this in the last 60 seconds or so. Um, I hope you can see again, we talked about that metallic thread that, that's in there. Is this the similar kind of way that this attached that we looked with the fan earlier on? The it's exactly the same. So um, the mill that is used to make these fabrics uh, is, is one of only a handful in Japan that oh, wow. um, also... In between, so you, it's screen, all of these fabrics are screen printed, okay, and you can have up to 16 different colors when you screen print. Um, the, f the 16th screen for Lisa is, like I say, is always the metallic. That's the last right, thing to okay, go on. Okay. Um, but she also airbrushes in between, which is how you get oh, that see. depth. Uh, which you just don't see in other fabrics. It's absolutely exquisite. And because uh, most mills don't offer it. That, it, it, it is absolutely gorgeous, this. She's, I'll be she's honest, phenomenal. She's absolutely phenomenal. I tell you what, if, if you were to see this, you know, in a department store, gift wrapped uh, and all ready to go, I think you'd be looking at a lot more than 14 99 for this because well, yeah. we're at 40% on this now, by the way. Uh, there, there, is, there is something about, you know, to, to, when you look at that, you'd go, OK, a, 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 tall, a, a tall tidy, I might not be thinking, oh, I'm, I must get that. But when you see something like that, if you're buying this as a gift, to, to make as a gift for somebody... Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think people understand just how good a deal that you got this for, actually. Uh, 983 958 uh, 1499. We've been going a, a minute and a half on this, and we're half the stock is just gone. Yeah, I can't um, get any more. That's it. You know, when well, it is, is gone, it is gone. Okay. Um, we will leave that one with you uh, and to go for it. But when it's gone, it's gone. And. Uh, 
And, and only again through um, well your contact base. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. You've got this. Yeah, and um, and the other thing to just to just note is that obviously it is limited edition, but you also you know you get your instructions in there as well, so you'll be able to make it again in in other fabrics. Right. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's instructions and fabric. I mean, it is. Yeah. Fabulous. It is. And pin it badge. It's all there. It's all there. Um, right. Let's us. Um, where are we? Are we going to carry on down? Are we going to look. Um, I do because we've got some gorgeous other things. Right, three colour <laughs> options we've got for you. <laughs> to know that, I mean, they're all absolutely beautiful, and um, I think she might be my new favourite. She designer. should be. She should be because she's she's just she's such a phenomenal woman. Honestly, she's just incredible. Yeah. She learnt how to become a botanical artist so that she could oh, draw really? botanically correct flowers for her what? designs. <laughs> Who does that? That's Lisa to detail. does that. That's you know, amazing. she is she is tenacious and whatever she sets her mind to, she does. I, so I these she cherry take... blossoms are gorgeous. She doesn't take less than perfect. She won't. Lots of no, things. because um, you know she this she's using them for herself. And, you know? and, and the detail. I Again, uh, I've got some of the little uh, accessories that go with this, and um, I, you can see. Hopefully, can you see the thickness? Again, the price again is absolutely fantastic. But you can see the thickness. These are, you know, sometimes where you might find accessories that go with certain items that become a little bit flimsy or a little bit or nah, not, not you just here. go, that's not going to last. That's not going to last. You can see. I hope you can see on that that the, the strength of that particular piece of the accessory that's going to be going with this one and all of this that comes together is all of quality again i, I love but you do get three different color options you've got the red the purple and the green um the red it's a really unusual right, class 40 percent on the red already gone i was going to say i think the red is my favorite i think you're already with me on that one uh, to look at which which is absolutely gorgeous but the purple again rich and regal uh, that you can see with the purple is that I mean that is beautiful again you see the close-up on there again I, I say the red's a favorite the purple's uh, just oh, see, the I really even. like the green and I don't normally like green okay just confuse me even more sorry, Natasha. Let's, sorry. let's have a quick look at the green I want to just I, we've got to be fair to everybody on all the colors um, the green has actually got a lovely sort of fresh feel about that, actually, isn't it? With, but with look those. at that, that clasp. That clasp oh, is know. so unusual with that, again, more fanage. It is you. a lovely fanage. It, it is. I mean, this is the perfect show for you, right? It is. But it, <laughs> so is. But if you spin it around, it's actually a magnetic clasp. So it's magnetic? Yeah, so you've got the other half of the clasp there. It's that, it's that one, it's yeah, that, yeah. There, but yeah. Ooh, ooh, that was a strong pin. I know. It took my fingers off that, did. I know. It's like me feeding the cat. <laughs> um, yeah, you want to see it. Oh, that's really strong. Ooh, nearly broke a nail. Butch. Um, $14.99. <laughs> five, right, choose which colour, green, purple or the red. Five, two, three, nine, three, zero. What's gone limited? Red. Red's has gone limited uh, on... That one, if you want to get that, grab it. Again, I take it, this is when they're gone, they're gone. Uh, when they're gone, I have to make a phone call to Australia in the middle of the night and say, please, could you send me some more? Ah. Um, right. Well, the red has now just sold out. <laughs> OK. Lisa! <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Need some more, please. Uh, no, so, yeah, the there, there would be a delay on anything. Oh, so, OK. As I, it know. stands right now, I don't know if we've got any more of those coming through for you, but um, that is a technical sellout on the red option for you. I've just got to jump back over here again. Um, oh, it's just getting me steps up. Uh, limited stock uh, we've just gone to now on the tall, tidy. Again, 14 99 Grab it if you want this. It's one of those again. Pop it into your basket and check it out. 983-958. I, honestly, it's just... She has an eye, doesn't she, She's uh, Lisa? Phenomenal. for Obviously, standards um, of yeah. quality, yeah. And, and I feel, I do feel that this is all about quality and um, quality, not about the quantity. It doesn't really matter about we're going to do loads and loads and loads of these. It's, if you see this and you get this, when everything's accumulated into those kits, almost like there's a privilege to actually have one. Of course, it is. Really, of course, it is. Uh, she's she's an incredible lady. I I, I absolutely adore her, and, and and she's a pleasure to work with. She's been an absolute inspiration for me. I've learned so much from her, just in you know, just in techniques as well as design and everything else. She's she's truly fabulous. Uh, and yeah, so to be that... able to bring her fabrics here oh, is yeah, an absolute it's... privilege for well, me because you. you know otherwise they're just not available in this country. It, it has now just sold out, by the way, well on, the tool, well uh, on the tool tidy. Uh, if any bounce back, we will let you know. If you've got it, uh, treat it like gold dust. Make sure you check it out of your basket before it gets kicked out of the basket. I think that's really important. Uh, I, I think that um, 
I mean, what a coup for you to be working alongside. There's better bring it. And I, you know, yeah. the fabrics, I mean, there are a lot, a lot more people at home that have done a lot more and have got a lot more experience than I have with fabrics and fabrics you've worked with. I mean, people watching right now, I'm sure that maybe you're one of them as well, that have been working with different fabrics for many, 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 many years and, and, and really understand the feel of it. And, and I'm a newcomer in that respect to it, and I can appreciate mm. the quality you've got here. So I'm sure you'll go into straight away we, when you get we to the We had one of well. her quilts up uh, on the wall a few weeks ago, and Jenny Raymond stopped what she was doing. I mean, you don't get much, you know, more experienced in the industry than Jenny oh, Raymond. No, I'm and sure. she put down what she and she came over she said whose is that fabric uh, it's stunning wow <laughs> wow like, or yeah. high praise yeah high praise. absolutely um speaking of that's the uh we've got okay purple is it sold out it's okay right the green green is limited to, oh literally first come first serve next person that gets the kicks out puts it in the basket will take it from me uh because that is it there within red sold out purple sold out green next person that clicks yes pops it in the basket you've got it five two three nine three zero fourteen ninety nine for those they they're beautiful projects i'm really 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 impressed green just gone uh well done indeed congratulations well i tell you what that was quick. That went quicker than my friends. That lot did, didn't it? That flew out. That was that was amazing. That was good stuff. That. Um, wow, 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 wow. Sorry, I think I, I did want to throw you off your stride with uh, with the panels that we're working on as well. But lovely, <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Phew. Well, there well, we go. That was a little moment, um, wasn't it? So there. after we've made our leaf, we're going to sew it onto onto here so we've put our markers on we know where it needs to be um, and the stitch that we're going to use you can't see you know and and again this has been one that i've i've had to learn so you've come up right on the edge right on the fold of your fabric and then you go down right next to it you go along and you come up again right on that corner we'll just hold that there for you um so it is it's so so tiny uh, this and then you go directly down into the black fabric directly next to it and then again up on that fold so that you barely see your stitches you know they really are so well hidden as you come along and you want to use your needle for this that you had in uh, in kit one it's a size 10 needle but it's just the right size for this kind of thing and as you work your way along you know you really I've got better and better at this I it was a bit hit and miss when I first started but again you can make the stitches as big or as small as you want it to be uh, depending on I guess how much handling it's going to be if it's just going to be hung on a wall or something then you can afford to go slightly larger if it's actually going to be within child touching distance I would go slightly smaller on your stitches and just to make sure that everything is held perfectly in place. Um, but like I say, it, that's, that's up to you. Uh, coming up always on the edge of that fabric. And this is going to be a stitch that you're going to get used to using because um, we're going to use it quite a lot. Okay. And once you've gone around there, then we want to mark on, on here where we're going to put our stem stitch so i would say mark this on because otherwise it's really easy to get a bit a bit excited and go off in the wrong direction right so with a chalk pen or something mark on where you want your veins to be you can copy it off um, the pattern if you want or just freestyle it go for it freestyle it um and then where's my little needle keep here we go and um go in with you've got you have got um, thread in your um, in your kit for this, and um, you know that's the thing. Just it, you, you're gonna you're gonna have more than you need on all these things, so mm. you, you're gonna be okay. Um, and from the when we do other stem stitch in a minute, the whip stem stitch, you're uh, you're gonna use the colour that you had from month one as well. Oh, oh so right, okay. I'm gonna pop a little little um not in my thread there i'm going to come up go forward and then just come back halfway and then you need to decide which side you want um, your thread to lie but your thread is always going to lie one way or the other so go forwards come back halfway 
and then your thread is going to lie to one side so it seems to be lying to the right so that's fine so forwards halfway back and then just that that, that lie there so we're just going to do that um, all the way up and that's going to give you just that texture uh, yeah, for your stem nice. okay we've got so, just, you know, just around about seven minutes okay all right, so what I will do then is I will show you. You know, I'm just look, watching you uh, work there with the with the uh, the project behind you that's hanging there, they you can't help but miss them. Uh, to, you know, you, you have to. You, they stand out. That black fabric with the colours on, and it doesn't matter which panel you look at, they all really, really, really stand out. And you just, I was just seeing you there in vision with it. But I mean, the lovely thing about this to go through over the projects, over the time of the project, every single one's going to be a real pleasure to work on. But I think the final payoff as well won't be just once you finish that particular panel, but when you look at the accumulation of work over yeah. the time with it, it really has got a wow factor. It's, it's that and also, you know, where you were when you did it. You know, there's, yeah. there's also that kind of thing. When you hand stitch, more so I think than when you machine stitch sometimes, there's that where you were when you did it. I, um, mm. I English paper pieced an entire quilt uh, whilst my daughter was pregnant with my daughter, and um, and that quilt is 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 really you know I I can remember the bits of it where I was you know at a hospital appointment or whatever it was that I was doing um, when I when I did certain parts of that quilt, and. Um, and that you know that that means that means something yeah, of course, it's you know absolutely. i remember the appointment or whatever it was that i was at uh when i when i stitched particular bits now all i'm doing here is that same stem stitch and again just making sure that my thread this time i'm just laying it to the other side ready to then go in and whip stitch around uh which is another lovely technique that i've I've been able to learn from from doing this whoops from doing this quilt so let's just finish that, that whole sentimental side about a project you know it, it's really it, really important isn't it actually yeah. and I think certainly if you're making it for somebody else certainly if it's something for a newborn or it's for grandparents or whatever it is you know it's being passed down and things but I was on the radio this thing and this morning traveling and they were talking about the value of a gold medal from the Olympics yeah obviously which is right on on trend at the moment and uh, not that those Olympians would ever want to sell it, but there was one that uh, went from, I think it was one of the, I think it was the Berlin Olympics. It was like, uh, gone for over a million, a million dollars for, yeah. for this one goal. And then they were speaking to someone that had got a gold medal for, um, for Team GB uh, at the Sydney Olympics. And he said, it's not about the monetary. For me, it's irreplaceable. Yeah. And for me, it's absolutely yeah. about, uh, forget, forget money, monetary value, it's about... He knows the memories. He knows the experience that he had. Mm. And something I, 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 maybe it's the, the stretch to say about, about a gold medal or an Olympian, but actually it's the same sort of thing. When you've made this, it's not about the worth of the project that in a financial term, but actually the time that you've taken out to do it where you were, because it is a project that you can put in the bag, you can take it around and you can continue doing that with it. And it, uh, you, you capture all those, especially if you're making it for a baby. Or, know, well, this is the thing, isn't it? And I think that... Um Tom Daly has captured the nation's heart with his crocheting and his knitting in between and his, his crochet little pouch to put his gold medal in. Now, I've known Tom since he was 10 years old. I was his first agent. I got him his first contract with Speedo and, and you know, I've known him for many years. And the effort and the time and the dedication that he has put in to get to that point oh, of finally getting a medal at the Olympics is just phenomenal. And I bet you that when he looks at his knit knitting that he's done oh, wow. there, wow. it will be as special to him yeah, yeah. as that medal. And you yeah. look all over Facebook and social media and you will see pictures, images of Tom knitting whilst he's, whilst he's waiting. And that will, that will be as evocative. It's like going into a school hall and smelling school dinners again, isn't it? You know, it just takes you straight back there. So no, you're right. Absolutely. It we've is. got it's, a stem stitch here. That's with any project that people put into it, isn't it? It's absolutely that. When it is, you know. And so to do a whip stem stitch, all you do is just take it around. So we do exactly the same stitch that we've just done before. And then we just, we just go around with a different coloured thread. So this is the thread that we had in the first 
first month and I'm, you can see I'm going in with the non the non sharp side even as I go around but it's just giving that extra extra effect as we go around so that is then and oh, if you're yeah. do you know what if you're unsure on your stem stitch if that's the first time that you've ever done that stitch do these bits first because right. you then whip stitch around them so it hides any wobbly bits. Oh, no, oh <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like you to style. Well, you know, it, it, let's be honest about it. You know, if you are learning a new stitch, you're not going to be perfect at it straight yeah. off, and that's absolutely fine. Absolutely. Absolutely fine. We're just under two minutes remaining. Oh, I'm, my I'm goodness, just... there's so much more to show. Oh, what? Right. What? what, what? Um, okay, let's do a French knot, and then I'm just going to have to say to you, look, on... On my, my website, natashamakes.com, you will find the full video, or the full full demo on how to do the Suffolk Puff Flowers. Let's just talk French knots because I was really, really rubbish at them and they were my nemesis. I'm like, right, I'm going to have to learn how to do these. Um, you use six strands of thread. We talked about stranded thread in the earlier show. Yeah, yeah. Um, so six strands. Take three, but double them up. Okay. okay, that's your easiest way because trying to thread six strands through is really, really hard. Not the end, come up. Now, on my, my corner here, which I know is not going to, I've practiced my French knots, okay? Wow. This, is, this is, because these are going to be your, um, these are going to be your buds, your cherry blossom right, buds. Right, right. Okay, um, and also with the clematis, when you eventually put the uh, the Suffolk puffs on for the uh, for the middle bits of the flowers, you will then put some of these in there. So pull your thread to seconds. one side, go round once, twice, depending how big you want it, three times, and then go back in right next to where you came out. Pull that fabric, put your thumb on it, and then pull through and that will make there we are the perfect french knot i love it i love it i love it there we go uh, thank you so much lovely demonstrations as ever oh uh, it's which my is absolute absolutely pleasure and uh, thank you very much for bringing these and introducing us uh, to some absolutely beautiful materials to work with and kits as well uh, when when are you back Oh, I'm back in September, and I so, promise I will bring you some more Lisa Chandler fabrics. Well, that's, um, we're going to hold you to go. that. We are going to hold you to that. Uh, thank you so much, Dean. And uh, if you manage to get something from this out, I know you're going to love that as well. Uh, but for myself and Natasha for now, have a fantastic rest of your afternoon, won't you? Two lovely ladies coming up for you next. We're going to be with Indigo Blue. I know you're going to love that. Then we're going to be going back over with Clever Prince, which is going to be a fun and quirky hour, of course. And then final call for one day special. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers of colors, textures, and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family-run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. Make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows. for the next hour we've got julia watts back in the studio of course representing indigo blue lovely show this morning some great demonstrations if you did miss out on that you can catch up but of course we've got more demonstrations this hour as well we've also got some happy hour deals that of course means that if you grab those during this current hour hour you can get them at a great price but the price will go up at the top of the hour let's say a very good afternoon to julia first of all without further ado so julia did you have a nice time everybody a little relax in between uh, did i relax and no, i was working oh. Oh. <laughs> but I did have my breakfast and my lunch oh did you <laughs> I did oh well that's something <laughs> yeah. so you're full of energy then yeah maybe <laughs> <laughs> We will be back with Julia in a little while. Julia, we'll just have a look at the bundle okay. because this is incredible value. We've got an enormous saving, actually, for this one. This is our Indigo Blue All the New Christmas. Now, there's something a little bit more contemporary about this, but you've still got the feel of the traditional items in there as well with the wreaths, different trees, different sentiments. I absolutely love the vine that's included in the set as well. We've got two A5 stamps, we've got two A6, and we've got a stencil as well. Julia, tell us about this collection. Yeah, so this is, uh, I think it's actually, the, no, it's the second Christmas collection that uh, Janine Gerard Shaw has done. She did one last year as well. So she's one of the new artists that a newer artist that Kay's been using and uh, she's very no well known for the fine detail that she puts in her images I mean if you look at the the tree the tree's got so much going on with it so many different ornaments there's a birdhouse in there and I think every time you look at it you'll see something different and of course they're manufactured in um, red rubber um, by Indigo Blue themselves up in Redford at the head office and they're scrolled for you and they're, they're mounted on the cling and they're ready to go straight straight away and because they're rubber um, you can get really really fine detail in there which is just perfect to go with Janine's designs. Yeah, very nice indeed. As you say, so much going on there. You really can look into the stamps and see something different every time you look. I do want to show you actually the red rubber and also the fact that these are cushioned for you. You've got the laminate sheet to store them on as well. So if I just turn around this first one so you can see how beautifully etched the rubber actually is. And to me, Julia, do you know it's important when you get everything that's cut out there, you've got the cushioning on the back. Mm. These are ready to peel away from the laminate sheet and just yep. work with, aren't they? Straight away. You can use them with the See acrylic the blocks or with your stamping platform, or you can just use them freehand. You don't have to actually stamp the whole thing. You can just use sections to make your, your kind of messy backgrounds, if you like. Um, I mean, they are very, very good quality stamps. They are, they're beautiful. And I do love the designs as well. And I can see lots of ways, particularly with the tree, you've got all those ornaments on there. You can take little individual mm. ornaments like the little houses out, yes. use them separately. Yes. Maybe hang them on branches and yes. things as well, onto yes. garlands. Decapage so you've got them lots up of as well. options. Yeah. Love it. That border is very, very yes. useful. We're going to use that in the first well. demonstration. Are you? Yeah. Lovely. Well, we have got individuals available as well. So as we look through the individuals in the bundle, so you can really pay attention to what's in there. If you've got a particular favourite and maybe your budget's a little bit tight, you can go for those individuals. But what I can tell you is the A5 stamps are 19 99 on their own. In the bundle, you are saving £17. So you're paying very, very little for one of those A5 stamp sets. We've also got the Flexi for you as well. We'll have a good look at the A6s. I've, I do absolutely love the vines. I said this in the earlier show. I can see so many uses for that as well. It's not just about Christmas. You've got more in the way of trees, the ones with the little circles in are so sweet. And don't forget, you have got the little stencil there as well. The dinky stencil is also included. So that £17 saving brings the cost down. Two payments, if you're going for Flexi, just £24.98 a day, another in a month's time. Item number is 903478. Have we got time for one or two quick samples while I'm here? 
we'll just show one or two because I want to show you know one or two things that you can do with these because the design team worked so hard as well I mean, if I see names, I will mention. So this one's by Sue. Using the wreath there, Julie, because yes. you did explain earlier on, you can do so many things with the centre of yeah. the wreath. Yeah, yeah. You can just use a circle die to cut it out, or you can, there is actually um, a circular line, so you can just cut around that if you haven't got yeah. dies. But as you can see from what Sue's done there, she's used it as a, as a, a picture frame if you like or it could be a window that works very well um, actually. so it works like very that. well doesn't it it certainly does there's one of the branches as well just quickly show one or two hopefully we'll get time to show a few more later as well just to show the difference between the samples and also mm. what you can achieve and give a few ideas and inspiration as well because we've got lots and lots of mediums on the show also stencils coming up as well so do stay with us and do right. remember that indigo blue have their own i love indigo blue group Oh, yes. So there's not just the Indigo Blue Facebook page, there's the I Love Indigo Blue group. So if you've got some of their stamps, you can share uh, what you make with them. And you can also see some inspiration from uh, the DT and all of uh, That's what we like to hear. All the customers. Everybody's sharing. Everybody's sharing, yeah. Yeah, love it. Well, we do have more to share with you as well. So as we say, very important to share. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to move down and have a look at some different stamps. Absolutely beautiful yet again, but very different in design. Now, if I just have a little bit of a wander down the counter here to the next set, have a look at this. Winterland Wood is the name of this particular set. Julia, again, we've got the red rubber. We've got the cushioning yes. on there. Yeah. Really classic designs here. Mm. You mentioned about the stag earlier, which mm. was very interesting, a yeah. technique that we've seen done yes, yeah, instantly yeah. there for yeah, you. Yeah, there's a the technique where you, if you stamp a solid stamp um, or if you ink it up and then stamp um, a pattern stamp into it, yeah. and then actually stamp the stamp, then you get that design. But that's done for you, so all that kind of faffing around is taken care of. But, you know, you could leave that just as, as a black and white silhouette, or you can actually use your luscious or your paints to add some uh, coloured detail to the stag if you want to. It's very elegant, yeah. I think. It is really nice, and actually, again, certainly not just for Christmas. Those trees, the rabbits, the castles in there as well, all can be used in different ways for different occasions and different seasons. Lovely set, 19.99. You've got eight different designs there. 719-997 is the item number. Now, we've still got more stamps to share with you as well, some real beauties in this next, next selection. Now, we have got options here. So one item number, different options. Difference in style with some of these. Uh, yes. We've got something for everybody, I think, Julia. Yes, yes. So, so these are some of the favourites from the Christmas collections over the past few years. So there's a couple of stamp sets in there that are, are by Janine, um, uh, which are from last year. But then there's some also from the Indigo Blue back catalogue as well. So, yeah, you have got a lot. I mean, the, in that there, I mean, I think there's something for absolutely definitely. everybody. Most definitely. The first and one that you're looking at It's such there. a good price as well. Yeah, that's dear wood. Only nine ninety nine. There's two pounds saving on each of these. That is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. The next one will be coming up shortly because we, I think we're staying with the deer. But deer wood there, you can see the perspective. Just amazing to look at. You can imagine all sorts of wonderful cards. Again, lots of different seasons. You could add further greenery or something to the leaves there. Stags are all year round. They're not certainly for Christmas, are they? We have got the deer forest coming up next, I think, as well. So we'll show you a picture as soon as we can. Right in front of me, it is the one here in the center of uh, the little display we've got here. So you can see the image. I'm just going to flip around the stamp itself so you can see what you're getting. I'm actually holding this the wrong way up, so to speak, for the stamp itself. There you are. If I just give that a twist, you can see it doesn't make so much sense when you just see the rubber, but the image on the front certainly does make sense. If I show you that again. That is such a lovely design again, mm. Julia, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So imagine stamping that perhaps with some of your twinkling embossing yeah. powders or, um, you know, uh, I don't know, just, just add in some uh, of your white gel pen to it. Just stamp it in black or stamp it in dark yeah. green and add some totally of your white agree. gel pen. It is gorgeous. 9 99 remember all of these different items under one item number. Now, the next one, this caught my eye this mm. morning. This is stunning. That's I'm going to show you the stamp. gorgeous, isn't it? It really, really is. And you could use that flourish without the baubles as yes. well, Julia. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Let me just show you the I mean, that just, that just shouts out to be stamped and embossed in gold or silver, really, doesn't it? That is absolutely you can see it timeless. On, on, on wedding cards yeah. and anniversary cards. Love it. Absolutely love it. Anything with a flourishing, you've got me anyway, but I think that is so elegant. Let's have a look at the front row because we've got more for you down there as well. So, where are we going next? I think we're going to. Oh, what's the name of this one? 
Uh, we've got another sort of wonderland one, winter wonderland here. Very pretty. You've almost got the, the snowflake designs in the front. You have, yes. But it looks like it's adding extra light. There's yes. something magical going extra on Extra dimension. There. Yes, absolutely, yeah. That yeah. is unusual, but I really yeah. like it yeah, again. Yeah, snowflakes are etched into the rubber. That is very pretty. Now, a little bit different with the next one. We've got the gingerbread nutcracker. Oh, lots of nice little elements there again. You've got the gingerbread, you've got the candy canes, I can see you've got the tree, and of course the nutcracker himself was standing proud there in his uniform. Snowflake. You know, how would you describe this? Because it is sort of whimsical, it's not cartoon, I wouldn't class it as that. It's no. going to still many ages ago. Yes, yeah, it's quite contemporary, isn't it? But yeah. it, but it's it's not contem it's contemporary with detail. Whereas sometimes contemporary designs can have less detail, but this is contemporary with detail, I think. It certainly is. And then following along in the same sort of theme, because another one by Janine is the gingerbread house. I might mm. just see if I can grab that to see if I can just turn this the right way. Just so we can see. Sorry, but I'm having to stretch here a little bit. So we can have a look at the detail on this one. If I hold it so it's horizontal and we can see it the right way up. There we are. You can break that one down nice and easily as well, Julia. Yeah, yeah you can. So you can just uh, use sections of it. You can definitely decoupage sections up. It, it kind of screams out for some, um, some of the kind of fluffy snow stuff that you can get on the market. I um, love the stitch roof. Didn't I didn't spot that earlier? Yeah, the stitch roof and, and the, two little ribbons. Yeah, the lace that, on the ribbon side, running through yeah. the roof there. Yeah. Very clever indeed. And you same see more as, uh, in them. Uh, and same for the big bundle, the, the Christmas bundle at the beginning. Yeah. You see more as you're colouring in. Of course, yeah. You're yeah, you discover elements. Yeah, it keeps bringing up those surprises. We've got one more. This is a clever one as well. I've never seen anything quite like this. The Stag Cliffhanger. It's a great name for it as well. You can see why it's called this in a mm. second. We have a good look at the detail. It's Have like a chalkboard a print. Little Christmas. It's like a chalkboard print, the, the cliff itself, yeah. isn't it, with the, yeah. with the lettering. And again, if you just wanted the tree, you could just use the tree. If you just wanted the stag, you could mm. use that. You could just use the sentiment. So you've got choices with that one as well. All priced at £9.99, all with a £2 saving. You can go for one, you can go for two, you can go for three, you can go for as many as you like. While ever we've got the stock. 450373 is the item number, regardless of what you choose in there. Now, we've got some stencils as well. Now, we did have a sellout in the earlier show, so we'll show you what we've got left. I've got samples for some of these. It is a pick and mix. So I'll show you one or two of the boards, the ones that are relevant that I've got available. So it's choosing any three. Julia, I really like all of these. This, this is one of those where it's a little bit difficult to really decide which ones you are going yes. for. It's yeah. just the three. Yeah. But we've got various ones with wording on. We've also got decorative ones. This one here is the Lace Mandala. Now, I do have a board for that, actually. I'll just bring this one in. We'll pop it in front, shall we? And then you can see. Oh, you don't have to use glitter, but doesn't that look effective? Love it. Love it. Very pretty indeed. The next one along is our... Oh, now then. This, I like this one. Damaged Spots Dots. Now, I thought that was done with a, a pearl embossing powder, but you said, did you say that was the slap it on with the magic luscious. sparkles? The I think it, it's either it. the porcelain or the magic sparkles that's in there. I think it might be the porcelain, actually, because the magic sparkles is a bit a more um, shimmery. Yeah, it's a lovely effect. Now, you could, of course, use a stencil as snowflakes. It could be just dots in the background. It could be whatever you want it to be, but it's just a very usable stencil. The next one along, we do have some wording for you on this one. This is our sparkle and glisten. And you can see those words within the stencil along with other words as well. I do have a little sample here as well. Again, if you want to use your, your sparkles, you can do your embossing powders, your... Um, your texture paste, it's entirely up to you, just spritz through. You've got all those options with a stencil. Use them, of course, as well for embossing. Wordy ones, though, would they come out the wrong way? Wordy ones, when you emboss with them, do they? Um, no, you just you, you just, you way, just turn you? your stencil just turn over. This, of course yeah. you can. Of yeah. course you can. That's the beauty oh, of stencils. You can, you can have it both ways. You just yeah. have to remember to turn it over. Yeah. yeah, so if you emboss with a word one and it's the wrong way, just flip the stencil around and do it again. And you mean dry emboss to make it yes. clear? Because yeah. to begin with, I thought you meant embossing powder. Yeah, when you run it through the dye yeah. machine to take yeah, the yeah, impression yeah. from it. Yeah. The next one also was, this is Spirit of Christmas. Have we got uh, a sample for this? Yes, we have. So, yeah, various different words again there. Ones that we often see on our cards that we buy. So if you're wanting to make your own, this is going to be very, very useful. There we are. You can see in the glitter there again. Silent night. 
Holy Night. Oh, Holy Night is my favourite Christmas carol. Is it? It is, yes. I, I like Jingle Bells because it. it's happy. That's not a carol. It is now. <laughs> Let's move to the front because we've got more as well. We've got She's vintage frame sports. for you next. <laughs> <laughs> vintage frame, very, very useful, Julie, because you could cut out the centre, you could yes. cut out it in yes. its entirety. It's, it's great for the um, baubles and bits and pieces that are on the stamps in, in the main bundle. Yeah. But just to sort of um, encase the sentiment, you know, so you could stamp yourself a sentiment and then uh, add your um, detail around it with your, um, your stencil like that and again not just for Christmas if you look at the the decorative no. elements of it no. they could use at any time of yep. the year now the next one another actually this is one of my favorites the damaged snowflake so a little bit more grungy perhaps but you can pretty that up you know it doesn't matter how you use them they're just very very nice indeed I don't know why they're damaged no I don't either I think it's a, a little bit of a mean title Isn't to give it? Them. I can see why because there are one or two little elements in there that aren't sort of fully cut out. They're meant to look like that, so it's kind of got that look about them, that distressed look. But are snowflakes absolutely perfect every single time? I don't actually know if they are. I don't know. Actually, yeah, I think they are supposed to be, aren't Are they? they? I don't know. But that's the thing with the world of craft. You can break the rules. Of course you can. Of course you can. They could be, actually you could layer those up and make some very pretty flowers with them. Yeah. By overlaying. Um, the next one is the Damask. Very nice design here as well. Is that it's damaged? It's not just a damask, it's a damaged I was going to say, damask. is it damaged? <laughs> I think they all need help, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and whichever way you turn that, actually, that's going to work. That's a lovely design. I love a damask pattern anyway. So whichever way you have this, it will look very nice indeed. It's one of those where you start finding faces in the design. I've just spotted one. Uh, finally, we've got another one with words on for you as well. This is family. So you can see, let's have a look. Family, eternal, joy, love, cherish, adore, and forever. $9.99 for any three. So take advantage of that deal because it's a wonderful one. Five four five three seven eight. Now, we're just going to have a little look at the website. That's where you'll find everything. Don't forget with the website as well, you can have a look on the brand shop because there's far more than we've got on the counter. But there's lots of items that we've seen that you might want a reminder of. There's items that we haven't seen, we haven't mentioned. Don't forget things like the Luscious, they were very busy earlier on, the Slap It On. Uh, we've got various paints and glues as well. We've got lots and lots to show you. So do have a good look. Oh, Julia really recommends the Grab and Go glue. We had a discussion about that earlier on. If you've not tried it yet, yeah, that's a must have. We've got card and different media there as well. So, yeah, take your time. Maybe not quiet at this moment because we've got more to tell you about as well. There we are. Right. Okay, we do have some happy hour deals. Just want to remind you of those. So these are from Crafty Devils. We've got the tags, uh, the MDF tags. These are great for the stamps, of course, Julia. Yeah, yeah they will work beautifully with the stamps. And the um, Indigo Blue paints will work beautifully on there. Uh, if you're going to use the translucents, though, we'd recommend you put gesso down. But um, certainly the metallic paints and the matte paints and yeah. the luscious will go on there. Well, you're getting a lot for your money as well because you are getting 40 of the assorted MDF tags. And we're talking from relatively small ones to really quite large ones as well and everything in between. So a really good buy with a £12 saving, just twelve ninety nine five five two four one nine is the item number. I'm hoping we might be able to see these. They are at the back of the studio, so it's a little bit difficult, but it's nice to see those different sizes rather than just seeing them on a still. So there they are. I'm not very big, but, you know, you can see... Compared to me, they're up large tags, some of these. Look at them. Great basis to work from. Don't miss out. Happy hour deal, 552419. <laughs> I don't think Let's what they're move. saying. Shall we move along? Shall we move along? <laughs> Let's go to the crackle medium. This is a big pot, and this is going to go a long way. It really is. And if you've seen our Mel using the crackle medium, you know it's very, very addictive as well. You've got 250 millilitres here, 9.99, a five pound saving, 710947. Remember, just for the hour, all of the happy hour prices. That would work really well, again, with the paints, with the MDF, with the stencils, with the stamps, you know, combine everything together. Just think about what you're lacking maybe in your crafting stash. Moving along. We've got the snow for you. Now, this really is going to work very well, isn't it, Julie? Mm -hmm. Because yes, it the will. 3D snow, Christmas, wreaths, gingerbread houses. Yes. It could be icing yep. on the gingerbread house. Could. 
Yeah, absolutely. Two bottles. You don't, you're not going to get one. You're going to get both of these. This is going to go a long way. Four pounds saving, just nine pounds and ninety-eight pence. Item number seven seven two seven one four. And you've got a lovely nozzle there, so you can use this straight from the bottle as well. And then what about decorating your jars, your vases, maybe putting lights in your cards and your shadow boxes? We do have the lights for you as well. Now, I'm not going to pick them all up. We're probably going to show you still. But these have already got the batteries in them. They're on little wires, so you can just wind these around things or place them wherever you wish. A little switch on the side so you can turn them on and off. I don't know if this one's actually activated. Yes, it is. There it is. Obviously, it's not unwound. We love using these with our cards and our home mm. decor, don't we, Julia? Yeah, they're great to put in your baubles as yeah, well. Yeah, they are. Batteries included, so you don't have to worry about that. Just make sure you turn the switch off when you're not using them. Fourteen ninety nine, you're getting six strings there. Uh, Fifteen pounds savings, so half price. One zero two eight nine eight is the item number. Now we do just look at the website again. We can have a look at those luscious pigments. There's lots of different variations. If you go, in fact, you can see us doing it right now. If you do go to the website, have a look for the item number, find the drop down menu. Every time you change the title, it will show you the colors that of course are under that particular title and it is going to be hard to choose if you've never had these before. Lots of you are collecting them so maybe just add into that collection today. If you've never used them before, whichever you go for, you will not be disappointed. These are amazing. I have had the pleasure of working with these myself and I was absolutely so impressed with them. Item number 164502 and hopefully we might get to see more of those during the hour as well. We're almost at the end of that list. The iridescent, they are all different as well. It's a little bit difficult to see there on the image, but they are all different. So, yes, take advantage of a great price there for five pots. Shall we go to the other side of the studio, though? A little, she's a little bit away from it today. Uh, I don't know why that was requested, but let's <laughs> head over to Julia's corner there and see what she's up they to. They told me they wouldn't tell you that. Oh. <laughs> I'm they making it up. Guessed. That's not true. I'm not true. <laughs> not true. Um, with the luscious powders, let me ju uh, just uh, with the iridescent one. They, yeah, they all look the same. So they're quite pearly when they go on white card, but you see the difference when they go on black. So you've got like there's a blue in there, a green yeah. in there, and a red. So they, they, they've got kind of interference mica in them. That's what it, 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 it's called. So okay, let, let's get the slap it on out, and let's just slap some on. <laughs> so. They're great names, aren't they, that Kay comes up with. It's, in it's incredible. So we're going to use the... I didn't get it out. My favourite stencil, which is... Hopefully it's here. This one. It's not a damaged snowflake, is it? It's one this of the, is the things that is mandala. Lace mandala. To me, it looks like a snowflake. It does look like a snowflake. I know it's got six points, but uh, to me, it looks like a snowflake. So I've just got a little card blank here. It's not the size that I'm going to use, but it's just the um, the uh, Pink Frog Super Smooth water, uh, Super Smooth card, not the watercolour. It could be watercolour. It doesn't really matter. Um, I've got some Slap It On, and I'm just going to pop some onto my uh, craft sheet. I should really tape it down. Shall I? Mm -hmm. Let's tape it down, else I might regret it. I'm not very good at taping. While you're taping up, we've had an email in, Julia, about snowflakes. This is from Jane. Oh, hello. Thank this you, Jane. This is interesting, actually. Jane says less than 0.1% of snowflakes are perfectly symmetrical. So Best those wishes. snowflakes really aren't damaged, are they? I don't uh, think they are. Less than 0.1% aren't symmetrical. Oh, I see. I wasn't listening properly, was I? Oh, are perfectly symmetrical. I thought you said aren't. I thought you said so they are. are. Yes, so they're not damaged. No, not damaged. There's more... Da there's more... I'm, do you know what? I'm just repeating what I'm hearing in my ear. <laughs> less... Let's do this slowly. Less than 0.1% of snowflakes are perfectly symmetrical. Yes, so there's very few that are perfectly symmetrical. No, so damaged so they are right. damaged. Yeah. Yeah, they're all damaged anyway. Well, apart from less point zero point one percent. This is getting too confusing. How does Jane know this? Did you count all the snowflakes? She's flakes? probably uh, looked on a search engine. Uh, okay, so we've got a little bit of slap it on there. I always use too much. And then what we're going to do is we're going to mix some of our unicorn sparkles with it. Now, you can actually put slap it on. Uh, it comes out white but dries clear. And okay, it's uh, yeah. a gloss medium. 
and uh, so you can use it like a gel medium. You can use it to um, glue um, things like metal objects to your MDF and, and glue anything really if you want to. Right. So they're the magic sparkles that come in the set of three, is with, that correct? Yeah, they come with the yep. um, embossing glaze and with the magic sparkles. They, these are the unicorn sparkles. Lovely. Okay, so it, I, I like to mix mine with it so that then my glitter is encased. Yeah. You can right. actually just put your unicorn, uh, your um, slap it on, on first and then remove your stencil and then while the slap it on still wet, you can sprinkle your um, unicorn sparkles over the top. So that's another way of doing it. You can also mix in your um, um, luscious powder and you can also mix in your paint as well. There's lots of different ways that you can usually slap it on. So we're just giving, giving our card front a bit of a slap if you like. And I've still looked at how much I've got left. Loads. Oh yes, you've got tons there, Julia. Tons. tons. That is tons. Absolutely tons. Do you know that would cover many more stencils actually, which brings me to another email we've had in. Uh, talking about the stencils, this is from Deborah. Deborah says, please, 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 can you tell us what you've used on the black card samples that create the beautiful sparkly effect when it comes to the word stencils? Exactly what I've just done. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. What a great question. What perfect timing as well. Yeah. Julia's done these cards actually, not just the I words. I haven't. No, the Kay's done gone, them. So I better take that Kay, one away. Kay's done those. Oh, Kay's done them. Yeah. But it's the same technique. Yeah, same technique. Look at that. So if you're going for the stencils, regardless of the words or any of the others, lots of these samples have been created with the same technique that Julia's using now. That really is a perfectly timed question, isn't it? Is. It is. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Right, I'm going to pop, pop that in there so I don't make a mess. So, so that now, um, they've been taking actually less than an hour to dry, um, but it just gives a lovely, lovely finish. And, and you can't really see what it's going to look like until I show you the one that's dry. Okay. It's quite nice that you've done it on white as well, because we we've now got the, the comparison to the black card that we've got here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just tidy this up a minute. Okay. Make sure that's nice and wet. Otherwise, I'm going to get everything in it. Oh, you're such a tidy crafter, Julia. I'm. I'm not actually. I'm. I. I don't like. I don't like um, things being where they shouldn't be. So I don't like dirty marks on my card. So. So I, this bit has to be clean. Yeah, the rest of it can, can be dirty, but that. that bit has to be clean. So when it's dry, so you can see the difference oh, here. Nice. Look at that. So, so that's clear, but it's glittery. Oh, it really does show well, doesn't it? Oh, those sparkles. Those sparkles. So, obviously, you need to make sure that you put enough of the glitter in because your Slap It On Dry is clear. Yeah. Uh, it's a, if there's no glitter, it, you're just going to get clear, which yeah, is and fine. And mix it well to make sure mix it's it well. evenly dispersed. Yeah, so you've got yeah, even distribution. So we're going to now change that. And we're going to add some luscious over the top. So I'm just going to put a bit of water on oh, a do you wide know what brush. You've got there, this is your sparkling waterfall. So, so I am focusing during these shows on your uh, spring new step. Okay. Because it's the newest one, and I've only just got it, so it's like a new play toy. Okay. Thing. So if anybody has been collecting as well and collect as the new ones come out, that's the one that you will need. Spring the in your one, step. Yeah. Yeah. There are lots of other options, of course, but the new one is Spring in Your Step. Lots of lovely colours under 164502. Don't forget, you are getting five pots. There's so much you can do with these as well, and they're going to go a long, long way. A long, long way, absolutely. So, yeah, and they're, they're full. They're 25 mil pots, so, you know, you're going to get loads out of them. So I'm going to just give this a mist. It, is, it isn't watercolour card. It's um, your... Um, your pink frog super smooth which is a stamping card but it does take water really well so i've just mixed some of the um sparkling waterfall okay. um with some water and i'm just using it as a wash over the top here and what the slap it on does is it kind of um resists but you also get some color over the top as well it, it, it's weird the way it works but it does work really really well and of course, you're not going to lose that sparkle. You're, you're not going to lose that sparkle. sparkle. That sparkle is going to shine through whatever you put on top. You could put on top, uh, like we did uh, earlier, you could put your, um, uh, your translucent paints over the top, and that would work beautifully as well. Okay. Uh, obviously, when this dries, this is going to have a shimmer, which your translucents wouldn't. 
So if you just move that out of the way and tidy up yet again. <laughs> Ideally, what you'd be doing now is you'd be getting your, um, your rice paper, your indigo oh, blue I'm rice paper, up. and you'd be picking all that up. You would not be wasting that. But I didn't remember to bring any with me. So this is dry. Oh, that is a lovely effect. Look at that. You can still definitely see the sparkle there. Yeah. And that shimmer that's come from the yeah. luscious. Yeah. So that's wow. just a different card blank. It's an A6 card that I've used. So it's just a different card bank for me to actually put my design onto. Okay. So a bit stamping now. So I've got again a, sh a piece of the um, Pink Frog Super Smooth card and we're going to use this long border. And I'm going to use uh, this. We have got the Slim Jims on the show, but uh, this is a very, very big stamp. So this is one of the new blocks from Sentimentally Yours that's being released next week. And this will fit on nicely for me. Is that the Versafine Claire you This is the Versafine Claire. This is Nocturne, which is the lovely black one which you can emboss with. Um, it's, uh, it stays open re a, a long time. So be careful if you're not embossing uh, that you don't smudge it. Okay. So there's my oh, border. It's such a crisp image, isn't it? Yeah. The stamp. So yeah. beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that's my border that I'm going to use. Then we're also going to, from the same stamp set, we're going to stamp this chappy. And I'm going to go over to my one of my Slim Jims. Okay. Oh, so this is one of the trees that you're using there as well. We've got yep. details for Slim Jims. So if you want to use uh, the item number there to pop it into your basket, you've got six, actually, six Slim Jims. They are acrylic blocks. We'll see if we can find a picture for you, 837-370. Oh, just to explain, when you so, see the picture, yeah. it looks white. That is the film. That's the film. The blocks, so, so I've got that one away. here. I've got one here. This one's yeah. got the film on. So this is how you're going to get them. So all you need to do is just go to the corner and kind of, Use your finger and peel it back, and then you're going to have that revealed. So can you see? So if I do yeah, the other side you. as well, if I can grab that one. Da, 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 da. There we go. So you can see it's clear, so nice super and clear. clear but I'm keeping that on there so I just can show in for future shows. Okay, great price. Until I need to use it. Pardon? Great price at 9.99 yes. for six. Yes. All different sizes, different shapes. As really well. useful sizes too. Yeah. There's just not one quite big enough. There's a couple of the stamps are really large, um, so there's just not one quite big enough. So we're just going to stamp the tree, so you can see how beautifully this stamps. There we go. I do like this tree. It I like this me, tree. I did find a, a lovely sample that caught my eye earlier, where it was all done in sepia colours. There's a lot of lovely samples, actually, with that tree. I'm also going to stamp the bubble tree, because uh, this is from the... Oh, the set with, uh, yeah, it was set with the hexagon on it. Okay. Um, because... Ah, oh, that's one of the A6 stamps, isn't it? Yeah, one of the A6 stamps. Uh, I think that one is Warm Winter Wishes, if you're looking for it individually. That's the bubble tree. There are other components in that set as well, if you want to have a look at that. Yeah. All available in the big bundle, of course. So regardless yeah. of what Julia's using at the moment, they're all there. That saving of £17 is yours today. It really does bring the price down. Then we're also going to stamp uh, one of the little stars because the little star, as you can see, it comes on the bubble, it can go there. So you can stamp it directly. Oh. It's not actually touching, but um, you can cut it out and stamp it directly, yeah, you or you could have it both. You could that, couldn't you? With yeah. the, and make it look like a little wire stem on the star. Yeah. You can also mask off. Let's do it. Let's go off at a tangent. I like tangents. <laughs> I do so many tangents. We can also get this here. Let's see if I can do this right. We'll ink, ink, this, ink the stem up at the bottom. Yeah. Then cover it. I find, I find this the easiest way of masking. Cover it like that. Okay. And then hopefully ah, stamp. Do you know, I was, I was just thinking... How are you not going to catch the rest of the tree? But you've simply just turned it the other way up. Turned it the Genius. other way up. So we can, we, can, we can actually give it a stem. Obviously, you can just cut it out and glue it underneath if you want to. But if you don't want a fussy cut, you've got that kind of um, um, alternative if you want to do it Lovely. that way. 
We've also got uh, in the wreath, we've got a se separate word Christmas. So we need to stamp this. And this is a beautiful uh, font on this. Yeah, we've also got the birthday. You've got happy and birthday also You've included. got happy so and birthday, yeah. Around. So, but I'm going to use the happy from the um, the happy holidays. So it's nice to mix your fonts when you make doing things. So if you were do, doing it side by side, you could have happy Christmas. Obviously, do oh. it straight, but um, like that, or you can cut them out and do them top and bottom, however you want them. And if you like Paula or my sister-in-law, both got birthdays at Christmas. You can have happy Christmas birthday. Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah. How many, how many places do you get that sort of thing? Not many. Right, well, so you, wouldn't, a, you wouldn't find that word in a shop, you I wouldn't. don't think, ever. You absolutely wouldn't. So if you wanted to colour in, we just does a tiny, tiny little bit of colouring in with the um, acrylic paints, the translucent ones. So I'm going to use the uh, fresh cut grass and I'm going to use a little bit of the racing green as well. Oh, you like your greens, don't you, Julie? I do like my greens. I do as well. That racing green you used earlier was absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, we are going to use a little bit of yeah. that. So you don't need very much. As Kay says, like a grain of rice. And it is a good idea when you're using your water bucket to have a different area that you use your translucent paints with to what you use your luscious in. Okay, yeah. Because uh, if you've got mica powder in one section and you actually pick up your water, you're going to pick up mica powder onto that. So if you don't want... Your, your mica powder to be mixed with your translucent paints, you need to leave them separate. If you do, you can give it that lovely, very subtle sparkle as well. You absolutely can. Now, the can. paints, Julia, we've got different paints available, haven't we? Again, yes. in different sets, and you get the paint mat yes, included, you do. don't you? Yes, because the, 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 they're acrylics, although we're using them as a, a watercolour, because they're acrylics, when they actually um, dry, you can't regenerate them. Okay. You can use the luscious on here as well, but then you'll be able to regenerate your luscious because you've added water to it to make it a paint. Yeah. These are acrylic. So once they dry, that's it. You can't move them. But, oh, uh, yeah. but these, these, these are a byproduct of the uh, manufacturing process of um, the, the rubber stamps. Okay. And um, uh, they, you can just use a scrubbing brush and um, they clean up completely. So you're not like a one-use thing. Once once the acrylic's dry, you can't use them again. Uh, you just clean them off, which is brilliant. Lovely. And we can see a lovely coverage there as well. Beautiful colour once again. Shall we have a look at those sets? Let's see what we've got for uh, on offer of, uh, for everybody as well. We've got castles and castles and queens, or castles and queens if you come from where I do. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a castle in Connorsbury where I was born. Uh, there you are. We've also got bedtime stories. These are the metallic. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? The artist metallic paints there. They've got a beautiful sheen to them. And then we've got shaken, not stirred. Again, metallics. These are all metallics. 952-599 is the item number. So the colour you've got there, Julie, isn't these are a trans metallic. No, they're not. These, these, are these are translucent. So if you are wanting translucent, it's a different item number. These are the metallics. The translucents do come with the paint mat, so I don't know if we can find the details for that one. They are, do you know, I wanted, I wanted to use the word luscious then, but I don't want to confuse the people <laughs> with the pigment powders, but they are absolutely glorious colours and yeah. beautiful with the metallic finishes yeah, in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Phil's just used some of the metallics um, on his grey board. I see. Uh, so you'll see those on some of his samples next week. Well, there's a, a hint for you. Now, these are the translucents. You can see the paint mat there as well. That's the white mat at the back. So we've got Kay's Choice. They must be Kay's favourites then. Mm. That's the ones there that we can see. We've got Late Summer Sun. There they are. Nice colours in there. And then In the Navy. Looks like there's um, primary colours in at least two of those sets. Yes. I, I didn't, wasn't sure about the second one and I didn't look at it long enough. But So they are great bundles because Absolutely. you've got all those mixes in yeah, there. Yeah, you so make your own mixes. Yeah. Yeah. Just remember Perfect. that you, you, while you're doing a project to mix as much as you need for that project yeah. because you're not necessarily going to get the ratios the same and because you can't regenerate it, you know, yeah. it, you, 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 you've got to think about what you're Lovely. doing. When you're £15 and 90 pence, 912357. Right, so I've got some of the racing green on my mat here. I just wanted to show you just a little bit of, I don't know if it's right, but this is how I'm going to blend it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the, see the racing green is darker.
than your uh, fresh cut grass. So I'm going to just do that and then I'm going to just blend it out with a little bit of water on my brush. You do need, because it dries so quickly, you do need to work quite quickly. So we've got a bit of a, a darker shadow. I don't know if you can see underneath you can there. You can see a little bit. And you can, keep, you can keep on doing this and keep on building it up if you want to. And we can also come in and, and add a little bit more of the lighter colour. Okay, we'll keep the details for the translucent paints at the bottom of the screen. So if you do want to have a look at those different options, they are there. At the side of the screen, don't forget that bundle of stamps, that huge £17 saving getting the two A5 stamp sets, 286, and the dinky stencil as well. But all together, you know, we've got four sets of stamps, but I don't know if anybody's added up how many actual individual stamps there are. There's quite a few. There is, there's and a lot. And some are really sizable as well. 903478, with that flex, if you want to take advantage of it as well. Okay, so let's build a card up. So I've got all my elements that I've, I've coloured in. Some, K, some of them K's coloured in, I think, as well. Um, because I like to use them. So I thought what we'd do is perhaps stick a border down here and I've just gone in with a very faint uh, amount of the Sargasso Sea okay. as, as a background yeah. around there and I've just edged it with, um, I could have used the metallic paints but I've used, actually used a gel pen, a stardust pen and I thought what we could do is we could pop either the, the kind of, we call it the stringy tree, the slender tree the one I'm quite jealous of tree, kind of one there. <laughs> so that could go up there like that. And then we could bring, I've just fussy cut the happy okay. and the Christmas. Oh, don't they work beautifully? Those so they, they could well. work Lovely. like that. Or alternatively, you could go quite funky and bring in this tree here and lob off the... Um, lob the, off? Yeah, lob off that bit there and have that at the bottom. So that would work too. They, they, they could be the little legs to a, an elf as well. They could be. They legs. could be, yeah. yeah. We're going to go with this one, though. So shall I stick it down while you're doing a recap? Do you want to do that? Catherine? Sorry, what was shall that? Shall I stick it down while you I do a recap? <laughs> you stick it down. <laughs> no, I was, I was counting something up then. I do apologise. That's all right. And I was thinking about ways of using elf's legs. <laughs> I think you could have them dangle out and just draw the little Well, I'm just going to use my... You'll sit um, that down, Julie. I did hear you. I'm going to use my grab and, glow, grab and go glue that I can't dig, even say. Dig. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to... Yeah, we're going to lob off down the counter then. Let me just tell you, though, <laughs> that 27 individual stamps, we believe, have counted up rightly in those sets there. That's why I look like I've nodded up. I was counting stamps. <laughs> <laughs> 903478 is the item if you want to go for those. Do you know, they are amazing. I'm just going to quickly grab one or two more samples as well. The vines. I love the vines. Look at the background on this one as well. Not only the vines being cut out. Who did this one? This is Rachel. Rachel. One from Carolyn next as well. Yep, there we are. Lovely. Using that tree that Julie has just uh, shown us there as well. I particularly like the branch. You've got that lovely sort of branch there with all the decorations on. You can change those around. You can use those however you wish. If you want to keep it really simple, just your simple tags. There's a number of these tags, and they all sort of follow through. So it's like one branch. Let me see if I can get these in order before I... Yeah, that's how it works. So if I grab these in two hands, I think what Kerry has done is lay the three tags together, stamp the image all in one go, but then as you separate these, you've got three individual tags. I love that idea. That works so well, doesn't mm, it? It does. Very nice. They're clever ladies. They, they really are. are. Absolutely amazing samples, as always. So take advantage of the £17 saving there and the Flexi Buy. All you need to pay is that £24 and how many pence was it? 98 pence. There we go. Now, don't forget, we've got some happy hour deals as well. You need to be quick with these because, of course, the price will go up at the top of the hour. If you're looking for some bases other than your cards, then you can't go far wrong with these, can you? The MDF tags, you've got 40 individual tags there, different sizes, various different sizes, so they're going to work for all sorts of projects. Even if you want to keep them as actual tags, they're perfect. £12 saving, £12.99 is the price, 552 
1419. Another happy hour is the crackle medium. If you've never used this before, well worth treating yourself to a pot of this. It's going to go a long, long way. Yes, it is very addictive once you get going as well. Five pounds saving, just 9.99. 710947 is the item number there. Then we have the 3D snow. You can't have Christmas and winter without snow, even if it doesn't happen really. It's got to be on your projects. You get two bottles. You can see there without the lids on what a lovely fine nozzle they've got as well. So it's very, you know, easy to direct where you want to place this, whether it's fine detail or larger detail. 772-714 is the item number, only 9.98 for this hour. And then if you want to add those lovely lights to your projects, you can do so as well. If you grab these now, you've certainly got yourselves a bargain because there's a £15 saving, just 14.99. Now I can tell you actually, there's three of the warm white there and three of the multicolored as well. So you've got the best of everything. 102898 is the item number there. Batteries included, remember. So you don't have to worry about finding batteries for those. Right, a quick reminder as well of one or two other items. So the stamp set that's in front of me, Winterland Wood. This is so beautiful. I think it's very elegant. Uh, if you're making lots of cards and you want them, you know, quite quick, you, th these are going to look as though you've created them and taken a long, long time. Beautiful backgrounds, a little bit of ink in there. Break these down, not just for Christmas. The fact that you've got those castles in there, you could use the trees and have enchanted castles in the woods or the forest. The stag with all that detail there. The little rabbits are so sweet as well. Let me just turn that around so you can see all of the elements. Eight different stamps there, already mounted for you on the cushioning as well. Only 19.99, 719, 919.97. Then we have, a, a, I was going to say a bundle, it's not a bundle actually, because these are different options, one item number, but you've got different options. They've all got savings on as well. So you can go for one, two, three, as many as you wish, as long as we've got the stock. 9.99 is the price, you've got a two pound saving on each. Let's go through those designs again, because there's definitely something for everybody. Deerwood is the first one here. I do like that. Do you know, I can see so many ways of using that as well. I mean, the shadow boxes again would work beautifully. You could add leaves to the trees if you wanted to change the seasons. Lots of ideas. Then moving along again, if we're looking at the deer forest there, you can see, yeah, beautiful stamp once again. I like Julie's idea of adding that twinkle in there as well with your stamps or your, your gel pens or something like that afterwards. A firm favourite, I've got to say, of mine has got to be the next one. The beautiful Flourish Baubles. You know, you don't even have to put the baubles on there. Use them individually. Use the baubles. Use the snowflakes. Use the flourish. Break it down. You've got options. It's absolutely stunning. Then down at the front, we're revisiting um, our winter wonderland. Love how the snowflakes are in the foreground here with the trees. You've got the twinkle. That could be the moon shining through the trees. It could be the sunshine. It could be a reflection. It could be whatever you wish. And you can see that the image is actually 90% of the actual size there. I know it doesn't really help that I'm here and you're watching from home, but if I do turn that around so you've got an idea of the size of the stamp, but it is larger than the image on the front of the packaging. Then we've got the gingerbread nutcracker. There he is. Yeah, lots of elements in that one as well that you can break apart. You can build up those little scenes, the little stories as well. The next one we've got is the gingerbread house. So much detail in this one. These are illustrated by Janine as well, who has illustrated all of the stamps in the first bundle, in our Christmas bundle. And then finally, in this selection, we've got the Stag Cliffhanger. <laughs> they were leaving us on a cliffhanger then, weren't they? Look at that. Break that one down in many different ways as well. But actually, it's a stamp. That is such a wonderful stamp. I really do like that design. 450373, choose the one or the ones that you wish for 9.99. There we are. Then, of course, we do have the stencils as well. It's a pick and mix, any three. Very quickly, we just go through the different designs here as well. Uh, the first one, you could call it a snowflake, but the official name is the Lace Mandala. The Lace Mandala. Let me see if I can... Oh, I've left those uh, pieces of card at the other end. Not to worry. I've got one or two samples here as well. So as I see relevant ones, I will show you. Lace Mandala, that's the one Julia used in demonstration. So you saw the effects of that one. Next one along, we have the Damaged Dots. So it could be a snow flurry. It could just be a dotty background. It could be whatever you want it to be. Could be dandruff if you want. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? I'm just thinking of. That came from.
from the gallery, def definitely. No, it was me. It was just something that popped into my head. Uh, then, of course, <laughs> then, of course, we've got the first of our word stencils. Oh, was it Debbie that asked about the effect, how we got the effect? Yes. I think so. Deborah, yes. Deborah, I'm sure Deborah's put her order in now and she knows how to do that lovely effect if you want the sparkles, but you can use whatever mediums you want to create with those stencils, of course. Moving along again, we've got more words for you. We've got Spirit of Christmas. All the same style font, Julie, here, yes. but different size fonts. So, you can so they mix all work together. Yes, yeah, absolutely. love it. So if you want to just go for the words, you can do. Down at the front, we have our beautiful frame. This is very handy. This is the vintage frame. I think the words are on that sample you've got your hands on, actually. One of the um, there's a, actually, we've got sparkle and glitter. I'll show these in a minute, because when we've got our damaged snowflakes, these are going to apply. But that's our frame. We've got damaged snowflake coming up next. Let's have a look at the stencil, and then I'm going to show you some samples. And you can see some of the words. Some may be from stamps, some may be from the stencils, actually. But if you look at the background here, you can see you can see the damaged snowflakes there. Also in the other card, I'm going to show you as well. There we are, beautiful in the purple. A little bit of shimmer in there, and then you've got that lovely sparkle effect again there. That must be the slappy ton and the, the sparkles again, I think, Julia, is yes, it? I would say so. Looks like it, doesn't it? And there, another technique again, embossing powder has been used on that one. Very pretty. Uh, finally, oh no, it's not final. We've got the damask next. Is that, that's a damaged damask, isn't it? Yeah, okay. And then the final one, we've got more words for you. This, these are the family words. We'll just show you that one up close as well. Um, right at the bottom, we're just, just finding it for you. We'll bring that up nice and clear. Item number 545378. These are your 6x6 stencils. Any three, remember, for 9 99 On the website, not only will you find those stencils, what about your... Your gilding plates and your flitter glue, we've got different options there. The one on the screen at the minute is the Sheffield Steel. We'll just switch that around a little bit. We've got Copper Kettle and Chariot of Fire. Lovely. There we are, 9 99 You do get the Potter Flakes and the flitter glue as well. And again, these are going to go a very long way. 139974. Let's head back to Julia, though. We've got a little bit of time left. Oh, have we had another email as well? Oh, from Paula. Now, who's Paula? I'm sure that rings a bell. Do you mean Paula? Mm, might be Paula. <laughs> Paula Pastels. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Paula. <laughs> oh, no, it's our very own. Oh, it's our very own lovely Paula. And she said she's prepping for her own shows and she's watching as she preps. Thank you for the lovely Christmas birthday mention she loves that idea yes p.s julia we are still friends on facebook <laughs> only on facebook not in the studio maybe yeah, dog and what bone. have you been that's, doing that's it's, it's, it's paula she's like a dog with a bone she's yeah uh, oh, hello, paula. Paula. i'm not paula's prepping mm, mm, that's exciting mm. what are you going to be showing us next julia are we going to use the gingerbread house Lovely. So I thought we'd stamp that out. I've got one. It, it takes a while to colour it in, so I'm just going to stamp it out for you. Again, I'm going to use my Nocturne Versifying Claire. Um, I think it looked rather nice if you used, stamped it with a brown ink as well. Uh, so perhaps acorn or pine cone, which would be lovely. You can see as you apply the ink, you can see how much detail there is in these stamps. Um, I mean, their rubber is just outstanding. It really is. Um, so we just pop it in the middle here and you could just have this you know you don't have to fussy cut I've cut fussy cut one out but you don't have to uh, you can just uh, pop a sentiment on in fact we'll pop a sentiment on so you can see how your card would look okay and uh, this is the largest of the slim gyms that I'm using here oh, that is such a sweet image it's absolutely beautiful isn't it absolutely gorgeous so that's just, in fact, that's a I great one for masking as well and having little characters peeking yeah. from around the side or something yeah. like that. Yeah, it's, it's a great one full stop, really. Yeah. There's my warm winter wishes. There they are. So I've actually take, I've taken the foil off my smallest slim gin, I, uh, the, the, the cover off it because I wanted to use it. So if we, we could just take our card, stamp that there and that and we could just mat and layer that and that could be a card that we do. 
Aww. just as simple as that so it doesn't need to be complicated obviously yeah. we're going to do a little bit more with it but that's what you could just do so whenever you see uh, stamps like this you've got I think you've got so many different ways that you can use them because you can go from just uh, stamping you can go stamping and embossing you could use your gilding flakes on here and the gilding flakes will pick up every single detail here yeah it really really will well, we saw that from your earlier demonstration yeah when yeah you it really really will so you can actually do so many different techniques with them um so we're going to do a background now let's grab a piece of paper so i don't three make a mess left, Julia. pardon three minutes three minutes right da, 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 da. quick 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 so um using my new distress oxide my prize ribbon we're going to just use a couple of the stars from the um same set actually the uh warm winter wishes okay so we're just going to stamp them kind of randomly and we don't need we, we're going to have card in the middle but you can just take different sizes i'll just do a border actually and um add it in you can actually stamp with the paints as well obviously the beauty of having um your distress means that what you could do if you wanted to is get a clean clean brush i'm just going to remind everybody as well the color that julie is using is part of a new launch actually for ranger is it it must be today the one day special yes yeah, look at actually yeah i can see it across the studio so leone's in later it is the most beautiful color we had a sneaky peek yesterday. Now you're starting to draw that colour out, Julia. It is lovely, isn't it? It's it is, and blue. it's very different to Blueprint Sketch, which um, it kind of uh, it goes more purpley when you pull out Blueprint Sketch, whereas this one's more of a true blue. So you've got a choice, really, as to whether you use the stamp just as it is or whether you pull the colour out, because remember, it's water-based, so it's yeah. going to react to water. So I've done my background already and um it's here so this is me testing in the middle because i know i'm going to cover it up and i've just used some of the bluebell paint on a bit of foam just to edge rather okay. than using the distress because you don't have to just edge with distress you can okay. edge with the paint just into the last minute julia You're so really um well. the snowflake kind of um border snowdrops whatever it is just the same way with the slap it on and the unicorn Aww. sparkles then the colored in gingerbread and then our warm winter wishes I've just cut out with one of Phil's circle dies. Oh. So there we go. Do you know that little gingerbread house is so inviting as well? It is. With a little glow in the window. Yeah. It's beautiful. And just coloured with the translucent paints. Love it. Oh, if you do want to go for the gingerbread house, it's under an item number with various different options. So do have a look at them all. They're A6 stamps. Our stamp sets. Nine ninety nine, you've got a two pound saving today, four five zero three seven three. Do have a good look at them all because there's something for absolutely everybody. Julia, it's been an absolute delight. Thank you. You take care going home. Do you know when you're back with us again? I shall see you next week. I'm in next Tuesday and next Friday, so the tenth and the thirteenth. I've got oh. two hours with um, Fairy Hugs on Tuesday. We're out of time. Menu coming up. Thanks, Julia. Bye. Bye. Not long before she's back again. Don't miss her next week. We've got Clever Prince coming up next with Charmaine. And then, oh, it must be, yes, it'll be the final call for Clarity Stuff. I had to check the clock. Then design and sew. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B. Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows. Kay Fassett is a distinguished artist, designer and author who has used his background in knitwear design to create an expanding range of bold and beautiful fabric prints for the patchwork market. I will be bringing you a wide selection of beautiful fabrics at fantastic prices.
Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Hello, welcome back. It was going to be a really professional start, that as well. I was just fine-tuning it for the last few seconds. Um, well, listen, you've heard her already. Is that what you're saying? You may, you may as well say hello. Hello, shall we? Hello, Derek. <laughs> hello, everybody. Oh, it's going to be one of them shows, everyone. Yeah. Uh, right, Clever Prince. Yes, Clever, uh, Clever Prince are a company that have a bunch of designers and also Emma Blake, and Emma Blake is usually the first that you see in her designs. But it's you today. But today, yeah, it's a last minute show. Um, and we're having With a no new prep. wiggle, aren't we're having, we? Yes, there's a brand new die, which is a circle wiggle. We love it. We absolutely <laughs> love it. <laughs> it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Given the things that you didn't want to hear that we were discussing in the bridge between the last show and this show, <laughs> this is the, just the last thing really we want to see um, oh, yeah. right now. But, um, well, I'm going to let you explain this, uh, Yeah, well, we I? don't have any dandruff stencils. <laughs> no, no, I know. A wiggle and dandruff, they would make great bedfellows, wouldn't they? <laughs> So Completely. we've got the wiggle circles um, and my interpretation of what Emma's produced here is uh, to cut them inside, 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 inside of each other, put them together. Um, the concept, I, I'm no idea, I've, <laughs> I've just totally lost oh, it. I no idea just what, the, con there, yeah, what yeah. the concept um, was behind it, whether yeah. it's layering dies, but layering dies with a little bit of a twist on there. I know in a live in create with clever prints last night she did um a few different shape ones yeah and then put characters on them and built up a um journal page awesome journal so page. great fun so so great for creating that kind of dimension i guess through the wormhole kind of thing isn't it but in a very very <laughs> slightly different way <laughs> that's something you shouldn't say in front of charmaine uh, 944786 is the item number. Thank you very much, dearest. Uh, it, there is, you go. it is kind of hot off the press. Yes. So there is no samples here other than what I've just been trying to I get love it. Long. You've just been, just been beavering away all day, haven't you? When yeah. you've got the number telly, she's been putting everything together as well. You're yeah. going to be doing some more with this in this hour as well. Well, I hope so. Yeah, I uh, hope so. There's another well. little one that I finished off, which is just in front of Ooh. you. So, and the one that you've got in your hand is one that I've got to finish. Oh. I'm hoping to do that one in which the Which is demo. the other one? The one in your hand. This one? No, no, put that down. This one. <laughs> this one. <laughs> just. <laughs> this one. Derek, do whatever you like. Love. Yeah, OK. Uh, there you go, then. So it's seven dies in total there for you. £14.99, oh, uh, making a £5 saving, uh, which is brilliant. Now, half the stock's gone, because we had a very, very busy show this morning at... 10? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, that, 11. I don't, I don't 11 know. it was. Was it 11? <laughs> yeah, it was 11. I'm still on the way here. I was meant to be here, but I'm still on the way. Uh, £14.99 um, is your price tag. We'll see more of that as we go through the show. But listen. Oh, approaching... 60% of the stock of those sold out and gone. Um, really, really good. Not surprised at all because uh, very, very flexible and versatile. And I think maybe it was that that made you thought, hmm, ooh, ooh, what can I do with these? What an adventure for layering up, for decoupaging, for taking you on a journey. Lovely. So Clever Prince, wiggle circle die set. A new wiggle on. 
the get a wiggle on. today. Right, I need to get a wriggle on as well, because otherwise Charmaine will never forgive me. She wants to do some demos today. <laughs> no, you, right. you keep going. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just going to say that this is all buy one, get one free. So you pick and mix any of these stamp sets here, uh, here, here and here, and the exits are here, here and here. Uh, A6 <laughs> and A5, um, fabulous different array of, uh, of lots of different uh, yeah, designs there. it is. It's an eclectic range there of pick and mix. So the ones that have been on before, obviously, yeah. um, ladies and gents can top up on if Absolutely. they haven't got them in the collection at a yeah. fantastic price. I know that the Monster Collection, which is the A5 ones, were around about £15 when Emma launched those, mm. um, and the others ten ninety nine. so that's a not massive save, and into it 80 is getting one free on that at ten ninety nine each. Coolie woolie, isn't it? Yeah, really good. Well, we all love a, we all love a bit of a sale, don't we? It's like a mid-season sale, everyone, but do take yes. advantage. This summer, could be the... sale. Summer, summer sale. Summer sale. Summer sale. Oh, yeah, sale, it is summer, isn't it, summer. apparently, yeah. allegedly. Is I it feel summer? warm. <laughs> Huh? Or is it my age? I feel warm. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Y you're slimmer than me. No, it's not to do with that. It's, it's, it's the temperature outside, isn't it? <laughs> it's a funny old time at the moment, isn't it? Sort of, sort of warm, but not. Doesn't look warm. Um, anyway. That's Look at what you've got to go in. <laughs> what you need to do is you need to go on the website here. <laughs> what I would suggest is putting the mute button on, not listening to anything either of us say this hour. <laughs> go to the website, go to your app, and just enjoy the pictures, but put something calming on in the background musically. Um, <sighs> that'd be the best thing to do, really, wouldn't it, Charmaine? Yeah, chill. Because <laughs> we're here, the lights are on. But, I'm <laughs> but not... there's nobody on. <laughs> no, oh. no, everyone. Oh, those, are the, those are the monsters, and they look so cool. That's Bashful Bevers. And then you've got one of the ladies there. I think that sample's by Julia with a lovely lady, which is one of the mindfulness girls. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, but they'd make great Christmas cards as well, wouldn't they? Yeah, you they certainly would. You them up for Christmas, so, you know, all, re all year round <gasps> things. And then, they got it there, uh, as I said it. Look at that. All appeared for it's you. Like you read my mind. And, and there's a massive pile of samples. And look, 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 look. That one's Lady Gaga. Spike. Oh. Look at the legs. Nice. Yeah, she's very. Um... Or is she called Going Gaga? Going Gaga. <laughs> it's Going Gaga. I knew it's Gaga. Oh, I wonder, if, <laughs> wonder where they got the inspiration for her name. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Moving on swiftly. I think that's really cool. Isn't it's it? Stamp, stamped out, and then the eyes are like blanked out, and then mixed in with the dyes. Looks cool. Love it. Please mm. make sure that you um, dive in and have a good rummage around because it is the summer sale. You have got, I don't know how many different, how many different choices can you see in front of you there? What is it, 10, 15, something like that, different yeah, no, choices? Yeah, I think that's all. I think there's a few more. It's on buy one, get one free. Now, is that limited to one buy one, get one free per customer? I don't think so. Well, it, better, it better not You'd be. find out when you click your button. That'd you? be the good thing to do. You wouldn't stop us having more than one pick and mix, though, would you? Oh, I'd say bet, buy anything. Absolutely. Anything on the website. On everybody's stuff. Fill your, fill yeah. your crafty boots. Buy from boots. the whole day. Buy everybody's. Um, <laughs> Sir oh. Quiff. We need to find Sir Quiff. There he oh, is. Oh, there he is. He looks like Elvis to me. That, that'll that be like, in about five years' time, I'll, I'll have a piece that looks like that, once all my uh, mind's <laughs> gone. Um, this... Limited and also, is that this one here? Yep. Bubble Bird. Bubble Bird. Yeah. That's now limited as well. So there are 19 different options. Once they're gone, they're gone. Two of the 19 are limited, and it's buy one, get one free. Uh, and the exits are here, here, and here. Uh, <laughs> right, okay. 360 679 is your item number That's for those. Good. I'm just waiting here. Please hold. <laughs> your call is important to us. <laughs> so I've gone too quickly. I've gone too quickly again. Always. Every single time. Right. Dyes now. Now, there's a bit of a deal going on in the dyes, is there not, as well? Do I believe? I think it's another one of them bog-offs. <sighs> I'll tell you what, these are good. And I know how popular these have been, because we've seen them. Yeah. Um, they are returning favourites. Returning, returning favourites. Returning uh, favourites. bog-off. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and they are cool. I love the fact that they're red as well. I mean, that's, that's funky in itself. Yeah, and love not, them. All, not all of them are red, are they? But, uh, no, not all of them. But it is, them. But it is funky. But you know what I mean? I, yeah. I think I'd be drawn to the red ones first. Yeah, me, me too. <laughs> love that big heart. Um, really, really cool. Um, and, of course, die cutting, so much fun, isn't it? Paper piecing having fun, creating lots and lots of different projects. It's cool for you um, if you want to build up, instead of using like MDF pieces, you buy it, you make it, and then it's done and gone. With yeah. these, you can die cut, glue them together on team layers, and do the, then do the same effect. Yeah. And you've still got the die cut ready to do more. That's a good idea. 
And also, the good thing to do when you've got a good set of dies, just keep die cutting, um, just die cut them out in your favourite cards. Like if you're a, like me, like a sparkly magpie, um, glitter card kind of person, just keep just keep die cutting them out. Um, and just keep and see what comes to you. Well, that's kind of what I did with uh, the wiggle um, circles. It's got to be done, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing samples build here up as and well. See what you get. Mercy. Well done, team. Good job. They have Absolutely beautiful, beautiful samples out there. She's got an awesome ah. sample. Uh, a DT team. Lovely. And there's lots to go at actually in the different sets. Um, so there are what? One, two, three, four, five, six different sets. Um, I'm liking this one because this one looks very sort of functional, like the. The closest to a nesting set of dies yeah, that you've got, got here. Yeah, you've got the tags there, and mm. then at the side of it, you've got extra, like, border pieces as well. I like love you, them. And you can extend by just keep die-cutting and make them bigger and things, so they're really quite funky. I love the fact that there's kind of not a millimetre there yeah, lost. Yeah, they're not, like, rectangles, neither, like your shop bought no. ones. They're wiggly. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting a wiggle on again. Yeah, absolutely. And you can see how they all mix and match with all the different lines that are there. It's brilliant. I quite like, actually, because this is going to just, just take you out of your, your comfort zone a little bit as well. Um, and just... Get you know, your creative juices yes. flowing. And it. it is that time of the year now, isn't it? Uh, where, you know, kids are off summer holidays, there's time to fill as well. So this is something that everyone can get involved in, whether it be the die cutting, cutting or being the colouring. Hello. That what? is awesome, Sam Paul, isn't it? That. And that's from the, uh, all those hearts. I, I am that. loving that. that. Beautiful. Who created that? There's no name there's on no it. There's no name on it. Oh, <gasps> whoever did it, amazing. It Sorry, I would credit beautiful. you, but there, there's no... It's, it's the wrong that way around. That is definitely a piece of artwork to pop on your wall, isn't I it? I love it. Look at how dimensional that is. That must have taken a lot of work. A lot of work. Uh, so it's pick and mix any two of those die sets then for you for 1998, which is really, really cool. Right, shall we see what else? Oh, let's go back to the wiggles, actually. Let's get a wiggle on if you want one of these now, because we're now looking at two-thirds of the entire stock has gone. So uh, if you want to make that die set yours, then you better wiggle it just a little bit. That's enough. We don't want to be writing checks, not at this time of the day. Um, so grab that, because it is very, very versatile. Lots and lots of different shapes there for you to go at. Um, some more inspiration coming from Charmaine through this hour. This is the last live hour with Clever Prince as well. So do take advantage of those ridiculous opportunities. Basically, most things on the show are uh, buy one, get one free, which is pretty good. I love it. £14 and 99 pence if you want to get a wiggle on. Well, lots of you are. Lots, so many of them have checked out already. Uh, do check out everything else on the show. So if you want to have a detailed look on the website, you can. Right, Mrs. Where are we starting? Okay, going to start, start with the wiggles. <laughs> the wiggles. She's got the wiggles, the wiggles everyone. Circles. So I've got two of them placed in there. If you go to the overhead now, I'll pop them in the machine. Um, so I've chose the largest one and then one of the other ones. I'm not going to say which number of it is, but I've put two together. So I've got a large... I'm going to have basically three pieces when I cut it. One, two and three, yeah? In the machine it goes... And what I need from you, Derek, is that piece in front of you, because I'm going to use that as my uh, Peter Blueness. Oh, I see. Yeah. Peter Blueness. Yeah, Peter Blueness. So we've got... Just um, watch, it'll all make sense eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I might do, might not. So, so we've got the, the first piece. Now, if I'd have cut that nice and neat, this was the start of the previous hour of the piece that um, you've got in front of you there. Mm. So that was, like, the backing edge, and then we put layers on it and kept going like this. Ah, uh, OK. So yes. at 11 o'clock, I made yep. that one and explained it. I don't know whether I explained it well or not, but <laughs> I think we got there in the end. Of course you did. So then the pieces... Yeah, look on Rewind, but not now. <laughs> Yeah, not now. <laughs> Anything can happen now. You can't leave so, it. If we take our tape off of there, we're left with... These are really funky clouds as well, if they were cut out of, um, you know, white and put some fluffy stuff on. Yeah, also, that I think snow big, that Julie's got. Big boulders and rocks and things yeah, like that as well. I yeah. think they'd be great So, there's, you know, there's quite a few options with it. So I'm mm. just going to whiz the die-cutting machine to one side and... Um, put the plate with it because I'm always lo losing that one. So this is what we've got. Now, what I've did is I've layered up different pieces. So I'm going to take a piece of um, the Dolly Dimples Mixed Media card and I'm going to take some PVA glue and we're going to... Oh, have I blocked it? Yeah, and, and I've also cut out of the Dolly Dimples black. 
Both of which we have available on the show, ladies and gentlemen. Details are on your screen. <laughs> and watch out for the exits. <laughs> yes, they're still here, here and here. <laughs> okay, okay, Actually, so I've got... closed them for now. So basically, I cut out some funky shapes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in another die set, because I'm greedy, because I've got all this stash to play with. Yeah. Which is this one. Now, I haven't actually broken these apart. So I ran this one through the machine, and this is called I Care, and it's in the pick and mix. So it it's is. It's I Care die set, and you get all of those. Now, I ran it through the machine like that. Yeah. And when it comes out, you do get the little indentations in it, but if you... And I've also left it like this, because if you want to break them apart, this is as easy as it is to break them apart. You just bend those little notches that are in this there. Bit, isn't it? Yeah, well, I quite like keeping them together, but obviously yeah. you can put them back in. So you just wiggle those. See, yes. we're doing a lot of wiggle yeah, in the day, direct. Yeah. And wiggle that one out. Isn't that cool? Love it. Oh, I like that idea. Now, that that is the sort of daffing that I would do. Uh, because I do like running them through the machine. Sorry, the voices in my head said buy two at this price, keep one together. Oh, we'll break the other one apart. <laughs> I'll break the other one apart. Ooh, that is but frivolous, when you do run it? them together like this, you will get those little notches in there. But it depends what you want to do with your bits afterwards. That didn't sound right, did it? Not really. Right. Like in the new hair, by the way. Oh, thank you. Well, uh, I thought I'd change the subject. From the skunk then. stripe on the back no, where we're not with the ink. No, it's all good. <laughs> Such a lovely colour. So, I'm going to do a little bit different with this one. So, I've die cut these as layer upon layer, and of course, you could do the same sort of technique as what I'm doing with the circle ones. And I'm going to add these two to my car. No, because that just looks too stereotype, like, you know, gooey gooey, mushy mushy. And I'm going to run that one back <laughs> bit in. Bit too here. romantic. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's just, just, just not doing it for me. And then we're going to add some of these lovely little dangly bits as well to it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, and this is basically what I did. I die cut all the bits and pieces out. I messed around on a piece of paper so we could have one coming all the way down and then get that one like, oh, do do. We've got that one up there like that. Do, do, do. And then we'll have this one next like that. And do you know what? Let's have one, rip it to bits, and have it coming in at a sidey angle. Why the heck not? So I'm going to pull it in two. Sounds barbaric. I wouldn't do it with hearts because I wouldn't want my hearts to be wonky. It's just one of those things. But I don't mind doing it with this one because this one's like a teardrop shape. So I'm now going to trim this. But if I didn't trim this, I could extend that one, couldn't I, Derek? You could, absolutely. Yeah, heck, why not? Right, so if I trim that one and I extend that one like that, and it starts giving us um, a background to play with. Right, next step, once I've got it like that, I'd take a photograph it. Yeah. And then I'd move it gently to one side and then start to bring in, like, glue the bottom layers because I've got these over. Does that make sense? And I can refer back to my... I would do it on my phone, my phone where the picture is. So, and I'd probably end up changing it around again. That's a good idea. Okay. Uh, can I just jump in you with a can. quick update? You jump in. Uh, another wiggle. Everything's wiggle today. <laughs> I can find you another variation of the word wiggle, aren't I? Uh, wiggle tags. That's this one, isn't it? And this is in the uh, dyes pick and mix. Uh, is now limited stock. I love the fact that there's, there's no uniformity to that whatsoever. That's what makes it so incredibly wonderful. Look at that. I mean, the shapes just go all over the place. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to dazzle your eyes there. Uh, but look, and I love the fact that you've got this, which I love. I love both of these because you can interpret these, couldn't you, Charmaine, in so many different ways as you well? You can. So I'm seeing... shall, we, shall we grab one of those okay. and run it through the machine as well, Derek? See, I am seeing the... Um, the the bone that runs through the middle of a very, very elaborate fish of some sort. A fish with a bone. Oh, you yes, yes, you, yes, 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 yes. You know yeah. I don't know why I was thinking of um, the flint rocks instead of stones. Ah. <laughs> I don't know, but that's what I thought you were going to be going Oh, with. no. Right, so I'm going to grab um, th three dice. So you've got those two really long ones, yeah? Yeah. And then you've got this um, little uh, little one here. No, I have actually got one that I prepped, but Erin and Mia, you've not got many left now, have you? Oh, you'll have to be very, very yeah. quick. Oh, in uh, fact, technically... Right, well, 
I won't use them two, but I do want to show this idea as well. Because the hook, you don't cut here and here, so we'll ah. tell you, the die doesn't cut here and here. Right. So you can extend, extend it and get a long piece. Yeah, yeah, And yeah, this yeah. is something that I, I personally really like. Can as you well, slot the tag the So then I cut out the tag Ooh. and the tag can cut in, and obviously both of those. I like that. So that, that. was going to be part of a demo. Characters could go that. in there as well. Exactly. Use that as a balcony, as a fence, as a anything, what, can yeah, you? We won't use that. <gasps> now, the same well, thing. Got it, Same principle. Yeah. With this one as well. So you've got blooms and more dye. Okay. This one doesn't cut here and here, so you could carry on extending that, or you could have that cutting into your card for pockets as well. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now I have die cut this flower out of this one and put it on my table ready for a demo, and that's run off and on. <laughs> So, back to what we were doing. So, this is the one that I've glued down, and I'm just going to add these two pieces. So, get that one. That one. There we go. We just get that one round here. So, I'm using uh, one of the hearts where I've put two in together. Well, I didn't because I didn't actually break them away, as I've just explained. And I'm going to put that one on top of there. And to me, a heart is, is not just a heart, because if you layer it round, you've got a flower shape as well. Of course okay. you have. I need yeah. to jump in again. Jump, you know, every jump. time you use something, yep. it disappears. How 80 percent now of... This is called eye care. Oh, bless you. Thank you. I do. You know <laughs> I do. And you care, because you brought in lovely sweeties earlier. Yeah. Um, when they're gone, they're gone, by the way. Is that a little dragonfly there at the bottom, Charmaine, on that one? Yes. Now, oh. also on there is um, Breathe as well. Yeah. So you've got words in there, but I've yeah. put Breathe on here. Okay, and it's beautiful, right delicate um, yeah. hand, um, Emma's yeah. handwriting, um, and it's just glued onto there. Now, when I did this last um, last night, I wanted to put... Uh, <laughs> thanks, guys. Oh, Lewis is stock now. <laughs> You're not going to get anything done today, right, are so you? I'm not going to use them bits on there, am I? No. <laughs> yeah, they are... Um, yeah. Once right. they're gone, they're gone. I'm going to have... Be quick. Just, just going to have a little wee powder. OK. With That's a wiggle. Fine. And we I'm like winging it, don't pink. we? Yeah, well, I've been winging it all the time. It's winging it with a wiggle. So, with my piece all glued down, because we've still got these divils, haven't we? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, OK. I'm going to add um, some watercolour. So, this is the Intense Pencil. So, I'm just going to run it around. Because I've glued them on, you've got a nice edge, because it's raised up. Yeah. Um, you've got a nice edge to work with, so I'm going to place some, gl some glue. Where did the glue come from? The no, glue's already on there, Maybe that's me. the next step. <laughs> no, I think oh, I've that's underneath already. That. Yeah. So I'll add my colour, pop my pencil back, turn behind and grab the water brush, and then I'll just pull that colour out. So that you can luscious, go isn't whatever it? colours you want inside it and make some kind of funky artwork. That's so like a... Um, it's the intense pencil, the, the watercolour. But it's like a really, Amazing. like, lush nail colour, isn't it? It does, doesn't it? Like, yeah, shocking. Have, you, have you got this in your... <laughs> in my repertoire? <laughs> I have to say, in that regard, your nails are very muted today, may I say. Oh, uh, they're really sharp and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> you were here last week when I brought one. Oh, did you? Oh, Beastie went down my top and I freaked out and snapped my nail off so low and into the skin. Ooh. I said rude, rude Ooh, words. Yeah, well, no, yeah. really? Sure yeah, me? bottom fish bananas. I've never heard it. <laughs> Not from you. <laughs> <laughs> Not on air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think my mum would ever forgive me. Did we bring you up right or drag you up? Oh, it's all right, say? it's fine. So pop your watercolour on or your pens or your pencils and I'm going to go funky on the hat at the top but I'm going to change the colour uh, down at the bottom. Does that make sense? Yeah, completely. Okay, I so love you it. can see how that's coming on. So I'd, to be honest, I'm, I want to have like purple in this section. So just going to scribble on some colour there. I've not rinsed my brush off so I'm going to get that pink in there as well. Listen, these pencils, are they on the show? No. <laughs> so we can't get them from here? Um, I think you have had them on. I think you need to bring them... Well, I think we... They're not to. mine. Oh, they're not yours. Okay. Oh, no. I what wish they, they were. Intense. I'm okay. sure you've had them on before. They're doing... Oh, but, okay. But, you know, watercolour pencils. Any water have a little look. Shop by brand on the website, Derwent, because Derwent's a brand. I have a feeling. Here. I have yeah. a feeling. Have a little look. Have. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. producer Kim's having a look, so you don't have to. You're welcome. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm sure you have at one point, which I am. 
I can't say how I bought them here because I haven't. I bought them in an art shop. Per They're pretty cool, though, isn't A few years they? ago, yeah. They kind of do the shading for you, don't they? Because you, you, you go in with the thick bit and then water it out, and you've got shading there, too. Well, that's the you? same with watercolour. So any watercolours, you could do that. But uh, these feel especially kind of punchy. They are punchy. They are well, punchy. You, well, you wouldn't use them if they were, you know, if weak, were no. weak and, uh, you know, <laughs> no. weak and watery. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I have tried some in my, they have to, in I mean, my a, time. A pencil so, has to really be a pencil for you to... To me, me personally, what I would do now is I would leave it to dry and I would go back in with more colour and more colour and more colour, but not selling pencils, are we? <laughs> no. So, so that's that piece. Do you want to do a quick recap and then we'll come back and we'll try oh, and do a quick Pleasure, demo. my darling. Of course, as okay. always. So, uh, let's... Let's thank you very much. Uh, let's wiggle, shall we? Ooh, uh, ooh that felt good. Um, <laughs> let's do that again later. Three quarters of the stock has gone. This is what you get. These are your seven dies, and it has it has the cute little heart as well. Um, you can create some wonderful, wonderful things. Am I allowed to touch this again? Though? Yeah, I'll be all right. It's drying in the air. Um, and these are the kind of um, shapes that you can create. And that's a little bit more of a graphic way of, of, of seeing what it can do for you. It's lovely, isn't it? And then mix, if you manage to get the, um, whatever the um, die set was called with the hearts on there. I care. I care. <laughs> I care's gone, isn't it, now, though? It's yeah. gone. So if you manage to get that well done, because, you know, you can see how the hearts work so well there. But there's lots and lots of different things you can do uh, with um, the wiggles. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds wrong, that, doesn't it? It sounds like something you need cream for, doesn't it? I've got the wiggles. <laughs> um, anyway, anyway. <laughs> Shush. Uh, <laughs> it's not your turn now. <laughs> Keep that thought in your head. Um, anyway, yes, so that gives you an idea how you can create that lovely dimension. Just lift up the layers and just, you know, it gives you that instant kind of mystery. Yes, it is a little bit like a diorama, isn't it? Where you can see you've got the, the multiple layers there. This one. No, the blank card. With oh, this on. one, darling. That I was going to glue to that one. Oh, OK, yes. Yeah, so then it would open up, so it would be a diorama. The other thing that I, I suggested in the first show was, mm. instead of gluing them all together and putting them on with foam pads, yeah. if you scored it at one edge and glued them all together, you've got a book with all those circles. So do you remember, oh. do you remember the one with the furry thing? Oh, my gosh, this is going to go really oh. bad. It was the worm. I hate oh. guessing games with you. <laughs> <laughs> Especially that's it, that's it. The caterpillar. Thank yeah. you, thank you. Thanks, kid. Yes, you saved me there. <laughs> yes, yeah, and you opened the book and it was a bigger one and he was eating an apple and things like that. Yes. A little bit like that sort of thing. Yes. I mean, I've got the vision of Alice because I absolutely adore Alice and going down. Down the wormhole. Yeah, so as soon as I seen them, that was straight in the head. Yeah. yeah. That's a really good idea, actually. And you just put in a couple in at a time, <gasps> but you can see you can do it. Yes, because you, yeah. you could have all those fixed at one side, they would open that way. Yes. The panels at the back yes. could open the other way. Yeah. So you could go. Yeah, and the, all other, the, way in. the other one is um, it was, uh, I spoke to Kay Rutter the other day, and yeah. she said from Hoogie, who used to do Hoogie Bard. Yes. And she said, what are you doing? She's on a video call, making me laugh. She said, what are you doing? I said, I'm playing with this new die. Oh, I've got to have that. She said, well, what does it do? And when I showed her what I was doing, she went, oh, yeah. And you could do that, but you could have those concertina bits at either side of us as well. Yes. Um, to enclose it. And then that got my brain going, and I thought, oh, what about making the little boxes? Yeah. You know, like, the, almost like the cigar boxes? Yeah. So you score at intervals. Now, now she should have come up with this one, because she's like the score queen. Yeah. Um, say one inch, one inch, one inch, and an extra one, so you've got five, and then glue the fifth one to the first one, and you've got the tube, yes. and do that for each layer, and you can build it up. And it, if it's glued at one place in a certain way, it would slide that way as well. I love that. If you want, you know, the depth on Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And, a, and a well... Uh, and then Paula we mailed in. Yeah, go on. And she come up with loads of ideas yeah, as Oh, well. yeah, I bet. So there's a shaker card, which um, I pinched <gasps> plastic off my package. And yeah, 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 yeah. do a shaker card. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, the one that I've done underneath this here one? is just two pieces. The second one is folded in half. So if you turn yeah. that to the side, yeah. the second piece is what you're flipping. Yeah. And it's just folded in half and yeah. glued at one edge. So it sits almost like, you could also do the, oh gosh, what's the other card called now? Oh, I can imagine all the crafters screaming at the ship. Screen, screen, sheen, sheen. Yeah, <laughs> The Telly. easel card. 
Yes. It's as hard with it, but I just oh, use Oh, blimey, I knew the answer to that. I was going to say it, but I thought, no, I'm going to sound silly if I get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, darling. Yes, it does, because it will kind of hold its own, because it's got yeah. that extra layer there so as well. So you've got your cards, and you can do yeah. your matting and layered with them, and they're, not, yes. they're not like the perfect normal circle. They're yeah. quirky. Yeah. So you can build up on top of each other. You can do your invitage and your pyramage or yes. whatever names you like to give them. So yeah, you're building yeah. up those layers. Um, See, yeah. there's so many ideas. And look, it all, starts, it all starts as this. And there's a little tiny heart in the I middle. I know. I think it's, got, it's kind of got to be, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, there's got to have a heart. I was just thinking, actually, when you mentioned Paula there, I think there's a nice synergy between this and, and her boundless journal. Oh, ah, yes. Now, well, she came up with lots of ideas for it straight away, and mm. I messaged her and said thanks for the email afterwards. And yeah, like, yeah. Ooh, yeah, you could make much you could do. Of course you can. Yeah, of course you can. And, and listen, if you've got any ideas right now, you've got yeah, half an hour to get, yeah, get your <laughs> ideas in as well. <laughs> Studio at the .com. See if we can try them. Because we would, we would love to hear from you. Right, OK. Oh, uh, OK, so 80% uh, now of uh, the Wiggle Circle dies. Uh, sold out and gone. Remember, this is brand new on the show today. Again, is is this a once it's gone, it's gone? Yes, I was told so. Uh, w w we oh. think so. We're trying to get more, but we're, we're just not sure. So, um, again, because they are new today, first bite of the cherry is always the sweetest, is it not? Yes, I think so. Uh, so, 944786 is your item number, 1499. Although nobody agreed with me. Nobody agreed with me, Charmaine. No, I couldn't listen first. To and my man was elsewhere. Oh, okay. Sorry. Say it again. I'm ready. First bite of the cherry is always the sweetest. Uh, definitely. Absolutely. Positively, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> She's just saying that for the telly. I did have three of, uh, is it Lewis's? Three cherries of Lewis's. Oh, right. Okay. Lewis, I think I'm just going to move on. Did I you missed... not get any cherries earlier? No, no, no. I was late today. Lewis, that's why. That is your, that is your anyway, name. Did you? It? Did you? I walk around in a daze, as you know. <laughs> It was fruit. I think I'm fruit, fruit blind, to be honest. Anyway, listen, uh, let's move on. Quickly. To uh, pick and mix. Buy one, get one free, basically. And you've got your choice of... Is it still 19, Kim? Have we still... Oh, no. Because we've said goodbye to a couple, have we? OK, so 17 options. Why don't we just take those out of the equation? Yeah. No, that's all right. I'll, I'll, sh I'll shimmy that one up and we'll pretend it, they were never there. Uh, well done if you managed to get Bubble Bird and the other one that sold out. There was a, there was a fish, Bubble Fish, and, and something Peace. Quiff, that's it. Anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about them. They've gone. There's where they were. Um, there are now 17 options to go for. They're wonderful. I think it's, it, is the, yeah, it, is the st it is the start of the weekend, isn't it? Yeah, I love, Thursday's I love Frank that Friday, window, isn't that, it? That secret weapon Sims with all the little tentacles and things. I love them. I think they're all good. I think they've got great imagination. They um, they're just totally, totally bonkers, uh, which is what we like. Um, let me show you some more samples. Oh, look, I've got a little book now. This reminds me of the size that, um, like, nursery rhyme books were when, when I was smaller than I am now. Um, look. So, so cute. This is a concertina, so this one just keeps going and going and going. So you could build up a little adventure, couldn't you, with the characters from these um, stamps? Sassy chick. It's a storybook, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really and you can keep them forever and ever and ever, mm. couldn't you? I mean, you could turn them into birthday cards, you know, any type of greeting cards. They're so quirky. They're so, so, so sweet. Uh, and I think they'd be cool as Christmas cards, too. Yeah, I do. A bit different. <laughs> Let's go off, the, you know, it's not like, like this has been a normal year, has it? So let's have a really abnormal Christmas card. Um, let's start that as a thing. And I love these ladies. They're just, they're just great, aren't they? You've Full. got to love the ladies. <gasps> Shall we play with the ladies next? You can do what you like. <laughs> Dr. It's your show. <laughs> if you would like to do that, that's absolutely fine. Um, here is, is it Kaylee from the, uh, yes. from the D team? DT team even. Isn't that beautiful? And look, it's a lovely dream catcher. It's got, it's got feathery beads and everything going on in it. That's quite cute, isn't it? Um, so listen, um, take your pick. Have a little look through the website at all of the options that are available. I'll say all of the options. Um, it's now down to 17 out of the uh, 19. They are buy one, get one free. And once they are gone, they are gone. That's absolutely it. So this is a summer sale opportunity for you to go rummaging through the marvels um, of Emma's Fabulous designs. are just great, aren't they? Oh, I love them. Oh, look, it's party time. You're invited. 3rd of May. Oh, we missed it. Oh, it was here. It was here on the 3rd of May. We missed that. Party time. 
Oh, darn. Anyway, uh, right, invites. Yes, they'd be great for that, wouldn't they, as well? 360-679 is your item number. Remember, it's basically um, buy one, get another one. Free, isn't it, basically? Pick a mix, half price, £10.98. Right, my dear, what's next? Or yeah. oh, am I carry on going? Oh, sorry, <laughs> there's me. I'm being lazy, aren't I? I thought that's it. My bit's done no, now. get some work done, We go Derek. back to Charmaine. Oh, I don't know if they make you work here, don't you, my old bones? Uh, right, the dies. Um, now, we are down from six options to five now, aren't we? Um, I care. I've just heard um, there's a couple that have bounced back, which is really, really good, actually. So if you missed out on I care, the one with the big hearts in it, and you've got your wiggle on, and you want that heart to go with the wiggle on, then you need to get a wiggle on and get that checked out. What happens with our baskets, by the way, is that um, once you fill up your basket and you've got bits and pieces there, um, a 10-minute clock timer starts ticking. So people sometimes are waiting to see, oh, they're going for a look around the website or... I can't find that card or whatever it is. So for some reason, not all orders go through. Some people change their mind to different configurations. Uh, so sometimes that happens. But these we still have. Um, so you've got, oh, sorry, I thought it was five. That's not one. That's the sample, isn't it, Derek? So we're down to four um, out of the six original options that we've got right now, uh, which are lovely. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Should we, should we name them while we're here? Just so that you've got that association sorry kim i know i've set you up for a fall there haven't i um let's go for the red one first take time bit of christmas in there as well i like these these could these could these could be baubles couldn't they not baubles baubles um at the bottom <laughs> this one's called color yeah I think the, the clue's in the name there, isn't it? <laughs> it is. And then the one over here with the big flower on it. Blooms and more. That's the one with that lovely band, which doesn't yeah. have an outside cutting edge, so you can extend it. Oh, my um, pockets. It looks like a cheese grater a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, you could, couldn't you? Yeah. You could create little bits of cheese coming out of it, couldn't oh, you? Oh, you could This indeed. is all because Kim's hungry. She was just telling me how hungry <laughs> she was. That's made my brain go on to the food now. <laughs> anyway, listen, they are pick and mix as well. Choose any two for 19 98 which is brilliant. Oh, I've forgotten that one. Art <laughs> dies. This one here. Is that a big question mark there, isn't it? Is it, Charmaine? Yeah, big question mark. Because obviously you see everything backwards on a die, don't you? I love the art, though, with the drips coming down. Yeah, cool, isn't it? Very lovely. And another border of hearts there. A little... What's that? Is that the Loch Ness Monster? Or is it little rainbows? You decide. That's the great thing about these. You can decide and just have great fun uh, with it. Right, Charmaine. OK. Are, are you have... ready to do a bit now? <laughs> yeah, I'll try. I've got tick, tick, tick time, tick time, Derek. Tick time die. He's in here. I haven't <laughs> opened him up. You take it's like a... the Twilight Zone, this show, isn't it? It is. It's like a weekend. Here. I'm not sure it's if you're a bad influence on me or it's the other way round or it's a bit of both. <laughs> I'll call it six of one and half a dozen of the other. How about uh, you? Yeah. Deal? Yeah, yeah, I'll that, go with that, that one. I'll take half blame. Yeah. Right, OK, I've run, it through, I've run it through the whole lot job together. OK. At one pass. I'm going to, because of the words and the fine detail, I can see that everything else is cut, but the words want a little bit of a... Bit more. Does that this make is sense? Bl blooms and more. Yeah. No. This. This is. Um, this is. This is. Take, take time. time. Okay. Uh, and the Thank reason you. why I've got the dies together is because I'm being extremely lazy. But what I will do is get back in there. But Remember? normally you'd you'd get them all uh, separated and stick them on a magnetic sheet, I guess, would you? Yes. Yes. That's yes. the telly answer. Yes. 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 I would. In reality, but of course, no. there was no prep going on, so <laughs> I haven't even opened this one. <laughs> uh, and I have actually got this one at home. I do actually have this one, and I could have rummaged around in my box of dyes and found it, but um, I was given a new one, <laughs> which is good. Nice. I've got two now. I'm greedy. Very so good. I love the fact that you've got your negative space, so you can use that as well as a mask. So I'm just going to pop this to one side. That means you've just made a stencil Underneath. as well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. So you could use that as a stencil and ink through it, and I'm getting into a tangle because I'm hearts. Ah, you know what's going to happen now you've started using this set as well. I'll just say that. Well, I can go back to the house well, no, and bounce not, I... back out somebody's poor basket. Can you imagine if you're doing that in the supermarket? You'd be absolutely mortified, wouldn't I you? I see. Well, this is the civilised so... way of doing it, isn't it? <laughs> 
I mean, I've actually put things in somebody else's basket by mistake once, and <laughs> you know. <laughs> You remember the other half of the movie in the trolley and you pick something up and you've got to put it in and it's actually somebody, somebody else's, else's basket. Yeah. yeah. I haven't done that before, but I have, I have been in a, a situation where I've walked off with somebody else's basket because they had a very similar set of stuff. To, to... <laughs> I thought you were going to say they had a similar basket. <laughs> no, no, just a similar... It was a trolley, actually, which made it even more embarrassing. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, I'll show you how to break them apart as well. I have done that a minute ago, but if anybody didn't come in, if you want to break them apart, they come apart as easy as that. Yeah. And then you've got a little, little one on there. Just wiggle that one out. Right, so we've now got the delicate die cut. How absolutely awesome is that one? It's beautiful. Yeah. Right. Got that one there. Move that one. Beautiful, isn't it? I think I need to be a bit of a basket nagger. Oh, come on then, basket nagger. Always bar basket nagger I'm talk. glad you said that. Be careful saying that, actually. <laughs> um, if you've got something in your basket, I'm not here to nag. I promise you, you check out what you want, when you want. But just remember, you've got that little timer sitting next to your basket. Um, so if you want, because we've had people who um, I know will not have successfully checked out their baskets in time and then missed out on what they want because somebody else would have jumped in that tiny little window of opportunity. Um, and remember, um, when they're gone, they're gone. Um, particularly the dies and the stamps and the offer that we've got on, where they're basically half price today, you just go, you know, go shopping to your heart's content. It's like a summer sale. It's brilliant. Um, just grab them quick while you can and Ooh. check out. But as I pulled that one out, it kind of springed. So, you know, if you were doing like those floral arrangements, you could actually make it like spring. So it's coming oh. out, you know, the 3D things. Oh, cool. Uh, of course, if you flatten it down and you were writing and doing your journaling and things like that, or you just wanted a happy birthday, you could place it down that like that. You could die cut them a few times and you could really make some funky shapes and things from it. Quite like that. Didn't die cut it Ooh. for that piece, but See, that's cool, isn't that it? That would be good as well if you want to um, die cut out of um, foam and other okay. materials as well. See, the bits that I want always stay in the dice, don't they? Of course they do. So you've got that wonderful little tag. So imagine if you'd um, done the words and your Merry Christmas that comes in there and you've done it in a different colour. If you haven't done it in a different colour, take your pens over the top, which is what I'm going to do with time because I just like the word time. Time. Um, time, time. Yeah, give me a time check, Derek. What time uh, is it? We have 17 minutes to go. <laughs> tick, 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 so tick, tick. all the time in the world. Oh, yeah, could make three or four, couldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Right, so if I wanted to just colour tint them of my colour choice, which happens to be a bright pink, because I can, it would literally be, whether it be a felt tip, I'm using an alcohol pen, you could use a felt tip, or you could use your paints over the top of it, so you could change it to match um, your cards as well. So time on there, that's what I've got so far, so I'm going to go grab my glue, I'm going to go onto the back of my hand if it's not... Thing it up. Clog. Yeah, just a bit on the back of my hand there. Are you an embosser and, and glitterizer, Charmaine? I don't, I'm not sure if I've ever seen you emboss or oh, glitterize. Oh, em embossing powder. Yeah. Yep, and I've got glitter. I've brought glitter with me. Um, uh, yeah. Because you love your inks and your strong colours and your drawing. I've seen lots of that. Oh, I love embossing powder. Emboss embossing powder is what got most people into um, paper crafting. So yeah. it's uh, probably what got me into more into stamping. Um, was the embossing. Yeah. yeah, it was one of those when you sit there with your mouth open going, wow. It even gets blokes in, involved in it as well. You know, the other half that doesn't want to craft. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I do love embossing powder big time. Um, glitter, uh, my favourite glitter I've got with me is stickles. Because it's oh. flat or raised. And it's not oh. messy. Oh. But I am a messy crasser. So, I'm sorry, but I'm going to go with two different ones. And I'm now thinking, shall I make that one bright pink as well? Yeah, why not? Okay, the voice in our ears says so yes. the weekend. So we will put fingers there and we will um, well, delicately I... colour it yeah. in. <laughs> Extremely <laughs> professional. <laughs> no corner unturned. Yeah. <laughs> so you need a master class to be able to do this. Yeah. Not. I just take a long time. Yeah, there we um, go. Charmaine will do a longer Facebook Live at some time if there's time to... Uh, <laughs> just just do that flower. That technique. <laughs> <laughs> and then we <laughs> and then we would take something like a white gel pen and just give it I hope this is not my glossy one. No, that's okay. Give it is that there's a fine one. Just give it a little bit of highlights on there. You know, we could go all the way around and just wiggle it a little bit. Because that's what we're doing today. That's what it? we do today. We're wiggling. Right, so so far I've got one, two, three. So this one is from 
uh, the blooms let me get that blooms one there. And more. the blooms and more yeah and this one is from take the time. take time with the take time and the banner and we've got the hearts back yes uh Mm. Yes, just. Okay. So if I pop out the hearts, come, or maybe not that one. And then off the wall, this one, which is the take time. We've got these here, which are really, really cool little shapes. What and are the words on that one, shall we? Merry See, Christmas. Relax. relax, take time. Where are all the words gone? I popped them all out, didn't I? Oh, here we go. That's easy to read. So you've got relax, you've got to take time, and you've got Merry Christmas. Oh, cool. So you've got a good selection of words. But yeah. these, they're amazing. If you want to pass me back that piece there. Yeah. Thank you, my dear. So imagine I've done those out of black as well. You've got the teeny weeny ones. Mm. Oh, they'd even sit inside. Quite groovy, aren't they? Yeah, they are really groovy. Yeah, it's definitely a 60s piece. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, you yeah. can keep layering on top and get all these different shapes. So you can see how that one, um, you know, if you sat on the fence of I'm having this, this particular one, which other one would I throw in my basket? I really like that set. And then, of course, there's the whole layer. This was supposed to be a quick card, Sherman. Right. That's right. And then, of course, a... the holly in there as well. Right, so I'm going to move this over as a card, just like that. Matte and layer, and that, to me, it, it is enough. It doesn't need any more. Hmm? That's my personal opinion. Yeah, no, you're um, right. Then, if I trim this piece that... Because we've got that back as well, haven't we? Yeah. Yes. So that slot there. So if I trim that off and eat and tidy, and maybe I pop that inside there... Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, you could do white and white, but it's absolutely awful for you guys on the telly to see white and white. Yeah. But I could colour tint that in and that could sit on there and pop in as if it was a piece inside here as well. Or like I did before, because the tag's all gone. Uh, yes. All right, we won't do no tags. <laughs> um, I can move... Well, you used it, you see, and that, was, that was what started it. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK. I can move on. What I've got is the wiggle the wiggle card, and what I did is I've glued a piece of um, plastic, which is from packaging, down to there. So I've used two of the wiggles, mm -hmm. and we've got that piece for another one. And this was the one that I stamped in the previous hour, and I've coloured them in, and popped it on top of this one here. And when I put... Let me explain this one. I put the wiggle in, wiggle in the... Um, die cut machine yeah but i did it the bigger one than that but i placed it so that my car didn't come to here does that make sense so yeah this oh, bit okay. didn't cut yeah so when i open that up it's, it's given thing. me a, sh a shaped card nice. yeah nice do you get it yeah then i've stamped on top of here because i know we aren't going to have time i've stamped the textures off the flowers and textures all the way around the edge there it looks really bizarre because i want it as a background for that to sit on top of there yeah cool isn't it Okay, really? so the stamp that I've used is called. I have forgotten his name, you poor fellow. What is your name? What is little, your name, little, my dear little man? You Ali. are called Myrtle. Myrtle. How could I forget Myrtle? Myrtle. 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 <laughs> there. So we've got Myrtle on, and then if we put that die. Ah, uh, where we go? Du, du, du. Can you repeat that? Myrtle the owl. Could you repeat that? Myrtle the owl. Myrtle the owl. Use myrtle. Is that no, what no, 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 no. Uh, no, she was, she was saying if we've got time because the, the stamps are now getting busy. Of course, because you've used one. Oh. Um, so uh, <laughs> it tends to happen. I know. I should so, stop using things, shouldn't I? So I need to <laughs> just before we, we, not that we are going to run out of time post taste but because the stamps are getting busy it gives me an opportunity just to remind everyone how darn good the deal is and when they're gone they're gone Go and on. there's quite a few to go at isn't there there is indeed should we have a we have a little look while you're playing with your dangles yeah i'll play with my dangles and you can recap okay let's let's look at the stamp shall we i'm gonna hide behind this i hide behind this um right okay we are talking about a pick and mix here uh, which is basically a buy one get one free Wonderful, wonderful stamps. Uh, the A5s usually retail at £15. Um, oh, actually, yes. Yeah, so does that make, in some cases then, depending on which combination you pick, better than half price? Is that what you're saying? Oh, that's all right, isn't it? 
Oh, I'd be looking very carefully at the numbers then, and we go, oh, right. But yeah, well, yeah, I'm not saying slyly, just buy the big ones. Buy all the biggest ones. Make the biggest savings. It's up to you. But you've got lots of different things to go out there. You've got the characters, you've got Emma's wonderful characters, you've got the ones with wings, wonderful words in them, lots of different textures, backgrounds, uh, zany creatures as well. They are brilliant. I love the way that one says, I know you have to look upside down to see it, but it says nom, 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 upside down. That's brilliant. Because that's so, so, isn't it? It's one of those things that yeah, we do, you find yourself saying... Nom, nom. <laughs> yeah, you find yourself saying it, don't you? You're like, what am I doing? <laughs> well, that's what she's done with a lot of her words. She's used, uh, you know, like, what do we call them? Emerisms. Yeah. Uh, and with her uh, strong accent, it's really pretty Oh, she's got cool. a cracking accent. Yeah, yeah, she up, up there in, in the northeast. <laughs> love it. I love shopping. What's that stamp called? Which one? Uh, that's Lady Gaga. Lady Jasper, sorry, Lady I Jasper. Gaga Gaga remade. Yeah, off of um, Lynette from Pretty Curtis Gritter. Love it. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? Love it, love it, love it. What a gorgeous set of teeth she's got there. Uh, anyway, so there you go. Uh, grab that now quickly while you can. I love this. Jail Burbs, isn't it? Is Burbs shorthand for something? I think that's what Emma calls Burbs, Burbs. Oh, Burbs. Yeah. Okay, right, yeah, of course she does. Honestly, you two. You two. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. I know. Ah, oh, so you do meet some characters in this world. Uh, <laughs> let me show you some samples while I just wreck the joint, as I always do by breathing too hard. Uh, right, there you go. Fabulous. Just shows you how you can use those gorgeous, gorgeous characters in lots and lots of different ways. And it just shows their uh, mixability. I was, I was just about to get this off of that, and then realised it's connected, Derek. <laughs> Because that's what you do with card making. You connect things and you animate them and you and you create dimension with them. Honestly. I need to get more time in my craft room at home, you see. That's the problem. Although I've, I've still got... You remember some of your lovely handcrafted papers that you gave me? Oh, yes. From your other hat? Because I didn't want to put them in the uh, back yeah, in the Yeah, because you didn't want to take them home. Said, you can have those. <laughs> you take them, They're Derek. They're great. I love Rat them. presents. Do whatever you want. I love them. For, for my Miss P boundless journals. Oh, I love it. It's with the one that looks like leather. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, really, really busy for the stamp sets. I'm not at all surprised. Especially, actually, um, is it just, is the one, yeah, especially, I have to say, this, the wings. I remember, I've seen this on air a couple of times, and it's just so loved. It's called Believe in Yourself, by the way, so if you're pick and mixing, it's called Believe in Yourself, and that's the one that gives you, there's something about the shape of those wings, Charmaine, do you agree? They're very, they turn to be very, quite iconic. Yeah, you've got one which is Explore, which is the leafy, the leafy yeah. one, which I'm going to use, and this then the other one, one which is yeah. Believe in Yourself, and they've got loads of quite dramatic words in there as well, lots of words, Ooh. you can almost make your own, and little tiny dragonflies and things. Is that using, is that using the heart from the, from the die set? Um, I can't see, show again. Sorry, there you go. Oh, I'm really struggling to see that. Yes, it is yeah, indeed. I think yeah, it is, isn't behind, it? Yeah, yeah, so you can, all, you know, mix them up. This I is the best it. thing about shapes, isn't it? Yeah, it's so fabulous. Uh, design team, you need to put your names on the back of them because you're all fabulous. And, and I can't say hello without, without your names on them. Although I did just see Denise's name. Uh, so congratulations. Uh, 360679 <laughs> is the item number. I mean, I've shown like 20 samples and credited one DT team member. <laughs> I feel forever ashamed. Well, there, sometimes so there is a couple of us that will do samples for the collection. Um, and we don't put our names on each other's stuff all the time. Well, I certainly don't. I'm not bothered about the glory. I don't need to read my name out. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, OK, good. here we go. Are you ready? Right, go for it. Right, so we're going to use one of the lovely girls. And the lovely girl that I have chosen is called... The stamp set is called Give It Your Everything. Give it your everything. Is, give it your everything. Give it your everything. Well, you've got uh, so five minutes to yeah, give it your everything, Yeah, I thought you were going to say Charmaine. something like that. And we're going to give her wings. So I have stamped her masked master on a piece of uh, cream paper. We pop the stamp set back and we will give her her wings so she is going to have wings which are the explore if I bring that one in so you've got all these lovely words in there and little dragonflies and little flourishes and things uh, to mix in so we we'll give her a set of wings so you've got a lefty and a righty and I think these would make fabulous flowers I have a feeling they'd also make a cool like dress as well I have a feeling oh, that I yeah. think one of um, Emma's or a mermaid's girls did, tail. yeah did do it um, with this. So we get that lined up, get that mass properly, hold that little magnet there and wing it. There mm -hmm. we go. And down we go. 
So the wings are obviously going to be at the back. That's why I've stamped the girl first. And then we will stamp. No, we, we definitely clock tick tock are not going to have time to colour. And we place this down, but maybe I'll end up doing a live. Oh, so I don't know. If that's you did, in. If you did the flower technique again, you might. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So you got um, the group is called Create with Clever Prints. Yes. Um, group also the, in the Facebook page. Also, they're running a competition at the moment where you can win. I think it's the end of the month by showing your makes. I think fifty pounds worth of goodies. Ooh. So I spotted that today. What did you say that page was called again? Crafting, no, Create with Clever Prints. Okay, we'll go and look that up later then. Okay, you're going to enter, Derek. What, oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> but I can go and look at and see other people's can. wonders. Right, so there you go. There's some beautiful stuff in there and um, the customers have bought some. I must say thank you to two of my uh, my personal DT yeah. um, who have bought this collection previously and have been Facebook posting their mix as well. So that's Anne-Marie and Sue. So thank you, girls, for, ah, well for done, sharing. Lovely. That's amazing. I think I've actually put the wings on the upside down. They should have been the other way around, but I just I like it that's as right. it is. Now, I'm also going to use out of um, Lady Jasper this fabulous background stamp as well so you can see how all these kind of mix together with each other so we're going to get um, some uh, some ink on really really fast and if I want ooh, if I wanted you want ooh? Ooh, yeah you want um, ooh? if I wanted to stamp it as a background I should have had the whole lot of mass but I'm not so... I did want so I'm just going to be carefully positioning it here and then I'm going to position it over here as a second generation one to create a background. And then I'm going to bring it down here and see if I've got anything left on there Ooh, as they're well. They're like animated stars, aren't they? I Remember know, they're when, cool. Um, you and I are of a certain well, you don't age. Make that we'll no, don't no. make me old again. Don't make me old again. I told you I'm 18. You're not, I know you're not. Pinocchio's but, here. But you, what, all I'm saying is that you will so. remember, as I do, uh, watching on Saturday tea time, watching Wonder Woman. <laughs> yeah. And in the title sequence, they had all these stars, yes, all these action yes, stars yes. going on. Were they on a pants or a top? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, on a yeah, on the lower half, I think, weren't they? Yeah. Were they? Yeah. It was stars. Okay, I'm taking some. Um, what do they call it? Stickle. So I would colour her in. I have actually done her hair. <laughs> I know it sounds a bit bizarre, <laughs> but I coloured I coloured her hair in, and I thought I might raise her hair up. So, so I'll just place her on at the moment. Ooh, so <laughs> there's like her hair. That. Actually, it doesn't look too bad without any colour on. <laughs> Leave her hair on there. So. Is, is yours going to be like that by September? But my hair. Yeah. <laughs> We've just had a haircut. It might go blue again. It's been a while since the blue. <laughs> it's been five years since I've had funky colour hair. Right, here we go. So all I'm doing with the glitter is just using my fingers and dotting it about. So how simple is that? And that, that again would be, uh, where's that Merry Christmas? You're just underneath. So if we add the Merry Christmas, so we've used a monster stamp. Oh yeah, and Christmas we then, Angel. Then we, yeah, we've used, used uh, the Mindful Girls and they have wonderful, there's wonderful words in there. And then if we use the Merry Christmas, we're not gonna pop that out. Because that will take Because there's more. less than a minute. Yeah, because less than a minute. But if I Merry Christmas on that, I've then turned it into a Merry Christmas card. There is actually words within her dress, or with, there is actually words within the stamp set that will actually, move her hair out the way, will actually fit in the stamp set. So let's get that close and back to you, Derek. So you Love can it. go up the dress and decorate it without actually colouring. You could just use inks. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So it could create a little choir there. Yeah, and it you? says give your, uh, give it your everything. Obviously, well, that's what Samson, the stamp set was and called. And you could just go up and you could colour in if you wanted. So you know over what? to you. Do you know what? That was perfect timing. That <laughs> when are you back? Uh, very, very soon, but with my stuff. Yes, you are. Monday. Yeah, Monday. Monday. Fabulous time. Thank you. Fun. Oh yes. Oh, fabulous. Monday at six o'clock then in the evening yeah. uh, with more from Charmaine. Thank you very much. Check out your baskets. Thank you for your company. Stay where you are. Uh, right, I'm moving down a set now to go and rejoin Paul Church because it's the final, final hour of our Clarity Stamp One Day Special. And then more from Design and So. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque. 
and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. I am Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. We've been bringing lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings. And we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. Welcome back everyone. It is what we used to call Final Call. It is our last live hour for today's Clarity Stamp One Day Special. Um, and remind me our, our Ross where we are stock wise already. Okay, three quarters of the entire day's stock gone. So well done and congratulations if you have yours ch checked out because again, you've got more inspiration coming uh, this hour for you. If you haven't yet done it or uh, maybe you haven't had the chance yet to see and you're coming in at the, 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 the final end, often we don't have a one day special to talk about. Today, you are lucky. And it is one of those opportunities. We know, Paul, don't we, that with a one day special from Clarity, Every time you bring a new one, the numbers need to be slightly to that increase. little bit more because you've, you're growing a really, really big family of very, very loyal devotees, especially to the artwork of specific designers that you work with. Absolutely. And I think it all comes down to the quality of the product, the style of the product and the value of the product as yeah. well. So, again, we, we like to cater for different budgets. So you can buy the stamps individually, mm -hmm. beautifully designed by Linda Williams. You can buy a tea collection you can buy a coffee collection, or you can go for the whole collection. It is amazing. Can, can I hold off your decision, though, for a second? And again, listen, I'm not here to make your decisions. <laughs> you make those completely. Don't, don't listen to a word I say in that regard. But just listen to the, to the value and what we've got here as well. Let's talk, first of all, um, the tea collection. Um, and I love this. I really, really do. Because you've got the stamp sets. You've got... The best of what Clarity do, leading you by the hand in every single respect. So you've got that amazing artwork. Linda Williams is a very, very charming artist. There's great character. There's great sophistication into what she does, Paul, isn't there? That's right. I think it comes from her background of parchment craft, yeah. which has that traditional sort of elegance to it. And it, then it just transfers beautifully 
into the stamps. Uh, it's wonderful. I know, obviously, a lot of you huge, huge fans of the the Groovy Plate collection. Yeah. Um, that has given birth to this stamp set collection, hasn't it? Um, which has been so popular. And that is available on the show as well, by the way, if you don't have it. But I think the stamps are really, really interesting because you've got lots of, um, of focal features. Um, you've got lots of quirky little extras, decorations, borders, detail that you don't initially always see on first glance sometimes. But I think what, what is genius here as well is that you've included the, sta uh, the um, masks as well. That's right. I mean, it's something that Clarity brought out many years ago now. Previously, in order to sort of build up sort of like a layout, to put something behind something, yeah. we used to stamp onto a sticky note, mm -hmm. and then you'd have to stamp on that, and then you'd have to cut, cut it, it out, out. Yeah, in yeah. order to create the mask. Yeah. Um, so to have the mask included in these, I mean, normally we would sell a, a mask like that on its own for, um, I think it's about one pound fifty. Cool. So really, yeah. but that's all built into the price of the stamps. I so these individual stamp sets are nine ninety nine each. Yeah. So that's forty pounds worth of stamps just there. Okay. Uh, wow. Okay. okay. So you look at your your price tag then um, for the whole lot because it's not just the stamps, Paul, is it? Because you've got these no. lovely handmade paper flowers as well, haven't that's you? That's right. So in the tea collection, you've got these beautiful sage green handmade flowers with sort of embellishments within the middle of them, little gems, of some of them got crystals in there. So there's 87 components just to the handmade flowers and leaves. And we've also got some papers as well. That's right, so we've got Barb's Favourites Indian Summer. So you've got 10 sheets, two different designs, Beautiful. five of each. These are single-sided, um, but again, we've used them throughout the, the past five hours. Um, in addition to that, Barb came up with a fantastic idea of the postcards. Oh, I tell you what, if you haven't seen these so far, these are the most darling little addition to any collection. Um, it's just a real, real bonus. Um, it's one of the feature stamps in a larger scale on the postcard, isn't yeah. it? But look, 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 look. And how, do, how many do we get, Paul? You get uh, 10 of the postcards. Look at that, and it's a real postcard. And so, I mean, you know, have fun colouring those up. If you're away on your holidays and whatever, and you've got that real postcard feel, again, use that postcard to build up a project as well. You might might use it as the start of a mixed media project, or you might fussy cut that out and use it in some way. But what a lovely, lovely, lovely idea. Um, listen, can I just show you the four stamp sets on this? Because I know sometimes when we're whizzing past them on the camera, it's difficult sometimes to always pick up the detail. Um, so I'll show you all four. Um, because they are very, very sweet. The designs are absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at this. And again, you can keep continuing these um, borders. So you go right the way around if you want to. You've got your corner pieces there. Um, wonderful sentiments as well. Um, I think sometimes sentiments with less words say more sometimes. You know, like they can be really, really That's strong. Right. Yeah. And they're the right tone as well. Um, and again, think of all the colour possibilities for these teapots and the, and the crockery. I love this, and what you might not be able to see, ah, Jim's coming in for you, um, is look, you've got all of the tea varieties there. So chai and Darjeeling and chamomile and the one that we learned about earlier, the, the, the ru rubios, rubibos, rubius, well, whatever yeah. it was. It wasn't rhubarb, <laughs> was it, after all? No rhubarb, uh, no. Lemon ginger and, and lots more as well. And you've got the stack of cups there and the little steaming cup which says time for tea coming out. Um, beautiful. <clears throat> and when in doubt, make tea. Ain't that true? Ain't that true? It fixes everything, doesn't it? A nice cup of tea. Fixes absolutely everything. Lovely, lovely coordinating sets as well. So again, if you want to seam build with those, having the masks included is just an absolute genius. Isn't it beautiful? And look at that little ornate sugar bowl. Who has a fancy sugar bowl like that anymore? But you always want it, don't you? You know, if you've got, you've got the right people coming round, you want that experience. Um, it's lovely. Look at all of this decoration through here as well. I love it. Um, now listen, that's the tea option, but please, it is a £14 saving on that collection already. We're going to take, we're going to take that £14 and we're going to take it to the, uh, to the main collection. So I'll take that £14 saving and I'll show you the coffee um, collection. Yeah, I'll pop that in my back pocket for now. I'll give it back to you later, it's fine. Um, then we've got the coffee collection. Uh, uh, coffee and cake. Uh, that's the theming um, of this. And I have to tell you, 
as soon as you see the detail in the stamp sets here, Paul, you kind of want elements from both straight away, Absolutely. don't you? Absolutely. I mean, again, with Linda's illustrations, you can mix and match. So you can take some from the coffee collection and they'll work perfectly with the tea collection. Coffee is a cup of hope. Coffee and friends are the perfect blend. But look at those little corners that you yeah. can just do use with your other projects, not necessarily use it in oh, conjunction yeah. with these. Absolutely. Um, and again, I love that coffee pot. And I'm torn between this coffee pot and the second coffee pot. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. When you see them both together. Very traditional, but very modern as well. Well, listen, if you go for the collection, you'll get both anyway, which is fantastic. Um, I, I love that. And I love all of the possibilities of colouring. They're all the different types of coffees as well, including ristretto. Oh, we went to find out, weren't we, in the last hour what a ristretto was. We'll get Ross to do a little bit of homework, maybe. Um, again, these extra little um, elements there, which is beautiful because they just add atmosphere and dimension. I love that that floral decoration on that mug there. It's just perfect. You can see you can see the curve in there as well. I mean, and that takes a really talented illustrator, doesn't it? That's right. So you could use that as a poinsettia, it could be a, a ge generic sort of um, dahlia type flower. Yeah, Again, yeah. it just depends on the colouring. Uh, a ristretto is what, Ross, sorry? Short shot of a more, more highly concentrated espresso. Mm. Mm, sounds like one of those first thing in the morning things, doesn't it, really? <laughs> not, to, not after three o'clock, I'll never sleep. Um, OK, so on this one, you've got the cake, um, the cake stand. And if you're watching the... For midday show, yep. uh, Paul did an amazing little masterclass actually on stamping, but he also did some scene building um, using the big um, tray of cakes there as well, featuring oh, yum, 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 cream horn. And also um, showing you how to, if you coloured the cream horn, to actually bring back the colour of the actual <laughs> white as well. Uh, again, love the sentiments on this one as well. Cake it easy. You can do it. It's a piece of cake. And if in doubt, eat cake. Definitely. Ain't that true? Now, this, is, this one's really, really interesting because we've seen some interesting sort of final results from this set as well, haven't we, Paul, earlier? That's right. So this is Mum's Kitchen, so it's sort of like a, a, a part of a sort of a Welsh dresser. Yeah. Um, and again, during the previous shows, we did some paper piecing yeah. um, to show that you can just stamp it out, stamp it out onto scraps of your background papers cut them up and then sort of overlay them on the stamped image and they look so awesome listen it's not just the stamp sets because it's in in the in the coffee um set it's different papers and different flowers paul that's right so in the coffee um set you've got the beautiful pink blossom paper flowers so you've got, again 87 of those you've got this gorgeous my favorite one of my favorite is the toscana barb's favorite toscana papers um again two different designs um, and five sheets of each. Which they we'll are just come so into. atmospheric. Yeah, look, look at yeah they are. Those pink blossoms just work perfectly with those tones. Yeah. And, and listen, you, you don't have to use those papers. Those papers could lead you to more from those collections. Because oh, you do absolutely. those papers in yep, collections Yeah, so we do the well, Toscana. We've got the Indian Summer. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. And then we've got the lovely postcards in there as well. And look, it's the, the cake, cake stack. Stands. And again, in a slightly different scale, um, to the actual um, stamp set as well, because I'm just trying to find the stamp from the from the cake. So you can see it's on a larger scale on the postcard, yeah. which is really, really so cool. So again, the same principle. You could just send it so to someone uncoloured yeah. and let them colour it in, get some enjoyment out of it. Or you can just turn them into toppers. Don't have to use them as postcards. I think it's such a lovely idea. It's such a lovely idea. And we get 10 of those in the collection as well. So... Uh, again, we have got a £14 saving on that collection as well. So if you're going for coffee on its own, you can choose that option. But for now, I'm going to take the £14 saving from that one. I'm going to take this one out of my back pocket. So that's the other £14 saving. So that's £28 worth of saving. And I'm going to add them to the entire one-day special. So that's, what, £28 worth of saving. But this time, we get everything you see here. Now, in this collection and this collection, this bit in the middle wasn't there. So what's going on in this bit in the middle? OK, so this is um, a 5x5 five five pre-scored card blanks. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get 20 of those. Yeah. Um, together with the white Pergamano pencil and 20 of the envelopes as well. Which so is So basically, fantastic. if you go for the one-day special, all you would need at home would be some mounts and some ink pads. Yeah. Uh, and, we, and we have the mounts, just the mounts, 
uh, that you need that are on the show as well because clarity are really an A to Z of crafting. So when they create ranges, they make sure that you've got all of the right tools so you can recreate um, what you see in the demonstrations as well. Because, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of, I, mean, I, don't want to, I don't want to put numbers on anyone, of the team, but there's a lot of combined experience within Clarity. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Barbara created Clarity Stamp 28 years ago. She invented the see-through stamp. Yeah. And um, so she's got 28 years, just in the sort of the crafting, that's mm. prior to when she ran her own language school prior to that as well. So there's mm. a lot of sort of business sense there. Yeah. And sort of giving value for money. And then with the um, combining it with the talents of like Linda Williams, Mel, the various different designers, and then the in-house design team as well that takes their artwork and then converts it into whether it be stamps, stencils or groovy. And it is, do you know what the level of, uh, elsewhere on television, forgive me a second, but elsewhere on television I talk about cruise lines and there are your everyday cruise lines where a lot of people go and it's a very predictable offering and then there are different tiers of what you might call uh, premium or, or luxury. And for me, in the crafting world, Clarity is a premium product. It is a five-star um, product in terms of its level of sophistication. It, it, it does the right thing in the right way, is the right quality, is at a certain level of sophistication. But here's the difference, because usually premium, you pay a premium for. You can hear it in the word. Premium equals expensive, usually, doesn't it? But actually, because actually um, Barb, Paul, everyone on the Clarity team, they're everyday people. So you know what? They want as good a value as you do. So they won't put a bundle together if it's not great value for money. They know the kind of value that you want and you insist upon. And you know what? If you get good value and good quality products, once, twice, five times, 20 times, you'll still come back. And that's why Clarity have such a loyal audience and a loyal following decades later, nearly three decades later. Yeah. I mean, you don't stick around in this business for nearly three decades unless you're darn good consistently at what you do. Not just a flash in the pan, they do a good deal once a year. You've got to keep doing it, you've got to keep delivering. It's true, Paul, isn't it? And it's all about sort of the community. Barbara's always been about free education. Yes. Um, and selling you something and then showing you what you can do with it. Yeah. So that's why we have um, our Facebook pages, Clarity and Groovy Worldwide. Um, recently, well not recently, since lockdown, Barb has been doing the shack, which is I know, all I've enjoyed free. that as well. Um, and recently, we're now doing the Pergamano summer school that Linda Williams is doing, and it's all free. Yeah. And it, so, rather than just say, "Well, here's the stuff, get on and deal with it," we don't. We like to sort of nurture you yeah. and sort of say, "If you make a mistake, just keep going." And, and you, there's and people you guys there for are, guidance. You guys are some of the most relaxing people to spend time with as well, because you know, because you can see how much these people are enjoying it, and they're the people creating it and living it and breathing it. Um, okay, listen. If you are a Freedom member, by the way, because this is on um, two flexes, is that right? Oh, actually, let me show you this, because this this will explain it far easier and far simpler than I can. So. In essence, what we've got here is one of those deals where the saving is so big, because of course you get an extra 10% saving if you're a Freedom member, yeah. that it's what's called a why not. So you're actually going to be paying obviously more if you're not a Freedom member. Um, but actually with this, if you're not one, becoming one on this item still makes it more affordable. And then of course you can save for the rest of the month postage. I don't deal with postage, darling. I'm a Freedom member. Um, so I've, I've paid mine for the whole month. It means you can keep checking out on everything that you want to. So, for instance, you become a Freedom member by getting your one-day special right now. For the rest of the month, you can say, huh, fooey to postage. So Paul, during this hour, will mention other Clarity products, Pergamano, Pergamano products. You know, there'll be other bits and pieces that you can buy. Lovely inks coming up later as well. So you can go, oh, well, it, hang on, I've, I've, just, I've just checked that out. But I'm a Freedom member right now, so you know what, I'll, I'll have those inks that you've just shown me. Put to in basket, checked out, thank you very much, right? No, no extra postage. Um, and then you can carry on doing that and doing that and doing that as much as you want to, um, which is amazing. It is a brilliant, brilliant price tag, this, I have it to say. It is, and to have that combined savings, so with the £14 carried over from the two options, then the additional £12, that's £40. Yeah. And then an, an, another, another £8.90. Yeah. So that's £48.90 if you're a Freedom Club member. It's, it's crazy. And I would say on Sunday, Barbara's on two till four on 
on Sunday with some beautiful sort of elegant stamps as well. Ooh. And so, and there'll be a freedom discount on some of the products on that show. Okay. So again, so you're thinking, well, if you do the freedom now, yep. then you're ready then for Sunday. You'll get your extra 10%, you'll get your free postage. Yeah. And then next Thursday and Friday, I'm back for two different lots of shows. So again, so if cool. you love all things groovy, Pergamano, Clarity, stamps, stencils, dyes, the lot, we've got it covered well, <laughs> this coming there week. You, there you go. And plus, remember, if you become a Freedom member today, and listen, I'm, I'm not pushing this for any loaded reason. I'm pushing it. I'm not, push, I'm not even pushing it. I'm just kind of saying, you know what? It does make sense because postage is a real bugbear of mine. So you can become a Freedom member, absolutely. And then postage... Pff, rest of the month, and then you decide it. Stop, start it, carry on, do whatever you want. It's up to you. The alternative to that is not being a Freedom member and just wanting the tape runners that are on the show today. Yep. Oh, I forgot to put them in my order. <laughs> so that's another three ninety-five I'm spending. Actually, uh, should we, can we show those just very, very quickly, Ross? Sorry, I know I'm going off piece here, but they are such a good deal, and I've forgotten to place my order, so there's another reason why I want to show you this. We've got a set of four tape runners right now, £13.46. and pence. You get four of them, and there are 30 metres on each, which is why I, I need to get mine. So if I just checked out my one-day special and become a Freedom member, and not become a Freedom member, uh, and checked out, and then thought, oh, yeah, I could really do with those tape runners, actually. We've got the picture of them as well, because they're really, really good. There you get four 30-metre tape runners for thirteen forty-six. So if I wanted those later, I'd be like, well, that's a really, really good deal. I've saved for £4.50. But I haven't really, if I've then got to spend another three ninety-five on oh, yeah, postage. I've already ordered once today. Like, it feels like, feels like a negative, doesn't it? So really, bit. you're only saving 55p. Exactly. Exactly. Anyway, listen, you need those, so check those out as well while you can. <laughs> um, right. Enough of me. Enough of me, because this is absolutely brilliant. I am going to show... Yes, we're going to show you some... Um, show you the finished sample we've got a little piece of film here which just takes you through some of the uh, samples made up it's divine look at this And I've stood here and, and gassed at you for the last 20 minutes, so we're going to see some demo in just a second. But just one thing I do want to say about this collection in particular is that there are still lots of people in your life and around you that even though the world seems like it's all getting back to normal, for some people it's not. For some people they're still not connecting with people. Actually, tea, coffee and cake is a really inoffensive way of saying, do you fancy a chat? Why don't we just get together? Should we just get together for a coffee and a cake? Village Green? come to mind, we'll sit in the garden, whatever, whatever, whatever. This collection has got a lot of heart and soul to it as well. Um, and I think that's something to really bear in mind. And Paul's got lots of ideas, because this is not just for greetings cards, it's for, for lots and lots of different potentials, Paul, as well. Absolutely. I mean, last night um, during the 6 and 8 o'clock, um, it was an idea that Barb came up with. Um, so it's sort of it's great to create these little sort of pockets and they've got a coffee bag in them or a tea bag so in sweet. them. Um, so if you know someone that likes a particular brand of um, tea bags like fruit teas or herbal teas, yeah. then really, really quick and easy to make. I mean, I've used the car blanks to make these. Um, and just a bit of garden twine, you could yes. use raffia. Because I think the reason we put the craft cards in with this collection, because it gave it that sort of earthy tone, sort of the growing of the tea, yeah. the growing of the coffee. Yeah. And sometimes if you're working with white card, you can be a bit sort of overwhelmed because you think, I've got to take this white piece of card and then what do I do with it? Yeah. So to have that sort of more natural look to it. So these are great. So if you want to see how we did those, I mean, it's using our tag dies um, to create those. And we did that in the six o'clock launch last night and also the eight o'clock show last night. 
as well. They're so cool. They're really, really They're nice. Great, what a lovely look, idea. There you go. You could send that to someone yeah. as a little gift with some biscuits or yeah. a slice of cake and all done. Yeah, it would be lovely. In the um, 12 o'clock show when you joined me earlier, Derek, this is what we had a look at. We've got that beautiful cake slice. So these were two pieces created by the lovely D. And we showed how we could take the border to create a lovely frame. And then just creating that faux tag um, using our blank masks mm. um, to give that. But again, but what I forgot to show you on the inside, look. Look oh. at that. All the different types of teas. Oh. Sort of, if I bring it around to the, the other camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sort of just focus in on that. There we go. So you can see how you can just add a little, so again, a little bookmark. Yeah, how Look cute. See, really, really nice. And that's just using all the different little stamps. Okay, so we had a look at that. So I thought, what are we going to do? I've taken my inspiration for this demo from a card made by the lovely Jane Telford. And again, I'm going to make it smaller so it shows the versatility of the designs, mm -hmm. whether you want to go big or whether you want to go small to do the little lotlets. So again, even on these little tags, it doesn't have to be... You don't have to put a lot of work in, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I like the colour scheme there as well. Is there a slightly wintry, maybe warming mug of something feel to that? Yeah, exactly. Combo? So you've got coffee, you've got the lovely mug, and then just use it. So again, just use them as accents. Okay. So I thought what we're going to do to start off with is I've die cut um, some circles using our nested circle dies. So I've cut it on white card. Okay. Okay. And I thought last night during the um, eight o'clock show, we used our beautiful backdrop stamps. They were really popular. And you wasn't today. sure earlier on how exactly they work. No. So I thought what we would do is we'd take the inspiration from Jane's card and use our circle backdrop stamp to put a background Brilliant. on. Yes, because okay. we've got the ovals and we've got the rectangles. Oh, it's square and circle come as, as one. Oh, there's a bundle, Yeah, there's right. all different. You've got the squares okay. and circle as a bundle, or yeah. they're available as just the squares or the circles. Then you've got the ovals and the hearts um, available as a bundle, or you can buy those as individual sets. Oh, and cool. then you've got the rectangles as well. Now, I've only been using the smaller of the designs, but yeah. you can see how you've got that versatility, depending on how big a scene you want to do with your tea set. These are, I'd, I had never, uh, never encountered something like this. And you can imagine how many different shows, how many different you know, companies that come to us um, I've seen. And I think this is just a lovely, lovely concept. Um, I think you'll really enjoy it. And I think you'll really enjoy the, the, the flexibility it gives you in terms of setting it up and then the end result, which is just, well, I'll let Paul show you. OK. So I've die cut using our nested circles, just as a circle. OK, you could do this as a square. You could do if you've got nested heart dies, you could do that as well. So I'm just inking up using one of our lovely mounts. So I'm hovering. Once I'm happy with my position, I'm going to press down. I'm pressing on the flat of the mount. OK, give it a little wiggle to make sure it's nice. And there we go. Beautiful crisp time. Now, what I want to do is put the cup in front of the coffee pot. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. So, no, I actually want to put it behind the coffee pot because I've stamped that first. It's been a long day. Everything stops <laughs> for coffee. <laughs> you drunk a lot so, of coffee today, Paul, I've had, as well. I've uh, had <laughs> a few cups, yeah. <laughs> okay. What number are we on? Um, I'm probably on about 12 to 15 <laughs> by now. I have been up early. It's not as if I, so I didn't get up until sort of like 12 o'clock or something. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to take the mug and I'm going to pop the mug just behind there. So I'm just overlapping slightly. Okay, so it's all about the sort of the composition and just building it up. Okay, so we'll pop that on there and then I'll take the mask. So these masks you can use again and again and again. I think they're genius. Okay. So we just... Because it can't be up. an easy thing to make, I'm guessing. I don't know. And no, I know. mean, say, originally, before we brought out the masks, um, what you would have to do is you would... This would be stamped onto a sticky note, mm -hmm. and then you'd have to cut it out. Okay, and so... I mean, Dee was very good in her piece that she did earlier, and she cut out the inside of the handles, but would you really want to do that? No. Yeah. Okay. 
So we've got that in place. Okay, so I now. I know how to, actually, to be honest with you, quite apart from anything else. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my small circle backdrop stamp. And this is, this, these are just so clever. Okay. So you've got the, the carrier sheet, so I can position that over there to see what it's going to look like once I've sort of inked it up. Ah, okay, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, if I take a piece of copy paper, I'm going to pop that underneath here. I'll pop that to the side. Now, I'm going to use a selection of different ink pads. So these are our artistry mini ink pads, okay? So I thought I would go with, what one was I going for? I was going to go with the Lime Kiss collection. It's always the first top left one. So you've got 12 beautiful colours in there. So I was going to go with the Groovy Grape from that one. And from this one, I was going to go with the Lavender Dash. So that's from the Haystack. And there was another colour I was going to go with. What one was it? I think it was the Fancy Fuchsia. Okay, let's have a look. So before I actually apply it, what I want to do is I just want to squidge out a little bit onto here, so to see what sort of colours I've got. So you've got a really nice dark, rich colour, and then, yeah, perfect. Ooh, now with lovely. these little stamps, you've got the names on the lids, yeah, but they're also on the base as well. So it makes sure that I put the right lid back on. Mm -hmm. So I don't get them all, all mixed up. Because we've all been there. Absolutely. You put the wrong lid back on and then you go to use it. You haven't really looked. You think that's what that is. Yeah. Stamp out and it's like a completely wrong colour. Yeah. Wrong yeah. Colour. Mm -hmm. Now what I've done, I've also die cut a larger circle. So this is using the Toscana papers, Barb's favourites. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I've chosen my background first. Okay. okay. What I'm going to layer it onto. So I can then choose my colours to coordinate with it. Rather than sort of do a background and then try and find a backing a paper. paper. Ah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've learned that it from does make sense, when, we did, it? when we do the groovy yeah, system. Yeah, of course. Okay, so that you can see is a real sort of nice colour mix yeah. on there. Okay, so I put the, um, the stamp onto the second piece of acetate that comes with it. Okay, and I'm going to use our spot on sponges. Now I could. Let's take, I'm going to go with the lighter one. I could go straight on like this, okay? Now, because these are wet, mm -hmm. and because of the, it's this type of stamp, it's like a, a, a polymer stamp, yeah. you can see you've got that pooling. Yes. I couldn't think of the word yesterday, but it's yeah. pooling. pooling. Yeah. So if I was then just to stamp this out, let me just show you on here, it's all blotchy, okay? because the ink is just sitting on top. Yeah. Now you get a really nice effect if that's what you want. Yeah. It's quite sort of random. Yeah. But I want more of a, a softer background. Okay. So I'm going to use my um, spot on sponges to pick up the color and apply it onto the stamp. Okay. And it really doesn't look as if you're putting anything on there but I'm putting a base coat on of the, the lighter colour first, okay? It's very, very light. When we introduce the, the darker colours, you'll really sort of see. But that sort of pooling and the sort of blotchiness, you're going to get a smoother finish. So I'm going to take another so spot you on. giving a texture. Yeah. So again, we'll take, say, the groovy grape. I'm going to test it first on my paper because I know that's really, really dark. So you, then you start to sort of build oh, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we can really see it now, yeah. can't we? Yeah. Let's turn it into, rather than go on the, the sharp edges, turn it into like a, what Bob calls a mushroom. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we can see that a lot better now, can't we? Yeah. There we go. See, and then you're just, what you're doing, you're creating sort of like a blend of colours. Now I could go directly onto the stamp and use a brayer to smooth out that colour. But I like getting more of a sort of a, a softer, sort of blended tone. So of course using this, you could pretty much introduce as many different colours as you wanted to using this technique, couldn't you, I guess? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, if you go for like for the square or the rectangle, you can run the ink pads across to create like yeah. s um, stripes. So here we go. So we've now got more of that sort of bright pinkness 
into it. Yeah, really going for it now. But again, I'm just gently dabbing to create a softer blend. And it really doesn't look as if you're putting much on there. Okay. So I'm wanting to I'm going to introduce a little bit more of the dark colour. So I mean, we've got a great deal with the um, spot on sponges. I think how many of those? You Eighty. Get? Eighty. Gosh, do you know what? I was so busy watching you, I hadn't. I, I, Ross did say in my ear. <laughs> you have to remind me, Ross, all the time, <laughs> don't you? Because oh, I just let things drift completely. But I just saw the details, um, and, and Ross just said, and he said they, they're really busy, you know, <clears throat> and and you can see why, can't you? See again, if if you'd have checked out as as a as not a freedom member, if you'd checked out a, a, one of the bundles earlier and then come back to this, you'd have gone, oh yeah, but I have to pay the postage as well. That's why you need to be a freedom member because you 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 know, you know as a crafter, there are certain things that you've got. Well, I'll be honest with you, I've had other tape runners in my life and need some right now. Been to a couple of um, value retailers recently because I wanted to just pick one up in a hurry. Not none to be seen for love nor money in retail from what I can see. Um, these I saw today. I don't think I've ever seen a tape runner on a show that is 30 metres long. This, again, spot on sponges, something that you use. I mean, how often would you? Well, if you can use them for sort of blending like we're doing here, direct onto a stamp on a background. We used it when we was using it with the mask to move colour yeah. outwards. Um, and you could just keep one for each colour. Yeah. Because, I mean, if you've got, what was there, 80 in there? 80. I mean, yeah, yeah you've got a load That's in a there. That's a really generous size, actually. That's very good. OK, so we've got the, the ink on there now. I just want to just make sure I've got, I don't really want any sort of, you know what? It's all about going with what you get. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's a little bit of ink mm -hmm. onto yeah. a stamp. Yeah, nothing okay. lost. So what we're going to do now, we're going to bring this in. And I can now turn it over and I can line it up, press that down there. That's the thing, the joy of being able to see where okay. you're going and position it in entirely. And because I've used the acetate, it gives me more flexibility. Yeah. Because what I want to be able to do is to push right in to where those masks are. Yes, because okay. you don't really want a white halo or anything, do Not you, really, no. But if we get a white halo, there's a really easy way of sorting that out. Okay, so I'm just pressing down. So, what I'm going to say is just while you're looking through everything on the show, keep in your mind backdrop stamps because these are so, so effective. I mean, look at that, it's genius. So again, you've got that effect of matting layer. If I pop that onto the black surface now, mm. there we go, so you can see now how you've got that effect of the matting and layering. Now, I have got a bit of a shadow around there, but again, it's easily remedied because on the masks, there's going to be the ink from the stamp. Ah, so yeah, I can just push that off yeah, and, and we can start to... I can always pick the... up a little bit of the lightness yeah. and just gently sort of just build that colour in. Maybe I don't want to go for that really dark one. Yes. And the mask is, is rugged enough as well for you to be able to do that. Yeah, if definitely. If it was a sticky note one, it might, you know, it might lift up and you think, oh gosh, you know, there's Yeah, rooms. and depending on how much ink you was to put on top to, to fill it, then potentially it would just Soak saturate. Through. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it will go through to what's underneath. So you can see we're just slowly just filling up. See, look, I didn't block that enough. But you know what? I'm going to create a shadow now. Well, that's all right, because that kind of grounds the cups a little bit as well, does it? It does, a little bit too much for my liking. But, yeah, <laughs> it, but you know what? There you go. I can do that. It's all right. It's a, it's a day later. It's, a, it's good then, to step out of your own comfort zone every now and again, though, Paul, isn't it? But, I mean, I started crafting. I used to do decoupage. That yep. was my thing. I used yep. to love cutting that. Yep. And then I found stamping. And that's how I met Barbara. Mm -hmm. Um, because I saw Barbara at one of the retail shows yeah. and we found out that we didn't live far from one another. Yeah. And um, I went on her design team. Uh, so I used to make samples yeah. like the design team do here yes. um, for the TV shows. Uh, and then one thing led to another to yeah. another. And, and the rest, but, as they say, yeah. is history. And now <laughs> I'm on TV <laughs> trying to stamp. No. Um, so here we go. So I'm going to take that one off. 
so you can see now how you've created that effect. That's stunning, okay. isn't it? And I can take one of the sentiments, okay, and then coffee is a cup of hope. You see? Coffee so then when I now take mm -hmm. the background paper, it just ties in perfectly. Yeah, see, even... You've got that same colour yeah. tone. Yeah. And it shows that you don't have to colour in the designs if you don't want to. It's so effective. It's, uh, isn't it funny? It's like everything in crafting. Sometimes it's the simplest idea that you've never seen before that you think, why haven't I, why haven't I ever thought of that? See, that's, that's it. And, and remember, Clarity's creative genius, if you like, is also inspired by you because there is such a brilliant community... So you put the right designers with the right products and the right community, put all of those beautiful things together and you spark off new ideas, which sparks off new collections, uh, which inspires new projects as well. And that's what crafting is all about. It is all about togetherness. Even if that's not a physical togetherness thing, it is that feeling of belonging and having people that are by your side. And, and so much free tuition as well uh, via Clarity as well. I'll get Paul to remind you where to get all of that from in a wee while as well. Um, let's talk about your one day special though. These two amazing collections with big, big savings plus so much more. Plus, of course, remember, um, if you're not a Freedom member, this one is so, so worth your while becoming one um, to get. We are now approaching... Oh, it's here. We're there, are we? OK, this is the last live hour. This is your last one minute... Uh, sorry, one minute. One hour and 22 minutes to actually um, confirm your orders um, because the one-day special is good for one day. And I, I believe I'm right in saying that with the entire one-day special, once the stock we've got is gone, then it is gone. Uh, you can break it down into individual collections if you want to, but here's another why not. When you work out that as a Freedom member that your first flexi payment for your one day special is less than the individual price of a collection on its own. Um, so there is, your, there is your overall savings, there is your why not savings. But again, look at your um, flexi payments as well. So £40 and eight pence is the first of two flexible payments. And if you put the details at the bottom of the screen for the, the tea collection on its own, um, it's still amazing value for money, and I'm not knocking it at all, but because we've taken all of the savings, um, it's less than the price of the first flexible payment for the entire collection with all of the extra goodies and bonuses that go with that as well. Um, there are so many reasons to have this. And I think if you, if you think about where we are right now, where we are in the world, where we are, where people are... Um, we are starting to get back together again, slowly but surely. We all thought we'd be abroad on the beach by now. Mm -hmm. That ain't happening, is it? Uh, we're, we're on our own beaches where we're lucky if that yellow thing does come out of, if you're lucky. Um, but people are starting to get back together. There is that sense of community building back in. And I think a lot of people as well are saying to themselves, you know what, you know when I used to say, I used to write on an email or a, or a Christmas card, we must catch up in the new year, let's have a coffee sometime. When do you ever do it? Sometimes we're really bad at actually doing it, aren't we? This collection could be a very, very nice way of saying, right, you, enough talking about it, let's do it. Let me show you the stamp sets as well. 80% um, remember of the entire stock of these collections, and they are beautiful. Linda Williams, her incredibly exquisite and detailed artwork in these four fabulous stamp sets. Lots and lots of different elements there. It's very, very sophisticated. It's very, very timeless, but it's also very modern as well. There are modern twists in there too, which I really, really love. Um, nice quirky sentiments. I love the thing, the nod to, I mean, a, a lot of younger people need explaining what, what a tea strainer is. It's not in their lives anymore. <laughs> um, I love it. I love it. If you've ever been to one of those very, very posh kind of tea shops or, or whatever, you know, stately home kind of places or one of those famous, we have a famous chain of um, tea shops in Yorkshire uh, named after a lady called Betty. Uh, it's very, others are available. Um, and it's lovely because they serve everything up there in silver. It, it, it evokes memories as well, which is great. Remember, it's not just the four stamp sets. It's the masks to go with each one of those stamp sets as well. It's those gorgeous, gorgeous papers. Can you see? Those amazing, amazing papers. Um, plus, 
Uh, you also have these these handmade um, paper flowers as well. They're absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at the papers. This is just one half of the entire collection as well, by the way. We're just at the tea part at the moment. Um, they are gorgeous. Those flowers as well, they're so, so detailed. They are not just one-dimensional, OK, lick it, stick it flowers. They are no, they're handmade. multi layered handmade. They've got little embellishments like seed beads and crystals and all sorts of sparkly bits and pieces. Um, and there are lots of different scales and sizes and leaves as well, which is so, so important uh, when you're building up seeds. Can I show you some samples? Because this is our last live chance to do that, because they are beautiful. The whole complete collection, you are getting 362 elements in total because of course remember you're getting the bonus craft card and the envelope and the pergamano pencil um, as well beautiful there's a lovely sample from um, Elaine there here's one by um, by Sheila where she's really created some depth in that scene Paul that's right so she's taken a previous collection from Linda Williams which is the floral steps awesome, to create the background and you can see how the the style and the design just coordinates yeah it works beautifully doesn't it I'm going to show you uh, here's another one from uh, from Sheila. Wow! Just using a little bit of um, sort of rainbow mirror card as as one of the the layers there. That's a completely different accent, isn't it? Taking it in a totally different direction. It is. So this is uh, one of Barb's um, entwined reefs. This is the square one. Love it. And so again, it just shows how you can cross. You can that previous one we was looking at was very traditional, very sort of yes. stylized. Yes. But then by putting a different frame around yeah. it it becomes quite modern and funky. It's so, so lovely. And when you combine it with the, with the lovely craft card, I mean, look at this for an easel card. My word. Look at that. See the pattern building, just using one plate, which sort of, when you look at it, it creates like a star in the middle, doesn't yes. it? Yeah. So again, this is where the masks really come into play, because you would stamp it, mask it, stamp the next one. Um, absolutely beautiful. I, I just, I could show you these all day long because they're just, it's a real joy. It's beautiful. And they're just the tea ones. Remember, there's the coffee collection as well in your... Um, that one's coffee. That one's jumped it over. It is, isn't it? That one's jumped over. It has. Well, that's fine. <laughs> uh, just as it, by pure chance, by pure, pure chance. That's a lovely big coffee pot there. Um, gorgeous. Lovely, lovely sample there from Linda Spencer. Very, very nice indeed. Um, listen. If you've made your mind up on this collection, uh, and again, I'm not here to rush anyone at all, but this is the last live show. So while it's here, in your eye line, on your mind, and you're thinking, oh, shall I? Shall I? Hmm. It actually works out. If you break it all down, oh, Ross, you need to get out more often. He's worked out the <laughs> price per element across the whole collection, but it is worth knowing uh, that you're talking about 22 pence per element which is amazing value for money. And of course, remember, you can break it down into two payments as well. That can make it a little bit easier for you. Um, and, it's, and it's great. I mean, when you see, I mean, how many different stamps did you say, Paul? In there's this 90, across the, um, the whole one day special, here, there's 99 stamps. So there's a, there's a lot to go out here, isn't oh, yeah, there, in definitely. fairness. And there's, yeah. there's going to be more resources, I guess, you know, I guess your team as well on the, on the Facebook. Will on you Facebook, be working with these collections yeah, as well? Yeah, I mean, um, so the design team, they post all their samples, because obviously on TV, we can only give them a few sort of seconds yes. to showcase them. Yes. So um, the design team will post all that. They've already done it all their samples are on there Brilliant. so if you like something and you think oh how's that done then you can ask the design team member how did you do that what did you use yeah what paper was it what ink pad and they're there to help just remind me of the facebook page again so we can so all it's go. clarity worldwide yeah and groovy worldwide great lovely okay so are we finishing yep so we've yes. finished that one off there so i just wanted to show just by putting it onto the um toscana onto a white card and then pop it. So again, that background stamp gives you the illusion of matting and layering. Yeah, like it was always meant to be. Yeah, and I think that's the, the magic of those background stamps. Okay. I, I guess it's probably just worth a little salient reminder that you do get the papers, of course, included in your, whether you go for the individual collections or the big one day special. But if you want larger versions, yeah, more so we do the versions, eight by eight paper packs as a pick and mix option. So oh, you've brilliant. got the Indian Summer, Rainbow River, Shenandoah, Northern Lights, Antarctica, Toscana, Waimea Falls, and I think there's probably one I've missed. Um, I, so I you can choose it, any two. Paul is like the clarity encyclopedia. And you get 12 different designs in each 
option. Yeah. You get four sheets of each. They're double sided. Um, so you're getting 48 sheets. So you choose any two and you get the folder to keep them in as well. And I have to tell you, they are absolutely glorious, every single one of them. Um, so it is worth just just knowing, just go and have a little look on the website. Right, we've got about, oh, 10 minutes or ten, so. Oh, oh, perfect. Plenty of okay. time. So we're going to take the same layout, but just apply a different background. So this is what Jane did. This was my inspiration. So again, you can see we've followed the same sort of style. Yeah. Okay. But we've gone with a different colorway and how it can look different. Okay. So we're going to do another option now. So I've done the same process. I've stamped out and masked off my design. Mm -hmm. And then I thought what we would do is on the um, stamps, I took them off of the, um, the carrier sheet and just assembled them randomly. So this is all the different names of different types of coffee. So I've got to make sure I get it the right way up. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, first of all, let's have a look. I'm going to take a black ink pad. So earlier on, we left them on the carrier sheet to create sort of like a random background. So I'm just going to stamp that out there. Okay, so again, I'm using, this is the vertical super long mounts. And I've got them all on there. And you can see it, there we go. So I've got it the right way up. Now what does it look like if I don't want it to be as black, if I do a second chair? See if there's enough ink on there to give me a subtle background. Very, very faint. The camera can just yeah, about pick yeah, that up. Yeah, just, yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up my stamp and I'm just going to blot it so I'm not putting as much pressure on and then I'm going to stamp it. So the first time I did it, I was wanted to make one. I was make sure that I'd got them all covered. Yeah. But two, so you can see now the difference. It's not as dark. Okay. So now I can blot once, and let's go say over here. So you're sort of just building up a random background. Okay. So again, when you look at them, you think, oh, but. You could do these all individually, but if you put them all onto one mount, then you can sort of really create a real nice random background. And if you, actually you could, you could have another piece of card in the background and then you... you yeah, you would have the, the a, aperture, yes, yeah, yeah, so yeah. to speak. So now we can see now how we've just created that nice sort of random background. So if I take another piece of copy paper. Okay, so let's pick it up. Pop that down now. I'm going to pop the lid on the black so I know what I would do otherwise. So what I want to do now is to sort of soften the whiteness, take it down. Mm -hmm. Now I've already decided that I'm going to go with the Indian Summer. So again, I've just die cut. So I yeah. know, see if I pop that, it looks nice, but it's still too white. Yes, yeah, sort of yeah. Thing. Um, and again, if I go on that one, so I think maybe I'll go on that one because it's got more of an orange. So if I bring in my little mini ink pads, I've got a beautiful colour palette in here. So I've got orange, I've got yellow, I've got some green in here. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to move that out of the way and I'm going to bring in our stencil brushes to apply the colour this time. So you get a set of four beautiful, beautiful brushes. Okay, in four different sizes. I mean, I've, look, I've taken my pot from the office. I've got just a selection. <laughs> um, so Barb says you always keep one for yellow. Okay, okay right, yeah. It's a colour that you would never get back if you was to use it. Although, because yeah. what it does, it stains the brushes. Yeah. But it, if I was then use red, I'd never get it back to a yellow. So always keep one for a yellow. So I'm going to take this one. This is a new one. I, even though these are tiny little ink pads, don't think, oh, I'm going to use a big brush. I'm not going to be able to, to pick up that colour. OK, look, see how much colour I've work. got from there. Yeah. So I know that there's way too much on there already. So I'm taking some off. And then all I'm going to do is just gently brush backwards and forwards to apply sort of a really nice coverage. OK. And again, you probably can't, you, I know you can't see anything because I've gone so light it's, with it. It's a lot, it's, it's a bit stronger to the naked eye, I have to see the, the, say, than the way that the TV camera sees it. 
And there we go. So now if I put, let's take a little bit more colour. Again, just always test it after application. And I'm just brushing in different directions because I want to get sort of like a really nice sort of base coat down. Okay. So now let's take, for example, um, I've got a lovely um, Cranberry Crush from the other collection. Okay, and I've got a, a red brush here already. So I'm going to load up my brush. Look, right, really, really red, way too much ink on there. So I'm taking it off and then I can start to see how it... Oh, it okay, really, so that's just toning it a bit I'm just more, toning it? it down. Yeah. So the yellow is a really good one for sort of um, toning down a colour. But I've put my yellow down first yeah. to create sort of like a base colour. Okay. Yeah, so it's almost like a um, sunset combination. Of yeah, so and again, far, you, can, you can spend a little bit of time and you can really, if you concentrate in one area, you'd really build up that colour. I don't know if you can see, it's, it's yeah. more intense on there. But always test it on there first. Okay. I love those brushes, by the way. And because I've used my um, dyes to cut out, I've got like an embossed edge around the outside. So again, it's just adding yeah, it's that little bit. Yeah, it's picking up a bit more definition, isn't it? Now, if you want to intensify the colour, if you hold further down mm. to the brush and you put it on, I'm not putting more pressure, but it's the pressure is transferring from the brush. Yeah. If I wanted a really light coverage, it's what Bob said. If you hold it up here, yeah. really at the end of the thing to get a really light dusting, that yeah. you can sort of see it's sort of it's just. You're not putting any pressure on it, and yeah. it's just very, yeah. very light. But when you come in... You're concentrating that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So if I go back to my yellow again, and it's all about just playing with the colours, and then, see, so now I can really... See how I'm sort of splaying the brush out mm. just to bring in that colour? Okay, and again, quick and easy to do. Let's put the lid on that because I'm going to put my elbow in it. I can bring a spot on sponge into play now and I can take it and let's pick up some of that yellow maybe. Test it, look, it's really, really, yeah. <laughs> way too much on there. It's quite intense, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to dab on here and then I'm just going to bring out some colour, just to add a little bit of depth to it. So you almost use the mask as a bit of an extra palette then, don't Yeah, you? you're yeah. using it to sort of like draw away yeah. um, to create a little bit of depth. Let's put a little bit of <clears throat> red. Just put my finger in that way, way too much. So dab on there and then just draw away to sort of blend in those colours. Just to make it sort of stand out a little bit. So now I'm going to take my tweezers. Can I just remind you folks, if you've got anything sitting there in your basket at the moment, uh, now's the time because we are, we, we're in the literally the last two minutes um, of the show. The one day special deal will be open for you um, until six o'clock or until the stock sell out, whichever comes first, an hour's time or the stock selling out, whichever one of those. Have, look at that, that's divine. So, so there you go. So again, you've got another option. Maybe if I bring it in on the, the camera there, let's move that out of the but way. But who would have it'll thought... it'll be a little bit more intense in colour. Who would have thought, 10 minutes ago when we started that, that you'd be able to tone that white down enough to bring it in line so it blended in with that background paper? And so the, the stamped image then jumps out from the middle. Love it. Honestly. So again, it's just divine, different it? options. I mean, let's just open it out. Just... So you can see both of them together. So you've got that one on there, and you've got that one on there. So it's the same layout, different colorways, different techniques. Yeah. For me personally, I prefer that one with the backdrop stamp to create the, I mean, it's completely flat. There's no layers to it at all. I'd, 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 I just adore it. Oh my word, right, okay, we need to have these in our lives, don't we? Um, this is the last, well, we're in the last 40 seconds of this show right now. Um, so if you haven't yet checked out your one day special, uh, now is your opp opportunity to do it. Uh, Paul, thank you ever so much. That's thank five you. hours packed full of incredible <laughs> tips as well. Uh, when are you back with us? Well, Barb's back on Sunday, right. two to four, okay. with some fantastic new stamps. And then I'm back next Thursday for the Pergamano shows, and then Friday for another groovy show. 
Ooh, busy week then for clarity. So we'll look forward to seeing Barbara on uh, Sunday and Paul pretty much in a week's time, which is brilliant. Um, please stay right where you are, check out your baskets and stay right where you are. There's more on the way. Like this, it's Design and So after the break and then a brand new one day special from Ranger. What can it be? We'll find out in an hour. And there's a pink frog happy hour as well. So much tonight. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. Very good evening. Yes, it's five o'clock, so I can officially say that an hour before the launch of a brand new one day special, we're filling that very, very nicely with a sewing show. Yes, we have got the wonderful Sue Peck here with us as well. So let's say good afternoon or good evening, as I've just said to Sue. Yeah. Sue, so I've got to say again, I did say to you when I saw you outside in the corridor, what a lovely top. Thank that you. That so suits you. Thank you. You look lovely. You really do. Thank you. And you've brought some wonderful projects for us again and products you know kits something that we can all achieve yeah. something to suit everybody I believe and everything's new perfect um, even better you know the, the the thing that takes the longest to make is a zip pouch okay but the others you can do all of the others in well I can make all the others in less than half an hour wow. each so an hour would be more than sufficient nice quick projects then let's have a little look at that zipped case that we've just mentioned there as well now I've got to say as well we know you've been shopping ahead so you might have to be quite quick on some of these items because people have been shopping ahead and we've checked we know if anything disappears we can't get it back today so you need to be very very quick now we've got designer fabrics as well we've got some beautiful Tilda fabrics the first option, actually, is a Tilda fabric. This is the poppies. So the lovely blues with those beautiful green flowers on there. Now, specifically, there's no particular use for the pouches. You can use them for whatever you wish. But you are getting all of the materials that you require. 
including the clear uh, PVC there as well, so you can make a lovely waterproof pocket. You've got a little pocket in there as well. So I know you were saying to me earlier, if you wanted to put makeup brushes or maybe paint brushes, if you use it for your art materials, you can stitch through the pocket as well to separate that into different areas. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do for one for myself. Oh, lovely. Um, just put some, just stitch down that pocket. So, I can, But I'm going to put my brushes in to see what disc gap, because obviously some brushes are thicker than others. Really lovely design, lovely handy size as well. As I say, you can use this for any reason you want. You do get the zips that are included into the project as well. Of course, those beautiful fabrics, everything that you need. The PVC is there. That is, yeah, that is a Tilda fabric. It's very, very pretty as well. The next option also is a Tilda fabric. This is the Peony in Pink. Let me pick up, pick up the finished sample. Let's just show you inside, make sure I've got the pocket the right way up again. If you want to make any adjustments, you can do. I mean, it could be used for all sorts of little threads going there. You die cut pieces, maybe if you travel, you know, you go to friends to do workshops and you're looking at putting some crafted items in there, such as your dies that you're going to use, or even your stamps would work in there, actually. You know, just very useful, isn't it? Great for your holidays as well, if you're managing to get away. Same item number, but we're still going with those options. We've got the blue peony next. So the same fabric, another tilde. I just pop this in front. Now let me find the right end of the zip. We'll open this one up and have a look inside as well. Same pattern design, but of course it's nice to see those fabrics, isn't it? Each different design there. Really pretty. So that's your blue peony. And we've got one more to show you as well. This is your sewing themed. Lovely, lovely fabric here. So yeah, definitely really useful. If you are going to think of using this for your bobbins and your threads and all those needles and pins and things, you can certainly see why this would work very, very well. A lovely kit, 1699, 869-589. Oh wow, you've got a favourite already. I'm not surprised, I've got to say. It's the Poppy Sue. I love Poppy. Uh, How much has got? that fabric. A quarter of the stock has already gone. We're only three minutes in. <laughs> we have got four different options, but yes, if you particularly want the Poppy, be very quick on that one. We'll keep you updated with that because I think we might be having a few updates as we go along. Now, we have got more. We've got the Contrast Purse for you next. Now, Sue, as we just approach the, the lovely pack shot that we've got here with the different options, Yes. The, the contrast purse, is this a, a simple project that a beginner could do? Oh, that's absolutely dead easy. Amazing. This is, I love this fabric as well. The first one I'm going to show you with the bicycles on there. Look at that. So this is the cork that you... Yes, I mean, um, what I will do, I'll quickly show just how easy it is to sew with cork. Um, that is so nice. I love the shape of this, so. But it's got multi-uses. Yes, it can be a coin purse, but it can be a little purse for lipsticks and things like that. You know, it's just a nice little purse to pop in your bag. Oh, do you know, you could, even that your keys, sometimes we pop our keys into our bag yes. and they rattle around in the bottom. They can scratch our phone or catch onto other things. Even keeping your keys in there would be lovely. Many, many uses. That's your bicycles. Let's have a look at the other options. Really pretty with the butterflies. Look at the gorgeous colours in there. I'll just spin it around because, of course, the cork and the fabric work on both sides. Then what else have we got? We've got some more Tilda for you. We've got the plum coming up next. So this is a Tilda fabric. Beautiful. Just turn it around so you can definitely see both sides each time. And we've got the blue to finish. This is the Tilda again. Beginner's projects, you know, nice easy projects, nice little gifts perhaps you're going to be making to sell in the future as well. We can do that, Sue, can we? Sorry. Can we make to sell? Oh, yes. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I mean, Ooh, I, I like would that. say a beginner, it'll probably take an hour to make that purse. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, well, if you sit every afternoon and just make one a day for a, a number of weeks, you'd have loads to sell, wouldn't you? A gift mm. for Christmas or birthdays or whatever. Nine ninety nine. what a great price. Nine two three five seven six is the item number. Of course, all of the materials there, the cork, the zip, the lining, uh, the interfacing in there, full instructions, so a great, great price. Mm. We have got more because we've got bags as well. Now, this is the Gracie bag. Different options again. This is very clever, actually. I really like this idea. If I just bring in this particular sample... Because inside Gracie, we have a little area. We've got that little area there. Look, can you see? So that's going to hold your bottle in place. And we all carry bottles of water or... And they uh, fall over in your bag. Especially in the summer. <laughs> yeah, they do. They fall <laughs> over. They get in the way. So that's going to hold that nice and secure inside that bag. And a lovely size bag also as well. Yes, because it's not too big. And the other thing you could do with that, I mean, you can... 
wad it if you want to. Yeah. Um, but if you've got any of the thermo wadding, you could ah, use that. Yes, a thermo wadding. You can. Yeah. Would that protect you if you've got cold items in there as well as hot? Yes, it, because it, it, yes. Yeah, but lovely. what you could do if you've got the thermo wadding, you could actually when you're making the uh, pocket up, I'll, I'll show you. Okay. But you could use one layer as the thermo wadding, so that when you put your bottle in, it's against. Got you, got you. Right, that is a really good idea, actually. Let's have a look at these different options. So this one is the script. I'll show you the pocket in there without the bottle as well. So it's very simple put, to put together. That's nice. That's going to work with, you know, whatever outfit you're wearing as well. The next one is the leaves. I do like that. The colours on that is just lovely, isn't it? Wonderful. Inside, I will show you the lining as well, so you can see the colours inside. Got that lovely sort of mustard in there. And then the bag that we did just give you a glimpse of is the pink and the blue. So I'll just bring that back into shot again. And it's there all the are. heavyweight canvas, both you the can feel lining that. and the yeah. outer fabric. No, it's lovely quality. You can really feel the strength in that fabric there. Beautiful fabrics. Fourteen ninety nine. That is for a full kit, of course. You've got those item numbers or the options under that one item number seven zero seven eight five six. If you want to go for the Gracie bag. And then we've got another new today for you as well. Now, I think this might be a popular one. We've got a tablet case. And there's something here we've got. Well, Sue has chosen the most beautiful fabrics again. But something, I think, for all ages. I think that's important as well. Because yes, when you think of tablets, um, when I all was ages designing happen. it, um, you know, I was thinking that's why there's a couple of children's fabrics in as well. Um, because there's an awful lot of children. They've got the tablets. They put them down. They don't know where they are. Yeah. So in the middle, there is a um, divider, which is wadded, so you're protecting the screen. Um, and what I, what I was doing with that was you get your tablet in the back, you could put your e-reader or yeah. a book That's in a the really front good section. Idea, yeah. I mean, I tried it, and, and I can get my tablet, my e-reader, and my phone in there quite easily. And it's very secure, the front there, where you've yeah. got the, the hook and the loop there as well. Yes. Um, Lovely. We've got the poppies there. We know that's very popular already with our zip pouch. Maybe you want to make this to go along with it. $14.99. We've got more options to show you, though. Remember, you're getting everything there. If you are looking at someone maybe a little bit younger or just somebody that loves their vehicles, what about this one around town? So it's exactly the same pattern. We're looking at the difference in the fabric there. You've still got that fastening as well. I'm just going to move the instructions just for a second, just so we can see these. And I will pick that up and show you properly. Uh, let's bring that into shot. Lovely fabric. So very bright and cheerful. Perfect mm. for And they're all hard-wearing fabrics. So yeah. They're all washable as well. So love it um, so what else have we got here i notice we've got another tilde i recognize it straight away yeah, two tildes there is we've got pin in pink and the pin in blue this is the pink one so you've still got the divider as i say exactly the same instructions lovely fabric there very bright do you know i can't choose between the pink and the blue let me bring the blue one in so you can see <laughs> the two together i love tilde fabric i just love the colors i i, I think tilde she has such beautiful color choices yeah when she's blending you can pick out quite a lot of colors if you wanted to do a different color lining um they are lovely and if you like your animals as well waiting to see the final option we've got the hedgehogs there we are how sweet are they gorgeous absolutely gorgeous now there's something else i do want to show you as well i will just show you the instructions first of all just to prove we have got them here um obviously you're going to get these included so you can reuse the pants and the instructions afterwards with your own fabric but sue has kindly brought in this bag as well using exactly the same pattern but a completely different fabric you've made a lovely evening bag yeah that took me half an hour this morning whoa really i mean yeah. look a little fastener in there so you can add your fastener you can add your poppers you don't always have to go with the the hoop and uh, hook and loop it's entirely up to you but that is so smart you could have you could have a new bag for every single outfit and that's it um because you can put the divider in it i didn't put it in that bag because i don't want the divider but i'm going to make a few more and i will put a divider in um but it, it literally it. it took me half an hour wow 
What a great project to do in an afternoon. Do you know, if you get a surprise invitation out for an evening, you think, what am I going to wear? You find the dress, you haven't got a bag, whip it up in half an hour. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? $14.99 if you want to go for the kit, 023942. You've got all those different choices of fabric as well, so something for everybody. Now, we do have some patterns available on the website, so we can have a look at those as well. Lots to choose from. You'll see lots of different items there. Uh, you'll see everything in detail with descriptions as well that we've just mentioned, lots more besides. I mean, we can see we've got pouches, we've got neck cushions in there, we've got different bags. Uh, there's something for everybody, as I say. So do spend your time there and have a good look through. And, of course, Sue is going to be bringing us a demonstration any time now, in fact, showing us how to make the products that we've got on the show today. What, what so what are we starting with? Yeah, what we'll start with, I can quickly show them how easy it is to sew cork. Now, also, when you've got the pattern, the lining is cut out in one piece. So okay. you could actually use that and make just a, a one colour if you wanted That's to. That's very true, yeah. But basically, um, we'll literally do a very quick... It's the fabric and the cork. I just want to show you how easy it is to sew cork. There's no special um, stitches. It's just a standard stitch on my sewing machine. And you go down the down the front and then I don't open it out I use the cork just to give it that little bit of backing ah. and then all I do is just go down with the top stitch and you'll see oh, I've I just see. got a normal foot on my sewing machine yeah. you know no Teflon foot or anything it's just sewing it fine Joe, this is such a handy little pattern to have as well. I'm thinking, yeah. it, you know, it's, honestly, it is so quick. Well, we can see that already. Just, you know, you'll we'll just see, see the two sides go together the, there. The machine just took that, no problem. And that's literally just on a standard stitch. Or the ordinary foot, no Teflon foot, no special fabric or anything. Yeah, I, you know, I personally, I love the cork as well. I think it works with any fabric you want to put it with. Yeah. I was just thinking of other ideas to use the purses for as well. And, you know, especially nowadays, you don't know what to get for birthdays, for Christmas, if you're giving children or relatives. You often gift money, don't you, so they can go and buy something. How about, how about gifting that money in a ready-made purse as well? Because it's a lovely way to gift it. And, of course, they've got the money to spend on whatever they choose, but they've also got the perfect little purse to keep all those coins of notes in as well. $9.99 is the price. Let's go through those options again while we're here, because there are four different options. We've got the bicycles first. Look at the beautiful florals in there. We've got the butterflies, very, very pretty. That is actually the one that's in the lead at the moment. Plum, this is a Tilda fabric, very pretty again. And you can see how the cork works with every single, every single fabric we've got here. It just complements it perfectly. And then we also have the blue as well. There it is. Gorgeous. 923576. And of course, you've got the pattern to use again afterwards. How are we getting on, Sue? Looks like you've changed tacks a little bit now. What we've got there? We're going to do the Gracie bag. Now, okay. um, I'm just sewing the straps up. So all you do with the straps, fold it in half and then fold the edges to the centre. Got you. Then fold it over and press. I'm just going to stitch one of those. Okay. Um, I mean, everybody knows me. I tend to get handles done and out the way. Mainly because when I'm doing, um, when I'm making a bag up, I don't want to be stopping once I get to the final bit of putting handles on. I just want to be able to pick them up and sew. <laughs> so, Do you know, it's a good I'm... idea, actually, that. Yeah, you're sailing along, and then if you suddenly had to stop and start pressing the bag yeah. straps, then it kind of breaks up the momentum, doesn't it? Yeah, and that's why I tend to, I would say, nine times out of ten, I do the handles first because they're done and they're out the way. And all I'm doing on those, is they've just got, I'm using a quarter inch seam and I'm just matching it up on the edge of my foot, um, just so that it's nicely on the edge. Um, as I said, this is a very, the, the only kit that takes a little bit longer today is the zip case. Um, okay. The others are very quick projects. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, particularly um, the, the, the purse and also the tablet case, because, you know, like we said earlier, if you want to make a clutch bag, very easy. So I've made... So just, I've just, just to make it clear, so you've actually got the straps from the Gracie bag that you're stitching now, yes. haven't you? And that's the blue and pink option. That's the blue and pink option that I'm sewing at the moment. So we'll pop those out the way because they're finished with. So what we're going to start with is the pocket. Now, I've just got two pieces of the pocket. OK. And I'm just going to sew along the upper edge and the lower so that yeah. I can turn it out. What I was saying was if you're going to use a thermal, you could actually put the th take one of these off and put the thermal. But yes, you would have yeah. to have the silver side inside okay. so that you can do that. So what I'm going to do now, go back to a normal stitch. I presume we've got the thermal on, the web on our website somewhere. Yeah, I think you have, yes. yes. Lovely. You can have a look for that, um, of course. And all we're doing is just straight stitch along the top. Turn it and do the, the lower edge as well. I mean, yeah, the, the reason I did this was I'm so fed up of putting a bottle in my bag, a water bottle, and then it always goes to the bottom of my bag. I can never find it. <laughs> that is, it is so true. It's always though. on its side. <laughs> now, the easiest way to get your seams open is just open your seam that way. OK. And the reason you do this, you get a nice crease on the top. So just open it up. Same on the other side. And if you do it in the middle, when you're pressing it, it it's much, much easier. Okay, so, so you'd line those two seams up, would you, as you press it? It's just quick press, just to open that out. Because when I turn it round, when I turn it out, that's it. So okay. I'll turn that yep. back. Oh, as easy as that, so Yeah, and I'm just going to give it a quick press where... But because I've actually done that, it's much easier now for that just to crease across. Amazing. So the seams go to the side. I can see that yeah. now. Just while you're pressing, Sue, I'm going to let everybody know. Oh, we've got a front runner on this one. The leaves option, when it comes to Gracie bag, half the stock has gone. Exactly the same pattern, you get the same amount of fabric, but you've got the different options, so very busy, particularly on the leaves option. I'm not surprised, actually, with the colourways on that one. Yeah, gorgeous. 707856 is the item number. I think this will stop pressing, so yeah. we'll get back over there. Yeah, there's, there was a mark on the iron, so just ignore that. OK. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to top stitch the top and the bottom. And when you're doing a top stitch... Always go for a larger stitch. I tend to go for a three. I find that's quite um, a nice stitch. Uh, it's big enough without being too big. Yeah. So we'll just go across there. I've got to say, so I'm loving the contrast stitch. I don't know if you're doing that because that's what you want or whether it's just so we can see it, but I don't I'm doing like it so contrast. you can see it, but also I quite like a contrast I stitch. If you, I tend to pick one of the colours out of the main bag. Yeah. Um, but it's, it is easier for you to see if I'm doing it with a contrast cotton. Um, and other times as well, when you're doing top stitch, if you've got a variegated cotton, that gives an absolutely oh, lovely effect, you know, because if you've got one of the ones that are, if like with this, I would go for the, um, I'd probably go for the pink, deep pink range. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, yes, it, it is a lovely colour. I think that, yeah, that would work beautifully. Yeah. And if you're lucky enough to have a sewing machine with the fancy stitches, you could find quite a delicate sort of leafy sorts. fit stitch yeah. or something. I was playing earlier on with different stitches on my machine, just to see what I was going to do. <laughs> but sometimes we forget they're there, don't we? Yes. And then you realise what you've been missing. Yeah. And the thing is, when we buy the machines, we tend to look, oh, what decorative stitches have we got? Yeah. Oh, what? what? Yeah, well, I'm spending my money here. I want something yeah. that's got loads You're of stitches. And then you forget they're there. So yes. do have a look yeah. at home and make sure that you use them very, very wisely because you'll be surprised what you can achieve with those oh, fancy yeah. stitches. So what we do now, we fold it in half. 
So you've got this little pocket. I'm just okay, going to stick yeah. a pin in that for the moment. And you get the lining, one piece of the lining, wrong side to get right side facing, and then you position that. It's uh, can't, it tells you on the pattern how far, but I'm okay, just doing it yeah. by eye at the moment. So then just pin it into place. And then just use a basting stitch. Now, a basting stitch is a large stitch. You can either do it by hand or on your sewing machine. And on the sewing machine, I tend to use a five. It's the maximum stitch. Okay. So then you just go down the edges. So you just securing that into place. Yeah, so that's just like a holding stitch. You're not actually going to see that. No, you're you not going to see it, it. But you'll see you've already got your pocket. Yeah, it's come together very quickly. So, as soon as I've got the lining, we'll put two lining faces together. And I'm just going to sew down each side and then along the bottom, but I'm going to leave a big gap for turning for my hand to go in. Okay. So, take it back to its normal size stitch. You can really see so how quickly this is coming together. It, it comes together really quickly. Um, I mean, when I was designing it, I, I did want something that was quick because sometimes you just want... I mean, these, for children, you know... They're, they're great, great, aren't they? Yeah. You know, for school, because, you know, yeah. you can personalise them as well if you wanted to put their name on there. Well, that's it. They can get their, their initials. little box of sandwiches in. They can get yeah. a piece of fruit. I think they'd be very proud to take something like this to school when it's been handmade for them. And it's, it's it. like anything. You know, the different fabrics and the designs make things look so different. Yeah. Um, would we have the tiniest little scraps of off-cut with any of the fabric here? Would we have little snippets of things? Um, you could do. So where you cut out the bottom of for the box corner, something like that. I'm just thinking, because it's the pocket that's kind of made me think of this, if you've got a really small amount of fabric, in the same way that you've attached the, the bottle holder, so at that side, if you've got a little loop maybe at the other side, so you could put a pen in there. Oh, yes, that's right. And hook it over um, the loop. But the same sort of, I mean, there's pl you'll get plenty of fabric left. I mean, that's, and I've cut handles out, and that is what you end up. Oh, you do have a lot left then. So you end up with a lot left. Oh, you could make an easily actual pencil do another... case then, rather than just a loop. Oh, you could do all sorts of things, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Oh, you've been but very generous. Literally, when I cut it out, that was the piece that was left. So, up the sides. And then we do, I don't normally do a lining first, but seeing as we put the, uh, open the seam and the bottom as well, open that seam and match those up. And then what you're going to do is you're going to stitch across and that's what gives you your boxed corner. Okay. Um, so, and I do tend to do a securing stitch on the corners. So I just go back a couple of stitches and run it off. It's worth doing that, isn't it? As yes, well, it is. Security. And you'll see then that is how we get that corner. Very Lovely. easy. So I'll just show you again. Put yeah. your hand in, okay. open it up, get your seams to match. Just open your seam up. See, they do, they do match. Lovely stuff. And it's not a big area to sew, is it? Very quick no, to do again. No, I mean, you can pin it, but because it's such a small area. Um, and, of course, because you've got a lovely heavyweight canvas fabric there as well, it doesn't tend to very hard in the wearing. same way as some does. Yeah. So that's the lining done. So the main fabric, right sides together. Okay. Now this time we sew down the side and right along the bottom. Right, got you. Let's see a pin there. It's not mine, but it's a pin. Just get in the bin. So down the sides, just match them up. Oh, 
but you know, um, and it is just straight stitching. There's no fancy curves or no. You don't need to snip into the seams either, no, do you? Because no. the straight edges. Um, and that's why I think you know th uh, this type of bag corner is very easy uh, because the hard work's already been done measuring it so that it all balances. And because you've got the cut-out corner as well, so yeah. you can see exactly where to stop and start when you are doing those yes. four seams. Um, so, Lovely again, stuff. I will just... I'll just finger-press it because it, it's, it's quicker. So just finger-press the seam, open... You press it open. We're doing exactly the same as we did on the lining. We just pull that open, match the seams up. Lovely. So that's a repeat of exactly the same as what you did for the lining on the, yeah. the outer fabric. I mean, apart from um, doing the actual bottom pocket, it's exactly the same. Yeah. So again, pull it open. Match it up. Do you have, well, you are doing, I've just noticed you've done it. So you'd secure the corner or the, the seams on the box bottom on both the yes. lining and the outer fabric yeah. as well. I, I mean, you, you know, it's, it's only just a couple of stitches, backward yes. stitches, and that's it. Yeah, just, if you take the time now, it will save you in the long run, perhaps. Yes, it does. So I will just... Press that seam open. Okay. Side seam. Okay. I've got a bit of an update actually, Sue. Oh, well. um, while you're pressing that, let me just show you the leaf option. We did say this one was in the lead. It's actually gone limited stock now. Absolutely gorgeous fabric. I love the lining as well. You've got that beautiful sort of soft, gentle mustard. I would call that there. That's the mm. the little holder for the bottle. Very neat in design, lovely size. If you want to put that thermal lining in, you can do. It's entirely up to you. $14.99. You still have the other options, of course, of the script, which is this one. Or, of course, we've got the pink and blue, which is the one that Sue is working on now. Actually, 40% of the stock has gone on the pink and blue as well. Full instructions, those beautiful fabrics included. Just needs that little bit of time to put it together. Very quick job. I think you'll be making many more of these once you've done this one as well. Everybody's going to want one. 707-856 is the item number. I'm just pressing the seam open. Ah, so we're going to put the lining and the outer fabric so, together, yeah. over, Sue. So what I'm now going to do is put the handles Ah, yes, of course. We've got those ready in preparation, haven't yes. we? Yes. I didn't have to make them. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I can't remember what size I said. I'm just going to go, go by guess. On the pattern, it tells you. As long as they're evenly spaced. So just pop a pin in there. Now, again, when I put a handle on, I put the pin in with the pin head at the top, and you'll okay. see why. Let me just find a, oh, I can fold it. Just fold it over and find out where that strap's going to be. And when I, when I do this, I just grab the corners, the seams, fold it over so that they match, make sure that the strap isn't twisted, <laughs> and then if you just bring it back, it's equal distance. Okay. I bet we've all done that before, haven't we? Put a twisted handle into it. Oh, bag. I've done it myself, yeah. But the reason you'll see in a minute why I put the pins in that way. So just check it isn't twisted. Yeah. Turn it over. Put the other hand. Now, when you're putting the handles on, if you've got the outer, the, fo the, the simple fold on the inside, make sure that when you put the other handle on, it's the same. So, pin that one there. So you can perfectly line that up just by line following from the other side. Pop that in. Now, the reason we, we, I put the pins in this way, because I'm going to put the bag inside the lining, right sides together. 
So just the easiest way, just fold it, put it in, put your hands in, yeah, and then just give it a little, just push it into the corners. Yeah, there's no awkward shapes, is it? It's quite simple no. to do. Now, because I've put, the, I'll, I'll match the side seam up with a pin. Yeah. Match the side seam up with a pin. And the other one. And then just put it across. Now, because I've put these pins with the pin head, it's very easy just to take the pin out. That is such a good tip. Because I've done it when I've got to go into the bag to get the pin out. Yeah. So it's just a, just a that little tip. That is a really good tip, so I like that. Just That's what I'm tip. going to remember. Um, you remember it when you, t when you put yeah. the pin and you try and you think, oh, particularly if you've got a small bag and you haven't got a lot of room to get your hand in. You, I normally end up going through the bottom seam. So we just match that up again, take the pin out. Just as you're pinning that there, so we've got another update, actually. The leaves, it has gone. We did say limited stock, oh. it's now sold out. If we get any bounce parts, we'll let you know, but I very much doubt it somehow. I might just get this yeah. done before. You might just do that. We've still got the pink and the blue. We've still oh, got right. the script option as well, but yes, the so leaves have gone. What we do now is we sew around the top seam. Just pop it under there. Yeah, and just a sew so around the top. Remembering when you're going over the handle, just to take your pin out. Is and it then... worth securing a little bit further when you go over the handles as well? Well, you, you can do. Some, I think if I've got a bigger bag, I would also on the inside. I would put a pin on further right. down just to hold the handle in place. Yeah. Um, but when it's this size. Not it's so as easy just to... Yeah, OK. And just take it, go over the... Once you've got the handle, just go over it gently. Never sew over your pins. Um, hot, I mean, you can do it and it won't matter. But another time you'll sew over it and you'll break your needle. Because yeah, the needle yeah. will catch the Yeah, I think we've all pin. done that many times as yes. well. So, you know, just a... It is worth taking the pin out because once you've got it on the machine and you've done that first stitch onto the handle, you've secured it. Of course. Um, the other thing is, just make sure that when you are doing the handle, it's just it is squared. And yeah, you can because tell that by the top. I suppose with the foot pushing along, you might find it goes yes. slightly off. Yeah. So just double check with that. So just go around. The Take end. the remaining pins out. I think I took most of them out. Take the remaining pins out. Chop off any odd bits of cotton. Yeah. Turn it right side out. And the easiest way is to pull the main bag through the gap. And this I find nice just turning it round, like just, okay. then, just keep turning it, yeah. you don't tend to crease the fabric so much. There you can see. Give it the a shake and you will end up with that shape. So what we need to do now is sew the bottom up. Okay, so a simple stitch. Oh, you could hand stitch that up. You can hand stitch. I'm just going to do it quickly. Yeah. Uh, Again, you've got that strength there as well with the machine, yeah. haven't you? You can see the lovely effect Only because of those if I don't, I forget well. to do it. <laughs> so, this really has come together. It proves how quickly you can put these projects together. Yes, yeah. And I mean, it's like I said, I, I can make this in if I'm just sitting. I think sometimes um, it takes longer to cut them out than it does to actually make. Yeah, I now, can see that. Again, what I would do, and I tend to always do it, press that seam. Right, okay. press that seam. Because you want as you want as sharp, neat edge as you can possibly get. Yes, because you are going to see that, aren't you? That stretch it back, pull it that's back. That's the very top of the bag, or it will be. And then pull, 
push your lining inside the bag. Give it a shake. And then all and I would do job. is just go around the top. And we'll just top stitch that nicely. And see how easy it is, because yeah. I've already done that seam. It's so easy then it just, just to, to get a nice there, neat it? edge. Perfect. Oh, I saw that is so quick. And then just a bit of stop, top stitch around just the edge. Just top stitch. Just top Amazing. stitch around the top and the bag's done. Oh, do grab yours. This is a lovely project, isn't it? Let's just bring in those options again because, well, we can show you on, uh, on images, actually. But it might be a bit easier because we've lost one of them. So the blue and the pink was what Sue did. But we're going to show you the script first of all so you can see the fabrics. 40% of the stock has gone. I think this particular option, you could team this with any fabrics. It's just going to work, isn't it? Very nice indeed. Ignore that one because it's gone. The pink and the blue. Oh, that one's now gone limited. You need to be quick on that one as well. $14.99, regardless of which one you're going for now, are the script or the pink and blue. 707856. Let's have a little bit of a recap as well because something that's proven very popular is the tablet case. This is such a lovely idea. There's different fabrics to choose from and there's something to suit everybody. Now we do have the lovely Tilda fabric here with the poppies. I'm just going to open this one up again. You've got the hook and loop fastening. Really holds that securely as well. Inside, you can see you've got the divider in there. There is some wadding in there, so if you are putting a tablet in there without any other protection, that's going to look after the screen for you to stop that getting marked. You could put a mobile phone or a little uh, reading device in the front, or as Sue said, a book. You know, you can keep other bits and pieces in there. Keeps it all nice and neat. I like the idea that Sue said as well, especially for children. They put, well, we do it as adults. I've got to admit, I do it all the time. We put these things down, don't we? Where yes. did we put it? You can't find it. If it's got a dark case or, you know, you put it somewhere, colour on colour, it's not only protected, but you're going to be able to spot it much easily as well. Now, the poppies, I'm just going to give you an update on that, actually. Half the stock has gone on that particular option. That's your poppies. Now, we've got a round town. Not just for the little ones. I think adults would like this as well. If you love your vehicles, that is very suitable, isn't it? Exactly the same pattern. The next one I'm going to show you is Peony in Pink. This is a Tilda fabric. Very, very pretty indeed. Then we have the Peony in Blue. So, of course, another Tilda fabric for you there. And then we've got the Hedgehogs. So, if you love your wildlife, there you go. There's the Hedgehogs. And just as a quick reminder as well, when you've created with the kit, if you want to use your own fabrics, you can even make some really pretty clutch bags or your evening bags there as well. I mean, you could even add a little bit of chain on there so you can change that up mm. however you wish as well. $14.99. Choose from those different options of the fabric. 023-942 is the item number. We've got an update on Gracie as well. Oh, guess what? The pink and blue is gone. That leaves us with the script. <laughs> I just got it finished in time. <laughs> oh, you did, didn't you? Bye-bye, pink and blue. We've still got the script, though, so if you're loving Gracie, don't forget you can reuse the pattern afterwards if you've got your favourite fabric. Start with the script, and then you can continue to make in other fabrics as well. Now, the script option, it's approaching limited stock, though, so if you want the pattern and you want to create... First of all, with the script, yeah, you need to be very quick. Limited stock or approaching limited stock there. The pattern on its own is actually available. Let's show you that as well. $9.99. So just think about it. For the kit there, you're getting that lovely fabric, that heavyweight canvas for the lining and also for the outer as well. And you're still going to have some spare fabric left over, as we saw, if you cut it out wisely. So well worth considering the kit. But if you certainly want the pattern on its own, you can do that. 798663. Right, the zipped case. It seems a long time since we saw this one now, but do you know it's been very, very busy. I'm going to pop in front of the instructions all of the different designs. Now, the first option is the poppies. Almost half of the stock has gone. If I just show you inside the case, you're getting all of the materials, the zips included, everything you need. How you use the case afterwards is entirely up to you. Again, I mean, I can see cables for your mobile phone, your mobile phone in there, maybe little game devices, something like that. Certainly for your sewing or art materials as well. That was the poppy. We've got the pink peony. I'm going to open each of these up if I can because it's nice to see the pockets in there and see the contrast of fabrics as well. That's a Tilda fabric again. We've got the blue peony, again the Tilda fabric. 
Here we are. If I just open that up, that's pretty, isn't it? Very nice indeed. And then finally, we have the sewing fabric as well. So maybe if you particularly want this for keeping your threads in, this is going to work well, isn't it? A little needle case in there, maybe some patterns, maybe a little project, a small project will fit in there as well. It's entirely up to you. A notebook would fit in that pocket if you wanted to put a notebook in there. $16.99 for the whole kit, $869.589. Let's get back to Sue, though. I can hear the machine going. What are you up to, Sue? <laughs> right, I, I just... Um... Did a few things quickly so we can get on. What I've done, the first, we always start off with the pocket. Let's move that out the way. Okay. So is, what are we on now? Is this a tablet case? This is the tablet case. Lovely. So um, I've got the, the wadding on the back of the main fabric and then the lining. So I've got right sides together and I've just stitched just around the edge. Now what I'm going to do so that we get a nice um, corner, we just snip the corners off and you'll see in a minute just what angle it's literally just straight across because what we're doing is we're reducing the bulk so straight across and there now uh, a good thing as well to set your stitches and by that what we're doing is we're just going to put the iron just okay. over those stitches I'm just going to let everybody know, Sue, we're limited stuck on the poppies when it comes to the tablet case. Oh, right, OK. They're a popular design, aren't they, the poppies today? I love poppies. When yeah. I saw the fabric, yeah, it yeah, wasn't a lovely. question of, oh, that's nice, it was, oh. I'm having that. <laughs> just a reminder, if you're very quick, you might, might just grab this, but you're going to have to be very, very quick indeed. There we are. But I like the peonies as well, because the peonies is nice and bright and cheerful. and So, all I've done... I've just turned that, and you'll see now, by just taking those edges off, I've got no bulk in the corners. Okay. So, I'll just push that corner out. Yeah, and just give it a quick press. So, as you're pressing that, tablets can come in various different sizes. So, yeah, I that presume... Was the, the one that's got the, fr the name of a fruit... Yeah. Definitely fits in there with, with plenty of room. Lovely. The size is on the pattern, the finished size. Yeah. Um, which, let me just have a look. The finished size is 30 centimetres wide, so 12 inches by 20 centimetres deep. Lovely. So if you, and if you have got a slightly smaller tablet as well, you've still got, we did say you could put a book in there, you could put a phone inside there. Maybe you've got, um, I don't know, maybe if you're carrying this around to work, you want your notebook in there as well. So you've got those options. So it's nice to have the generosity of the size there that will fit different tablets as well. Oh, the poppies have gone. The other poppies thing is when you're travelling, uh -oh. um, if you're travelling and you're on a plane, you, know, you don't always want a great big bag with you. You've got that little pocket in front. You could put everything in there. You could, actually, including <laughs> your passport. You could put your tickets. passport, your purse, yeah. Yeah, your wallet, or your wallet. That's a good and idea. And you've just got that to pick up. That's a really good idea. Rather than, you know, you're getting all these bits out of your bag because you don't want to leave them in the overhead locker. Yeah. <laughs> All I'm doing now, I'm just top stitching around the edge of the flap. Okay. And again, because it's a top stitch, I've got size three stitch. So that is the flap more or less done. Turn it over. Now, um, what I did, uh, well, Catherine was, I just, uh, two pieces of the lining, right sides together, wadding on the back, so I just stitched along the top. Now, again, just press that open. Okay, yeah. So this is the divider, is it? This is the so? divider. Got you. And then just fold that across. Again, just there's an easy way because if you if you actually get it at the top and they've got the wadding on the back, if you just move your finger slightly, it will automatically. Yeah, because of the seam, it's yes. going to sort of push it into position, yeah. isn't it? Now you can, if you want to, quilt that. 
Oh, that'd look nice. You could always quilt the, the divider. So all I'm going to do now, I'm just going to do a top stitch along that seam, just about half an inch below it. Sorry, half a centimetre. Okay. Again, I'm using the size three stitch because I'm top stitching and I'm going through five layers. Yeah, because you're counting the seams as a layer there, aren't you? Because you've doubled up the fabric. So what we now do is the right side of one of the lining pieces and you just place that on the top. Ah, so you line the bottoms up, so you don't have to measure anything. No, it automatically just line works. it all up, and then do a stay stitch just to hold it. Yeah. Size five. How are we doing for time? All right. We have got about ten minutes left. Yeah. <laughs> so stay stitch. Press it across. That looks nice and neat. So we've got that in place. So we can just leave that on the side for the minute. Okay. We'll just trim the edges off. Yeah. Well, what I'm, what you need to do with your wadding, just go along and just trim because you're getting rid of uh, some bulk. Yeah, I can see that. So. Um, on your seams, just go through it and just get rid of that bit of bulk. Yeah, it might not look a lot, but that will make quite a difference. It does it? make a difference, yes, it does. So then just tidy that up. Do it on the other side as well, but yep. I'm just going to go on. So now, just decide which side you want as the front, as the back, front and the back. And what I tended to do, I put piece of fabric onto the wadding. Okay. Um, Make sure it sits right. I can do it on this side. It's easier if I'm standing up. And what I did, I just got the pocket and I just laid the pop. One of these is going to be the front and one got the you. back. So of I just course. lay the pocket to see which I liked best. Okay, you're saying pocket, so you mean the flat? The flat, that sorry. Right? Yeah. And then pop that one. Yeah, that's the one I like. And that matches up with that underneath. Do you know, that is another good tip, because it does make a difference how you place those. It does. So that will be the front. That works beautifully, actually. So we've got the back piece with the wadding. We now put the flap centrally. Yeah. And I'm just going to give it a stay stitch. Okay. So got the As right I said, this again comes together wedding. very quickly. We can I hope see I'm that. not rushing through it too much. So then I will put a piece of the lining right sides together. Okay. What do you think is most popular now the pop is gone? So, out of the, the tablet bag. Peonies. Which colour? Blue. <gasps> You're very good. Yes. Almost half the stock gone. <gasps> yeah, everybody's loving the peonies. I said this to you last of all, I say it every time because you've got such a good eye for fabric. You I try, I try you, to. Well, get it seems to work. Colours. Um, I'm not one for muted colours. Um, you know, I like bright, well, this says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> but I do like bright colours. Um, and if you've got something that's got quite a few different colours in it, you can pick anything out. Yeah. Um, you know, like, if you're, um, I mean, I pick colours which I thought went, but on the blue one I put a I think it's um, slate lining but you could quite easily have gone for a pastel pink you could have gone for a silver grey a nice light no, 
That is very nice, isn't it? Very you know, nice it's, indeed. Everybody, you know, so you, when you're doing colours, I mean, I with that, I saw the slate, but somebody else could have looked at it and what would have popped out for them would be the pinky, very gentle, soft lilac. Yeah, yeah, everybody does see a different thing. Yeah, you thing, see different things. the favourite particular so, colours to use. What we've done now is just trim that edge off. So that's the back, and this is the front. So now, and the other way of checking, if you fold, just fold that back. Put that on there the front. We are. We're just having a good look at that, Sue. And then you'll see. I can see how that works. How it works. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, definitely very easy to put together. And very. Another wonderful gift for yourself, for somebody else. I think, again, once you've made this, you're going to make quite a few of oh, them I as well. Oh, I think you will. Oh, now, certainly. Now, the hook and loop. Now, some people say, oh, which way? You put it whichever way you want. I personally like the hook on the bottom. So, find the centre. Mark it with a pin. And then okay. find the centre. Ah. Again, just pop a pin yeah. in it. Oh, it will go. Now, uh, seven, seven centimetres. I will measure it, but I think that's about right. Because it's no good me telling you seven centimetres and then it's eight. <laughs> so, seven. Seven. I've lined those up. Seven? Yes, seven. Sorry, I just couldn't help it. I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> Pin that in. Now oh, we're just... for those that were going to come yeah. strictly <laughs> in Lens Day. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm just going to sew that in, and that I've got a uh, 2.6 stitch. Now, some people like to go round hook and loop twice. Um, I think if you've got the right size stitch, it's not necessary. However, I do like to go on the on the end, I do tend to secure that. Because that's the bit that's going to get all the yeah, stress. Of course it is. So go around. Put that into place. So we put that on now. We don't Lovely need to know it. So. That's, do you know, you were going to work this right to uh, the wire again, but always perfectly timed in that <laughs> sense as well. How long have we got left? We just have a very quick... Three, minute, three or four minutes? Two and a half minutes. We're right, doing really so well. Pocket. Um, pocket together. Straight stitch along the top. And then at least you'll see how it all goes together. But as I've said, um, squeeze across the top. You would press it open, open it up, give that a good press, lay right, yeah, right main fabrics together. together. It doesn't matter where the flap goes. Two minutes left, Sue. Line we them can up. do this. You'll stitch all the way round. Then, when you you'll end up with that when you turn it out. To get your hook and loop in the right place, fold it over. Yeah. Give it. Give yourself a bit of a bit of playroom. Finger. Bring it forward. Fold it back. And then. Just pin that on and stitch it. And that is the easiest way of getting it to match up. That, so many good tips, Sue. And it's come together so quickly, so beautifully. And we have we have had a sell out of one of the options. We have still got some options left. It has been a busy hour, actually. We've got a round town, which is this one here, peony pink. Oh, no, they've gone the wrong way around, haven't they? That's peony pink. Peony pink, peony blue. 
That's going to go, I think. I don't, if you want that, you need to be quick. And then, of course, the hedgehog is there as well. All will include, of course, the divider, all those materials, 023942. Uh, Sue, it has been an absolute delight. Thank still, you. Do you know, we, we've got through quite a lot, actually, I've got to yes, say. We have. You've brought us some beautiful fabrics, some beautiful projects. When are you back again, do you know? Um... 6th of September at 2 o'clock. I think it's a Monday. Ooh, Monday will we have 6th. more new todays for that Oh, show? definitely. <gasps> we cannot wait, can we? We can't wait. Do have a look if you missed out. If you didn't see us from the top of the hour, do have a look at those zip pouches as well. Very, very useful. The little purses are lovely projects. So, just keep choosing the fabrics. Just keep doing what you Thank do because we love it. We really, really <laughs> do. And we love your bright colours as well. Thank and you. And the clothes you wear because you look gorgeous. Uh, stay with us though because you know what time it is, don't you? It means we've got a one-day special coming up. Leone's in the building. Yes, it's a special one. I'll give you the menu. See you soon. Yes, we have a Ranger one-day special coming up next with Leone. Then we've got an hour with Pink Frog, Frog Crafts. It's a happy hour. Nearly didn't get that out right. <laughs> then Ranger one-day special back at 8 o'clock. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers of colors, textures, and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dies, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and format. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri Design moulds are used in all areas of crafting, not just for your clays and your resins, but also their food grade silicon as well, so used for your cake decorating designs. Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows, I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums, ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows. Hello, welcome everyone. It is that time then. It is one day special time. And I tell you what, if you love this name, if you love Ranger, then you know what's about to come. For the next 24 hours, we are talking Tim Holt's amazing inks and the brand new blue, which everyone has been absolutely clambering over each other to get it is the prize ribbon as well we have got some incredible bundles coming your way and of course some amazing tuition as well now listen i am going to step to one side right now and i am going to leave you with the one and only of course to play with these gorgeous new goodies can only be ali only can't it <laughs> thank Hello. you darling um right i will oh sorry lewis just go? give it me yeah we're trying to get it in but i don't think anyone heard lewis i'll just go over oh, and sorry. then he'll come in it's okay okay i'll go there it's okay I? just I'll go and i'll bring it this is the one day special goodbye 
Hello. <laughs> Sorry. Subtly Boom. done. <laughs> hey, well, uh, I, know, I don't think... Then. Anyway. Hello and welcome. Thank you, our lovely Derek. Um, right, very excited about this. I'm very excited about this because um, I'm a massive Tim Holtz fan. I've been a massive... I've used Distress Inks now for years, years. Um, and I remember when I first... It was funny, actually, me and Paola were talking about this the other day. And when I first sort of started properly working with paper crafting, um, I was really dark grungy. Um, obviously, everything changes. However, it was Distress. That's what I used to work with. I used to work with the, the first colours in distress, like your vintage photo, um, way back then, um, the beautiful distress stains. I mean, it, it started um, an absolute revolution. It made us all work with our inks differently. It all made us uh, get really into backgrounds and be really experimental. Now, the colour palette has grown and grown and grown. Um, and every, well, every time Tim releases a new, um, new colour, it is like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. And we have got, within this colour palette, the brand new one. It is the prize ribbon. This is a beautiful, beautiful blue. It's absolutely exquisite. And I've been listening to Tim and, and what he's been saying about the inks. And he said he doesn't bring an ink um, just because. You know, it's not just, oh, well, I want another blue. It has to fit in. It has to look at his colour palette and think, right, that's where there's a, a gap. You know, he, he li literally looks at the colour the palette and finds where uh, something is missing and this is beautiful it's a gorgeous um, oh, it's such a pure blue. I mean, look at that. It's such a beautiful, bright, but intense blue. I absolutely adore this one. It's just a really good sea, is that one, isn't it? Um, and there's tons. Because it's Distress Oxide, you can do so much with it. Now, that's the brand new colour, but within the bundle, you've also got your black soot. Now, black soot, now these are your normal Distress. Um, so that's your Oxide. These are normal Distress. Um, the there is a difference, obviously, with the way they work, but gosh, you can use them together. In fact, you, you should use them together. So you've got your Kitsch Flamingo, which is also really new within the, the colour spec, um, the colour palette. And then we've got the Black Soot, which is one of them that, you know, it's a, a basic, it's an essential, is black. We've also got one of the alcohol inks, actually. And if you have a look on the website, and we will be touching on the alcohol inks um, a lot more within the One Day Special Hours, that's a mixative, and it's a beautiful uh, white is this one, a snow cap, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got a spritzer bottle. I've left mine at home, so I will be stealing this. Um, but uh, we have got a spritzer. Um, they're just handy. They're just that kind of thing, which you leave at home when you're a demonstrator. So you need multiple spritzer bottles because you can do so much with them. Now, the whole collection. Let me show you some swatches. Obviously, this is, unfortunately, this is what I've been doing. I've just been creating colour. Um, the one you're going to look at now, this I did yesterday actually for the All and Create show, and I used the um, the distress inks. I've used them with the the wonderful browns, the vintage photo that we've got. I've used them uh, with the mahogany there that, of course, we've got on the show as well. And the colours just work. I mean, they just complement each other. Um, whether you're blending, whether you're getting them to run, um, all the things that you can do with these, it is amazing. Let me show you some other things though, because now with the distress that is the oxide literally as it comes from the um from the actual uh, palette so that's the blue that's a proper blue but of course it's oxide so you can do loads with it you might want to spritz the micro over the top of course we've got that on the show you might want to do a blend but then spritz over the top it starts making the the color move and wick which always looks sensational we've also got and i'll show you this one as well um we've also got um Lots of things that you can do. Oh, it is busy. 10% of the stock has gone. So this one, just dragging your um, your ink pad across your paper and wetting it. When you uh, wet Distress Oxide, it obviously oxides. Now, oxides, can you see these beautiful sort of white light patches? That's what it does. That's what um, the oxidation means. And it's so effective. It's so interesting. And I love... Now, this is only that one ink pad. But you can see the other colour tones in it. 
and I love the way it wicks, the way it moves, the way it um, pushes away from the water. It's so beautiful. Um, obviously, techniques. So you can use it with your um, your stencils. Literally putting the stencil over, spritzing with water, lifting the water out, mixing it with your black So Doesn't that look good? I, I, I just love that. That's got a little bit of pink in that we have got coming up, but that's with the black So I adore that. What a cool background. You can, of course, stamp. It's an ink pad. So, of course, you can stamp with it and do your beautiful blends. I mean, this, blending is the, the first thing. When you get distress oxide, that's the thing that we all start trying to do, the blending, because that's what creates beautiful backgrounds. You can, of course, and that's the, the bleach out of it, but actually that's using your um, your stencil. What have I done with that one? Gosh, I can't actually remember. Yeah, I forgot. It is one at bundles, but I think I inked the stencil and put it down. Can't actually remember. Now, that is on black. Because it's an oxide, it will show on black. Obviously, completely, you know, the different tones come through, but it's do play with different cardstock because different cardstock will give you different results. Like, of course, your craft card. See, now that's on your craft card. Craft card, there's a lot of different types of craft card. It's not all the same, but look at it on craft card. Distress oxide on craft card is beautiful. It, again, it's the way it just wicks out, but it's also that that lovely sort of white. It looks chalky. It hasn't got any chalk content in it, but it looks chalky. It gives you that really interesting effect. It's stunning, absolutely stunning. Now, we've also got the black. That's the black soot, again, with water. So it's, oh, I love it. That, I love it because that is just your black spritzed. And it just, it already looks cool. That's your fantastic Keech Flamingo, which is so fabulous. What does that look, a poodle? Are you seeing poodles? Oh yeah, I can see the poodle. Hello, I'm a poodle. Um, now, can I show you five million backgrounds? Right, look what leon has been doing today. Backgrounds. This is, this is just a bit. Tell you what, I've had a, lot, a lovely time. I mean, I've done no cards because I've been doing five million backgrounds. This is with the other colours that we've got on the show, just the other colours that we've got on the show. I haven't introduced any other colours into these backgrounds than the ones we've got on the show, and they are beautiful. And these are quick backgrounds. These aren't really playing. They're not introducing like ink within the backgrounds. They're just spritzing and picking up colour. But I love them. Okay, now this is your one day special. If you do want to go for your one day special, please check your baskets out. It's a lovely combination um, of products and of course the brand new blue that will fit so well into your collection. It is a fabulous prize ribbon. Um, only 25 pounds and 19 pence. You're saving nine pounds on your one day special, 936564. Now, we are gonna go down the full counter. There's a lot more on the show, however. We haven't put it all out because there's a lot. And what I wanted to do in this hour, I wanted to, dis you know, I'm, I'm gonna concentrate on the ink pads, but I'm gonna try every hour to concentrate on other things now. Oh, mm -mm, the glazers. This is obviously your prize ribbon glaze and the beautiful weathered wood. Oh, and that is so lovely. It's such a lovely colour. Now, um, the embossing glazers. These are a translucent embossing powder. Um, you will get some embossing powders so that are opaque, um, but these are translucent, which means when you just use them on white card, you get that beautiful, obviously you get a glaze, it's embossing powder, so it's going to give you that beautiful glaze. But you can see the, the white, if you will, behind. It makes a difference. However, watch this. If you put weathered wood on weathered wood ink pad, so that's the ink pad underneath with the embossing glaze. Look how intense that colour goes, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So that is your prize ribbon underneath, so the ink pad with the glaze on top. How gorgeous. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. I mean, this is amazing. And that really shows the colour difference, doesn't it? At, at that colour, when I did that, it was like, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Isn't that big? But because it's transparent, get this. So... That is one of my favourite ink pads. That's your Twisted Citroen, because I love the name, not going to lie. But also I love the green. You have to say it as like Twisted Citroen. Um, so that's your Twisted Citroen. 
love that cut, that name. This is twisted citron with weathered wood over the top of it. And that, I mean, that's your weathered wood. How cool is that? So you're creating your own colours. But, but, look at that. That's twisted citron with your prize ribbon over the top. Look how different they are. And that, that is your, your prize ribbon. Isn't that cool? So you're literally creating your own colours with your embossing powders. So it just depends what you put underneath. Absolutely beautiful. Now, only £11.98. They're very, very busy as well. 20% um, of the stock has gone. Please remember, if you're spending £60 or over, which is ridiculously easy, it's distress, um, we do give you um, a flexi so you can split the, pay split the payments, not spritz the payments. It's all about spritzing. Uh, 595 495 is your item number. Spritz everything. Um, okay, next, talking of spritzing. Spritzers. So you've got your beautiful spritz. Now, these are your Distress sprays. They're all the Oxide family. So, of course, with your Distress sprays, you get your normal Distress, uh, your stains, and then you get your Oxides. Again, they're different. Uh, the colour palette is the same, but they look different because they're Oxides. Um, you always need to give them a good shake, of course, because you're... They, they will sit at the bottom, so the pigment will sit at the bottom there. But, of course, they've then got the actual dye in there as well. And you've got your brand new colour. Take a step forward, prize ribbon and a bow. Um, so that's the brand new colour. OK, so with your sprays, um, obviously, there's tons you can do. You know, again, you can create incredible backgrounds. You know, you can, um, let me just see. So, if you force it to dry, again, you get that beautiful, you can see the colour variations because, and I've used different papers actually, and um, I've used most of these are actually Pink Frog. Um, these are Pink Frog Super Smooth. This is Pink Frog Watercolour. Um, so have a bit of a play with paper. Paper is really important because it will change the effects. Um, but, I mean, it, it's the way it reacts. I mean, that one is beautiful. I have mixed it with water, added water, which gives you the oxidation, which obviously gives you that beautiful sort of separation of colour. And also, of course, the gorgeous white comes out. That is just a spritz on its own. No water added. And again, I mean... Even just spritzed, it looks beautiful. That one, spritzed with water, um, uh, sorry, mixed with water, allowed to dry on its own. But that's on watercolour. Watercolour gives you a different effect to your, um, your, uh, your dry, um, super smooth. So you get lots of different effects. We've got other colours within this, though. It's not just the new colour. Um, you've also got your beautiful antique linen. Now, your antique linen is gorgeous, actually. Look at that. I love this colour. It's so soft, and but it's got, you can see those different colour particles within there. That is absolutely beautiful. Um, so that's your antique linen. You've then got Victorian velvet, which again is just exquisite. I've spritzed them and the top bit I've mixed with water so you can see how it oxidises um, and just the gorgeous colours. And then, now this is one of my favourites, the dried marigold. Look at that. Oh, I love dried marigold. Isn't it? Look, yeah, it does look tutti fruity ish. It's just, just lovely. And again, five million backgrounds later, five million backgrounds. I mean, I add, can you imagine the amount of cardstock? You really do need a lot of cardstock when you've got these. Because these, they're, and it's the swatches, and this is something Tim says, these are absolutely vital because this is where you experiment it's where you play it's where you learn which colors sit beautifully with what colors it's where you just mop up colors and they look phenomenal i mean just look at them backgrounds doesn't that just look dreamy and i haven't spent ages messing with these i had to be quick because obviously i had a lot of stuff to to use but it's when you can create stuff like this Stuff like that, and that's just mopping up colour. You know, so gorgeous. Now, if you do want that, those four, £22.46 is your price. That's the one that's got the new prize ribbon in it. 467523. Next, with your spritzers. And again, beautiful, beautiful colours. Spun sugar. Look at that. How divine is that colour? That soft elegant pink it's just absolutely gorgeous uh, we've also got your beautiful beautiful speckled egg oh that's so pretty isn't that pretty 
That's your speckled egg. Absolutely adore that one. And then the Kitsch Flamingo. Fabulous. It's just such a good pink is that one. It's beautiful. It's bright. It's fabulous. Do remember this Distress Oxide. So obviously they're going to work wonderfully on your black. It's interesting how the, the sort of white comes through on your black, but you've still got that hint of colour. And of course, I mean, they work lovely together. You know, you can create some really soft, dreamy backgrounds. I mean, look at that. That's actually a dried marigold with, in fact, that is, both of them, it's a lift from one to the other. Isn't isn't that amazing? But that, that, uh, sorry, I've mixed up both kits because that, not dried marigold, yeah, yeah, I am on dried marigold, of course I'm. That is your dried marigold with your flamingo. Look at that. That is proper dreamy, isn't it? Um, if you do want to get hold of that, it's a favourite, favourite. They're all favourite, favourites. £17.91, pence is all you're paying there. You are saving £6. That's 976698. Um, okay, now we've got micas. Um, it's nice to have a mica because obviously these are flat colours. So this will add you a bit of shine. Um, the mica, of course, you do need to give it a shake because you can see the mica at the bottom there. Whee! Don't they always look fabulous? Um, so make sure, £13.99 with your mica, you've got that beautiful silver. You've also got that gorgeous, um, your tarnished brass and then your antique bronze. Now, the thing is with this, it does look amazing on black, but obviously they're still gonna look really good on your white as well, but they're gonna look amazing over the top of your colors. So use these over the top of your colors to give you that bit of sheen. 13 pounds and 99 pence is your price. 807007 is your item number if you'd love to go for those. Uh, do remember, if you are spending over 60 pounds, uh, then you can split the payments and you can, of course, um, get your flexi. Here's a little bit more about it. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexibuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexibuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hello and welcome back. Okay, let's talk ink pads. So, what I've got first of all, um, my um, ooh, wobbly mats. Uh, let me just move it over. I wonder if I can. I'll sort that out. So, what I've got is, I won't sort that out, that'll drive me insane. Um, so, what we have got for you um, is, um, I've done some swatches because um, I thought I'd show you the different... Um, Sorry, I'm just trying to get myself sorted. Um, let me just move these so I can use both sides of my board. Uh, so what we've got on this one, we have got um, the three different colours here. So you've got, let me just, yeah, it's the bottom. So sorry, sorry. Um, so what I've put here is your prize ribbon. Now, like I said, the difference is, um, you, well, you can see straight away. So something Tim was talking about is where it fits in. So that's your blue print sketch that one is where have i put it your faded jeans and you can see the difference straight away you know your blueprint sketch especially when they've um, been oxidized you know they're just such a different blue and it's this one this one has got such a different tone i mean that is a proper blue isn't it it's such a beautiful ocean blue it's just absolutely divine and it's it's funny, isn't it? It's only when you look at this that you go, oh, yeah, OK, absolutely, I understand. It really does um, work. And it's funny, isn't it? It's like, I didn't even know I were missing this until now. And now it's like, oh, yeah, I were missing that. Because, and if you look at your other blues, like I would, 
uh, digging these out, so um, that's my faded jeans. But when you look at Salty Ocean, Broken China, your peacock feathers, they're completely different. You know, these do not, they're nothing like this. They, they're not even in this colour palette, which is why I didn't bother putting them out, because they're just, you know, they don't come close. Um, so I thought I'd show you that, because I know that, and like your stormy sky, again, I haven't got this in Distress Oxide, which is terrible, but again, that, that is completely different. And I thought I'd do that, because I know Tim spent a lot of time going through um, why he does this, and you know, he doesn't just bring another ink pad for the sake of bringing an ink pad, it's because he can see a gap in the colour range, and I thought and I wanted to see it for myself. You know, it's like, okay, how do I justify this? And you look at it and go, oh yeah, okay, I can, I get it. I completely get it. It's a different blue. So that's where it fits in uh, your colour palette, first of all. Right, let's play. Now, 20% uh, of that stock has already gone, um, and that's your one-day special. I, I'm going to stick a little bit of card under there and just see. We've lost our feet. <laughs> Nothing, nothing worse than having no feet on me, on me mat. Boom. It's nice and clean though. It looks like, it looks like a, our Tim's, eh? Hey? Boom. Our Tim's would be clean. Mine won't be in five seconds time. Just, oh, I tell you what, I've left at home as well. Oh man, I have done terrible today. I have left and I'm going to need this desperately. I am going to need, um, a heat resistant craft mat. In fact, is Derek coming back? Because I might have to go and look for my hair. I do apologise if you're watching at home and going, Leone, I know. Um, our lovely Derek is going to give you a quick update while I go and look for my heat resistant craft mat. Over to you. I'll be back. <laughs> Did you see me run in and, and appear in the shadows then? <laughs> I was like, oh, already? <laughs> I'm normally waiting for her to stop and do something. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's going to be absolutely brilliant though. I think she's found what she's looking for as well, which is always good news. Um, I'm going to give you an update on the glazes, um, first of all. Um, and they are just genius, aren't they? When you see what um, Leonie has done with them, 30% of that stock has already sold out and gone. Um, again, getting those two in combo with a £4 saving, because you want, OK, now over a third of the stock um, has gone. Because you've got that £4 saving, it's brilliant. Because you kind of, you know you want everything. So picking up the little savings along the way is really, really good. And again, you know how far something like this will go as well. £11.98. Something else which is proving massively, massively uh, popular. In fact, now we're up to a third of the stock. Gosh, this is a one day, uh, well, this is a one... But this is this is going to be mentioned all the way through the one day special shows. It's not the one day special, but it's it's kind of like it's it's bringing up the rear as well, isn't it? Um, and of course, it's got the brand new prize ribbon um, as part of it, and everybody wants it. I can see why everybody wants it, but I actually love this mix of colours as well. It's beautiful. So dried marigold and antique linen, just beautiful prize ribbon, and Vic. Victorian velvet, all absolutely gorgeous together. Uh, third of the stock gone there, £8 saving on that, which is brilliant. 467523 is the item number. Right, I think she's found it, so I think I'm, uh, I'm going to sh shuffle off this Thank way again. You. You're right. Yeah. Good. Yay. Found it. I've got my little heat resistant craft mat. It's not the one from the lovely Tim Holtz um, uh, uh, glass mat because I don't know where I put that. And I just need to get a new one. Okay, so let's start. Let's do distress. So just talking prize ribbon, first of all. And I've got piles of cord. I've got watercolour and I've got um, super smooth. I must admit, I know... Um, Oh, there's loads of cards you can work on. So please experiment. Just experiment. Find the one that works for you. Find the one that you like. Um, I love, I, I must admit, I like the Super Smooth. It works beautiful, but I also like, um, I like the, the watercolour as well. So where I'm going to go, first of all, okay, one of the techniques you, you can do, which is the easiest technique in the world, is just dragging your ink pad. Now, don't put much pressure on this. Um, just literally drag it down. It always gives you that really nice sort of uh, wood grain effect. It always looks effective. It's one of those beautiful, beautiful techniques that never gets old, that never looks boring. Once you've got that, now, you have a couple of different ways that you might want to use it. You might then want to um, drag it out a little bit. So you could actually start blending that colour through. Can you see? Now, because it's a dris uh, distress, um, it's a reactive and it's also... Um, 
you can see it stays open for quite a long time, depending on the card you use, which allows you to do the blend. This is why Distress are so ridiculously popular, because of that ability to blend the ink. However, it's a reactive ink, so it means when you add water, it will react and that's exactly what we're going to do so just spritzing now the lovely thing about distress oxide is it will oxide and what that means is that the it, it changes and that's when you get that beautiful white coming to the surface and i love the movement of this now i i must admit i generally leave them to dry naturally because i just like doing but you can give them a blast dry and um, the the heat gun that I know Tim uses all the time is the Ranger one. The reason being, um, it doesn't do this. You know, the, the really, the fast. Um, because the thing is, with the your normal heat guns, with it being so fast, sometimes you end up pushing the water. And that means rather than getting an even dispersion, ooh, an even dispersion, um, rather than getting it... Um, it dry gently, you start forcing the, the drips, if you will. I call it chasing the drip. <laughs> I spent a life, no I haven't. Um, so, <laughs> it means that obviously, you might force it to dry a little bit, but you're still gonna get a sensational effect. Now, I'm just gonna dry that off a little bit, but have a look at the color. This is one ink pad. Now, can you see those sort of gray tones going on there? I love that. I love the, the sort of the movement of the ink. I love the way it just wicks. And this is what Distress does. It wicks, so it moves. And it gives you all this beautiful, beautiful um, finish to it, which looks amazing. Doesn't that look amazing? The colour is just beautiful. So, I mean, that's easy, okay? Now, I am, as you probably know, I'm a little bit obsessed with also cleaning up the ink that's on my mat. Um, I'm working with a, a craft mat, so I can quite easily, the ink that I've, um, that's sort of splurged out the side, if you will, wet it and then just pick it up. And as you're doing this, I mean, it's only light because I've only got a little bit there, but you will start working on your next background, which is beautiful. I mean, I am obsessed with creating backgrounds anyway, but it's a lovely way of creating a background. So that's your first background. However, you can build on this. Now, um, we've got loads and loads of gorgeous colours on the show as well. One of the colours is a weathered wood, which is absolutely divine. We've also got your little ink pads. And it's really important to obviously use your Distress Oxide with your normal inks. They complement each other beautifully. Um, with your normal inks, your, your normal Distress are just an ink, but they're a reactive ink. So just an ink is, is doing them a disservice. I mean, they're a reactive ink, so they're still going to give you all that fantastic, um, you know, that, that fantastic effect. So if I just show you, I'm going to go for the, um, the vintage photo, first of all, and I'll tell you why. The brown goes beautifully with this blue. I mean, it does anyway, doesn't it? You know, brown and blue is just amazing. But just to show you that, obviously, these might be small ink pads, but the small but mighty. And if I just now bring in some of this blue, some of the brown, I'm not going to cover it. I'm just going to go in where some of the little white bits are and cover those white bits. Cover up your white bits like this. And I just, again, it's the way the inks sit together. They're, it's ridiculously effective. Now, what's beautiful with this is your, um, can you see what's happening? I mean, it blends beautifully. I, it's blending. And I'm going in from the centre of the card, but I am managing to blend it beautifully. If I go from the side there. Like that, okay. Now, it's blended, but you can see it kind of looks a little bit uh, solid, doesn't it? You know, where you've got movement everywhere else, that's solid. It looks like chunky bits of, of ink that I've literally blended on. So if you get your water, I mean, there's a couple of ways of doing it. You can either put it in your hand and just splash the water on, or of course you can spritz gently over the top. Now, what this will do, it'll make your ink react. This is, of course, reactive ink. So, what you can see happening immediately, you can see the ink. Can you see all the little um, 
the, the ink sort of pushing away from the water. And that's what it's doing. It's wicking again. So you'll get that beautiful movement. So rather than it looking sort of plain or it not looking like it's blended in, it starts to look like it's blended. I mean, I wouldn't leave it like that. I'll just dry this and then we're going to bring in some of that weathered wood as well. Um, now, while I'm drying, our Derek is stood ready to show you some of the goodies. I am. I absolutely am. Now, you didn't get this far down the counter the first uh, time around. Um, it's very, very busy across the board tonight. I'm not surprised. Everyone's going for, pardon the pun, the prize ribbon. You know, that's what you're wanting to do, isn't it? With all this Olympic stuff going on, everyone's going for the prize, aren't they? But we also have this other bundle here as well, which is really, really cute, uh, which is four mini distress in ink pads as well. Um, there's some of the colours that uh, Leone, I think, is using right now as well. So you've got the antique linen, the vintage photo, you've got walnut stain, and then the black soot as well, because you think... Well, hang on a second, I've already got a black ink pad, but oh, you haven't got a distressed one yet. You've got to have that as well. How many times do you hear mentioned? Again, it's a bit like when we have one of the Sukaniko shows, isn't it? And we, we start talking about, you know, certain types of inks for stamping. Um, distress ink, you hear anyone say distress ink, you know exactly what they're talking about. You know exactly the brand they're talking about, and it's this one as well. So this comes with the four mini ink pads, the three little mini spritzers, and hello to the stencil as well. And listen, you've got to have something to play with with this, because remember, it's not just for spritzing through and for inking through, but it's for recovering those second and third generations, for mopping up, isn't mopping it, up Leonie? Mopping, mopping up, up afterwards. Up. So if you love that, then grab it quickly. Again, a nice £5 saving there for a cute little bundle. Again, get you started. Maybe you've not taken that first step into distress things. I can't think there have been many people like that. But 955680 is your item number. Nice little saving, £22 and £19. Seven pence. Hello, Thank you, you very much, dear. Um, now, I'm going to move to the other distress inks that we've got on the show as well, which are the Distress Oxide um, and the wonderful Weathered Wood, and I love weathered wood i mean this is just oh it's gorgeous and weathered wood is very very popular i mean it's it's one of those um ink pads it's it's just such a beautiful tone i mean look it just pushes everything back it's it's like um it just softens everything and this now i've started just blending it all in so this is it's funny actually because this is actually it reminds me of where i did start when i i was using um distress you know it it's kind of my dark grunge, but I, I think it's, it, I don't see this as a dark grunge at all. I see this as a really, um, a really sort of natural, sort of woody, woody one, you know? Yeah, it has got kind of a, a rusty boat kind of look. <laughs> rusty boat, that's where we're going. Where we're going. That's what Kim can see right now. A rusty boat. <laughs> uh, now, I'm not going over this bit. I, I'd like, I quite like that pop of colour. And I'll, <laughs> I like that pop of colour as well. Oh, it's lovely to have you back in my head, I Kim. Oh, it's like a rusty boat. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm spritzing now. Now, just a little spritz. I'm only going in with a bit of water. And again, it's just to, uh, to break that, what, uh, the ink up. When you're using your spritzer, you can actually, um, in fact, let me just show you on, maybe you'll be able to see on this. Like, if I do a full spritz, can you see? Um, you, I don't know. You can't really see. Can you? you can see quite a puddle of water, but just a little bit, you can be quite controlled with it. So you can just do a little sprinkle of water. So you don't need to go on heavy um, every single time. And that's what you need. Because now when you look at that, it's really, again, it's breaking that weathered wood up. So it's it's making everything blend in. It's not making it all sort of shout. Do you know what I mean? It it, it looks like it's all been done in one as opposed to um, in different layers. And this is a lovely thing about your layering. Just keep layering. If you, if you think something doesn't look right, th because it's reactive ink, you can change it. You can alter it. You can either add something or take something away of course because obviously you can lift as well i i love that now i'm happy with that i think it's a really really nice background um so something i'd actually um use so what i'll do with that one is again just dry this off it's one of them i think it's like oh i will do lots of techniques so i'll dry it off and then you can see now this is the beauty of distress oxide because you'll see that lovely soft weathered wood 
and it'll give you that really kind of a chalky look to it. I mean, that's, that's the oxidation. It's the way the kind of white pops through, which does look amazing. And it does look chalky. They're not, but it looks it. There you go. And can you see now, have a look at those colours and that texture. It's just stunning. And it's easy. I mean, anybody can create that. And then you're either stamping over it. You can obviously um, die cut it. You know, you can do all sorts of... Imagine die cutting that as a tag. It'd look fabulous. Um, I will... I'm going to do backgrounds. I do promise at some stage to actually do something with the backgrounds. I won't just keep creating backgrounds because otherwise it'll be like how do I use them and I think that can sometimes be one of the the biggest kind it so what I'm going to do next let's get the um the distress or uh, the the prize ribbon and put some colors on uh, the mat now this is obviously something that you've probably seen seen Tim do a lot because this is a beautiful way of using your backgrounds so um of creating your backgrounds so I've put prize ribbon I've then used um your keech keech Kitsch. I always want to say quiche. It's so not. Kitsch. Honestly. Honestly, kitsch. <laughs> um, your kitsch flamingo. I'm also going to stick on a little bit of um, my weathered wood again because I do love the weathered wood. You can just, when you put your ink on, I tend not to try and overlap them because I don't want the, the colours uh, merging in too much. I'm going to stick on a little bit of twisted citron as well. Now, um, use for this, I'm using my heat resistant craft mat rather than my glass mat because on your glass mat, the colours, they don't, and this is something that Tim demos as well. So if I put one of these on here, um, you'll get, when you actually apply the water, it reacts different on your heat resistant craft mat than it does on your glass mat, which is why a lot of people will use the craft mat still for backgrounds when they use the distress oxides you will get a different effect um i'm happy with those colors i might put some aged mahogany on as well just because and see what we're going to get let's see what we're going to get so if i spritz now so if i spritz on here straight away i mean you can see it's kind of it, it doesn't puddle actually it's still a solid you've got movement there but it's still quite a, a solid um piece of ink so when a piece of ink bit of ink so when I pick it up, you can see I'm not getting those lovely little droplets, which I want. I'm after beautiful little droplets. It doesn't do that. I mean, it's still gorgeous. You can. This isn't saying you can't create backgrounds. You absolutely can. It's just going to be a little bit different. That's all. But you can definitely create backgrounds. That one's actually drying out, so I'm going to go back in the top. Okay. But, yeah, if you're, if you're not getting the results that you've seen um, other people do, it might be the mat that you're working on. So try that. You know, try your heat-resistant craft mat because that might be um, where it's, it's going, uh, where it's giving you a different effect. I'm not going to say wrong because it isn't. You're still going to get a cool result, but it's just going to be different. Okay, so um, spritzing on here. So now what you'll see, can you see the difference immediately? So what you've got, you can see they've got those little droplets. So rather than that big sort of puddle, it breaks up into little droplets. And I'm, I've had a quite a bit of water on there, quite a few squidges of water. And my first one that I'm going to stick in, I'm going to do on um, my Super Smooth. And I'm going to just bob it in and see what happens. Okay, so just pop that in, lift that up, and there uh, you've got that lovely, and look at that pop of green at the top, which looks fabulous. Now, that's your first, obviously that's your, your first pickup. What I love about this, I do love the bit of aged mahogany. The weathered wood looks fabulous. I haven't got any mud in there. Um, I love, and these little, lovely little droplets, I absolutely adore them. So I'm happy with that. It's only our first layer, we're layering. So that's your, your first layer. What did you say, love? Oh, there's no mud. Um, so I, oh, I came said, what do you mean mud? Well, sometimes when you do too many colours at once, you literally just create sort of a, a mud. So it's a muddy colour. So rather than you seeing all different colours, it just, yeah, it, they all just turn into to one sort of non-script, you know, it, it just one colour, essentially, um, a bit muddy. Um, so this one, and this is watercolour, I thought I'd do different types of cardstock just to see the different results.
results. Now, this is interesting because with this one, there's obviously not as much water going on here because the pink, I've already taken up most of the pink. So that's obviously taken up most of the pink. I've got a lot of the aged mahogany, which I adore. That aged mahogany is beautiful. And the way, look how it works. What was that one there? I already can't remember. It's the way it's working with the uh, weathered wood. That's that's gorgeous. The, that's the way they've blended together. Which and look at the weathered wood with your your flamingo. I mean, stunning, absolutely stunning. It looks like what? Oh, it does look a bit dry, Marigold. Them two together. You're right. Um, okay, now we've got plenty of ink left on here. So what I want to do is start layering up because I've got um, wet ink. You have to dry it. It's really important. Um, I'm I'm a big fan of doing loads of these at once. So I'll just create loads and loads of backgrounds, leave them to dry, and then I'll start on my next layer. So I won't spend much, I won't spend any time heat gunning normally. Because uh, I, I can't, I, I like drying, I like them drying normal, normal. I like just leaving them to air dry, but I mean, it's, it's not a problem. Just give them a blast dry, because um, then you're ready to go on to your next layer. Yeah, I just, I just create so many backgrounds, which you can see at once, in one go. It's lovely doing loads of backgrounds in one go, because while you've got your inks out, you might as well, you might as well play because it does look really effective. So the bits that haven't dried, I'm going to cheat a little bit and go over just to, to lift off the excess, just to make sure I can go back in again. So, gosh, we've only got 50 minutes. That, it's crazy how fast it goes. So give it another spritz just to make sure it is, it's going to move beautifully. And now I'm going to pick up the ink again. So I can go in here and just start lifting. So I'm going in, and can you see now, this is what I adore about working with Distress. Um, can you see those teeny little dots now? Oh, I love that bit. The lovely thing about this, because it's dried, the colours will sit on top. If, you, if you're if you impatient and you go on and you don't dry your cardstock, um, it means when you do this, they will just merge together. But because they're dried, the green is sitting on top of the edge mahogany. It's, it's sat literally on top of it. So it means, and you can see now as it dries, that beautiful oxidation, because you can see the white coming through as well. The way the mahogany is sitting on the grey is just exquisite. So this is why why it's dead important to allow them to dry first because it gives you a completely different effect. That's on your watercolour cardstock, which is just fabulous. And then going on to um, our um, other one, <laughs> the Super Smooth. <laughs> so with the Super Smooth, let's have a little look, see. And let's just pick up and see what happens, shall we? Not looking and then <laughs> scary. Boom. Oh, I quite like that. Now, this bit in centre, don't like that, OK? So if you don't like something like that, just take this and get rid of it. It's distress, so you can lift it out, which is fabulous because it's that, that there is gorgeous. The way that is coming through the blue is beautiful. This bit in the centre, absolutely beautiful. And it's the, it's the variations. It's the way that you can change this over and over again. You know, these drips now, you're going in and look, look, they sit wonderfully on that card. And what I love about this, I mean, look at that. You will never, ever be able to duplicate this. Every single time, it's an original. Every single time, it will look different. But trust me, it's ridiculously addictive. Look at all the colours in there. But the way that works, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, I'll blast these two dry, and then um, we'll work on these two just before we run out of time so we can do something with the background. In the meantime... Over to Derek. Thank you, Ms. Arling. Um, it's wonderful, isn't it? I love the fact that it creates this kind of, well, whatever you want to, but it creates this kind of lovely, organic kind of lichen look, the way it kind of moves and everything. It's just brilliant, isn't it? You can understand why everyone raves about it. How many different guest demonstrators that you see come here? Um, I have to say, long before coming here, um, I was aware of these inks, and, it, and really, are, they are the most, I would say, the most collected inks as well in the crafting industry, I think, pretty much, um, for, you know, for um, absolutely, you know, for blending and mixing 
and having that variety as well. It's incredible. Right, let's have a look at your one day special. Uh, and your one day special really is something definitely that you should grab onto as quickly as you possibly can. Um, because it's kind of a little bit of everything here and you won't realise it's full benefit until we are later into the one day special hours. Because what Leone's going to do is pick a sort of specialist subject, if you like, from the one day special and expand upon it in each of the hours that we've got over the next 24 hours. So. The most important thing is that you've got the prize, the brand new prize ribbon, the brand new blue, the missing blue. There'll be others. There'll be others, but this one just fits in beautifully. Um, look at the difference it's made to this image already. You also, in this bundle, have that black soot as well. That base that maybe sometimes gets overlooked because people think, well, black ink, I've got, I've got, I've had black ink, but you haven't got black distress ink and you haven't got black soot and you know that as soon as you spritz water onto these, they absolutely have a life of their own, don't they? And the Kitsch Flamingo, which is a relatively new colour as well. Um, and again, it's another one that bright, beautiful, vivacious. You also have um, the Spritzer as well, uh, the Mister, which is great. So go for that in small spritzes, in big spritzes if you want to. And you also have the Mixative as well, which is the um, alcohol ink which Leone will talk more about as we go through the day as well. But they're awesome, aren't they? And they are the new, the absolute brand new kid on the block. And they just look amazing. Look at that fabulous blue. Look at the effect that you can create. Look at the depth and the tone and the shade. And again, different cardstock, as you've just seen. Actually picking it up on your, um, on your heat-resistant craft mat versus your glass mat, uh, versus other techniques that you might use for your inking as well. Amazing. Uh, 936564 is your item number for your one day special. Again, you've got a big saving here as well. Nine pounds saving there, so it's 25 pounds and 15 pence. Something else you're absolutely loving and you use in conjunction uh, with your inks as well because they're matching colors as well. So you've got the brand new um, prize ribbon and you've got the weathered wood as well, which seems to be so, so popular as well tonight. It's always a beautiful colour, isn't it? Now, stock-wise on these, and these approach, approaching 40 already. OK, uh, and we're not even through our first live hour uh, with the Ranger One Day Special as well. So that's really, really good. So you use those in conjunction um, with your inks or use them as a, a lovely transparent um, glaze. And the finish of them is absolutely stunning. 936564. Uh, need to move on to the um, the sprays as well. Oh, my word. OK. Anything with the new prize ribbon in is absolutely flying out of the door. So this bundle here is 40% of the stock sold out and gone now. That's got your antique linen, your prize ribbon, your Victorian velvet and your dried marigold. And dried marigold just makes the most delicious combinations like that. Anyway, listen, uh, £8 saving there. All of these little savings that you can pick up here and there. Do check out your baskets. Be quick because actually I don't know what will be left by the morning but listen we'll worry about that we will worry more about the fact that in an hour's time Leonie we're going to be back with another hour mm -hmm. Mm. I know what do you know what I love about this is that I've got so many different things to play with so in the next hour I'm going to do spritzers and do you know what I mean and then tomorrow we've got alcohol links so there's so much to play with right um I'm, I said I were going to work with those backgrounds I'm not yet because I've got too much to show you um I just wanted to show you the ink that's left on there okay spritz and I'll use these ones yeah we have got the mini misters on the show as well of course so Oh, there we go, which is just as good. So you've got your Minimister, but really now, with that ink that's left on that mat, rather than, you know, we were picking it up before, just really swoosh it over the cardstock, then you end up picking up all that gorgeous ink. But look at that ink. I love this because it just gives you such a cool background. That's just the scraps. That's just the leftover, honestly. I just, it makes me very happy. Right, okay, next one. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, just get me my glass mat clean. Oh, and what I didn't show you was on, um, let me just quickly show you. See, because this is the thing. I mean, craft cardstock, because craft cardstock is absolutely beautiful. So, let's do some, um, let's do some thingy. 
Let's do some thingy. So what I'm doing, I've already got a card ready, but just to show you blending. Now, blending is obviously uh, one of the things that we talk about a lot um, when we um, when we talk about distress oxide. It, you know, you can just, can you see how you can start getting that really smooth, beautiful blend? So when you want to do a smooth blend, um, I'm using the uh, the actual blending tools. There's loads of different ways to do it now. I mean, brushes are amazing because brushes will really, if you struggle with blending, use a brush. Absolutely use a brush if you struggle with blending because it will make life a lot easier. But you can, if you angle your spot, so I'm angling it up like so. So then when I come in, I'm just getting that really nice soft blend. So I'm not going in. If you go in like this, you'll end up getting, can you see? You can see the actual edge of the sponge. If you're going too heavy, a lot of times you will not get your blend because it's too heavy, but don't despair. If you carried on, and just did this, honestly, you could do a really cool background. So I, I think these days we don't worry as much if it goes wrong because, again, like I remember at first when I first started with Distress, like going wrong on your backgrounds was a, you know, it was a big deal really, but these days it really isn't because if you do this, watch, I've gone off on my tangent again. If you, so this would be like a, a, a bad blend. Oh, I've only got five minutes. Uh, do you know what? It's so funny because it, it doesn't matter how much time you've got. It's never enough time. That would be classed as a bad background. However, watch. If you spritz this, it's reactive ink. So as soon as you spritz it, it just looks good. Oh, air conditioning. Air conditioning water. But look at that.